This film is purely fictional. Please do not imitate it. Your like and subscribe are the motivation for me to update. Chapter 1 The World of the Rich Under the Blue Sky A young man who had just finished jogging was lying on the lawn to rest. There was almost no one in the entire playground. Except for a few men and women who seemed to be in love. What can children from ordinary families have? Maybe they only have this healthy body. Lu Yuan said to himself silently. As the times evolve, people still need to learn. Only knowledge can bring a better future to mankind. With the development of science and technology and the excessive consumption of the natural environment, people are paying more and more attention to the natural environment. After years of hard work, we have opposed war and nuclear weapons. Thanks to our joint efforts, the environment is now even better than before. The air is pure, and people understand the community of life. After resting for a while, Lu Yuan walked to the dormitory relaxedly. Lu Yuan, who is now a sophomore, spends most of his time working part-time apart from studying and exercising every day. Although he has received scholarships every year because of his excellent academic performance, he still firmly believes that only hard work can make his life better. Even in this materialistic age, however, the recent part-time job may have to be put aside because there is a popular game around the world that is about to be released for public testing. Taiyuan. The streets and alleys are full of promotional posters. It is said that it combines the advantages of recent games with the latest technology, using face recognition as an account and retinal scanning as a password. Even blind people can enter the game and see this colorful world after going through special certification procedures. This is undoubtedly a major breakthrough. Taiyuan can be exchanged with real currency as long as you leave novice village. In other words, if the rich don't want to spend time collecting materials for killing monsters, they can get them by spending money. This is undoubtedly a setting to please the rich. But as long as civilian players are willing to work hard, it is easier to make money. But after all, gold coins are limited in the early stage of the game. Even if you have money and resources, they are not endless and it is considered balanced. After all, this world is a world for rich people. It is difficult to maintain a game without financial income. This is the reality. Tao Yuan, the name is the same as the paradise of the world. If you go in, you will still fight and fight for profits. Is it a vicious satire of the game company? Lu Yuan looked at the poster and muttered to himself, seeing the crowds of people not far away not knowing what was going on. Lu Yuan also planned to join in the fun and take a look. Students, if you are interested, you can join our guild. Once the game starts, you can develop better and faster. We will provide free gaming equipment to those who join the guild. Only a clear female voice was heard promoting among the crowd. When I got closer, I saw that it was Li Tong, a celebrity in the class. Because of his good looks, Li Tong always gives people a feeling of breeze blowing on their face every time they see him. Coupled with his exquisite facial features and smooth short hair, he looks pure. First love. I heard that Li Tong's family is quite rich, and they are planning to form a guild in the game. The recruiters even include game equipment. Although the basic equipment is not particularly expensive, it is still a big deal when there are more people. You are so generous. I heard a classmate next to me say, Can I give you things for free? Do you have to sign an agreement if you don't see the sign up? After all, it is said that a guild will not be established until level 30, said another classmate. Then do you want to go? I'm going to sign up anyway. Everything else is secondary. You can play games with Li Tong. He Quickly wipe your saliva. You are worthless. I don't care if you are Li Tong or not. The main thing is that I like to play games. Bah. I don't know you're hypocritical yet. Hurry up and you'll be full soon. After hearing this, Lu Yuan couldn't help but smile. What a good gay friend. And then turned around to go back to the dormitory. After walking a few steps, he heard someone calling him from behind. Lu Yuan. What's the matter? Classmate Li Tong. Lu Yuan turned around and saw Li Tong walking towards him and said with a smile, Don't you consider joining our guild? The treatment will be generous, and you will also have the opportunity to have close contact with me. Li Tong looked at Lu Yuan with a smile, a little dazed. Miss, don't make fun of me. I don't like the feeling of being restricted. I haven't thought about joining a guild or anything yet. Then you can also play Tao Yuan. Right. Don't forget to add me as a friend then. There are many of us, and I will help you if you need anything. Although he was a little disappointed, Li Tong was not annoyed. She has been the first in everything she does since she was a child. But after meeting Li Yuan, she became the second. This nerd caught her attention. 
she was not jealous, but had a slight affection for him. After all, he is over 180 centimeters tall, and plus, that sunny energy is quite attractive to the little girl. Well, I plan to have some fun too. It is said that you can also make money there. Making money while having fun is definitely much better than part-time job. Lu Yuan nodded and replied. Okay then. I'll continue to collect people first. Send a message to contact them. After speaking, Li Tong waved his hand and turned around to continue his work. In fact, Lu Yuan also had a flash of hesitation. Whether to join or not. After all, which young man can withstand the invitation of such a beautiful girl? But the feeling in my heart that I don't want to be bound is too strong. I am used to freedom and getting what I want through my own efforts. After all, we are people from two worlds. It's better not to have any illusions, lest you end up getting too hurt. Lu Yuan shook his head and put all these distracting thoughts behind his head. Smiled and thought to himself. Why do you think so much? People always feel a little inferior in front of this kind of woman. It's best not to provoke her. You still need to be strong. So work hard. When I returned to the dormitory, I saw Zhao Xingha cleaning the room. After all, the dormitory of University B, a top university, was quite good, and Lu Yuan's roommate was obviously also good. Although he is also a rich second generation, he is not arrogant at all. And like Lu Yuan, he loves to be clean. The dormitory for the two of them is quite tidy, even better than many girls' dormitories. In fact, Lu Yuan's family is not poor. But it seems too ordinary compared with these rich second generations. I'm back. I saw your delivery was downstairs. So I brought it up for you. You also ordered a helmet from Tao Yuan. I'll buy one too. And we can go on a killing spree together. Ha ha ha. Zhao Xingha said. Very excited to see Lu Yuan say. Thank you. I bought it with money from my part-time job. Fortunately, the equipment is not too expensive. Otherwise, children like us from ordinary families would really not be able to afford it. How can I not be as relaxed as you? I guess the main purpose of going here is to make money. Lu Yuan also replied with a smile. Oh, I'm just a student. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. It's not really that difficult for you. Besides, there is me. Zhao Xinghe did not continue because he knew that Lu Yuan did not need help from others. Self-esteem is too strong. I just don't want to put a burden on my family. Besides, I can do it myself. Well, let's go to the game world and kill everyone when the server starts tomorrow. Lu Yuan laughed, not wanting to embarrass his good brother. Chapter 2 Entering Tao Yuan for the first time. The server officially opens at 12 noon on Sunday. Those who like to play games, those who want to make money, and those who are bored and plan to have fun on Sunday are basically ready to enter the Tao Yuan of this game that represents the era. Once the game is launched, it will not be controlled by humans and will be entirely executed by computer AI. This is the promise of the game company. That being said, in fact, the head office still has a key that can take over the control of the game. After all, humans will not let things that are uncontrollable happen. It's absolutely fair. It all depends on the player's own exploration and efforts. Anything can happen in this world. As for the exchange of money and game currency, isn't spending money also a kind of effort? It's almost time. Hurry up and play the game. Why are you still dawdling there? Zhao Xingha said anxiously. There's no special reward for logging in first. So why rush? You won't be able to get on the ranking list even in a few minutes in the morning. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry. I don't care about you. I'm going to create a character. After saying that, Zhao Xingha put on his helmet and entered the game. Lu Yuan was a little amused to see him so anxious. He took a sip of water and put on his helmet to enter the game. After all, it was an unknown world without much information. And it was impossible not to be curious. Ding Bell face recognition starts. Please open your mouth. Please shake your head slowly from side to side. And please raise your head. After face recognition is completed, retina scanning begins. Please open your eyes. Scan completed. Start creating the character as soon as the screen changes. A face exactly like your own appears in front of you. You can change your height. Wait and facial features. And you can also use your own appearance to enter the game. Lu Yuan's figure hasn't changed much. After all, he has a pretty standard figure as he is not lacking in exercise. He slightly changed his appearance to make him feel more handsome and got a slightly longer hairstyle from ancient times. Once he feels satisfied, he is ready to enter the game. The system prompts. Please enter the character name. 
not Dao Wan. Liu Yuan thought for a while, and then entered it. When the scene changed, it was not the village as imagined, but a cave. Liu Yuan was left with a question mark. He was really different from before. It looked like we could only go forward. After walking not far, we saw the exit. When we went out, we saw that it was indeed Tao Yuan village. It was similar to what was described in the ancient text. Peach Blossom Spring. The houses looked exactly the same. And the villagers who came and went were very enthusiastic. There are also many players traveling through it. The small map in the upper right corner marks server number 8986 of Tao Yuan village. It turns out that novice village diverted players. This should be the novice village. If you are not asked to choose a profession, there will probably be a job change task later. Right? Let's go to the village first. The names of NPCs were displayed above their heads. And soon Lu Yuan came to the village chief. There are probably several hundred players in each village. So it's not too crowded when divided evenly. Lu Yuan Dao doesn't plan to compete in any level rankings. Even if he does, he can't compare to a fixed team of people. There were many players around the village chief. After waiting for a while, Lu Yuan spoke to the village chief. Hey, there are really a lot of guests here today. It seems that there will be a lot of fun tonight by killing chickens and sheep. Welcome to Tao Yuan Village. Young man, the village chief said kindly. Village chief, do you need any help? Lu Yuan said. After all, upgrading is still the main part of the game. Even if you are not in a hurry, there is no need to stay as a novice village chief. I have nothing to do here. You can go to the village for a walk. Remember to come to the square in the evening for the welcome party. Okay. Thank you. Lu Yuan ended the conversation and walked around the village. It seems that the village is quite relaxed. Living a simple life. And every villager is so enthusiastic. The sudden influx of such a group of players somewhat breaks this sense of peace. Seeing that some people are helping second sister Zhang carry water. And some are helping second brotherly chop firewood. And from time to time, white light appears on players' bodies. These should be tasks. It seems that they can be upgraded. After a busy period of work, I received a task from the village chief to catch pheasants, as if to entertain everyone in the evening. After catching pheasants, I had already reached level 10 when I came back. The novice village is just for everyone to familiarize themselves with the environment and operations. It is not difficult. And it is not boring if there are some emergencies. About an hour has passed in real time. In the game, the sun has just turned west and we have to wait for several hours in game time before we can start eating. But you can leave the novice village at level 10. And some people began to leave the village and enter the main city. After all, choosing a profession early to seize the opportunity is the purpose of most people playing games. Lu Yuan also came to the village chief. After watching the village chief send away several players, he also stepped forward to talk. Are you leaving? Young man? This remote country can't keep young people like you. Don't you plan to stay at night to participate in the welcome celebration? If you leave Taoyuan village, you will never come back. The village chief said, said a little disappointed. These villagers are really celebrating when they have guests. They don't want to be separated even if they don't have any friendship. It seems that the game world only lasts a few hours a day in reality. There is nothing urgent anyway. So just have a meal together. Lu Yuan thought of these. Don't leave just yet. Although I left part of the way. It's good that there are some who stay. Taoyuan village hasn't been this lively for a long time. The village chief said with a smile while stroking his beard. There are no swords. Guns and sticks. No fighting and killing. It is really a paradise. It's a pity that once you go out, you can never come back. Everyone can choose to stay here in comfort and not strive for fame and fortune. But they have to leave and seek the future. They can choose by themselves. But they have no choice. The designer is really thoughtful. As night fell, the remaining players and villagers began to gather. As the bonfire was lit, the atmosphere instantly ignited. The villagers, led by the players, formed circles and started dancing in circles. The real scenery was immersive, and everyone was completely immersed in it. The game is happy at this time. This is enjoying the game, and the usually tense nerves are relieved. Lu Yuan feels that his initial idea was wrong, and he should enjoy the game instead of treating it as work. After eating and drinking, the remaining people left the novice village one after another. Lu Yuan was sitting near the campfire still thinking about it. After all, he hadn't been so relaxed for a long time. He was studying, working and socializing, and was facing pressure all the time. It would be great if I could always live such a relaxed life. 
but people will eventually have to face real life. This is an illusory world after all. Young man, come and drink some wine with me. A burly man said to Lu Yuan with a jar of wine. In reality, Lu Yuan's drinking capacity is not very good. But this is the game after all. So he said nonchalantly. Okay, come on. It turns out that the person who came here is the blacksmith of Taoyuan Village. Although Taoyuan Village does not need weapons. It also needs to build some farm tools. However, for players, Novice Village does not require weapons to upgrade. So they have not been to the blacksmith much. After two bowls of wine, I didn't feel anything. It was just that the status bar showed an increase in the mana recovery effect. It was similar to the increase in strength of the roast chicken I just ate. They were both buffs and had a time limit. If you don't eat in the game, you won't starve to death. If you eat, various foods will also increase the effect. Anyway, I didn't feel anything. Just one bowl after another. Lu Yuan gradually lost consciousness and drank too much. Chapter 3 Zhang Dachui's Introduction Oh, where are we? I feel so dizzy. Lu Yuan woke up after an unknown amount of time and groaned. Brother, wake up. You drank too much last night. You have a good capacity for drinking. I'm used to drinking strong liquor after working hard every day. I didn't expect you to have a good capacity for drinking. Only then did Lu Yuan see clearly that it was blacksmith Zhang Dachui. It seemed that he had carried himself back after drinking too much last night. But how could he be unconscious? Can fragments be broken in the game? I glanced at the real time, and it was almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the blink of an eye, I had been playing all afternoon. Brother Zhang, I have to leave too. Thank you all for your hospitality. Lu Yuan stood up and touched his head and said leisurely. Are you leaving too? In fact, I know where you are going. That wonderful world full of disputes. The world beyond Taoyuan. I used to be one of them. By the way, my senior brother is a celebrity in the holy city. I will give you a letter of recommendation. If you are interested in blacksmithing, go find him. Even if you are not interested, I think he will give you some benefits. I haven't seen him for more than 10 years. I didn't expect John Dachui to be so handsome. The big man is actually so sentimental. Maybe no one has been drinking with him for a long time since he came here. Right. Didn't you accept John Dachui's letter of introduction? Lu Yuan was stunned for a moment. And he became emotional even after drinking. It is really in line with the tradition of our country. There is nothing that one drink cannot solve. So if there is a problem, drink too. This is of course accepted. He took the letter and greeted John Dachui. Then went to the village chief to prepare for the main city. Young man, are you leaving? Sure enough, you still have to go. There are some copper coins here. So let's buy some food on the way. Go ahead. The village chief waved his hand and activated the novice teleportation array. A white light flashed. And Lu Yuan had left. With a flash of white light, Lu Yuan had arrived in a new environment. Is this the holy city? Seeing that there were countless more players in front of me than in novice village, I didn't know where to go for a while. Let's go find out how to change jobs first. There is a call from the outside. Do you want to go offline to check? At this time, a prompt tone came from the system. After getting off the line, he took off his helmet, looked at Zhao Xingha standing beside his bed, and asked, What's wrong? Oh, you've been playing all afternoon. Aren't you hungry? I've already reached level 15. But it's too slow to reach level 16. So I'm going to eat first and continue working hard later. Let's go. I'm a little hungry too. I just left Novice Village, and I don't know where to go. It's just a good time to teach me your experience. Zhao Xingha stared with big eyes and said in disbelief, No, you came out of Novice Village in an hour. But you actually played for more than four hours. You are the only one who still wants to make money. Don't mention it. I drank some wine in the game. And after being cut off for more than two hours, I thought I didn't drink much in the game. Lu Yuan also said a little embarrassedly, Oh, I know what happened. Just now, someone was leveling up and fell from a height and hit his head. He fainted, but he didn't die. It was similar to your situation. It took more than 10 minutes to wake up. I'm worried about the effects of the game on the body. I posted a post if it was harmful. And the official responded, It will not have any side effects on the body. But when you put on the gaming device and enter the game, the person is in a semi-sleep state. If the game character loses consciousness, the person will automatically switch. When you reach sleep state, if someone calls from the outside, it will be the same as falling asleep. 
you will wake up. But the game character depends on the character's own resistance, recovery ability. Zhao Xinghai explained Li Yuan's question. What's going on? Does that mean that playing games at night can be considered half asleep? And you won't be too sleepy the next day? Lu Yuan asked back. Your head is spinning very fast. But I don't know. Let's try it tonight. Come on. Let's go have dinner. I'll treat you to my old place. Okay. Let's go. Lu Yuan was not polite. Zhao Xingha, who had not had enough fun after dinner, urged Lu Yuan to hurry up. But Lu Yuan was not in a hurry and wanted to take a walk to digest. I asked you to leave quickly. If I had known earlier, I would have let you eat instant noodles in the dormitory. Xiao Xingha complained. It's just a game. Don't get too obsessed. After all, we are still students. By the way, what profession are you practicing? Lu Yuan said leisurely with his hands on the back of his head. I am a mage. I think only a mage is suitable for my temperament. What profession do you plan to practice? I don't know what professions there are yet. I'll check it out later and decide. Let's practice melee combat. What's the name of the game? I'll add a friend later, so we can keep in touch. My name is Lan Xingha Dot. Zhao Xingha looked proud. The spring breeze and I are both passers-by. And you carry the autumn water to embrace the stars. You are still a bit poetic. My name is Bu Dao Huan. What the H? L is your name. Let's go! Let's go! Standing next to the teleportation array in the holy city again. I was still shocked by this spectacular building. The teleportation array was in the center of the city. And directly to the north was the city lord's palace. On top of the hundreds of steps was a palace built of bluestone. With two neat rows on the steps. Soldiers. With question marks on their heads for rank. There are many shops on the east and west sides. Neatly arranged. And the wide road in the direction of the south gate is facing the nearly 10 meter high city gate tower. Just when Lu Yuan was shocked. The friend list vibrated. He clicked on it and saw that it was Lan Xingha applied to add you as a friend. Huan Huan, do you need me to help you upgrade? Looking at the dialogue box, Lu Yuan could see that Zhao Xingha was smiling ghostly and replied, What Huan Huan? It's like a dog. You can level up by yourself, so as not to delay you. Which direction is the place to choose a profession? Facing the city lord's palace. Just go to the left in front, which is the northwest of the map. You can see it when you get there. Then I will find a team to level up myself. Not long after following the route indicated by Zhao Xingha, he saw the tall job-changing temple. When he entered, he saw that there were still many players waiting for job-changing. And there were also people who were hesitant about which profession to play and were milling around in circles. After a rough look, there are a total of six major professions as follows. Guardian, mainly defensive and control. The main human shield of the team. Drawing hatred and controlling, mostly stun is the main control. Warrior, High physical output can be matched with various types of equipment to produce different effects. A versatile profession. Archer, long-range physical output, can kite enemies, has slowing down skills. Assassin, high magic burst damage. Stealth to kill invisible. Magical poison and other blessed weapons to produce high burst damage per second. Mage, high magic damage. Continuous damage from group attacks. Different magic systems have their own advantages. Pharmacist, increases blood. Increases attack and defense. Poisons enemies. And is the indispensable soul of the team. Guardians. Warriors. And archers deal mainly with physical damage. While assassins. Mages. And pharmacists deal mainly with magic damage. Choose a warrior. He can resist. Fight. And is handsome. The main thing is to increase the strength and the weight can be higher. So it is easier to carry things. Lu Yuan didn't hesitate after thinking about it. The warrior instructor glanced at Lu Yuan. Yes, the boy's physical fitness meets the requirements of a warrior. After saying that, he waved his hand and a white light flashed through. You are now a trainee warrior. Go and get me ten wild fox skins. Ten suburban wolf fong. Complete the warrior test. After saying that, he threw an iron sword to Lu Yuan and stopped talking to him. Congratulations on becoming a trainee warrior, learning the skill of slamming, and getting an iron sword. Looking at the iron sword in his hand, he suddenly remembered Zhang Dachui's letter of introduction. Let's go visit his senior brother first and see if there is anything gained. Chapter 4 If you want to do something well, you must sharpen your tools. After completing his job transfer, Lu Yuan finally started his adventure. He opened his backpack and found that there were only 20 copper coins and an iron sword in it. Equip the iron sword and click on the character panel. 
Player, not happy. Level, 10. Experience, 0 slash 3000. Occupation, trainee warrior. Life, 350. Magic value, 240. Strength, 15, affects physical attack power by 1 point. Increases attack by 5 points. Intelligence, 6, affects magic attack power by 1 point of intelligence and increases magic attack by 5 points. Spirit, 6, affects magic value. Charm illusion and other spiritual resistance. Agility, 10, affects character speed. Dodge. Endurance, 13, affects the character's health. Continuous combat ability. Ability to rush. Etc. Attack, 75 to 75. Defense, 12. Skill. Slam. Cooling time is 1 second. Consumes 20 mana slash time. Basic skills cause 100% basic damage. Additional weapon attack power, affected by monster defense. Lu Yuan took a look and suddenly felt that although the level was already level 10, it felt like he had just started to enter the game. It turned out that the novice village was just a foreshadowing and novice teaching. He smiled helplessly and continued walking to the blacksmith shop. When he arrived at the door of the blacksmith shop, he found that there were really many people. Lu Yuan found the owner of the blacksmith shop. I just handed over the letter and didn't wait to speak. Whose relationship is this? Forget it. Give you a weapon and go quickly. I'm busy. The owner of the blacksmith shop impatiently threw a one-handed sword over. As if he was sending away a beggar. Lu Yuan, who took the weapon, looked confused as to what was going on. It's too disrespectful. Forget it. It's not in vain. Go out and upgrade first. This is the only way to comfort yourself. When I opened the backpack, I saw that it was green quality equipment. Worn wind one-handed sword. Equipment rating, elementary. Equipment level, level 10. Physical attack, 2432. Additional attributes, increase attack speed by 10%. P.S. It is a high quality one-handed sword. Due to poor storage and improper use, it was downgraded to junior equipment. The attributes are very simple. But simple and crude, the iron sword given by the warrior instructor only has 10 plus 14 attack power, which is more than double. Quickly equip it, and go to the monster spawning area at the south gate. Although he was already many levels behind, there were still so many people killing monsters outside the city gate. It was obvious that there were more people than monsters. So how could he fight? Let's try to hurt a fox first. Lu Yuan found a newly refreshed fox. Wild fox level 10 HP 300. Equipped with a one-handed sword. Lu Yuan's physical attack power has reached 99 107. Cut it down with a sword. Followed by a sharp blow. Minus 83 to 104. Because it is a passive-aggressive monster and will not take the initiative to hit people. The little fox lost more than half of its health before he reacted and scratched his paw. Lu Yuan didn't go out of his way to hide. Minus 25. Lu Yuan smiled confidently. The primary monster's damage was low. And then, he used a normal attack and a slam to end the little fox's life. The experience value is increased by 100. Which means that you can level up by killing 30 foxes. Although there are more people. But I don't have potions in the early stage by myself. So I still focus on saving blood. And I am not particularly urgent to level up. So I won't go to the area with high-level monsters for the time being. Just like this. Lu Yuan squatted at a refresh point. Killed a fox in 3 seconds. And then meditated to restore blood and mana. Refreshed in 10 seconds. And spawned monsters easily and without injury. I could kill 5 in the first 65 seconds. I reached level 11 in less than 7 minutes. Adding all attribute points to strength. Flat slash plus slam plus flat slash. The little fox fell to the ground before he could even fight back. It takes 4,000 experience to upgrade to level 12. One fox only gives 90 experience. Which means you can level up again by killing 45 more foxes. Although the experience is getting lower and lower. The most valuable thing is that it saves trouble and does not have to run back and forth. Just like this. 10 minutes passed. Lu Yuan level 12. 20 minutes later. As a white light came. Lu Yuan was level 13. It was time to leave. He had very little experience and it was no longer efficient enough to continue brushing. Although it was easy. He could kill him instantly with a flat slash plus a slam while walking. The poor little fox was lost. And the damage was already overflowing. The skins needed for the mission are already enough. And only 10 coyote skins are missing. However, the mission experience does not attract Lu Yuan. With only 2000 experience, 
It is estimated that he can kill coyotes with 2,000 experience. But if he doesn't finish it, there will always be a task in the taskbar that makes Lu Yuan always uncomfortable. Maybe he also has a little bit of obsessive compulsive disorder. Seeing that there are players fighting with foxes around me, it basically takes 5 to 6 attacks to kill a fox. I am still secretly happy. If there is no such letter, I guess I will not be so efficient. Even though I am dismissed by others. Sit away like a beggar. Looking at the time, it has just been more than an hour since it went online. It is very early. Although it was a little behind in the early stage, it is estimated that the gap is not very big. After taking a look at the level ranking list, it said that level 20 starts, which means that everyone is more than 10 levels. It seems that it is as Xiaoxing has said that after level 15, the upgrade starts to become slower, while walking towards the next monster spawning area, looking for coyotes. The friend list trembles again. Click on it to see the player Hongmei Aoshua applying to add you as a friend. Although I don't know who it is. I checked it, and I think I know him. As soon as he passed the other side, he sent a message. Blue Yuan, this is Lee Tong. Didn't I tell you to join the game and add a friend together? Why didn't you reply when I sent you a message? You are only level 13. Do you need help? And it comes with a cute smiley face. How could she know the name of my game? When I saw that the opponent's level was already level 17, there was still strength in numbers. There is no doubt that joining their fixed team to farm monsters will definitely be much faster than myself. But I will still be restrained in the future. After thinking about it, I still like to be free. If playing games is as tiring as working, I might as well work part-time. Thank you. But no, the level difference is too big and affects your efficiency. Lu Yuan declined politely. Li Tong looked at the message and couldn't help but pout. This idiot regarded other people's kindness as a donkey's liver and lungs. Then he laughed again. Wasn't it because of his strong self-esteem that he formed a guild by himself? Okay then. Come on. Don't let me fall too far. Li Tong simply replied and shot an arrow at the wild boar. See you later. Lu Yuan didn't hesitate because he had already seen the coyote at this time. Coyotes are active monsters and live in groups. Because the map of the game is relatively large. The monster area is not small. Otherwise, even if there are coyotes living in groups, there will not be enough for players to fight. Seeing that there are teams of six people around, there are more monsters to resist. It's bloody. And I don't care if I go too deep, but if I'm alone and surrounded by two or three, I'll be bitten to death. In addition to teaming up, it is obviously unreliable to skip levels and spawn monsters alone in the early stage. Coyote level 14 HP 1000. This is the basic information that can be seen. It would be great if one could see the attack and defense. Lu Yuan sighed, not daring to go deep to look for lone monsters on the edge. At this moment, a female player ran towards Lu Yuan. Upon closer inspection, it turned out that there were two coyotes behind him. One of them was half healthy. The one running over was a female player who was a doctor by profession. It looked like she had beaten the other half. A coyote spawned and couldn't hold it anymore. Lu Yuan looked like this and rushed towards him. A flat slash plus a slam minus 220. Minus 242. The one that lost half of its health in a second immediately appeared on its body. Minus 260. It turned out that the other one couldn't catch up with the doctor. And its hatred was directed at Lu Yuan. This coyote bit off one third of Lu Yuan's health. Fortunately, he had upgraded. Otherwise he would have almost been bitten to death. Lu Yuan set his target on another coyote and slash flatly plus punch minus 225. Minus 248. The coyote pounced and opened its drooling mouth. Its fangs seemed to be shining coldly and rushed towards Lu Yuan. Minus 258. One bite made Lu Yuan's scalp feel numb. This is too real. He is going to die. It's really not possible to just hold a sword. This novice commoner on his body really doesn't have much defense. It's a round of damage. This way she should be able to fight. Which can be regarded as a good thing. She thought so much in one moment. After all, the game is dead when it is dead. And the backhand is a flat chop plus a slam. Dash 230, dash 245. Plus 310. Just as Lu Yuan looked desperately at the coyote that had dozens of drops of blood remaining waiting for the coyote to attack. A ray of green light came over me, and I felt instantly refreshed. I didn't think much about it when I saw the blood coming back, and I slashed flatly against the coyote's claws. Dash 230, dash 250. Two injuries appeared, and the coyote fell to the ground. 
Lu Yuan only had enough health left to take a bite from the coyote. Beauty! Thank you! Help me increase my health! Lu Yuan did not pick up the items exploded by the monster, but sat on the ground and meditated to regain his health. Well, I should be the one thanking you. Otherwise, I would be torn to pieces by this hateful wolf dog, the doctor said awkwardly, but he didn't expect that the other party actually thanked him before he could speak. Are you alone? Do you want to form a team? Lu Yuan took the initiative to invite others to form a team for the first time, because he felt that he couldn't deal with the coyotes living in groups without armor, so he had to get some equipment to wear when he went back. My friend is offline due to something. I am alone for the time being. Otherwise, I would not be so embarrassed by two wolves. Do you also want to fight the coyote? Your defense is very low, but your attack power is quite high. Anyway, it's dangerous for me to fight by myself. So let's form a team between the two of us. After saying that, he sent an invitation to form a team. Do you agree to the player Little Milk Bottle inviting you to join the team? Lu Yuan smiled helplessly. It seemed that he was disliked. If he hadn't saved others, they wouldn't be willing to team up with me. After joining the team, Lu Yuan asked, See, you can restore nearly half of my health every time you increase blood. How many times can your mana be used to increase blood? How many times can it be used? I haven't counted. If you don't have any mana, just take the medicine. Anyway, I have a lot of mana medicine. Don't you want to take medicine? It looks like you were going to die just now, and you didn't even take a bottle of medicine. Little Milk Bottle said in surprise. Lu Yuan is embarrassed again. He seems to be an R&B player. Although there are many studios, the average level is low after all, and the output of gold coins is still not high. One gold coin costs 50-60 RMB, and the most basic potion costs 20 copper coins. In other words, one gold coin can only buy 500 primary potions. Elementary magic potion. Continuously restores 200 blue points within 5 seconds. In the legal profession, two bottles of potions are not enough to fill up one tube of blue. And one tube of blue can defeat several monsters. Upgrading requires more and more experience. It seems that the legal profession is really a money-burning profession. Lu Yuan calculated an account inadvertently, and there was no need to pay attention to it. After all, as a top student, Xiao Jiojio could just calculate it casually. He he he, Lu Yuan looked at the 20 copper coins that had not been moved in his backpack, and felt even more embarrassed. He had beaten so many foxes, but not a single copper coin had been lost. It seemed that the wild foxes were just sharpening knives for players, who had just changed careers. Let's go! Sister will take you! My savior! The little milk bottle said boldly. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Shotgun for Cannon. Click on the character panel. Player, not happy. Level, 13. Experience, 1245-34212. Occupation, trainee warrior. Life, 710. Magic value, 380. Strength, 47. Intelligence, 9. Spirit, 9. Agility, 13. Stamina, 19. Attack, 259-267. Defense, 18. Skill. Slam, cooling time is 1 second. Consumes 20 mana slash time. Basic skills cause 100% basic damage. Additional weapon attack power, affected by monster defense. According to Li Yuan's observation, when the warrior profession upgrades to a level, it adds 4 points of strength, 2 points of endurance, 2 points of agility, 1 point of intelligence, 1 point of spiritual bonus, and a maximum life limit of 100. In addition, each level gives 5 free attribute points. Since Lu Yuan has added strength, the attack is relatively high, but the defense is low. Lu Yuan thought that since he was not wearing defensive equipment, it would be better to use high attack efficiency in the early stage. In the later stage, he could adjust the equipment and add points. This was what he thought was the most efficient point addition based on his years of studying mathematics. The coyote is level 14 and has 1000 health. If you hit yourself, the average health will be around 250. You can hit it by yourself for about two rounds of flat slashes and skills. The wolves are not all refreshed together. But there is a certain hatred distance. Otherwise, low-level players will definitely not be able to defeat it. In other words, when I kill the first wolf, I use a round of skills. And when the wolf bites me, you give me more blood. And then use your long-range attacks to pull the other wolf over. When he ran over, my wolf was also killed. And then I went on to kill the next wolf. 
Taking turns like this will be the most efficient way to fight. Lu Yuan said a lot of his thoughts in one breath. And he listened attentively. The bottle was stunned for a while. You are really a logic genius. Can you really calculate so accurately? Little Milk Bottle said in surprise. Games are just a bunch of data. Learn mathematics, physics and chemistry and travel all over the world. You know, Little Beauty? Lu Yuan also joked. After all, he is a big boy and he is in a game. He doesn't consciously talk to a beautiful woman when he sees it. There were more and more. And then he added, Of course, if I am unlucky and hit the minimum damage, I will need you to make up for it. So there will be no surprises. You brat. You still call me little beauty. I must be older than you. Call me sister. Stop being so nagging and just try it first as you said. In this way, according to Li Yuan's command, the coyotes were picked up almost without any accidents. There were only a few times when a small bottle was needed to make up for a little damage. The rest was that Lu Yuanlan was not enough. So he ran to the side to meditate and chatted with her. It's quite pleasant. I'll trade you some blue medicine. Wouldn't we be more efficient? Little Milk Bottle said nonchalantly. It's just a game. You have to combine work with rest. Don't stop at all. Aren't you tired? People play games. And enjoyment is the key. Reality is hard enough. Don't be restrained when playing games. I hear you talk like a student. And sometimes you are so mature. How long are you going to sit on the ground? Little brat? Hurry up and fight the monsters. Little Milk Bottle said dissatisfied. Looking at Lu Yuan who rushed over to fight the monsters. He suddenly remembered isn't it just to relax when you play games by yourself? What's the importance of level? What this guy said is quite right. I couldn't help but laugh thinking about this. Sister. Please add more blood. Do you want to kill me? Lu Yuan shouted in the distance. Come on. Come on. The little bottle ran over with an apologetic expression. Just like this. He took a leisurely break from fighting monsters and chatted. Before he knew it, Lu Yuan had reached level 15 and one third of his experience. And the little milk bottle had just reached level 15. That's it for today. I'm going to go offline and go to bed. Little milk bottle looked at Lu Yuan and said, did you go to bed after 11 o'clock? Doesn't it mean that the game is still in a semi-sleep state even if it is not offline? Li Yuan said with some reluctance. I didn't know that beautiful women need to sleep well to delay aging. Little Milk Bottle said confidently while striking a pose. Okay then. Let's play together when we have time. Lu Yuan was stunned for a moment and said. You haven't added me as a friend yet. You still have time to play with me. You're not sincere. How old are you? Little Milk Bottle said dissatisfiedly when a friend application was sent to her. Ha ha ha. I forgot. I forgot. I am 20 this year. Lu Yuan was a little embarrassed to be said. Down? You stinky brother. Little Milk Bottle saw her friend at it. Said one sentence and then went offline. Lu Yuan looked at the empty eyes. Feeling a little lonely. Inevitably. Mature women always have an inexplicable attraction to boys of this age. Which is completely different from the feeling that Li Tong. Who is also a student. Gives him. I was stunned for a while. And my status was all restored. I decided to go back to the city first. Hand in the mission. And see if I could get some equipment. I looked at the dozen or so silver coins in my backpack. Which were all obtained from fighting coyotes. I guess I can't buy any decent equipment. After fighting hundreds of wolves. I didn't even have a single piece of equipment. The explosion rate was really low. Looking at the one-handed sword in his hand. He couldn't help but sigh that he was lucky. Silently reciting the public skills to return to the city. A light blue halo appeared under the feet. Slowly covering the whole body. Chanting for about 8 seconds. And the screen turned to the teleportation array of the main city. There seemed to be more people in the holy city late at night. At this time it's also night in the game. I came to the job transfer temple with ease. And saw that there were still a bunch of people in front of the warrior instructor. It seemed that even on weekends. There were not as many people online during the day as there were at night. You have completed your training so quickly. The holy city has a reliable helper. Take this wooden sign and go to the blacksmith to get a new set of armor. After the official conversation, Lu Yuan got a wooden sign and 2,000 experience and automatically received a new mission. Mission goal. Talk to the blacksmith and the owner of the shop to receive a suit of equipment that suits you. The reward is a blank warrior armor. It seems that this is a benefit for newbies. But if you don't give equipment before fighting monsters, it will be very dangerous to fight the coyote. Probably to let players know that teamwork is stronger than individual strength. After all, 
It would be much easier if you just kill 10 wolves, collect the equipment, and then form a team to upgrade. Come to the blacksmith shop and find the blacksmith shop owner again. Budao Wan, congratulations on officially becoming a qualified trainee warrior. Go get your own set of armor. This was another official statement. Just when Lu Yuan turned around to collect the reward, the owner of the blacksmith shop suddenly spoke again. Budao Wan, is it you? Were you the one who brought me a letter during the day? When Lu Yuan was asked, he was stunned and thought, Does he want to take back the sword he gave me? This is the only sword I have with me that I can see through. Although he was confused and afraid that the sword would be taken back, Lu Yuan still he nodded and said, I did send you a letter during the day. It was Brother Zhang, the blacksmith of Taoyuan village, who asked me to come to the holy city and bring you a message. Is he okay? The blacksmith owner said with a longing look on his face. I was too busy during the day. Many rich people came to buy some equipment from me through connections. Speaking of you, boy, I gave you the sword, but you took it directly go away. Don't understand the rules. What rules? I really don't know. Brother Zhang is doing very well in Taoyuan village. He beats farm tools for the villagers, and he is quite comfortable drinking. Lu Yuan was confused at first, and then briefly told Zhang Dachui. Hey, my brother actually ran there. It seems he is really tired of the disputes. He actually changed his name to Zhang Dachui. It's really tacky, the blacksmith said to himself after listening to Lu Yuan's narration. Isn't he your junior brother? How come he is your younger brother? Lu Yuan asked. The blacksmith glanced at Lu Yuan and then said, I have read the letter. My brother said that he and you hit it off immediately. He hasn't had such a good time drinking for a long time. Moreover, you told him a lot about forging, although he didn't understand it very well. Seems to be beyond the common sense of this world. But I vaguely feel that it makes sense. So I wrote this letter. If you are interested in learning blacksmithing, I can personally accept you as a disciple. There is no need to hesitate. As a smart person, you know there is money to be made without even thinking. Are you really willing to accept me as your disciple? That would be great. But your strength is too low now. And you can't learn anything advanced. You have to rely on your own efforts to practice slowly. Learning from me is similar to learning blacksmithing. Except that your upper limit will be higher than that of ordinary apprentices. That's not the case. It depends on your own talent. If you work hard enough, you might even become the god of craftsmen. The blacksmith said proudly. The god of craftsmen. You already know how naughty he is just by hearing. Master, I will work hard. Since you have completed the training of a trainee warrior and are my apprentice, I will change the reward and give you a set of equipment. But you must remember that this is the only time that my master will give you convenience. And I will give you all the conveniences in the future. Rely on yourself. Although I don't care about these rags. Do you know how much money others have to spend to trust relationships? And how much money they have to pay to buy them? And they are not half as good as what I gave you. But the rules are set for outsiders. So it can be regarded as a little compensation for my brother. After saying that, he waved his hand and handed the reward to Lu Yuan. Ding congratulations on getting the title and learning skills from a teacher. Whenever the player reaches a certain level of intimacy or has a special relationship with an NPC, both parties can agree to become a teacher. The foundation of what you learn under the apprenticeship will not be strengthened. But the upper limit of what you can learn will be higher than normal. Players who become apprentices are one level higher. And of course, it also depends on whether the master is a famous teacher. Ding get the unparalleled iron helmet. The unparalleled iron armor. The unparalleled iron belt. The unparalleled iron trouser legs. And the unparalleled iron boots. Congratulations on getting the Apei Wufeng. Chapter 6 Zhang Feng Zhongli. Do you know that for humans? What is the most important thing is to defeat various monsters enemies, and even mythical beasts. Before Lu Yuan could recover from the surprise, the blacksmith suddenly spoke. It's no wonder that Lu Yuan was surprised. This feeling of getting rich overnight was hard to accept. After making sure that what he experienced was not an illusion, he thought for a while and replied, Equipment? Smart? Compared to monsters? Humans don't have such a strong body. Sharp fangs. Keen sense of smell. And even less explosive speed. So what do humans rely on to stand at the top? It's wisdom. It is human beings who arm themselves, based on exercise, and then use arms to become strong. If they don't have sharp teeth, they use sharp weapons. If they don't have a strong body, they use heavy armor. 
any speed and explosive power can be compensated for. The reason why a warrior can slay a dragon is because he is a weapon that can cut through the dragon's skin. As long as he is well armed, he can stand firm. The blacksmith suddenly became bold and gave an impassioned speech. Lu Yuan almost shouted the slogan. As long as you are well armed, no one can defeat you. Lu Yuan listened attentively on the surface, but he thought in his heart. This is a typical example of doing one thing and loving the other. Just like those who believe in Buddhism, Amitabha Buddha, and those who believe in Jesus. May the Lord bless you every day. No one is wrong. But you cannot completely rely on it. External force. Forging iron requires one's own hardness. This is Lu Yuan's opinion. And they should complement each other. If one's own abilities are not refined and are just the basics, then even a magical weapon will be in vain. Of course, these words must not be said to spoil the fun. Well, well, the master is right. Lu Yuan agreed seriously. After all, he has short hands. But don't think too much about good things. If you don't have the strength to give you that magical weapon, you won't be able to wear it. Do you understand? The blacksmith added when he saw that Lu Yuan was listening seriously. It seems that he is not an ignorant equipment fanatic. Maybe it's just that the weapons he mentioned are beyond my knowledge. After all, this is a game world. Lu Yuanxin thought and asked his own question. Master, how many pieces of equipment are there in total? What level is it? The one-handed sword you gave me before was primary equipment. What about the rest? You don't even understand these basic knowledge? It's really a headache. No wonder you haven't seen high-end equipment at your level. There are six levels of equipment in total. Whiteboard equipment is the lowest level and can be bought in ordinary stores. Arrive. Green is an intermediate equipment, which can be used by most wild monsters. Because there are a large number of people coming in today and there are not so many green equipment. So most of the equipment that outsiders buy from me through connections is this kind of equipment. Blue is high-end equipment. Generally, the elite monsters on the world map can explode and the drop probability is pretty good. Of course, it also depends on luck. But there will be some other things. Purple rare equipment is relatively rare. Boss will appear in various areas of the world map. Or later dungeon boss will appear. The chance of rare equipment breaking out is relatively small. And of course, it can be crafted. Orange epic equipment is only produced by world bosses and top level dungeons. And the probability is extremely low. At my level, I have only created one orange epic equipment so far, and it was only an auxiliary equipment. Red artifacts. Legend has it that only mythical beasts can explode. My brother and I had traveled across the mainland for many years and had never seen one. It was a legendary thing. If the forging can reach the level of a craftsman, maybe it can be made. Right? At the end of the sentence, the blacksmith's eyes were full of yearning. Master, what is your relationship with Brother Zhang? He calls you senior brother but you call him younger brother. Lu Yuan asked doubtfully. He is my junior brother and my younger brother. My name is Zhang Feng and his name is Zhang Li. We both joined the master to learn forging. Went out together to experience and exchange experiences and went through hardships together to find rare ores and various materials. Just for the sake of having I can break through to the level of the god of craftsmen in one day. Take a look at the limits of this forging. No one knows how to go on this road and no one can tell you how to go. I am just a peak master craftsman. I obviously feel that I am already proficient. But I always feel like something is almost missing. Speaking of this, Zhang Feng suddenly froze. Master? Lu Yuan asked softly. Oh, when I think about this, I always wonder how bad I am. And I get distracted. During our many years of traveling, our brothers met an injured and unconscious lady. At that time, her armor was almost shattered. And all the weapons she carried had been thrown away. Where? She must have fallen while fighting a monster. We rescued her to our temporary residence and asked the most famous local doctor to help treat her. Only then did she save her life. And the lady who cleaned up surprised us two brothers. How heroic and beautiful that is. Speaking of John Fong, he fell into memories again. Master? Lu Yuan called softly and speechlessly. Zhang Fong blushed and continued with a bit of embarrassment. In the next few days, my brother Zhang Li, and I worked together to build a set of top quality equipment for her. She happened to be traveling around to practice her fighting skills. So she went with us. Those years were wonderful years. And my brother and I also had a secret love for her. Finally, I used the materials I had collected over the years and tried my best to create an epic ring. The feeling was simply indescribable. I was so excited. 
I found her and personally gave her this epic ring. However, what I didn't expect was that Zhang Li saw me doing this and understood what I meant. The next day, he left a letter wishing us happiness and left without saying goodbye. There has been no news for so many years. Although I understood my brother's intentions, I felt sorry for him. If I continued to be with her, I would always feel guilty. Later, I also left a letter and left without saying goodbye. Later, when I arrived in the holy city, I took root here. After saying this, Zhang Feng looked lonely and missing. He didn't know whether he missed his brother or her. Lu Yuan was helpless after hearing this. These two brothers were really brothers. They both did this without saying goodbye and didn't even ask the woman what she thought. Then he asked, What's her name? Farong. I named that ring Farong ring after her. Zhang Feng said sadly. Zhang Feng continued, It's getting late. I've told you so much. I'd like to take some time to learn mining. The basics of forging are refining without using a furnace. Get yourself a forging hammer and practice it for your convenience. Master, when will I come to learn from you? Lu Yuan asked. Come to me if you have nothing to do. I'm doing you a favor. It's much easier for you adventurers to make things than us. I understand. Zhang Feng winked at Lu Yuan. Zhang Feng had always given Lu Yuan the impression of being quite serious and deep. His sudden change of attitude made him uncomfortable. Well, Master, I won't bother you at this late hour. Well, Master, let me in. Cultivation is personal. You have to work hard. If you really don't understand, come and ask me again. Zhang Feng added and walked away. Lu Yuan walked out of the weapons store and saw that it was almost dawn in the game. But it was already past 2 o'clock in the morning in reality. After hearing Zhang Feng's story, I didn't want to continue killing monsters for some reason. I was about to go offline and go to bed. Suddenly I remembered that I had received some equipment and hadn't checked what attributes it had. So I immediately opened my backpack. Unparalleled Iron Helm. Quality, premium. Usage level, 15. Physical defense plus 120. Magic defense plus 120. Strength plus 8. Intelligence plus 8. Additional, reduce headshot damage by 20%. Unparalleled iron armor. Quality, premium. Usage level, 15. Physical defense plus 300. Magic defense plus 300. Strength plus 9. Intelligence plus 6. Stamina plus 15. Unparalleled iron belt. Quality, premium. Usage level, 15. Physical defense plus 200. Magic defense plus 200. Strength plus 6. Intelligence plus 4. Additional, increase health by 10%. Unparalleled fine iron trouser legs. Quality, premium. Usage level, 15. Physical defense plus 220. Magic defense plus 220. Strength plus 9. Intelligence plus 6. Additional, stamina plus 10%. Unrivaled Iron Boots. Quality, Premium. Usage Level, 15. Physical Defense, 100. Magic Defense, 100. Strength, plus 6. Intelligence, plus 4. Stamina, plus 10. Additional, Movement Speed Increased by 20%. Heavy Sword Without Edge. Quality, Rare Two-Handed Sword. Usage Level, 15. Physical Attack Power, 480 Strength, plus 45. Additional, sacrifice 50% of the attack speed, double the attack, and have a 5% chance to stun the enemy for 5 seconds. Lu Yuan was dazzled after seeing these pieces of equipment. Wearing this equipment, the coyote would probably be able to beat him without even losing blood. Right? I didn't expect the attributes of rare level weapons to be so simple. But it's really simple and crude. The name of the armor looks like a suit. But it doesn't have suit attributes. It's probably because the equipment's level is too low. After putting on all the equipment, he didn't wait to check the attributes, but found that all the eyes on the street were looking at him. It turned out that the equipment was glowing. Maybe the sword was too old, and he didn't pay much attention to it during the day. This blue light, and the deep purple light of the weapon, are really too dazzling in this not-so-dark night. I quickly set up the settings to turn off the equipment light, and then hurriedly logged off. However, it was still captured by the player's photo mode. Chapter 7 One Knife 999 at 7.45 in the morning, Lu Yuan had finished his run and returned to his dormitory with a breakfast. It's really crazy to see that Zhao Xingha hasn't even gone offline yet. Then he pressed the call button on his helmet to ask him to come out for dinner. Oh, it's already dawn. I was having so much fun that I lost track of time. 
Zhao Xinghe didn't feel tired after playing the game, but said with excitement on his face, You're really excited. It seems like staying up all night didn't affect your sleep. Liu Yuan looked at him and said speechlessly, Yeah, breakfast. I'm just hungry. After saying that, he picked up a bun and stuffed it into his mouth. How are you doing? What level are you at? I've already reached level 18 and have 50% experience. Hurry up. I'll tell you. Oh, yesterday when I went back to the city to buy medicine, I saw a player selling a green staff. So I bought it for 1,000 yuan. The damage is much higher. Lu Yuan looked at Zhao Xinghe and was speechless for a while. He was really a down-to-earth rich second generation. Can you finish eating and talk? I have one-third of the experience of level 15. After eating, wash up quickly and go to class. La, you can just call your name for me. I've made an appointment with those teammates to have dinner and continue killing monsters together. Zhao Xinghe looked at Lu Yuan with some confusion. Do you think there are some of our teachers who don't know you? But do you think there are some who don't know me? How can we do that? Lu Yuan shrugged helplessly. Anyway, I don't plan to go today. No one has reached level 20 yet. Maybe I can move up the level rankings. Zhao Xinghe said confidently. Lu Yuan patted Zhao Xinghe on the shoulder, smiled slightly, and walked out of the dormitory without saying anything. Anyway, it wasn't the first day that this kid skipped class. When I arrived at the classroom, I found that nearly half of my classmates did not come to class today. Needless to say, they must all be playing games. It really fulfilled that sentence. The university you are admitted to is just a matter of where you are destined to play games. The classmates who came to class were also talking about what happened in Taoyuan. I was wandering around the city yesterday and saw a blind beggar who had been begging for help. I thought he had some hidden mission. So I gave him a copper coin. Unexpectedly, there was no response. So I gave him a few more. And the same thing happened. No response. I waited for a while, and guess what? This guy actually took off his blindfold and took the money and ran away. He is a liar. I chased him for several streets and refused to admit it. I was so angry. A boy was there. I talked about the experience with my friends. This game is so realistic. And those monsters are so fierce. If Lu Yong hadn't protected me yesterday, I probably wouldn't have been able to play anymore. A girl said weakly and looked at another boy lovingly. The boy raised an eyebrow at her. Just hang out with me and let his broad arms protect you. After that, he opened his arms and hugged the girl, causing a burst of cheers from his classmates. How were you yesterday? It looks like you got offline very early. Look at how hard Xiao Xingha works. Lu Yuan followed the voice and saw that it was Li Tong who was asking himself. I was a little tired from hunting coyotes yesterday, so I went down to bed early. Oh, I bought a blue quality bow and arrow from the studio yesterday. The attack power is much higher. Unfortunately, there are too few skills that can be used in the early stage. Otherwise, I can level up faster. There is a copy at level 20 you can fight. You have to work hard to upgrade. Then we will download the dungeon together. Li Tong happily talked about his situation. Okay, let's get together then. For some reason, Lu Yuan always didn't know what to do when faced with Li Tong's overtures and he also knew that his reply was indeed cold. When the teacher came, he was not surprised to see half the number of students than usual. He smiled and said, We won't take roll call today. Let's go to class. At the end of the day's class, since the lunch break was neither long nor short, Lu Yuan did not go online. By the afternoon, there were fewer people coming to class. So the teacher simply asked him to study by himself and went to report to the school. When I returned to the dormitory, I was surprised to find that Zhao Xinghe didn't play games. He was sitting in front of the computer and didn't know what he was watching. Hey, why don't you, a game geek, not play games? Zhao Xinghe looked back and said, We're back. A group of leveling madmen have already reached level 20. I didn't make it to the rankings. I'm tired after playing all day and night and take a rest. Check the information to see if there are any tips or strategies. Something like that. If you look at the most popular post, Someone is already wearing blue equipment and holding a purple giant sword. When Lu Yuan saw the title, a wealthy man appeared on the street wearing equipment worth tens of millions of dollars. Lu Yuan was shocked. It was clearly him. This is me. Lu Yuan calmed down and said, Stop talking nonsense. Do you know how much this equipment costs? The key is that you can't buy it now if you have money. Zhao Xinghe thought Lu Yuan was bragging. If you don't believe me, 
I'll throw you away. The character's name is indeed not shown on the picture. And the person's face can't be seen clearly in the dark night, and the equipment is bright. I'm going to play the game. Have you eaten? Lu Yuan didn't forget to pay attention to his roommate. I can eat the bowl of noodles. I also want to upgrade to level 20, so that I can clear the dungeon. I think I will have more equipment when I reach level 20. I will be awesome if I buy one. Haha, <laughs> Zhao Xingha has already fallen into his own YY. Lu Yuan stopped caring about him and entered the game. The first thing I do when entering the game is to open the character list and take a look. Player, not happy. Level 15 Trainee Warrior. Experience, 38950-124212. Occupation, Trainee Warrior. Life, 1761. Magic Value, 650. Strength, 148. Intelligence, 39. Spirit, 20. Agility, 27. Stamina, 48. Attack, 12 20 12 60. Defense, 940. Skill. Slam. Cooling time is 1 second. Consumes 20 mana slash time. Basic skills cause 100% basic damage. Additional weapon attack power, affected by monster defense. You wouldn't know it if you didn't look at it. But you would be shocked when you look at it. Yesterday. My defense was still in double digits. Today. I might be able to stand in the wolf's den and dance. The belt adds 10% health. The weapon adds a lot of strength. And the various attributes add up to over a thousand. The defense power has also reached 940. This is too abnormal. After thinking about it, I felt relieved. There are a few people of the same level who can suddenly wear a set of high-end equipment. I'm afraid they can't buy it even if they have money. Therefore, the monsters are mainly aimed at whiteboard players. And wearing a few green items players with the equipment can basically spawn monsters efficiently. As for the blue quality, you will know after trying it for a while. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to go out and go to the center of the square to sell his old blast sword. Although the first echelon was already very high, there were still players who entered the game later, including some who were not short of money. Although the green equipment was lower than the first there will be more days. But after all, there are so many players that demand simply exceeds supply. I set up a stall and hung a sword with 10 gold coins. And it was bought within 2 minutes. Due to the high demand for gold coins, the early yield rate is low. Although there are many people selling gold coins to make money, the supply is still in short supply. And the ratio has stabilized at 50 renminbi per gold coin. Yesterday a green weapon could be sold for 1000. But today it is half the price. After all, it is of low level and updates too quickly. But in which other game can such low level equipment be so valuable and so easy to sell? Now that I have a weapon, I can be considered a rich man. I went to the grocery store and got the same basic blue medicine and red medicine for 500 each. I went to the warrior instructor again and learned a skill. At level 15, I can learn the second skill. Charge. Charge. Rush towards the target desperately at an extremely fast speed and stun it for 3 seconds. There is a chance to deter the opponent and make the slam skill non-cooling for a period of time. Cooling time 15 seconds. Lu Yuan is very satisfied with this skill. He can get close to the enemy quickly and has control. Everything was ready. I looked at the time and it was past 5 p.m. I didn't know when the small milk bottle would be online today. Silent all the way. Lu Yuan came to the coyote again and charged at the wolf. The poor little wolf was stunned and then hit hard. Minus 1000. The poor little wolf fell down directly. Unfortunately, its full health was only 1000. Otherwise I don't know how much health it could hit. Is this the legendary 999 with a sword? Although the charge is good, the cooldown time is too long. For a full 15 seconds, Lu Yuan had no choice but to find a little wolf and walk over. He was not in a hurry to fight. Lu Yuan just wanted to see how much blood it could bite him. As usual, after being bitten, his blood volume increased. Minus one. Lu Yuan was very satisfied that his defense was no longer broken. He picked up his sword and hacked him to death earning 150 experience points. In fact, Lu Yuan could kill some high-level monsters. But Lu Yuan didn't want to leave. Maybe he wanted to wait for something? Chapter 8 The One with the Big Sword Listen. Although the experience given by the coyote is relatively small. After all, it has surpassed the monster level. But Lu Yuan does not want to leave. Maybe it's to save effort. Or maybe you have expectations in your heart? Although the experience is small and expensive, 
It can be called a bug. With more than 120,000 experience upgrades, I have about a third of the experience to upgrade. In other words, if I kill six or 700 coyotes, I will be upgraded. It is not easy for my current offense and defense. Just upgrade to level 16 here. If she doesn't come online, find a more suitable monster area. Since the coyotes were no longer able to break through the defense, Lu Yuan began to walk towards the center where the monsters were densely spawned, deliberately arousing the hatred of the monsters along the way. After a while, nearly 20 coyotes were behind him. Lu Yuan had an idea. If swing your own big sword, can you kill several monsters at once? Just do it if you think of it, because the game is completely realistic. Attacks other than skills are also allowed, but there are no additional skills learned. High damage. The heavy sword was dragged around the waist and twisted, and the edgeless heavy sword, which was about one meter and a half long and about two centimeters thick, was thrown towards the group of poor wolves with a sound of wind. When it comes to the first one, it kills it instantly, and the second one also kills it instantly. But when it comes to the third one, it only loses one third of two's health. The amount of blood lost in the following steps was getting less and less. And by the sixth they pay, it was intercepted and stopped. It seems that the strength is not strong enough. It is really consistent with realistic mechanics. But Lu Yuan was still very happy. It cost no mana, almost no blood consumption, and he was able to kill several at once. It was really fun. So he started his own journey of monster groups, getting closer and closer to places where wolves are densely packed. And there were fewer and fewer ordinary players, because most players couldn't withstand the attacks of so many wild wolves. There are only two or three sparsely complete teams of players fighting coyotes here, but they don't interfere with each other. However, with the arrival of Lu Yuan, a large number of monsters were attracted to his own group, resulting in a significant reduction in the number of monsters that these teams of players could defeat. The players of these teams have obviously surpassed the level of the coyotes. The reason why they are still here to spawn monsters is for efficiency. This sudden outsider has greatly affected them. Hey! The one with the big sword! Listen! Get out of this area quickly! We from the Troubled Times Guild have already taken over this place! The empty guardian in one of the teams shouted to Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan ignored it when he heard it. You and your guild still own the territory in the public area and continue to swarm monsters on your own. Those groups of people. Seeing how he can fight so many monsters by himself. And he can do so with ease. He must be a powerful man. And he is dressed in top quality. I'm not stupid enough to offend him too much. Although I feel unhappy. I don't want to get into too much trouble. Who wants to offend a rich man? After living in peace for a while, the air not far away suddenly became distorted. This was the first time Li Yuan had seen this situation. He didn't know what was going on. Several other groups also noticed something strange here and ran towards it one after another. Come! Because he was relatively close to Li Yuan. Li Yuan was not in a hurry. After a few seconds, he saw a coyote that was two circles larger than the ordinary coyote. The hair on its body was like steel needles and the monster with sharp teeth and claws was refreshed. With purple-red current, Lu Yuan is not stupid either. Could it be that the regional boss has been refreshed? What a coincidence! Looking at the groups of people coming over there, Lu Yuan ignored them and charged first to grab the hatred of the Wolf King. Then take a look at the basic attributes of the Wolf King. The Ferocious Claw Wolf King is level 18 and has 45,000 HP. Taking a look at the blood volume, it was really quite a lot. If I had done this before, I would have been instantly killed by the Wolf King without even getting a scratch. Lu Yuan, who was confident in his heart, was not in a hurry to deal with monsters using the old routine of slashing plus slamming. Dash 830, dash 1123. It seems that the boss's defense is quite high. It took more than 1,200 attack power of my own to kill it with more than 800 HP. I don't know how long those with poor equipment will have to fight. Minus 58. The Wolf King's Claw took away 58 points of blood from Lu Yuan. And he actually broke through the defense. As expected of a boss. I can break through the defense with such a high defense. I don't know if others can withstand it. At this time, the other three teams also came to the front. But did not take action. Because Lu Yuan was the first mover of the monster. Only Lu Yuan died or left the battle. The ownership of the monster could be taken away. At this time, Lu Yuan also saw I understand. It turns out that these teams are all well-matched and full formations. And their levels are far higher than the ordinary monsters here. They are probably here specifically to spawn monsters. Although they sacrifice some experience gain. 
they can grab the regional boss and explode more. High-end equipment. However, wild PK and intentional killing are not allowed before level 20. All to protect novice players from being harmed by malicious groups. Listen to the one with the big sword. Quickly take off the hatred of the monster. Our guild in troubled times has been squatting here for a day. If you don't want to be our enemy, I advise you to give up. Otherwise, wait until level 20, and we will chase the entire guild. Kill you, no matter who you are. Still the leader of the Guardians spoke. It's a pity that you can't kill people. Otherwise, I would go around and cut his neck and kill him instantly, said an assassin next to him. Lu Yuan didn't bother to respond and continued to kill monsters. They couldn't threaten him anyway, so he just let them watch. Fortunately, he bought some blood medicine and blue medicine. Although it wasn't particularly painful, it still needed some endurance, especially for Half-Life. After the blood, the Wolf King's whole body glowed red, and he even hit himself with more than 100 drops of blood. But his relative defense was also reduced a lot. Brother, our three teams are all afraid that we won't be able to handle this Wolf King. But he seems to be effortless. Why don't we stop messing with him? The assassin whispered to the guardian. It's all said and done. Why don't we lose face in this troubled world? His health volume is over 1,700. Which is nearly 1,000 less than mine. But his defense is so abnormal. I guess even a single hit from the Wolf King would cause 400 to 500 damage. Go crazy. If so, even more. It looks like he is really a rich man wearing top-notch equipment. The Guardian also analyzed in a low voice. At this moment, the Wolf King, whose blood volume was less than 30%, suddenly roared and began to summon the Coyote Brothers. Lu Yuan wasn't afraid at first glance, but was a little surprised. It just saved him the trouble of running back and forth to attract monsters. He stopped fighting the Wolf King and started to swarm the mobs. Anyway, with enough blood medicine, the Wolf King could deal as much damage as he wanted. Moreover, the Wolf King seemed to have entered a weak state after going berserk. He only had about 20 drops of blood when he hit himself. Just like this, you can see the question marks on the faces of the Troubled Times Guild next to you. And there are also people who use boss to attract monsters to upgrade? Good boy. You're not happy. Right. We'll remember you. So be careful in the wild in the future. After the leader MT finished speaking harshly, he signaled for everyone in his guild to evacuate. There is no point in continuing to guard, as only one boss will be refreshed at random times a day. Lu Yuan ignored them. But Lu Yuan was not stupid. He wrote down the names of the MT and the assassin. Handsome brother in troubled times. Troubled times hurt my heart. It seems that people in some dramas become more arrogant without legal sanctions. But 30 only level 20 can form a guild. Even if you can kill people at level 20, not just anyone can kill me. Right. Lu Yuan thought to himself. Due to the previous group of monsters and the call of the Wolf King, Lu Yuan was about to level up after a while. When he saw that the Wolf King had regained a lot of blood, he stopped procrastinating and tried his best to deal damage to the Wolf King. After a while, the Wolf King then he fell down. On the other hand, I had taken dozens of bottles of blood medicine. So I was lucky to be prepared. Otherwise, even if my defense was high, I would still be exhausted. After all, the boss's blood volume was really high. Lu Yuan also forgot to consider that these regional bosses were prepared for the team. Who would have thought that he would be singled out? With the fall of the boss, Lu Yuan also rose to level 16. Looking at the things that exploded on the ground. It wasn't much. The money was one gold coin and 30 silver coins. There is a blue quality dagger. And another material. The claws of the Wolf King. Sharp Wolf King dagger. Quality. Blue. Level. Can be used by level 15 assassins. Attack. 200 and 2300. Intelligence plus 25. Spirit plus 25. Agility plus 15. Additional active skill. Wolf Fong. After use. The damage of the next normal attack is doubled. And the cooling time is 60 seconds. Wolf King Claw. Can be used for crafting. Or sold to merchants. Lu Yuan was a little excited when he saw the equipment released by the first monster. It had good attributes and looked like it could be sold for a good price. The basic attack of that one was doubled. It was invincible to the assassin. If he got a critical hit through the group hunting of coyotes just now, Lu Yuan realized a trick of this game. In addition to skills, you can also fight enemies according to your own ideas. It is not as high as the skill bonus, but it can be adapted to local conditions and has miraculous effects. 
which is more realistic. Another point Li Yuan discovered is that sometimes the damage is inexplicably much higher. If you look carefully, every time the damage is high, it hits the coyote's waist. Because animals, like wolves, have always been copper-headed and iron-boned. Monsters have weaknesses. Just like an assassin's neck slitting. It seems that, Tao Yuan, is really a realistic world. It can be said to be a complete independent world. From knowing nothing. To figuring out the rules on his own. To being unknown about the future. Lu Yuan suddenly became full of interest. What else is waiting for us to discover? After taking a look at the friend list, I saw that the person I wanted to wait for wasn't online yet. Zhao Xinghe's, Lan Xinghe, was already at level 19. While Li Tong's, Red Plum Snow, was already at level 20. Let's go back to the city first and sell the weapons first. Otherwise they will become less and less valuable. By the way, we can replenish some medicine and find a new location to upgrade. After Li Yuan decided, he started to return to the city. Chapter 9 Skeleton Cave After Lu Yuan returned to the city, he did not hang around and went to the stall area to set up a stall. The dagger was listed for 100 gold coins. In fact, according to the market and the top attributes, it should be able to sell more. However, Lu Yuan does not want to delay for too long now. He just wants to exchange some working capital and then seize more resources because he felt that the profits would be greater in the future. The Wolf King's Claws were listed for 10 gold coins for no apparent reason. The weapons were bought a few minutes later, but no one was interested in the Wolf King Claw. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to sell it. After all, he might be able to use it in the future. After collecting the stall, he walked to the living and professional area. Let's learn mining first. When you encounter ores, dig them out and practice your forging proficiency. Lu Yuan's thinking was clear. After all, everything should be done step by step. You can't wait to practice together. Otherwise it would waste time. After learning the mining skills and asking where there were more ores, Lu Yuan went to the pharmacy to replenish the blood medicine. Because he had a lot of basic attacks before. He didn't use enough blue medicine. Exit the north gate. Cross a river and see a mountain range. You can find scattered mineral veins along the foot of the mountain. However, there is a skull cave there. It is recommended not to enter it at your current level. The mining instructor told Lu Far. He glanced at the time and saw that it was already 10 o'clock in the evening. He looked at his friend list and saw that Zhao Xinghe was already at level 19 and Li Tong was still at level 20. Xinghe, what are you doing? Lu Yuan sent a message. I'm leveling up. We're playing Cobra as a team. Now many people have reached level 20 and are going to level up the first dungeon that appears. Don't you look at the level rankings? The top ones are all level 21. So it's been a long time, and it's probably going to be upgraded soon. Zhao Xinghe sent a series of messages in one breath. I really don't pay much attention to it. Anyway, I'm far behind, so I didn't look at the list. Okay, go ahead and ask. Lu Yuan replied. Okay then, I said you hold on tight. Don't be left too far behind. Zhao Xinghe looked concerned about Lu Yuan. Working hard. Lu Yuan looked at the friend list. There were only three people, and one was not online. After thinking about it, he didn't bother Li Tong. He knew about Li Tong's goodwill, but he always felt that the gap was too big. After all, Lu Yuan really didn't want to make the same mistake again. In fact, Lu Yuan is very popular. He just wanted to make some pocket money when he played the game. So he didn't add too many friends. After playing for two days, he felt deeply attracted by the game. Each NPC seems indifferent, but has its own story, either sad or brilliant. There is also this unknown world, and we have only touched the tip of the iceberg now, walking not far from the north gate. The monsters that are refreshed are no longer mainly animals, but humanoid monsters such as highway robbers. Highwaymen level 16. HP 5000. The ferocious-looking robber rushed towards Lu Yuan with a big knife. Lu Yuan responded with a charge, and stunned the robber to the ground with a flat slash plus punch. Before the stun was over, he hit another flat slash. Although this AP has a high attack speed, its attack speed is really slow. Dash 1020, dash 1230, minus 980. With three injuries floating around, it looked like the robber's defense in civilian clothes was really poor. Minus 30. There was also a damage on Lu Yuan's head. Monsters of the same level only dealt this amount of damage to Lu Yuan which made Lu Yuan sigh that. As long as the equipment is good, no one can defeat him. After thinking about it, 
he was close to with a defense of 1,000. The robbers can break through this monster's attack, which is insane enough. A mage would be so tired that he would be hacked to death with two swords. After all, Lu Yuan has never practiced other professions, and the fragile profession cannot stand and fight monsters. So he is overly worried. If the average equipment has a few hundred defenses lower than Lu Yuan's, it will probably cost a few hundred HP. A guardian who mainly grows up with life defense will not have any pressure to fight against two or three monsters. Cooperating with teammates to increase HP is the mainstream monster spawning rhythm. Well, after all, Lu Yuan is so neatly dressed that I don't know if there is anyone else in the whole area. Thinking about it, Lu Yuan casually dealt with the robbers, who had little remaining health. Low defense and high skill suited him, but he only gave 300 experience points, which was a drop in the bucket, and there were no wars around. Let's go further and have a look. Finally arrived at the foot of the mountain and saw that the monsters here were also humanoid. Bandit level 18. HP 8000. Lu Yuan looked at the bandit who was two levels higher than him and decided to try the monster's attack and defense. He found a lone bandit and rushed forward. He used the old trick of charging. Slashing. Slashing. And slashing. Lu Yuan himself sighed. Tongue. This skill is too monotonous. When will there be more skills? Dash 810, dash 978, minus 829. The three damage effects are obvious. The level 18 bandit's defense is much higher than that of the robber. In fact, it can be seen from the monster model that the bandit is already wearing some armor similar to leather armor. Dash 43, dash 36. The bandit's two knives fell on Lu Yuan one after another, and his attack was much higher than that of the robber. Obviously with 8,000 health, it would be quite troublesome for Lu Yuan to kill the bandit alone. And he would have to eat blood occasionally. The medicine slowly wore the bandit to death. I got 1,000 experience points after killing a bandit. The experience was much higher than that of the robber. Probably because I could skip a level by doing it alone. If you form a team to farm monsters, some experience will be shared among your teammates. But it will be more efficient. Bandits are not good. If you go back to the city and kill dozens of them, you will have to fight at least 2,000 bandits with nearly 200,000 upgrade experience. No wonder they say it will be difficult to upgrade after level 15. This is inefficient and slow to defeat monsters, and is not as cost-effective as the robbers. After a simple mental calculation, Lu Yuan came up with the answer. You can't come this far in vain. Let's look for or first. Look for or along the foot of the mountain. If you encounter a lone bandit who can't hide, Lu Yuan will kill him. It seems that this is the or. There is an obvious protrusion that looks similar to stone, but is obviously different. Lu Yuan finally found a piece and started mining. After all, it is a game, and some things should not be too complicated. As soon as the mining skill is used, Lu Yuan's character starts digging automatically. After the progress bar is read, the system prompts congratulations on getting Copper Mine Asterisk 3. It should be a random number. Life skill. It looks similar to previous games. After picking them up, I didn't stop and continued searching. Collecting was really not an easy task. Although the picking was quite intensive, it was impossible to stand still in one place. This may be to prevent the amount of collected materials from affecting the market price. While digging, Lu Yuan unexpectedly saw a cave. This should be the skeleton cave. Right. The NPC told me before that I should try not to go in. But as a player, I just want to explore. How can I gain anything by pursuing safety? Lu Yuan thought for a while. When in. The cave is not narrow and can accommodate several people walking side by side. It is not as dark as imagined, with blue will-o'-wisps floating everywhere. After all, the real game cannot allow players to hold fire bars for lighting. So how can they use weapons to fight? A monster. The mines in the cave were denser, which also surprised Lu Yuan. However, I didn't meet many players when I came out of the north gate. I guess the monsters in the south are more suitable for upgrading. The attacks at the north gate are generally higher. There are only some robbers. I guess they won't come to fight the bandits unless they upgrade to two or three levels. Walking further in, he suddenly heard a strange noise. And Lu Yuan cheered up in advance. He saw five skeletons walking in a row not far away. Holding broadswords in their hands. Looking like a patrol. Skeleton patroller level 16. HP 4000. After taking a look at the basic information. The level 16 monster Lu Yuan was no longer afraid. At this time, the monster also discovered Lu Yuan and spread out in formation to kill Lu Yuan. 
Lu Yuan was surprised when he saw this skill cooperation. But he didn't dare to neglect it. After all, he didn't know the monster's attack power. Lu Yuan chose a recent charge and a flat cut package. Dash 1020, dash 1280, minus 1030. He launched three attacks within four seconds of being stunned and almost killed the skeleton patrolman instantly. It seemed that his defense was very low. Could a pile of bones survive the beating? Dash 60, dash 58, minus 68, minus 63, minus 57. The damage of the five patrols was also reduced. It seemed that they had high attack and low defense. The robbers of the same level had just lost about 30 of their health. This damage was more than twice as high. Ordinary people would probably not dare to do so. Come here. Lu Yuan swung his heavy sword and started to swarm the monsters like a coyote. After all, only killing one would cause higher damage. But it would not be as efficient as this. An unexpected thing happened. When Lu Yuan's heavy sword swept across the waist of the skeleton soldier, the first one with remaining health was killed instantly. Then the second skeleton soldier was interrupted by the waist. The upper body bones of the separated family were scattered on the ground. The same was true for the third branch. The fourth and fifth branches received several hundred points of damage each. Weak point attack? It seems that when the strength reaches a certain level, the skeleton soldier's body cannot bear it. What Li Yuan didn't know was that because he happened to be using an ape, a one-handed sword would not be able to achieve this effect. The scattered skeleton soldiers did not die, but merged automatically after a burst of beating. Lu Yuan continued to sweep without giving the skeleton soldiers a chance. But one of them was resurrected. Lu Yuan saw that although he was resurrected, his health was reduced by half. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Wasn't this experience delivered to his door? Each skeleton soldier gave Lu Yuan 500 experience points. After a while, he got 2,500 experience points. Since he could mine, it seemed that this place was suitable for him. Chapter 10 Poor Little Skeleton After Lu Yuan discovered the weakness of the skeleton, he mined all the way to the depths of the cave, except for the patrols. They began to encounter skeleton soldiers. They looked similar, but the skeleton soldiers had some armor left in random parts of their bodies, and their defense power was higher than that of the patrols. The attack power is also a little higher. The skeleton soldiers are not in groups, and they refresh at a certain distance. Along the way, Lu Yuan gradually gained experience in fighting skeleton soldiers. As long as he has enough strength, his bones can be broken into pieces. Although it can be reorganized, the blood volume will be reduced by half after resurrection. Reorganization also takes a few seconds. If the bones on the ground are broken at this time, the skeleton soldier will die. Since Lu Yuan had been purely adding strength points, he originally planned to add some endurance points later. But Lu Yuan, who had obtained a set of high-end equipment, did not particularly need defense. So he simply added strength later. By coincidence, he was equipped with a heavy sword, and he was able to play like a tiger in this cave. The experience was even easier than when he fought against wolves. Lu Yuan walked in the cave for a long time, and suddenly the front became wider. A wide area similar to a square appeared in front of him and there were about 30 skeleton soldiers in it. In the deepest part, I saw a monster that was obviously different from these skeleton soldiers. The armor on his body is more complete, and the weapon is no longer a machete, but a spear. Even if Lu Yuan is proficient at killing skeleton soldiers, he doesn't dare to be careless. Three or four of them together can be enough to swing the heavy sword and beat them to pieces. If there are too many, the skeletons that cannot be attacked will be attacked in one round. Lu Yuan who is so defensive, may not be able to withstand it. After all, his health is less than 2,000. Lu Yuan, who had no endurance points, did not have outstanding health in melee combat at the same level. If it were not for the 10% added by the belt, his health would probably be even lower than it is now. Just like this, Lu Yuan scattered a skeleton soldier, then charged at the next target and scattered them. Before the cooldown was good, he walked to the next target. When the one in front was resurrected, Lu Yuan stopped looking for the next one and scattered them again. After a few rounds, the skeleton soldier died. Along the way, the skeleton soldier did not explode many gold coins. The most was a few copper coins. Occasionally, a machete dropped from his hand. But it was all whiteboard equipment and not worth a few dollars. But the experience is still considerable. And I already have tens of thousands of experiences. After Lu Yuan had cleared away the skeleton soldiers in the square, he walked not far away from the distinctive skeleton monster. When he selected it, it turned out 
that it was not an ordinary soldier, but an elite monster. Captain Skeleton Level 18 HP 26,000. The blood volume is not very high, so I guess the offense and defense will be strengthened. I didn't pay much attention to it after just one glance, and I charged forward and went up to fight it hand to hand. What surprised Lu Yuan was that this skeleton captain didn't follow Lu Yuan's tactics. Sweeping could not break up this elite monster. He had no choice but to take out the three axes. Flat slash plus slam plus flat slash. And top. He grabbed the blood bottle and started slashing at the monster. I wish there were more skills at level 20. It's really monotonous. Lu Yuan said to himself helplessly. Captain Skeleton was no match for Lu Yuan among the elites. And fell down after a while. Checking the items that exploded. There were a few silver coins and a green spear. Although it was also a weapon used by soldiers. It was obvious that Lu Yuan did not like it. After fighting so many skeleton soldiers. Only one green equipment exploded. And the explosion rate was really not high. Looking not far away. I saw a slope. When I got closer. I felt that it was a passage extending downwards. I guess there is a second underground floor. Right. Lu Yuan thought. No one needed to tell me that the monsters on the next level must be of a higher level. Lu Yuan felt that going down might not be as efficient as now. But he still decided to go down and take a look first. And come back if it didn't work. Walking down the slope. I found that the cave was not much different from the first level. But the ore turned into iron ore. Which reminded me that my mining level was not high enough. I found two monsters. And found that the monster on this level had become a level 18 skeleton mage. Although the damage caused by hitting myself was higher. The interval between attacks also became longer. But what gave Lu Yuan a headache was that this skeleton mage it is difficult to get close. And it has the ability to slow down. It is too difficult for Lu Yuan to fight this mage when he is not charging. Although this mage is more fragile than the skeleton soldier. It is much more difficult to deal with. Lu Yuan didn't want to waste time and went back to the first floor to vent his depressed mood to the soldiers in the drum tower. Skeleton soldiers are refreshed in batches in about 5 minutes. And skeleton captains are refreshed in batches every 10 minutes because they are elite monsters. The refresh rate is generally slower than outside. Maybe it's because of the map's slightly special relationship? After playing for a while, Lu Yuan suddenly remembered that his equipment could still glow. Before he took a closer look at his special effects, he turned on the equipment light option in the settings. The armor on his body emitted a blue light. And it's not dazzling but looks like clouds surrounding the body. The weapon emits a purple light. Coupled with a thick sword blade. It seems to be even more powerful. Lu Yuan was very satisfied and took a picture of himself using the photo mode. It's really handsome. He was actually intoxicated with himself. At this time, the soldiers in the distance saw this light. Perhaps because they were used to being in darkness. They were even more disgusted with the light source. The distance between them became much farther. Several skeleton soldiers came towards Lu Yuan together. And Lu Yuan was a little surprised. But I'm more excited. Finally, I don't have to look for them one by one. It seems that the equipment is good. Isn't this a hidden benefit? After fighting the skeleton soldiers for more than an hour, Lu Yuan finally reached level 17. This time, Lu Yuan did not add attribute points to strength, but to agility. Lu Yuan felt that his attack power was enough. Now the defense is sufficient due to the equipment, but it lacks mobility. What if the person you encounter in the wild is not a skeleton mage but a player? It is estimated that if you have few skills in the early stage, you will be wandering around without charging. No matter how high the attack is, it won't be able to catch up with people. It will have to be properly balanced in the future. But the most important thing now is agility. Because Lu Yuan wants to look down to see what the secrets of this skull cave are. Seeing that my mining proficiency was almost full, and considering that although the experience of the next level was high, the efficiency was not necessarily higher than this. I decided to practice mining to level 2, and then go to the next level after raising the level to level 18. A little agility plus 3 dodge and 5 movement speed will increase the movement speed by 50 points at level 18. Making it much easier to defeat monsters on the next level. Lu Yuan went back and forth two more times. After he finished mining, he stayed in the center of the square where monsters were densest. When the monsters were not spawning, he took out his hammer to refine copper or and practice his forging proficiency. Refining is also simple. Select the refining skill. And the character will automatically mine copper or after refining, the copper ore becomes refined copper. There are two options in forging. One is to refine, and the other is to create. You can buy equipment blueprints or obtain them through other means. Generally, 
low-level blueprints are just whiteboard equipment. And there is a chance that there will be variations in quality. Green or blue when building. Depending on the proficiency and level of the builder. Of course, the most important thing in playing games may be luck. Advanced blueprints include some directly high-quality equipment. And general materials are more difficult to assemble. And even if you have enough proficiency to build it, the success rate is extremely low. You can build it repeatedly. But the consumption of materials will be a problem. The reason why the long-famous Zhang Feng, Lu Yuan's master, has only created one epic ring in so many years is because high-end equipment materials are rare. The success rate is low. And the requirements for ultimate moves are even more stringent. Lu Yuan refined the ore while beating these poor little skeletons. And finally reached level 18. It can be said that this leveling speed has surpassed the leveling speed of many fixed teams. After adding attribute points, Lu Yuan was ready to move to the next level. Chapter 11 The Third Floor of the Skull Cave When we came to the second floor again, it was no longer the same as before. First of all, iron ore can be mined. Secondly, it is easier to defeat the skeleton mage. Because it is faster, it is not so difficult to catch up with it. After all, the mage needs to chant to release his skills. So this is a good time to get close. Lu Yuan once again turned off the light of the equipment. After all, mages are long-range attacks. And sometimes, they are not noticed in the dark. If they are attracted by the light and launch a sneak attack, Lu Yuan will not be in trouble. Walking to the middle of the second floor, Lu Yuan found that the monsters had changed again. From time to time, there were combinations of skeletons, soldiers, mages, and doctors actually got some blood back. Lu Yuan felt strange. This monster had become a skeleton. How could it still cooperate? Could it be that it still had wisdom? Lu Yuan didn't care what their cooperation was. After all, Lu Yuan could fight monsters of the same level quite easily. After his agility increased, Lu Yuan found that he could actually dodge some attacks. The feeling of his body turning into a soul made Lu Yuan extremely happy. Although the increase was not much. For Lu Yuan, who had been playing with Ye Pei all day, it felt like he was flying. Lu Yuan groped along and came to an open area similar to the first level. Monsters gathered in groups of three or five. And the combinations of each pile were similar. There is also an elite monster holding a short sword in the distance. Is the elite monster on this floor a healer? Lu Yuan also followed the first level play method and defeated them one by one. Whenever he found a healer, he would kill them immediately. After all, there was a healer behind to support him. So it was much more difficult to clear the monsters. When more than half of it was cleared, the elite monsters were alerted somehow. It's probably because of the elite monsters in the legal system. The hatred range is far away. Or maybe it's because of the setting. After all, all the elite healer monsters and the younger brothers are dead. And his attack power is not enough to threaten the players. Seeing more than a dozen skeleton soldiers coming at him together, Lu Yuan felt dizzy. If they were attacked together, he would not be able to withstand it despite his high defense. He could only pull and fight. Lu Yuan used his charge skill to rush to the group of monsters on the edge. He first used his already very skilled sweep to scatter the four skeleton soldiers in this group. And then don't wait for them to resurrect. And don't be greedy for the knife. Then, they distanced themselves from each other. And Lu Yuan observed while fighting. The elite monster did not get closer to Lu Yuan, but helped resurrect the skeleton soldiers with residual blood to replenish their health. During this period, Lu Yuan was within the attack range of the elite monster. The elite monster then launched a poison attack at him, because he had teamed up with Pacifier to defeat monsters. Lu Yuan knew that this was a skill that would continuously drop blood. There was no high burst. Lu Yuan took the blood potion over and over again while pulling and beating. Since the monster levels were limited, their healers did not have group treatment. Lu Yuan killed three or four skeleton soldiers with a single blow. So the blood regeneration was not as fast as Lu Yuan's. Whenever he gets a chance, Lu Yuan will drop a crispy mage or an ordinary skeleton medic in seconds. Among them, only the elite monster has the best blood increasing effect. And almost all school running mobs can fill it up with just one skill. After a hard fight, all the mobs were finally killed. And the remaining skeleton captain was not afraid. This elite monster is also called Captain Skeleton. But its occupation and level are different from those on the first level. Lu Yuan took a look at his experience and saw that it was less than one third. You must know that along the way, Lu Yuan killed hundreds of skeletons of the same level. But he still lacked so much experience to upgrade. No wonder they worked so hard to reach the highest level. It's only level 21. I took a look at what exploded. 
a green level 20 short armed healer, and a few silver coins. There was another passage at the back, and it looked like there was a next level. Lu Yuan thought for a while, and went down to take a look first. There shouldn't be any higher level monsters. When we went down to the third floor, we found that the monsters were similar to those on the second floor, but they were denser, and the professional combination was more complete. We even found a guardian skeleton. How could this be a wild monster? This was clearly an army. Lu Yuan murmured in his heart. I have to say that this guardian skeleton is really durable. Not only does it have twice as much HP as the others, but its bones are also harder than other skeletons and cannot be broken apart at all. The hardness is the same as that of elite monsters. There are skeleton archers hiding behind rocks further away, and they will start sneak attacks once they enter the hatred range. Lu Yuan also has a big head. We are here anyway, and there are a lot of blood and blue medicines. Kill him to see what happens. The ore on the third floor is also iron ore. It seems that the best ore here is iron ore. Does this mean there will only be three floors in total? Putting his thoughts away, Lu Yuan continued to move forward. Although the monsters were denser, it had little impact because he was familiar with the attack mechanism of these monsters. His dodge rate had also increased a lot, and he took blood medicine. If you want to threaten Lu Yuan, you can't just rely on these little monsters. Like the previous two floors, this floor also has a wide space. There are not so many miscellaneous soldiers in this square, but there are three elite monsters. All three are skeleton captains, but their professions are warriors, doctors, and mages. It's the same as the previous two floors. Except there is an extra mage. There is a big chair in the distance. With a mighty big skeleton sitting on it. It should be the boss of this cave. Lu Yuan did not alert the boss. And decided to kill the three elite monsters first. Otherwise it would be very troublesome for the three of them to cooperate with the boss. Lu Yuan is already quite proficient in dealing with monsters. After a while. These three elite monsters were eliminated. But except for a few silver coins. They had no equipment. At this time. Lu Yuan fixed his gaze on the boss and couldn't see anything special. The long sword next to the seat must be a warrior boss. When the boss was selected at a close distance, the boss moved his hand, grabbed the sword, stood up, and roared, Despicable villain! Give me the life of a victorious army! Skeleton General Level 20 HP 150000 Lu Yuan did not consider the monster's roar, but took a look at the monster's basic information. The level 20 boss had a blood volume of 150,000. This is probably the monster with the highest HP that I have ever encountered. You can beat it. But it's probably too late to run away now. So just go for it. Or you'll die once. After making up his mind, Lu Yuan no longer hesitated and charged towards the skeleton general. What slightly surprised Lu Yuan was that the charge did not stun the boss. It seems that the resistance of the boss is not on the same level as that of the mobs. Without the stun effect, Lu Yuan has to withstand two more attacks. It doesn't look conspicuous. But how can a boss with 150,000 HP be defeated quickly? Can kill. Over time. The accumulated damage to him will undoubtedly be considerable. And he has no choice but to see how much damage the skeleton general has done to him. If the attack was ridiculously high, I would probably explain it here. Dash 540, dash 860. Lu Yuan's basic attack and slam only cause more than 1,000 damage to the monster minus 120, minus 160, minus 260. Because he didn't understand the skeleton general's skills, Lu Yuan was hit with three consecutive blows, including an upward slash and a downward slash. The third blow was obviously much heavier than the first two. After being hit by the first blow, the body was obviously stiff, and there was no chance to dodge the next two blows. Lu Yuan, who had lost nearly half of his health in a sudden, was also breaking out in a cold sweat. This was his own defense power, and anyone else would probably be skinned even if he didn't die. After taking a bottle of blood medicine, Lu Yuan hurriedly distanced himself in case he was accidentally hit by another combo. The skeleton general saw that the enemy had distanced himself and did not pursue him. He actually stood still in a posture, but his eyes were locked on Lu Yuan. At first, Lu Yuan thought the monster was in a daze. But his intuition told him something was wrong. And a chill hit his face. Chapter 12 Who is right? Who is wrong? Lu Yuan felt a killing intent coming from General Skeleton's sword. Without thinking, Lu Yuan jumped to the side. The next second, Lu Yuan's original position had been scratched by the tip of Skeleton General's sword. If Lu Yuan had dodged a little later, 
it would have been an instant kill. It turns out that the skeleton general is not in a daze, but is accumulating power. There is no indication of this power charging appearance. Lucky for Lu Yuan. A flash of inspiration saved him at the critical moment. Lu Yuan, who continued to take a bottle of blood medicine, did not hesitate. He knew the two attack methods of the boss. Such a low-level boss should not have any large-scale killing moves before he had enough blood. He charged up and then used his own only heavy attacks and basic attacks slowly wear down the boss. Seeing the skeleton general raising his sword again, Lu Yuan knew that it was going to strike three times in a row again. He dodged sideways to avoid the first blow and his body became stiff. Then Lu Yuan struck the skeleton general on the back with a sweeping sweep. Because the skeleton general was exerting his force forward. And Lu Yuan sweeping sweep added fuel to the flames. The boss took several steps forward before standing firm. And almost knocked down the skeleton general. Lu Yuan thought to himself. It seems that this game setting is quite consistent with the mechanics. He kept his feet and charged. This time the boss was stunned. Maybe he was attacked from behind. Or maybe he just stood firm and was unprepared. Without even having time to think about the blow. He picked up the heavy sword and chopped it on the boss's head. This sword cut very hard. And the skeleton general suddenly fell into dizziness again. It seemed that the stun effect of the weapon was triggered. He continued to attack the boss with his hands. But the attack speed of the heavy sword was too slow. And it only dealt 2 damage in 5 seconds. Dash 850, dash 1035, dash 650, dash 580. It seemed that Li Yuan had been fighting. But except for the head swing. Which did more damage. The rest of the skills only hit more than 800 blood. After fighting for so long and seeing that the boss still had 80% of its health. Lu Yuan was helpless and continued to fight with the boss. After all, the boss was only level 20. And its attack skills were very monotonous. After Lu Yuan knew that it had a charged attack. He didn't move too far away. So it had no chance to use its killer move. Lu Yuan would dodge the ones he could dodge. And use the medicine to carry the ones he couldn't dodge. Although he didn't take too much medicine. He still managed to keep the monster's HP down without any danger. When the monster's blood volume reached 30%. As expected. The skeleton general began to mineralize. Just when Li Yuan thought that the boss was going to summon his younger brother again. But to his surprise. The skeleton general had only strengthened his attack and defense. And his speed was flexible. The sudden enhancement of his attributes caught Lu Yuan off guard and put him in crisis for a time. He tried hard to dodge and took medicine, barely keeping himself alive. Several times he thought he was going to die. But fortunately, the high-end equipment given by his master saved him. Only then did Lu Yuan understand what Zhang Feng said to him. In terms of attributes, humans are far inferior to these monsters. But the strongest thing about humans is knowing how to arm themselves. We don't have high attributes. We just have good equipment. Seeing that the monster's madness time was finally over, Lu Yuan cheered up and roared, and started a tug of war with the skeleton general again. In the end, Lu Yuan won without any danger. Checking the trophies, it was no surprise that the long sword in General Skeleton's hand burst out. Level 20 blue advanced equipment, and the worn sword of General Changwei. However, the attack was not as high as the heavy sword Wu Fong in Lu Yuan's hand. So Lu Yuan planned to return to the city to sell it, and wait until a higher level to replace it. There was also a book. When I picked it up, it turned out to be a skill book. Thousand Army Kill. Stand on the spot and charge up. Gather all the murderous energy on the weapon. After the charge is completed, thrust and dodge at a very fast speed to the limit of strength, causing damage to enemies in a straight line. The first enemy will cause 300% damage, then gradually decays until exhaustion. Cooling time 30 seconds. The sprint distance is affected by the charging time. The higher the strength and endurance, the longer the upper limit of charging time and the more powerful the skill. The warrior profession can be learned at level 20. Seeing that it was a skill book for warriors, Lu Yuan was so happy that he almost cried. He could finally use a few more attack skills. It was really boring to just slash flatly or to draw blindly with a big sword. Next, there are two gold coins and a letter. Lu Yuan opened the letter and read. I am a victorious general of the Bright Moon Kingdom. This time I fought with the Lai Sun Kingdom. I led 50,000 vanguard troops to defeat the Lai Sun Kingdom and retreated steadily. When they were about to continue their victory to attack the Lai Sun Kingdom, the Holy City, which had always been neutral, sent an envoy saying that the Lai Sun Kingdom's military supplies and supplies were hidden in this cave. I sent someone to check and found that there were indeed a lot of grain and grass resources. 
as the saying goes, the three armies should go ahead before using grain and grass. So of course they must take it into their pockets. It happened that the army was trapped and the horses were attacking. So the three armies were simply stationed in this cave. Who would have thought that in the middle of the night, a holy city army actually came and lit a fire at the entrance of the cave to burn smoke. Our army rushed out because the entrance of the cave was so narrow that it was impossible to rush out. The 50,000 strong army was either burned to death or choked to death by smoke. I, Chan Wei, the ever victorious general of the Bright Moon Kingdom, wrote this letter before I died. I hope that future people from the Bright Moon Kingdom will know the true face of the holy city. Don't let its neutral status fool you. After reading this letter, Lu Yuan was thoughtful. I haven't come into contact with the kingdom of the bright moon and the kingdom of the burning sun yet. I think I can only come into contact with them when I reach a higher level. As for who is right and who is wrong, Lu Yuan Yuan feels that war has never been able to distinguish between right and wrong since ancient times. The positions are different. Right or wrong depends on who is the final winner. Lu Yuan, who is familiar with the three kingdoms, could easily imagine that the holy city chose to be neutral, not to start a war, and not to fight against the world. But it could not allow any one country to become dominant. Otherwise, you will be threatened sooner or later. As for the means, there is nothing despicable in war. Poor skeleton boss. After winning a lot, one wrong decision led to the annihilation of the whole army. Lu Yuan didn't want to think too much. It is estimated that the drama is just a foreshadowing for the players. Some things that will appear in the future will not be so abrupt when the level is higher. Lu Yuan glanced at the time, and it was already 3 o'clock in the middle of the night. Looking at my experience points, I saw that I was still a little short of level 19. So I simply entered and exited 7 times on the 3rd floor to gain experience. The elite monsters were refreshed several times. But the boss was not refreshed. I guess the refresh time will be very long. Right? The explosion rate of the game is also really pitiful. They are all junk. After killing the elite monsters a few times, you only get a few silver coins. Finally, Lu Yuan reached level 19 at around 5 o'clock in the morning, opening the attribute panel. This time Lu Yuan chose the method of adding 3 strength, 1 resistance and 1 agility, because Lu Yuan found that blindly adding only 1 attribute would make other defects too obvious. He should also balance it while maintaining his own strength. After adding it, I looked at the panel and saw that it was only slightly floating. Player, not happy. Level 19 Trainee Warrior. Experience, 1250-310000. Occupation, Trainee Warrior. Life, 2342. Magic Value, 650. Strength, 156. Intelligence, 45. Spirit, 30. Agility, 48. Stamina, 68. Attack, 1260-1300. Defense, 1010. Skill. Slam. Cooling time is 1 second. Consumes 20 mana slash time. Basic skills cause 100% basic damage. Additional weapon attack power affected by monster defense. It seems that the attributes of the 2 and 3 levels are not fluctuating much when balanced. I guess the higher the level, the attribute span of the equipment is the key. Lu Yuan analyzed the changes in his attributes after he upgraded a few levels. It's almost time to get up and go for a run. Your body is the capital of your revolution. You must practice it. Chapter 13 Accompany Li Tong to see a house? Lu Yuan was running laps on the playground after washing up. Suddenly he heard someone calling him. When he turned around, he saw that it was Li Tong in sportswear, who had just entered the stadium from the direction of the dormitory. Although it was not far from him, Lu Yuan did not turn around. Continued to run forward around the playground. When Li Tong saw this, he stamped his feet in embarrassment. This idiot actually ignored me. Why are you pretending to be cold? It's really disgusting. Lu Yuan didn't think so in his heart. He didn't pretend to be cold. But he was thinking. I don't usually see her doing morning exercises. Why did I suddenly meet her today? Did she come to see me? Will running together so early in the morning cause other people to misunderstand her? But Li Tong, who is wearing tight sportswear, has a really good figure. Lu Yuan, who was calm on the surface, was actually a little shy on the inside. After running around, he didn't expect that Li Tong was still waiting for him. He stopped and asked, What's the matter, miss? Since he was a head taller than Li Tong. After saying this to her, he glanced at Li Tong unconsciously. Tong's breasts. Of course Li Tong noticed it, but he didn't hide away. 
He deliberately popped up his chest and asked. Didn't you hear me calling you? I asked you. Have you been tortured by rich people before? Why do you call me every time? My eldest lady? Have I ever acted like an eldest lady to you? Li Tong found out that he was peeking at her breasts. Which was enough to embarrass him. And he even straightened up on purpose. What Li Tong said left Li Yuan speechless. Yes. She has always been so easygoing. Although her family is rich. I never show off. But I always want to keep my distance. Thinking of this, Lu Yuan was a little embarrassed. Scratching the back of his head with his right hand. Looking at the side with an embarrassed smile and saying nothing. Li Tong looked a little proud of Lu Yuan's embarrassed look. Come out with me this afternoon and do me a favor. Li Tong looked at Lu Yuan and asked. Where are you going? What's the matter? Won't your friend accompany you? Lu Yuan asked three times in a row. Aren't you my friend? Li Tong replied immediately. Lu Yuan was stunned. He didn't know why he was at a disadvantage every time he talked to Li Tong. He had never lost to anyone in the debate. Okay then. When are you leaving? The classes are over in the morning. There are no classes in the afternoon. I'll treat you to eating out for lunch. Li Tong replied happily after hearing Lu Yuan agreed. After saying that, he turned around and walked away. Looking at Li Tong's back as he walked away, it seemed that he really came to see me specifically. He wore a sport suit and left without exercising. After the morning class ended, Lu Yuan was also a little absent-minded. He hadn't felt this uneasy for a long time. He said H, low to Zhao Xingha and told him that he would go out with Li Tong in the afternoon. But he was ridiculed in return. I said, Xiao Yuanzi, you can do it. You are so tired that you actually fell in love with Li Tong. She is one of the most beautiful beauties in our school. Zhao Xingha said with a playful smile. Lu Yuan was also used to his style. So he said in a pretentious manner. Hey, it's all my fault for having nowhere to put my damn charm. Zhao Xingha held back his smile, but said nothing. He patted Lu Yuan on the shoulder and said. I'm leaving. Let's go back and finish the dungeon. Lu Yuan was stunned. Something was wrong. This was not his character. He should have hit me when I spoke so narcissistically. Lu Yuan, who felt something was wrong turned around and saw Li Tong standing behind her. Well, when did you come? Why was there no sound? I just arrived. I was just about to call you. Let's go! Li Tong said naturally. Where are we going? You haven't told me yet. Lu Yuan asked as he walked. Li Tong glanced at him. Are you afraid that I'll sell you? Let's go to the food court next to you for some lunch. You can't do anything big if you're hungry. Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. Looking at Li Tong who was already walking in front. He realized that he had even changed his clothes. A light blue to white gauze dress. With some small floral decorations on it. Although the main material is gauze. It is not transparent at all. The skirt flutters as she walks. Full of youthful atmosphere. Lu Yuan was so lost that he forgot to follow him. What are you doing? Aren't you leaving? Li Tong looked back and saw Lu Yuan stunned. Asking with some joy and some shyness. Lu Yuan came to his senses and caught up with him in a few steps. He didn't know what to say but just followed Li Tong. Li Tong found a restaurant with quite an atmosphere. Because it was a food court near the university. Most of the people eating there were students. Such an atmosphere restaurant was of course, the first choice for couples to go on a date. Aren't you afraid that others will misunderstand you? Lu Yuan asked awkwardly. I said you are so excellent in all aspects. But why do you act like a girl when you get along with girls? Where is your confidence? Where is your charm that has nowhere to go? Li Tong looked at Lu Yuan and said with a smile. Did you hear it? I was joking with Zhao Xingha. Lu Yuan blushed. Actually, I ain't. Before Li Yuan could continue, the waiter served the food. The two were silent for a while. And then Li Tong asked. What did you want to say just now? Ah, it's nothing. Why are we going after dinner? What can we say now? Lu Yuan asked back. Li Tong saw that he didn't say anything and didn't continue to ask. It's summer vacation soon, isn't it? I don't want to go home to live. So I plan to rent a house outside with my best friend. So that we can play games together. I thought I was the only one who didn't go home during the holidays. I worked part-time to earn some pocket money. What did you do for that? Lu Yuan said questioningly. Li Tong pouted and said, My family praises my brother for everything. They think that daughters are not as useful as boys. And they can manage the company and carry on the family line. Of course, I am not convinced. The reason why I want to create a guild is to surpass me. Brother, prove that I am better than him. Lu Yuan found it a bit funny when he heard it. 
Rich people tend to favor boys over girls. Right. What does being better than him have to do with playing games? Lu Yuan couldn't figure it out. Don't you know? My family is considered a leader in the communications industry. Of course, the base of young people in the communications industry is larger. Because of the recent public beta of Taiyuan, the company has long predicted that this game will be a big hit. So the company has already entered your image into the game. Establish a good brand image. And attract more young users. Li Tong explained. Lu Yuan was a little surprised when he heard this. He only heard that Li Tong's family was rich. But he didn't expect that his family's company was so big. In fact, it's not surprising that Lu Yuan doesn't know. Lu Yuan usually rarely inquires about these gossips. And rarely talks about anyone behind their back. The people starting with LJ on the level list are from our Li family. Companies in other industries have also entered the game. It can be said that various industries that are close to saturated with physical users are beginning to focus on the internet. Li Tong said and explained, I haven't looked at the level list yet. I forgot to follow it. I see you are already level 20. How is the dungeon going? Lu Yuan changed the topic. Don't mention it. The dungeon is so perverted. There are all kinds of mechanisms in front of it. People will be tortured to death. The first two small bosses are okay. But the last boss is called a pervert. By the way, what level are you at? Li Tong was completely trapped. Amid the fear of being dominated by the dungeon boss. He did not forget to care about Lu Yuan. I've just reached level 19. And I've been spawning monsters by myself. So it's a bit slow. Lu Yuan replied. Have you always been a solo grinder? Oh my god. Do you know how hard it is to grind monsters every day with our best team configuration? Yesterday you were just level 15. You took classes during the day and you were promoted to level 4 overnight. You are still not satisfied? I'm really speechless. Li Tong said very surprised. E quickly. Don't you have to look at the house later? Lu Yuan changed the subject again. Actually, there's no rush. I've already made an appointment. I'm just afraid that the agency will trick me and ask you to come over to embolden me. We can just go there directly after eating. Li Tong said slyly. Oh. Lu Yuan replied calmly on the surface. But he already knew in his heart that maybe Li Tong called him because he wanted to have a meal together. Right? After eating for more than an hour and chatting a lot, Li Tong asked the waiter to prepare the check. Lu Yuan said that he had already paid the bill when he went to the bathroom. Although Li Tong said it was a treat. As a man, Lu Yuan, how could he ask a lady to spend money for his first meal? Although Li Tong is not short of money, he is also very sweet in his heart. Sure enough, as Li Tong said, everything has been chosen. All he has to do is go over to confirm and sign a rental contract. As for the scamming, there is no such thing as fraud. In today's fierce competition, the service has become more transparent. How many of you are there? You have rented such a big house. There are only four bedrooms and the living room is so big. Lu Yuan was a little curious. A best friend lives with me all the time and an older sister occasionally comes over to stay with us. It's just the three of us. We couldn't find anything suitable. So we chose this place. It has a good environment. Is safe. And is close to the school. Li Tong explained. It's still early. Do you want to go see a movie? I'm not going. Lu Yuan replied subconsciously. He didn't hear Li Tong speak for a long time. Seeing that Li Tong was rejected. He felt aggrieved. He quickly added. No. Let's go to the movies next time. I want to strive to reach level 20 so that I can talk to you. Let's go get a copy together. In this way, the two returned to school. When they were separated, Lu Yuan suddenly stopped Li Tong. I will try my best to help you. For some reason, Li Tong was deeply moved by the words he swore so firmly. Chapter 14 A Man with a Goal When Lu Yuan returned to the dormitory, he always felt an inexplicable feeling. The feeling of love that had been suppressed for a long time was about to stir. Looking at the time, it was past four in the afternoon. Considering that I might have to level up, I simply ate a bowl of instant noodles and hurriedly entered the game. After going online, I took a look at my friend's list and saw that Zhao Xingha was still online. So I sent him a message. You've been playing all afternoon and you haven't eaten yet? Have you passed the dungeon? After a while, I received a reply from Zhao Xingha. Don't mention it. It's not that easy. It's already level 22 on the level list. And I haven't cleared the level yet. Maybe it's because there is only one copy every 10 levels. So the difficulty should be around level 25 for everyone. Let's pass the level. 
The Guardian at the entrance of the dungeon is already fully equipped. He only has more than 600 defense points and more than 3,300 health. However, he is a character on the level list and is wearing green equipment. He still can't withstand the violence of the final boss. The most important thing is the only thing is that when the boss's health is lower than 30%, it will hammer the ground five times in a row. At this time, someone must withstand this wave of damage. If no one resists, the monster will randomly rush to the team players. You know what a squishy are you afraid of seeing a big boss with muscles running towards you? Lu Yuan looked at the large list sent by Zhao Xinghe. It was obvious that he had suffered through the boss. After comforting him, he continued to kill those little skeletons. The reason why he didn't change places was because Lu Yuan was already very comfortable fighting these monsters. And the monsters on the third floor were quite dense. He didn't have to go out to fight for monsters with others. Which improved his efficiency. The most important thing was that he could mine mines at the same time. Today, Lu Yuan seems to have extra fighting spirit. But the experience required to upgrade from level 19 to level 20 is too high. Lu Yuan was a little curious whether the people on the level list were killing monsters 24 hours a day. I opened the level rankings and took a casual look. Sure enough, there were two or three starting with LJ. This may be because the teams were fixed when the server was launched. The top 10 basically all had prefixes. It was obvious that they all had similar experience in killing monsters together. Only the one at the top of the level list is different from the others. The first forbidden spell is a mage. It was hard for Lu Yuan to imagine how a mage could reach first place alone without a fixed team. After resting for a while, he stopped wasting time. During this period, the three-level boss was not refreshed. It was not until around 9 o'clock in the evening, after nearly five hours of continuous brushing, that Lu Yuan finally reached today's leveling goal of level 20. Since my goal is to enter the dungeon, all the extra points this time are added to endurance. Special treatment will be given to special situations. One point of endurance will add 10 blood and 5 defense, plus 100 points of health for the warrior's growth by upgrading one level. Lu Yuan's current health value has reached 2,492, and his defense value has also reached 1045. Lu Yuan felt that even the Guardian might not be as durable as him now, and his confidence suddenly increased. If he had a powerful healer to increase his health and attack and defense, he would probably be able to withstand the boss's rage. Right? At this time, Lu Yuan was already eager to give it a try. He took a look at the three people in his friend list. Little Pacifier was still not online. Hong Mei Ao Shueli Tong was online. And Zhao Xinghe's Lan Xinghe was also online. This kid really has fighting ability. Let's give them the order of the two. After sending a message indicating that we would clear the dungeon together at 10 o'clock, we pressed the return button. Can you do it? Just take me to my death at level 20? Zhao Xinghe asked suspiciously. Have you reached level 20 so soon? You really worked hard. Li Tong didn't care about the dungeon issue. Lu Yuan casually replied to the two of them and asked them to look for three people to form a team. They probably have more friends than him. Because Zhao Xinghe is a mage and Li Tong is an archer. So Lu Yuan Yuan asked to find another guardian. A mage and a healer. In this way, the output of the dual magic lineup is guaranteed. Looking for someone who can resist monsters can ensure safety. After all, the Guardian of Hatred is a natural expert. Lu Yuan ignored the rest for the time being. The first thing to do was to replenish the medicine. At level 20, you can take intermediate medicine, which will continuously restore 500 life points within 5 seconds. Then I went to the warrior instructor to see if there were any skills I could learn. Sure enough, there were three skills. Whirlwind, raise the weapon and launch an attack on the spot. It can move slowly and cause 100% physical damage to surrounding enemies within 3 seconds. Cooling time 5 seconds. Song Phone Blood Armor. Release skills on the spot to enter Song Phone Blood Armor state. Increasing one's physical defense and magic defense by 10%. Duration 30 seconds. Cooling time 60 seconds. Lightning Slash. Hits twice as much damage as lightning. The first hit causes 150% damage. And the second hit causes 200% damage. Cooling time 20 seconds. After spending a few gold coins to learn all three skills. Plus the thousand army killing that exploded before. I have learned how to charge and strike hard. Instantly I felt more than a little stronger. Thousand army kill. Stand on the spot and charge up. Gather all the murderous energy on the weapon. After the charge is completed. Thrust and dodge at a very fast speed to the limit of strength. Causing damage to enemies in a straight line. The first enemy will cause 300% damage. 
then gradually decays until exhaustion. Cooling time 40 seconds. Thousands of army killing does not appear in the list that warrior instructors can learn. It is probably considered a special skill. With whirlwind slash. I can truly swarm monsters. And at level 25. I can even learn Zangitsu slash. It can just make up for the 2 second vacuum period of whirlwind. But it will probably take a long time to reach level 25. Lu Yuan created a team and roped in Zhao Xingha and Li Tong. How are you two preparing? Xiao Yuanzi. How can you be so confident that you can clear this dungeon when you are only level 20? Zhao Xingha still didn't believe it. I have three people who are teaming up with me. But we have tried. But the Guardian cannot withstand the violent boss. How can you, a warrior who is not a pure T, be able to do it? Don't force it too hard. Li Tong asked Lu Yuan's instructions were completed and the three people were invited into the team. I haven't fought before so I can't guarantee it. But from what Xing had told me, my defense is indeed several hundred higher than that of the Guardian on the ranking list. And even after learning a new skill of 20, it can be increased by 10 in 30 seconds. Percent defense. The doctor should be able to gain additional status when entering the map. Right. Lu Yuan told everyone the basic situation. How much defense do you have? Your HP is not low among warriors. It's only 500 HP lower than mine. If your defense isn't much worse, you won't be able to withstand it. The guardian of the team. Guard your heart. Kind reminder. My defense. Magic. Defense and object defense are 1045 points without buff. If I add 10% of my skills, it can reach more than 1100 points. Lu Yuan said simply. Brother, how did you do that? I'm so ashamed. The person who protects you said with shame. I can also increase the life limit by 15% but I haven't learned the skill level to increase offense and defense yet. The doctor and the team named be careful not to spit up said. How do we allocate equipment between two mages? Another mage in the team felt like he was getting an electric shock and was already thinking about equipment allocation. Li Tong was also a little excited. Could it be that the first kill would belong to his team? Just when everyone was getting excited and thinking about what best product would be released. Lu Yuan said something that shocked everyone. I have one more thing to ask. Who can tell me where the copy is? That's chapter 15? Is it difficult? Finally, they gathered at the entrance of the dungeon. Looking at the dense crowd of players at the dungeon entrance, Lu Yuan felt like he was in another world. He was in the darkness of the Skull Cave spawning monsters. It felt like he hadn't seen so many players in a long time. Everyone is working hard for the first kill of the dungeon. It seems that the difficulty of this dungeon is that the current players do not have too advanced equipment. It seems that whether they can pass the level mainly depends on whether they can withstand the rage of the final boss. Guard your heart. Professional Guardian. Male level 21. The feeling of electric shock. Professional Mage. Male level 21. Be careful not to spit up. Professional Physician. Female level 21. Lan Xingha. Professional Mage. Male level 21. Hong Mei Aoshua. Professional Archer. Female level 21. Bu Dao Huan. Professional warrior. Male level 20. After entering the portal, a group of six people entered the bandit camp in the level 20 dungeon. This level 20 dungeon happened to be at the north gate of the holy city where Lu Yuan was passing by the skeleton cave. The description of the dungeon was that bandits were rampant in the north of the holy city, robbing passers-by and merchants, which had a serious impact on the prosperity of the holy city. The omen warriors eliminated the bandits. Follow the mountain road up and you will reach the big boss at the top. There are two platforms in the middle, which are two small bosses. Although most people are stuck on the big boss and can't get past it, the small boss cannot be underestimated. They are also very powerful. I barely passed. So don't be careless. Li Tong explained again, because he was afraid that Li Yuan had not played before. Let's go up first and take a look. Li Yuan was about to kill the men patrolling the mountain road. Wait a minute. Let's all stand together. I'll give you a life blessing. The doctor and the team shouted hurriedly, being careful not to spit out milk. After adding the buff, Lu Yuan took a look. Life blessing level 1 increases the life limit of himself and his teammates by 10%. With the buff, Lu Yuan's health is already 2741. The biggest improvement of the Guardian is a direct increase of more than 300 lives. After all, the greater the base of the percentage, the greater the gain. I'm going to resist the monsters. After I pull the monsters, I start fighting. Mages have grouped monster skills, so feel free to use them. 
The Guardian prevents monsters from losing aggro to fight the mage. If there are any running past, just pull the aggro over them. Archers and nannies just watch the output and increase blood. Lu Yuan simply expressed his thoughts. Before anyone else could say anything, Lu Yuan charged forward. The monsters in the dungeon obviously do more damage than the wild monsters outside. Each monster can hit Lu Yuan an average of 130 to 150 damage. Lu Yuan calculated that his limit should be 10. But there is no problem. Because there is a nani behind to add blood. Plus I took some blood medicine. But it was too dangerous after all. If something went wrong in any link, I would probably have to explain it myself. After all, if I could withstand one round and the second round didn't add blood, it would be over. Lu Yuan calculated and only pulled six mobs over for the first time. Patrolling the mountain. Level 20. Blood volume 20,000. Ordinary mobs already had 20,000 HP. Which surprised Lu Yuan. But he soon felt relieved because he used Whirlwind to start the group of monsters. When his teammates saw him starting the fight, they also released the group of monsters. Attack skills. The mage's group attack is Thundercloud. And the thunder in the area will cause lightning damage to the mobs in the range. There is also a Thunderbolt skill in the cooling interval, which will cause damage to seven targets in a straight line. Once the skill is released, it will be launched like a turtle-style Qigong. Lightning Bolt. The archer's arrow rain will shoot an arrow into the sky and a parabola will fall into the selected range, causing damage to enemies within the range. I thought that the wet nurse had no skills, but I didn't expect that the wet nurse could not only add blood to herself, but also throw a poison circle at her feet, causing magic damage to the mobs on the opposite side. Although the damage was not high, it also accelerated the speed of killing monsters. When the guardian saw that the hatred was stable, he seemed to be redundant, and not to be outdone. He came to the monster and slapped the ground with his sledgehammer, cracking the ground, knocking all the monsters away and stunning them. Lu Yuan Yuan was about to beat them to death. So he said to the guardian, Control the monsters to suppress the hatred. I will go and pull some monsters over. Li Tong. Do you think this Lu Yuan is like entering the dungeon for the first time? He is quite efficient. He controls damage and rhythm like a master. Zhao Xing has said to Li Tong not far away, while using skills. Li Tong also looked appreciative. Remembering what Lu Yuan said to her. I will help you. This man looked dull and quite reliable. Li Tong? Li Tong? What are you thinking about? Zhao Xing has shouted twice. Not wanting to be ignored like this. Li Tong came back to his senses and asked. Zhao Xing, huh? You? The eldest young master of the Zhao family. Can't even compare to your roommate's equipment? How dare you make fun of me? My family owns a small restaurant. How dare you call me young master? But where did his equipment come from? Don't you know now that high-end equipment is priceless and unavailable? There may be more weapons. Yes, but the armor can be worn as a set? Zhao Xingha replied. Hurry. Monsters. A new batch is here. Li Tong didn't dare to neglect when he saw Lu Yuan running back. As long as the hatred is stable. The most leisurely thing is probably our remote output. Zhao Xingha said casually as he casually released his skills. Then he found that his skills were placed crookedly. He felt embarrassed and stopped talking and started fighting monsters seriously. Lu Yuan brought in seven mobs this time so that the mage's output could be maximized. The experience of these mobs is also quite good. Each one can reach 1500. You must know that the monsters of the same level in the team can reach 1500. Which shows that the experience of the dungeon is quite rich. I killed the first mini boss without any risk along the way. The third leader of the bandits Li Si. Level 22 boss. HP 200,000. When Lu Yuan saw that the monster's blood volume was 20W, he couldn't help but feel dizzy. Is there anything I need to pay attention to with this boss? Lu Yuan turned around and asked. It's nothing. It's just this monster. It has a charge jump attack, which does a lot of damage. But it can't kill people. If the blood volume is low, the damage will be doubled. This is the simplest boss. Guarding your heart replied. After all, it is a boss. He is a big fat man who has the most say. A charged attack? I would also say. Just wait until I get aggro on you. Just start fighting. After saying that, I would charge up the power with one move. I had never had the chance to charge up before. Because if the skill was interrupted during the charging process, the skill would be directly cooled down. Okay. This time I just want to try out the power of the skill book exploded by the skeleton general. After charging up, everyone only saw a phantom of Lu Yuan 
who had already arrived in front of the boss. Since it was a thrust sword, but Li Yuan's weapon was a blunt sword. The little boss was actually knocked away by the blow and fell into a coma. The 5% stun of the weapon's special effect is triggered. Minus 3,900. Seeing the damage floating on the boss's head, everyone took a breath. Who is the boss? Lu Yuan was also surprised to deal such high damage. Could he still ignore defense? Or is it the effect of a sneak attack? I am also glad that I was not stabbed by the sword of the skeleton general. Otherwise, I would have been cold to the bone. Don't be in a daze. Start fighting. Lu Yuan reminded everyone. Charging forward and striking hard. Lightning slash. And whirlwind slash in turn to greet them. Upon seeing this, his teammates also began to use their strongest single target attack skills. Although the monster has a lot of health, it can't stand up to the crowd. The boss was defeated with almost no effort. Of course, that's because they didn't put in much effort. After all, they only needed to use their skills. Lu Yuan was quite tired from dodging back and forth. Although he could resist forcefully, Lu Yuan felt that he should practice his positioning and awareness and not rely on his equipment. Stand and fight monsters. Moreover, Lu Yuan found that by properly adjusting the position and changing posture, he could reduce the stiffness after drawing the sword and releasing skills, and could deliver the next blow faster than a stiff blow. Look what's exploded. The little boss also has blue equipment. The mage felt like he was electrocuted and ran over to open the package dropped by the thief. Everyone frowned and felt disgusted when they saw his behavior. From the beginning, he was very concerned about the distribution of equipment. Chapter 16 First Kill in the Dungeon Although everyone was disgusted with his behavior, it didn't matter. At this time, the feeling of electric shock has opened the explosive package, and the loot is also displayed in front of everyone. A pair of blue quality shoes, a green quality clothes, and one gold coin and 46 silver coins. The first boss has high-end equipment. I'm lucky. It's leather shoes, which are more suitable for archers. Then give them to our archers. The heart that protects you said after seeing this. As for the green tops, I'll go with the heavy armor. You can wear it for both sexes. I don't need it. Just take it. Lu Yuan said generously. Although he could sell it for money, he didn't need it if he was working as a team. So of course, he had to distribute it according to needs. He looked unhappy at the feeling of being electrocuted. But he didn't say anything. Let's go to the next boss. After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he continued walking up the mountain and continued to pull monsters. Guardian your heart. A profession that is supposed to pull monsters has become easier. He said before that he can also pull monsters and the mobs in front are no problem. However, Lu Yuan said that the agility growth of the guardian profession is lower than that of warriors and the movement speed is too slow. His own equipment has the property of increasing movement speed. So Lu Yuan is the most efficient at pulling monsters. The heart that protects you is also happy and comfortable. No longer forcing it. The mobs still don't pose much of a threat to everyone. But the closer you get to the mountain, the more mobs spawn more densely. If you're not careful, you'll attract too many mobs. But you're not in danger. The second boss is a humanoid. Magic monster. The second bandit leader, John San, is a level 23 boss with a HP of 150,000. When everyone came to the boss, Lu Yuan asked again, I guess this boss is a boss with high attack and low defense. Is there anything I need to pay attention to? Lu Yuan was still cautious and did not get carried away because of his excellent equipment. The most annoying thing about this boss is that it puts its skills in the back row to attack fragile creatures like nannies and mages. It also controls acceleration and deceleration, making it difficult for those who resist monsters, and it's easy to lose track of it, regardless of its low health. But it has a shield-like skill, which can consume mana to offset some of the health before the shield is broken so it is also difficult to deal with. Li Tong has obviously done his homework and explained some details clearly. Fortunately, you've been here before. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so sure to fumble while fighting. Lu Yuan praised. Xiao Yuanzi, you don't know. When we first opened up the wasteland, it was so miserable to die. Fortunately, the dungeon doesn't lose experience when you die. But do you know what it feels like to die and run back from the door of the dungeon? What if you die later? There are monsters spawning again, and it's impossible for a single person to get through it. Zhao Xingha complained with a bitter look on his face. Obviously Zhao Xingha has been reborn in this dungeon, and Li Yuan no longer chats. He began to accumulate strength to kill thousands of troops. 
and as a lightning-like figure flashed past, the fragile boss Zhang San was also knocked away. A set of skills such as sprinting, lightning slash, and slamming are enough to greet you. Seeing that Li Yuan had activated his monster, everyone started to attack one after another. The mages keep a distance from each other to prevent the boss from launching group attacks. The wet nurse stands alone in the middle of our range. The monsters can attack whoever they want to rush for reinforcements to increase blood. The archers roam around to deal damage. The guardian goes behind the boss to prevent it from bypassing me and keeping the distance. Lu Yuan gave a conclusion after a simple analysis. This top student has a clear mind and clear thoughts. He can also play games in an orderly manner, Zhao Xingha said, keeping his feet away from the feeling of electric shock. Lu Yuan always kept his charging skills, just in case the boss had some displacement skills to distance himself, and he would not be able to catch up. If the Guardian sees the boss chanting skills, use the stun skills, Lu Yuan added. Although the boss has high resistance, there is still a chance of being stunned. If the boss casts a spell, the back row will be safe for a while. The most difficult thing about this three is the spell shield. Because the boss's mana is super high. So after offsetting some of the damage, it makes people feel that this mage is more durable than the previous warrior type. The group attack effect of the dispersed boss is greatly reduced. And with two people controlling the boss from the front, it is not difficult to defeat the second boss. Ha ha. The legal boss will probably have to explode a magic staff. Right. I felt like I was getting an electric shock as I went to get the loot again. The second boss exploded a total of two pieces of green equipment. An assassin hat and an assassin pants. At this time, he felt an electric shock and said playfully, I happen to have a friend who is an assassin. Can you allocate them to me? In this way, I won't want any equipment from the boss. This kid is quite good at calculating. After all, this is he didn't make it through many dungeon rankings. And he wasn't optimistic about his own team. If he didn't make it in a while, he would lose everything. The guardians and nannies in the team also sneered at his attitude. Because now, he was the Captain Li Yuan. And they didn't know the relationship between the people Li Tong brought. They looked at Zhao Xingha and made no comment. After all, there are more people at level 20 now. Although it is green equipment, the demand is still very high. Every piece of equipment is worth money. Zhao Xingha shrugged when he saw Lu Yuan's gaze, but he didn't want to argue with such a person. He can buy the equipment as long as someone sells it. It's really not worth the money. Although he is angry, what he wants more is to clear the dungeon. What he likes more is the feeling of playing with friends. He also feels that competing for it at this time is very cheap. I don't care, Zhao Xingha said expressionlessly. Li Tong looked at the feeling of electric shock and turned to Lu Yuan and said, You are the captain. You decide. Okay, I'll give you these two items. If you pass the final boss, it has nothing to do with you. Lu Yuan was also slightly disgusted. Thank you all in advance, she said proudly, as if she didn't notice everyone's dissatisfaction. The main event is coming next. Come on, everyone, let's go. Lu Yuan said encouragingly to everyone, be careful not to vomit, and said with some discomfort, I don't know if I can get past the final boss. If I can't, I'll lose all the money for the medicine. It's no wonder that she and Zhao Xingha didn't get any equipment. It's normal to complain a little. In order to cheer everyone up and have confidence, Lu Yuan turned on all the special effects of his equipment, making him shine instantly. Oh no. The photo on the post is really you. The master is by my side. Zhao Xingha said in surprise. Everyone was immediately stunned by the scene in front of them. While most of the players were not wearing all the green equipment, this guy was actually dressed in high-end blue, and his weapons exuded noble purple. Li Tong also suddenly felt that the man in front of him was even more mysterious. Why was it that he was so ordinary when many celebrities were willing to pay high prices, but couldn't get something? This is also the brilliance of Tao Yuan. It supports you to spend money, but it is not officially given to you. It is all a transaction between players. Some people spend money and others make money. In this virtuous cycle, players' enthusiasm will be high. The rest of the journey is not difficult except that the soldiers are more densely packed. Everyone was speechless all the way and finally came to the final boss. The boss of the copycat Wang Irma. Level 25 boss. HP 500,000. Sure enough, what I saw was the most exciting thing. Everyone was very confident that they could get the first kill. Only the feeling of being electrocuted made me regret the most. If a mage's advanced equipment really exploded, he would lose a lot. I'll fight the monsters later. 
and the Nani will give me more blood. When the Guardian sees that he's about to unleash a five hit combo, just dodge. So you don't get killed. Also, be careful of what other killing moves the boss has in the end. After Liu Yuan made arrangements, he began to prepare for the attack. It was still the Thousand Army killing attack, but this time it only dealt damage and did not knock back. This boss holds two round sledgehammers in his hands and has a muscular body. At first glance, he looks like a powerful tank, as everyone has said, except for the somewhat high defense. The rest of the high damage skills are those that use a sledgehammer to hit people. The movements are not fast, so there is no need to resist forcefully. Sometimes being hit by a nanny who adds blood and takes a blood bottle can completely withstand the attack. When he was about to go berserk, Lu Yuan deliberately asked the guardian to resist monsters, and he tried his best to keep his blood full. When the boss's blood volume dropped to 30%, everyone in the team said, Pay attention. The boss is about to launch his five hit combo. Lu Yuan is also ready for the hard top. At this time, he could clearly see that the boss's whole body was red as if it was on fire. Lu Yuan saw that the boss's hammer had been raised, and he activated its Songfeng blood armor to increase his defense. He charged in front of the monster and had already taken a blood bottle in advance. Guaranteed continuous blood recovery for several seconds. At this time, the first hammer fell directly and Lu Yuan went into a dazed state. Dash 600 plus 100 without giving anyone a chance to react. He hit Lu Yuan with the second blow and he flew up from the ground. Dash 700 plus 100. Then the third hammer hit Lu Yuan to the ground. Lu Yuan was still dizzy and couldn't move even if he tried. Dash 800 plus 100. The fourth hammer also landed in succession. And the speed was as fast as the two sledgehammers had no weight. But it hit Lu Yuan again. And Lu Yuan was shocked and bounced up from the ground. Dash 900 plus 100 plus 1060. At this time, the Nani's blood increasing chant was finally completed before the last hammer. At this time, Lu Yuan only had 141 points of blood and it instantly returned to 1201. With this blood added, the last hammer fell. Lu Yuan was hit hard to the ground again. Dash 1000 plus 100. Guardians come here to take over the hatred. Lu Yuan shouted hurriedly. No wonder Lu Yuan was anxious. He only had 300 blood at this time. If the boss came again, there would be no time to increase the blood. Lu Yuan, who retreated, drank the blood bottle by himself, and the nanny gave him a mouthful of milk. There was basically no danger, and he returned to the battlefield. If I hadn't taken a blood bottle in advance, I wouldn't have been able to wait for a mouthful of milk from the nani. With a defense power of more than a thousand, I was actually hit with so much damage. No wonder no one can resist it now. I survived the most difficult blow, and the rest of the journey was uneventful. System prompt. Congratulations to player Budohan's team for completing the first kill of level 20 dungeon chiefing mountain robbers. The clearance time was 49 minutes and 38 seconds. Chapter 17 First Kill Reward Listening to the system broadcast for the first time in the entire server. Everyone in the team was inevitably excited. Unfortunately, only the captain's name was reported. I actually gained more than 200,000 experience points in one dungeon. It seemed that the experience gained from clearing the dungeon was much greater than that from clearing wild monsters. It's a pity that after level 20, the leveling experience is ridiculously high doubling to about 100 W. If you have to clear the dungeon to upgrade 4 or 5 times, it will be good to level up. Oh, it's my turn this time to see what happened to the boss. Zhao Xinga said with amusement as he watched the mage and the team get an electric shock. The bosses in the dungeon are different from those in the wild when they die. They are all dropped in the form of packages or treasure boxes, which need to be opened by people. And this final boss is obviously a treasure chest. And it must be more advanced than the package. It is obvious at a glance. The feeling of being electrocuted made me feel like I was in debt to the heavens. When I saw Zhao Xing's eyes, expression and tone, I almost wanted to vomit blood. Wow! There is actually a rare piece of equipment. And it's a necklace. Zhao Xing has shouted. At this time, the contents of the treasure chest were also revealed to everyone. Sure enough, there was a necklace of rare quality. Everyone no longer pays attention to the rest of the things. Except for the name. Ermatsu's big baby. Rare quality necklace. Available at level 20. Strength plus 40. Intelligence plus 40. Stamina plus 40. Spirit plus 40. Additional attributes. HP increased by 
simply adding 44th dimensions. The only additional attribute is a 20% increase in health. Sure enough, every piece of rare level equipment is of the highest quality. You don't need too many attributes at all. If there is no better replacement, this 20% increase in health can even be carried to the later stage. And the higher the level, the thicker the blood, the greater the improvement. There is also a short sword of blue quality, which is just right for our little sister who spits milk. Zhao Xingha began to tease. Lu Yuan didn't waste any time and directly assigned the blue short battle to the only doctor in the team. Thank you. Ha ha. I can really make you vomit this time. It actually adds 10% of the healing effect. And your intelligence has also improved a lot. Beware of your vomiting and said excitedly. The gold coins have exploded to 44. As expected of the king of the mountain. He is indeed rich. Miss Tootie. Do you have enough money for medicine this time? Zhao Xing has started his own teasing mode. There was also a piece of green quality mage clothing. Which Lu Yuan directly assigned to Zhao Xingha. There is also a pair of green quality shoes. Which were given directly to the guardians in the team. What do you think of this rare necklace? Why don't you shake the color? Be fair. After all, it is a rare quality jewelry. It is probably the first one in the entire server. Although Li Yuan also wanted it. He wanted everyone all fair. Let me see. As soon as he spoke, everyone looked at him before he finished speaking. I originally wanted to say I think it would work. But I held back. Stop looking. You just said you don't want anything to explode. Unexpectedly, it was the guardian in the team who said it first. The reason why he plays a profession that resists monsters is because he is an outspoken and honest person who protects you. What people hate most is being clever and taking advantage. And obviously this feeling of electric shock is what he hates. He turned back to look at everyone and continued. I give up this equipment. Although I want it very much. It is not my credit that I can kill this boss. If you continue to grind for a while, just take it with me. Lu Yuan was very surprised. Even if he got this necklace and sold it without wearing it, it was estimated that with the current market price, it could be at least tens of thousands or more than hundreds of thousands. Even wearing this necklace, the human shield that originally couldn't withstand the five consecutive attacks of this copy of the boss should be able to withstand it. I'm very satisfied with having a weapon. And it's very interesting to paint pictures with you. I also gave up the necklace. And I propose to give it to the captain. So that we can have an easier time in the next dungeon. Beware of you spitting milk and saying happily. Not at all the look of regret for giving up the best necklace is a bit cute. Ha ha. Congratulations on your purple necklace. Zhao Xingha didn't even ask Li Tong. But congratulated Lu Yuan with a smirk on his face. As a roommate, Lu Yuan also understood the origin of Zhao Xingha's purple necklace. Once Zhao Xingha stayed out at night. And the next day a circle of strawberries was planted around his neck. Which was euphemistically called a purple necklace. Li Tong seemed to have forgotten about the necklace. He looked at Lu Yuan and said, Do you still want to continue brushing? The experience is not bad. And it can be brushed in more than 40 minutes. And the efficiency is not bad. The key is that the explosion rate of level 20 equipment is higher than that of brushing. The monster explosion rate is much higher. Lu Yuan was no longer polite. And directly accepted the necklace and put it on his body. The necklace also had a bonus to endurance. With the extra 20%, the blood volume soared to 3038. If added later, the nanny's buff can reach 3376 directly. It seems that the final boss doesn't need to be so embarrassing. And the attack power has also been increased by 200. Which is really a big improvement. Everyone in the team also looked at Lu Yuan. Because the key to passing the dungeon was to resist the final boss. And the rest was very simple. Anyway, I'm going to upgrade by the way. So let's continue grinding. Lu Yuan said nonchalantly. Although everyone had a bad impression of the feeling of being electrocuted. They didn't say leave. And it wasn't easy to kick him out of the team. The three people Li Tong brought were just acquaintances when they were leveling up together. As for the classmates she recruited, they were either too amateurish and not of sufficient level. Or their equipment was not very good and did not meet the requirements. After all, if you have money people, who would accept free equipment? Li Tong's guild plan is not going well. There will be no betrayal unless there is an agreement to contain it. But it seems impossible to turn the tide with these people. Lu Yuan suddenly thought, It seems that blue and green equipment will soon depreciate in value. But it is not worthless. After all, the demand is high. But when everyone can clear this level 20 dungeon, the price will definitely drop. When you return to the city, 
You must sell the skeleton general sword first to avoid losing too much. Everyone stopped talking and started the second copy. With the first experience, the second time was much easier, and Lu Yuan's attributes improved, making it easier to pass the level. However, no rare equipment was released. Only three high-end blue equipment and a guardian's blue quality hammer were released. There is also a blue weapon for the archer. And another high-level equipment is the blue top for the wet nurse. The rest of the mage's green equipment was distributed to the two mages in the team. Since I took relatively high-value equipment in the first copy, the green equipment that was not needed was also compensated for the team that did not burst into blue. Equipped with two mages, Zhao Xing has said that he didn't care. But the feeling of being electrocuted made him extremely happy. It seems that the first kill of the boss will yield good items. And the chance of getting the best items in subsequent kills will drop a lot. I guess you have to rely on good luck to come up with rare equipment. Lu Yuan analyzed. It seems like this. Should we continue? Li Tong replied slightly tiredly. Although they are all about spawning monsters. Playing a dungeon requires the cooperation of the team and a high degree of concentration. It is not as easy as spawning wild monsters. Therefore, everyone who fought twice in a row was a little tired. But with rich equipment and experience, they were still reluctant to give up. Before Lu Yuan could answer, Lu Yuan's friend Liz suddenly started to vibrate. When he opened it, he saw that Little Milk Bottle was online. What are you doing? Damn, brother. Why have you left me behind after not being online for a day? Lu Yuan seemed to have seen it after reading it. The Little Milk Bottle sighed helplessly and couldn't help but smile and replied. It's nothing. Do you want me to help you upgrade? After replying to his friend's message, Lu Yuan told everyone that he felt that everyone was a little tired. So why not try again tomorrow? It was already past 12 o'clock. Let's go back to deal with the equipment. Replenish some medicines and have fun for a while. After listening to Lu Yuan's words, everyone breathed a sigh of relief even though they were reluctant to leave. After all, they are not professional players. They are all doing it for entertainment. So being tight for such a long time really makes me feel a little tired. Want to delay your upgrade? Little Milk Bottle sent another message. It doesn't matter. My sister will be here when you call me. I don't know why Li Yuan doesn't feel as restrained about the little bottle as he does with Li Tong. Maybe it's because they don't know each other, and there is no burden on the internet. Right? I'm at the drugstore in the main city. So come over. Xiao Bottle replied. Good. After saying H, low to everyone, he activated his return to the city skill. Chapter 18 Li Yuan's Troubles I'm here. Where are you? Lu Yuan arrived at the pharmacy and didn't see the pacifier. It's pretty fast. Look up. Little Milk Bottle replied. Lu Yuan looked up and saw the Little Milk Bottle sitting on the roof. What were you doing up there? How did you climb up there? I just want to see the city and see the people who are still busy in the game. Little Milk Bottle said with emotion. Why weren't you online yesterday? You have to survive. This outfit looks very handsome. You will no longer look like a sackcloth in one day. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'm going to look at you with admiration after three days of separation. Don't you understand? Sister Bottle? Lu Yuan pinched his waist and said proudly. Don't call me Sister Bottle. Call me Queen. Little Bottle jumped down from the roof of the house. Your Majesty Queen? Are you a child of secondary school syndrome? Also, don't you know that the robe you are wearing can reveal everything? Lu Yuan said speechlessly. The Little Bottle was not angry and patted Lu Yuan on the shoulder and said, it's quite cool to wear armor. My name is Li Jingbai. Why are you afraid of being exposed in the game? But you are really a little pervert. Who made my sister Xiaobai so beautiful? Lu Yuan has not been so relaxed for a long time. Let alone talking so freely with the opposite sex and full of sweet words. Shui Tu, where are we going? But even if we rise to the next level, we will probably fall again within two days. Little Milk Bottle said helplessly. Lu Yuan felt uncomfortable for some reason. It's okay, Sister Jingbai. I'll take care of you when you fall. I'm very strong. What a naughty little guy. He changed his words pretty quickly. Well, let's go. Where can we upgrade? After hearing Lu Yuan's words, Li Jingbai couldn't help but feel warm in her heart and became happy. Take you to a good place. I'm going to replenish some medicine. After Lu Yuan said that, he went to the pharmacy. Lu Yuan was speechless all the way. He originally planned to take Li Jingbai to the Skull Cave, where he had upgraded to see if the boss had been refreshed and maybe he could get some good stuff. However, when he arrived at the Skull Cave, he found that many people had already begun to gather in the cave. 
killing monsters and mining. The level 20 dungeon is not far from here. So there are a lot of people here. Moreover, the upgrade is slow. And more and more people are practicing life skills. The cave is already narrow. So it seems that upgrading here won't work. Sister Jingbai. There are suddenly a lot of people here. Let's walk forward and find a place with fewer people and more monsters. Lu Yuan looked at Li Jingbai and said. It's okay. I don't care. It's all your effort anyway. It's nice to take a stroll around the mountains and rivers. Li Jingbai started to enjoy the green mountains and green waters. Are you usually very busy at work? The pace of life nowadays is too fast. And it's rare to have time to stop and take a look. Lu Yuan also thought of his part-time job every day as well as his study. Isn't it all for a better life? Yeah. I'm quite busy. I also have a perverted boss. An unmarried woman in her thirties. Who tortures people to the point of death. Li Jingbai suddenly complained. Ha ha. Do you hate it that much? The legendary white shoe polisher has no partner in his thirties. Lu Yuan looked at Li Jingbai's expression and found it funny. The characters in the game have all been processed on an individual basis. It can be said that there are no ugly female characters. But there are male characters who are intentionally vicious, extremely ugly, and inevitably have a bit of a bad taste. I don't know what kind of person Li Jingbai is in reality. Li Jingbai was also amused by this unexpected playfulness and giggled. Is it okay for you to tease a little girl like this? You are not a scumbag. You are smooth-tongued. It's in the monster area ahead. The irritable bison at level 20. Lu Yuan saw that he was in the monster area ahead and decided not to go any further. TCH. He changed the subject without answering. It seems like he is a scumbag. Li Jingbai seemed to not care at all whether he was able to defeat monsters or not. Lu Yuan was also surprised when he heard this. What a scumbag. My brother is really honest. Give me more blood. And I'll pull the monsters. After saying that, Lu Yuan charged up. And then ran with the monsters. After a while, he attracted a few monsters. However, Lu Yuan, who had more than 3,000 health, did not pose a threat at all. Someone just happened to add more blood. So he simply attracted more monsters. Start using group attack skills to fight monsters. The buffalo's blood was quite thick. But the attack was really not high. Li Jingbai didn't have much pressure to replenish the blood. He only needed to replenish one blood in half a day. Chatting while replenishing the blood was quite relaxing. The day before yesterday, I saw that you were reluctant to buy medicine. Today, you are fully armed. It is not ordinary at first glance. I heard the value of this gaming equipment from my friend. You are not someone's young master. Are you? Li Jingbai analyzed. And the more he said, the more it makes sense. I am not a child of a rich family. I was just lucky enough to have a master who gave me a gift. Lu Yuan didn't hide anything. At this time, Lu Yuan was surrounded by a group of bison. And no one was left. If the monster hadn't been losing blood, he would have thought that Lu Yuan had been trampled to death. Little brother, you are so glib, and you said you were only 20 years old the day before yesterday. There must be many girls chasing you in school. Right. Li Jingbai actually started gossiping. Actually, I don't talk much in real life. Especially when I meet girls. Recently, a classmate seems to have a crush on me. But I don't know what to do. Lu Yuan also stopped talking to others. But for some reason, he was talking to a people who are not familiar with this talk about this. When Li Jingbai heard that she seemed to have encountered something a hundred times more interesting than upgrading, she quickly asked, Do you not like it? Or is it just too ugly? With your glib tongue and the fact that people have a good impression of you, it will come naturally. Lu Yuan saw that this woman was actually very enthusiastic about talking about this matter. Anyway, no one usually talked about this. After all, she might be able to give him some advice. I just feel like she has a crush on me. But I'm not sure. After all, the conditions are too different. How could she like me? A poor boy? Are you feeling inferior? Is it because of your conditions? Or is it because you are ugly? You are worthless? Do you like her? Li Jingbai asked another series of questions. I have never felt inferior because of my family background or other aspects. I rely on my own efforts and everything to make others envious. I am a top student in their eyes. How could I be useless? And I also have plans for the future. Although maybe the end point planned by you is just the starting point for others. Lu Yuan said calmly. The end of hard work may be just the starting point for others. Are you living so realistically at your age? Shouldn't you be confident and fearless about the future? 
Li Jingbai was a little surprised when Lu Yuan said so seriously. She is very beautiful and excellent in all aspects. I don't know if I like her. I never thought about it. I always feel that I am being led away when I am with her. I have never lost a debate. But I can't say it. She. Lu Yuan continued. Li Jingbai was a little dissatisfied when she heard Lu Yuan praise other people's beauty and thought to herself. TSK. What does a little kid know about being beautiful? I am still very beautiful. Women just can't listen to other men saying that other women are beautiful in front of them. I thought so in my heart but said, Children nowadays are very open-minded. But there are still some people who are trapped by love. He is really a younger brother. Has he never been in love before? Before? Speaking of the past, it actually left a shadow on me. Sister, hurry up and increase your health. You only know gossip. As Lu Yuan spoke, he found that Li Jingbai actually stood there without increasing his health. Oh, I'm here to chat. I'm sorry. What kind of shadow can love have? Li Jingbai was so full of gossip that she probably wouldn't be able to sleep until she heard it all. To think of it, that was when I was in junior high school. A voice came from among a group of bison. Chapter 19 Try Forging A voice full of memories came from among a bunch of bison. That was when I was in junior high school. At that time, I was a well-known good student in the school. Maybe my brain was born for knowledge. Don't be a jerk. What's the big deal about studying well? Who is not a top student? Li Jingbai was obviously a little dissatisfied with Lu Yuan's breath. Well, there were a lot of girls who liked me at that time. And one of them always came to ask me questions. I was also willing to help my classmates. Over time, I also developed an inexplicable feeling. Now think about it. Maybe it was just a pure liking at that time. Inadvertently, I always want to look at her secretly. And sometimes she will look at me secretly. And if she is discovered, she will quickly avoid her eyes. Lu Yuan suddenly stopped mid-sentence and ran to pull the monster. You kid, can you stop trying to attract people's appetites and pull monsters in the middle of your talk? You can't do it again later. Li Jingbai was a little annoyed. Lu Yuan was also speechless. Didn't he come here to level up monsters? He couldn't just stand there and chat. After pulling a circle of monsters, Lu Yuan continued to tell the story that caused him inner shadow. I knew it was not good to fall in love early, but that feeling really filled my heart. One day during physical education class, during free activities, she suddenly came to me and told me that she liked me and held my hand and said no. It will delay my study. So don't reject her even if you don't agree. I was stunned at the time. When I didn't know how to deal with it, a middle-aged man actually came over with our principal and suddenly shouted, You kid, what are you doing? What I didn't expect was that the girl actually ran behind the man and stopped talking. Lu Yuan paused and continued. It turned out that the man was his father. Because of his family's sponsorship of the school. After talking to the principal, he went to see his daughter. So he found the two of us in physical education class. The girl was still afraid of her father. He didn't even say a word to blame. And then I was charged with having a puppy love and holding a little girl's hand. Is that you? It's still my first love. I'm really speechless. No wonder you are so confused now. Li Jingbai was speechless after hearing this. Do you know what it feels like to be criticized even though you have done nothing wrong? The school is afraid of offending their families. So they blame me for all the problems. It has become a typical example. It doesn't matter. In the end the most important thing is that she didn't even say a word to help me. Which made me sad. So until now, I feel uncomfortable when I'm with girls in real life. Poor brother. The failed first love has caused a shadow. But your first love is not considered your first love at all. It is just the restlessness of adolescence and the beginning of your love. Li Jingbai sighed after hearing this. It seems that women are not the only ones who can be hurt in relationships. The two chatted and farmed monsters until almost 3 a.m. Li Jingbai's doctor character, Little Bottle, was upgraded to more than three levels in a row, reaching half the experience of level 18. And Li Yuan also rose to level 21. That's it for today. I'm going to go offline and sleep. Thank you for helping me upgrade, Li Jingbai said with a smile. It's nothing. Instead, I should thank you, sister, for listening to what I said so much. I have never told anyone so much about myself. Fortunately, I don't even know each other. Otherwise, it would be so embarrassing. Will you be online tomorrow? Li Yuan said from the bottom of his heart. I always feel very relaxed playing games with this sister and it feels good to say what I want to say. Let's talk about tomorrow tomorrow.
Let's see if there is a lot of work. I just play games to relieve stress. Otherwise, I will be driven crazy by work sooner or later. I will go online when I have time. I also had a lot of fun today. Goodbye. Li Jingbai remembered, I feel a little helpless at work. Lu Yuan said goodbye to Li Jingbai and was too lazy to continue grinding. The nearly 10 hours of monster grinding and upgrading made Lu Yuan very tired. So he decided to log off and sleep. But after quitting the game and drinking some water, I actually couldn't fall asleep. The more I thought about it, the more confused I became. So I just started playing the game again. Let's go see the master and practice forging. So Lu Yuan returned to the city and walked towards the blacksmith shop. When passing by a restaurant, Lu Yuan suddenly had an idea and went to buy a jar of good wine. There is no reason to be empty-handed when visiting people. Master! Master! I'm here to see you! He shouted loudly as soon as he entered the blacksmith's shop. When Zhang Feng saw that it was his new disciple, his expression didn't improve much. He frowned and said, Didn't I tell you? Kid, don't bother me if you have nothing to do. Just practice by yourself. If you really don't understand, come and ask me again. I just finished telling you this how many days have you forgotten? Lu Yuan didn't care. There were a few bad-tempered blacksmiths. And they were probably the ones who would be roasted by the fire. He smiled and took out a jar of good wine he had just bought from his backpack. I'm not here to bother you. But seeing that it's already dinner time, I don't know if you, master, have eaten yet. So I brought you a jar of wine to relieve your boredom. As for your filial piety, tell me what you have to say. I can't drink your wine in vain. Zhang Feng still had an impatient look on his face. But he reached out to take the wine and put it away. Master, I listened to your words while mining and refining. The forging is already over level 2. But how can I make the best equipment? In my skill options, I only have the whiteboard equipment production diagrams for level 10 of each profession. And there are none at all. What kind of high-end and rare equipment? Lu Yuan asked, expressing his doubts. Do you think you are a cabbage? You are of such low level. Of course you only have these. When you make whiteboard equipment, there is a certain chance that higher level equipment will appear. The higher your forging skill level is, the higher the chance that low level equipment will be of the best quality. Unless you have advanced equipment blueprints, you will have a chance to make it as long as you are proficient enough. But it is not 100% successful. So for you adventurers, the best way is to prepare more materials. Zhang Feng said on the subject of equipment. His attitude became more easygoing. Seeing that Lu Yuan still had questions, he continued, We make armors, and the weapons are different from those of you adventurers. We have to make them hammer by hammer, using materials of different temperatures. All the conditions are very strict to create the best, and you only need to add the materials and master the heat before you can come out with the equipment. Of course, you can also add the template yourself when the level is high. Then it will depend on your basic skills. Lu Yuan understood immediately after listening. It seems that the level of skills affects the success rate of equipment. It's no wonder that the player's production system needs to be simple. How many modern people can make iron tools? What's more, there are so many different professions in life. Is it possible that only cooks can learn cooking? This is still humane. After all, in the simulation world operations that everyone cannot accept are also thankless. Master, can the whiteboard equipment that is made be thrown away if no one wants it? Can it be broken down and refined again and used as materials? Lu Yuan continued to ask. Of course not. Recycling low-quality things will only make worse ones. Unless it's some high-quality equipment. How high is high? Is it a rare level? Epic level and above. Who would be willing to use epic equipment as materials when they have it? Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. You brat. Those things are still too far away from you. Go ahead and make some white bards to practice your proficiency. I have all the materials needed for low-level equipment except ores. Remember to pay. Zhang Feng waved his hand and stopped talking. Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan saw the situation and found a corner in the blacksmith shop. Click on the forging interface and select a piece of whiteboard equipment. The progress bar of the overall creation below is reading bit by bit. When you reach one-third of the way, the system will pop up a prompt to control the heat of the forging equipment. At this time, another floating pointer appears with numbers from 1 to 10 on it. Since it is a whiteboard equipment, the positions 4 to 7 are yellow, and the position of number 5 is red. Players need to operate the pointer to keep it in yellow for a certain period of time. Within the area, the red position is the best, but the pointer fluctuates. Sometimes the temperature is too high 
and sometimes the temperature is too low. However, it is not difficult because of the large range. When the progress bar reached two-thirds of the way, another prompt suddenly appeared. Please control the strength of the game. Another pointer appears that is the same as the temperature control pointer. The range is also the same, with the yellow area being successful and red 5 being perfect. It takes about 30 seconds to build a piece of equipment. And just like that, Lu Yuan started his first forging journey in this long night. The copper or an iron or mine before. And the rest of the charcoal and the like needed can be purchased at the blacksmith shop. It is quite fast to upgrade from level 2 to level 3 forging. After making so many equipment, I only made two pieces of 10 green equipment. It seems that I am no more talented than others. Lu Yuan was also a little helpless. After all, no one can control the system probability. Level 3 forging can be used as a blank slate for level 20. Lu Yuan continued to increase his proficiency, but he didn't even produce a single piece of green equipment until he runs out of ores. He is still a little short of reaching level 4. The proficiency required in the early stage is not high, and I don't know what will happen later. Lu Yuan went to the stall area to sell the equipment that had been in use in the past two days. It was still selling well as always, and it was bought after a while. Looking at the 230 gold coins in the backpack, Lu Yuan directly put 150 gold coins on the shelf. He expected to get more than 6,300 renminbi after deducting the handling fee. In this way, he earned back the money for the gaming equipment. I glanced at the time and saw that it was getting dark soon. So I simply logged off. Chapter 20 Lu Yuan's Analysis Lu Yuan didn't want to redeem the game currency so quickly. After all, the early gold coins were still very important. However, through yesterday's copy, Lu Yuan discovered that 20 green equipment and blue equipment would be widely popularized soon. And as the first copy of this game, it is actually not too difficult. The difficulty is that everyone is focused on reaching the level, and the equipment is not fully updated. If you are a guardian and wear a 20 green outfit, you can basically defeat the final boss. Once the equipment becomes popular, it will obviously not be as expensive as it is now. The sales volume of the equipment with good attributes should be quite good, but it will definitely be much cheaper. The level will get higher and higher, and the output of gold coins will also increase. Except for purchasing equipment and medicines, the system has not yet done anything to recover gold coins. Slowly, players will accumulate more and more gold coins, and there will be no place to consume them, so they will definitely depreciate. I don't know what will happen in subsequent games to consume the player's gold coins to maintain their value. Another point is that Li Yuan found that only the monsters he killed for the first time were given relatively better things, which meant that if he wanted to be superior to others, he had to be ahead of others. It can be said that his own level is not too far behind now. On the other hand, looking at the equipment although the level is lower, the quality is higher than that of the large army. However, once the copy is popularized and everyone wears their equipment, their own equipment will have no advantage. After all, it is only level 15 equipment. Now everyone is already looking for level 20 equipment. But there is a very realistic thing. Once there is a seller, these rich people can have the equipment ready in an instant. There is a saying that goes well. Don't use your living expenses to challenge my pocket money. From the letters obtained by defeating the boss in the Skull Cave, it seems that this continent is very large. And players are limited by their level. So far, they may have only been around the holy city. And may not have seen the tip of the iceberg of this world. So Lu Yuan decided to explore deeper after going online today. The most important thing is that the current game environment seems too quiet. Almost everyone is grinding monsters and upgrading after completing the task of changing jobs. I didn't even hear who received what mission. Which is obviously illogical. What is the main line? Why did you come to this world? Everyone is still leveling up. But what should you do when your level reaches a bottleneck? The official didn't announce it. And the players didn't notice it. Do we have to wait until players discover the so-called Bright Moon Kingdom and the Burning Sun Kingdom to trigger any war missions? Everything is unknown. And Lu Yuan only made a brief analysis through his own exploration. The most important thing for me now is to update my equipment and then strive to be ahead of most players. Only by breaking out rare things can I make more money. Go online today and explore further. While running, Lu Yuan analyzed the general environment of the game and briefly set a direction for his development. After the morning class, Lu Yuan took a bite of food in the cafeteria and planned to go back to his dormitory to continue playing games. I plan to continue exploring this unknown game world. I always feel that this combination of previous games cannot be so simple. As soon as he entered the dormitory, 
he found Zhao Xingha, who had skipped school again, eating instant noodles. He immediately asked, You didn't go to class. You must have been crazy because you are too lazy to go out to eat every day. Ah, uh, you're back? Did you know? Something big has happened. Now in the level 20 dungeon. As long as the previous boss can pass, the team can beat the last boss. The Forbidden Method ranked first in the level has published a post. There is a clearance video above. It turns out that there are a few boxes in the corner of the yard. And you can climb to the roof through there. So that the boss will not randomly fall into the back row when it is violent and no one can resist the monster. It's really a what a genius. And there is no way to hide it. So he announced it. Zhao Xingha looked excited. Liu Yuan didn't think it mattered when he heard it. Anyway, he had no intention of clearing that copy today. There is a large level dungeon every 10 levels. Obviously to give players who have reached a certain stage a way to get their current equipment. But it's not the only way. For example, in places like Skull Cave, although it's not a dungeon, the equipment you can explode is no worse than a dungeon. It just so happens that I don't plan to go to the dungeon today. If there is no way that you can't beat it, I'm embarrassed not to go. This is good. If you have extra equipment that you don't use, sell it for gold coins. Everyone will go to the dungeon, and it will be estimated to be level 20. The price of the blue and green clothes will drop soon. Lu Yuan told Zhao Xingha his thoughts. Although he was not short of money, there was no need to waste it. Yeah, I get it. But where are you going if you don't clear the dungeon? The experience in the dungeon is still very good. And that forbidden method. She is a woman. Now she has become the goddess of many male players. Zhao Xingha ate while eating, while sharing this morning's information. I don't know where to go yet. I plan to wander around casually. As for the game, I have to explore. Have you heard of anyone who has received a mission? A normal mission or a hidden mission? Is the game too quiet? Except for changing jobs. There are basically no tasks. Lu Yuan Yuan and Zhao Xingha were well informed and asked out of curiosity. Zhao Xingha was stunned for a moment and then replied, I really haven't heard of anyone having a mission. I would have forgotten it if you didn't tell me although I thought it was something. I really didn't notice that there were no missions to do. I used to have so many missions in games that it gave me a headache. Lu Yuan nodded without saying anything. He said H, Lo and logged into the game directly. Return to the game again and come to the holy city. There are still people coming and going in the city. No one knows what they are running around. I went to the pharmacy first to replenish some medicines. Since I was going to travel far this time, I planned to be fully prepared. Suddenly, I remembered the extra attributes added by the meals and drinks I had in Novice Village. So I decided to look for it to see if there was any such food for sale. However, since there are not many people practicing their living professions now, there are many who practice cooking. Most of them are used by themselves or shared with friends. But players do not sell them. So Lu Yuan went to a restaurant in the city, observed and bought some eight treasure porridge and some rice wine. Eight treasure porridge. After eating, the upper limit of life will be increased by 300 points. And 5% of health will be restored every 15 seconds. It lasts for 5 minutes. It cannot be eaten in combat. Rice wine. After drinking, the upper limit of magic value is increased by 300 points. And 5% of magic value is restored every 15 seconds. It lasts for 5 minutes and cannot be consumed during combat. Although it cannot be eaten during battle. Eating it before fighting can add some attributes which may save your life at a critical moment. The most important thing is that, as your blood volume increases, you can no longer rely on meditating to restore blood. Taking medicine while out of combat is too wasteful. The food was clearly on point. Everything is ready. But there is only one direction missing. There is a copy in the north now. And there are many people. So it is not the first choice. There are also novice players entering one after another in the south. And there are many of them, but they are not the first choice. Where are the east and west going? Looking at the game. The sun is about to set in the west. The sun sets in the west. And the heartbroken people are at the end of the world. Lu Yuan smiled slightly. Then let's go all the way west this time. Chapter 21 Gale Valley Not far away. Lu Yuan walked west and found a forest. Most of the monsters in it were flower demons. Monkeys and the like. But their levels were all over 10. For Lu Yuan. His experience was too low now and the monkeys were too flexible. The flower demon always sprays out pollen, which can confuse people and take too much time to fight. So Li Yuan decided to continue walking forward. 
and walked out of this small forest as he walked. As you go westward, there are fewer and fewer plants, and it begins to turn desert. It has to be said that after entering the desert, the monsters he encountered became more dangerous. When Lu Yuan was walking, the sand in front of him suddenly became loose. Just when Lu Yuan was curious, a snake-like monster suddenly sprang out from the ground. But it was. There is no head. And the unknown thing on the head is just a big mouth. Teeth like sawtooth. And the body is covered with carapace-like pippy shrimp. The three-meter-long monster suddenly appeared in front of him. Which made Lu Yuan scalp numb even though he knew it was in a game. The ferocious yarn worm has a blood volume of 50,000 at level 22. The SH. L is very hard. And it can't be attacked by getting under the sand. Although it looks scary. The damage is actually not high. And it is a type that can protect against high health and thick blood. Lu Yuan couldn't figure out why such a big monster was called a nematode. Although the experience is good after killing a few. It is really a waste of time and not suitable for upgrading at all. Lu Yuan also decided to continue walking forward. After walking some distance, a canyon appeared in front of Lu Yuan. The width of the canyon was about 4 or 5 meters. But it was about 40 meters high. Taniguchi was very calm and there was no monster at all. Which made Lu Yuan feel that the tranquility was a bit unusual. When Lu Yuan walked more than 10 meters, a strong wind suddenly blew. The blow made Lu Yuan fly out. But he also fell to the ground and was blown out like a ball. When he finally stopped, he lost more than 1,000 drops of blood. Take out a piece of rice treasure porridge. Eat it first. And then meditate to start recovering blood. While recovering blood, I observed the situation in the valley. It turned out that this canyon was called Gale Valley. And it was quite worthy of its name. Every five minutes or so, a strong wind blew out. And the wind was strong enough to blow away a player like Lu Yuan. Moreover, the wind cut like a knife was actually harmful. After observing it, Lu Yuan decided to go in again to find out. Hiding on the walls on both sides of the entrance to Gale Valley. Waiting for the strong wind. After the strong wind passed, it was time for Lu Yuan to enter the valley. After waiting for a while, Lu Yuan finally waited for the strong wind to stop blowing. And then quickly ran into the valley. Because I don't know how long this passage is. If I don't get there in five minutes, I will be blown out again. Lu Yuan didn't worry too much. And after walking a few hundred meters, it opened up. It didn't leave Gale Valley. It was just a circular open area. There were monsters spawning here. And they were actually some half meter sized black scorpions. Poisonous black scorpion level 24 HP 30,000. The blood volume is not very high. And it seems that the attack is not weak. Wild monsters are spawning on both sides. Looking across, there is another passage similar to the entrance. Monsters spawned on both sides of the passage. Even though it was very open, monsters did not wander around in the middle area. It seemed that the strong wind did not come from here. If you want to know the source, you have to go inside. Seeing this, Lu Yuan no longer hurriedly walked inside. Because he was only level 21 after all. So he might as well upgrade here. Lu Yuan did not dare to be careless. He first lured the poisonous scorpions to see what attack methods the poisonous scorpions had. Most poisonous scorpions used two pincers to attack. When they wanted to launch a special attack, they would raise their tails and attack with their tails. In order to test the attack power of the poisonous scorpion, Lu Yuan did not dodge. He was hit by the tail attack and was actually poisoned. He took a look at his own condition. Scorpion venom causes 120 points of poisonous damage every second, lasting 5 seconds. In other words, Lu Yuan now does not have any bonuses such as poison resistance. He will lose 600 blood if he is hit by the tail once. Fortunately, there is a pre-action before the tail attack, which can be reflected. The blood volume of 30,000 at level 24 is actually not high. And looking at the black heart SH, L of the scorpion, it seems that the defense is high. In fact, otherwise it would still be very painful for Lu Yuan to hit them. With an attack power of more than 1300, Whirlwind can do an average of 1000 plus damage. The experience of killing one is not bad. 1300 plus experience is not bad. Killing monsters by leapfrogging and killing monsters alone is not bad. If you kill a few hundred of them this way, you'll probably be able to level up. Lu Yuan pulls three monsters at a time. So that even if he is hit by the tail attack, he will not be stopped. With the help of the blood medicine, Lu Yuan was able to do it with ease. When Lu Yuan saw the scorpion raising its tail, he was ready to get out of the way. It didn't matter if he accidentally got hit. He just used the red medicine. 
when the effect of the food was seen. Lu Yuan hid in a safe place. Eat a treasure porridge and drink a bowl of rice wine. After Lu Yuan's observation, it turns out that the wind still blows every once in a while. But here it is not exactly five minutes, but more than four minutes. Because the wind also has speed, and the time it takes to reach the exit is exactly five minutes. In other words, the further you go inside, the shorter the interval between winds. After resting and resting, Lu Yuan began his long journey of upgrading. According to Lu Yuan's observation of the monster spawning rules in the game, each area is two levels higher than the previous one. So far, except for the odd numbered level every five, the rest are even numbered. I don't know what level the monster at the end is. After more than an hour of grinding like this, Lu Yuan finally reached level 22. After adding three strength, one resistance and one AG points, his strength was slightly strengthened. Coupled with a familiarity with poisonous scorpions, I became more and more proficient. Lu Yuan felt that if he walked forward, he might encounter a monster that should be level 25 based on experience. But he didn't know what it was. It would be safer to level up here and then go to a monster area. Lu Yuan took the trouble to keep swiping the poisonous scorpions. And suddenly the space in the other half of the area was distorted. And a boss twice the size appeared. The newly refreshed boss is surrounded by purple lightning with two black and red scorpion pincers, and a tail as thick as a small tree swaying powerfully behind the body, which actually makes people feel a sense of fear. Gale Valley Venomous Scorpion King Level 24 Boss HP 3000000 Lu Yuan looked at the boss and saw that 30W was really a lot of blood. After all, I was fighting on my own, so it was probably going to be a tough battle. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to fight the boss first. After all, there were many mobs around the boss. If he attacked rashly and was surrounded, he would definitely have a narrow escape. After a while, Lu Yuan finished cleaning up the surrounding mobs. Lu Yuan looked around and decided to pull the boss to a corner first, where there were fewer monsters. Otherwise, the monsters would be updated later, and he would have to take care of these mobs, which would be dangerous. He did it as he thought. Lu Yuan raised his sword to gather strength and used it to kill thousands of soldiers. After charging up, a figure dodged a sword and hit the boss. It is strange to say that even though a thousand soldiers were killed, the damage to the boss was not reduced at all. A solid 300% damage appeared on the boss's head. Minus 3,900. Lu Yuan was also shocked when he saw this damage. But he kept attacking with lightning chops, slamming, and whirlwind chops to greet the Scorpion King, holding the hatred firmly, and then led the boss towards the plan. Think in advance as position. Chapter 22 Gale Suit 1 6 Lu Yuan pulled the poisonous scorpion king boss to a corner, which was the place with the fewest monster spawns. So he focused on attacking the boss. The attack of the poisonous scorpion king was similar to the damage done by the last boss in the level 20 dungeon. But the poisonous injury was really a headache. However, Lu Yuan replenished his blood frequently. So it was not a big problem. The boss's scorpion tail attack actually attacks three times in a row. Fortunately, the poison does not overlap. And the poison damage is much more powerful than that of the mobs. It loses 240 blood each time. And one third of the blood will be lost after being stabbed once. It gave Lu Yuan a headache. It would be nice if a Nani was there to add blood to him. But Lu Yuan himself knew it was impossible. And he also understood that if he wanted to maximize his benefits, he would have to work harder than ordinary people. The reason why Lu Yuan was able to do this was thanks to the equipment given by Zhang Feng. Although the level was slightly behind him, it still surpassed the defensive power of level 20 green equipment. Every time Lu Yuan hits the scorpion's tail, the damage is higher. Obviously, the tail is the scorpion's weakness. Although it is a boss, sometimes the 5% stun effect of the weapon and the stun effect of the charge will still work. It may be that although the little scorpion is very poisonous, its body is really weak. Whenever the boss is stunned, Lu Yuan will use Thousand Army Kill to charge up the boss's tail. If Thousand Army Kill is not available, he will use Whirlwind to keep swinging the tail, so as to maximize the damage. Just like this, when the boss's health is almost 30%, judging from experience, the boss will definitely go crazy. Either recruit a younger brother, or increase the attack speed and damage or something. Something surprising happened to Lu Yuan. After a stun was triggered, when Lu Yuan hit the boss's tail with a single blow, the tail was broken. The boss, who was in severe pain, did not go berserk, but fell to the ground weakly. Seeing a great opportunity, 
Lu Yuan started to use various skills to greet him. After a while, the boss got up, and his whole body was red as if he was about to bleed. He saw that the root of the broken tail was swinging rapidly for a few seconds. More than a dozen times, Lu Yuan was so frightened that he broke into a cold sweat. If the boss's tail was still there, these dozen swings would probably have been attacks. Excluding the toxins and not adding up, the combined damage of each hit would be enough to kill Lu Yuan in seconds. Unfortunately, there was no such thing as the level 24 boss. The poisonous scorpion king of Gale Valley fell to Lu Yuan's heavy sword. After hearing a crisp sound, the boss exploded a small pile of items, and a touch of purple attracted Lu Yuan's attention. Although there was no one there, he immediately went over and picked up the equipment first. Gale Evisceration Helm Rare Quality Level 25 Physical Defense Plus 480 Magic Defense Plus 480 Strength Plus 36 Intelligence Plus 36 Stamina Plus 24 Spirit Plus 24 Additional Skills Breeze Surround Passive Skill The Wind Attribute Surrounds the Head Keeping the Mind Clear and Reducing the Effects of Mental Attacks Such as Dizziness Illusions And Confusion Additional Skills Poison there is a 5% chance of causing the enemy to enter a poison state when attacking, causing 240 points of real damage per second for 5 seconds, and the defense of the enemy affected by the poison will be weakened. The effect on players is halved. Lu Yuan picked up this purple equipment and was so shocked that his jaw dropped. Not only the defense has been quadrupled compared to my previous helmet, but the 4 dimensionality has also increased a lot. The key is these two passive skills. It may not be very effective against wild monsters, but if it is triggered in PK, it will be a nightmare if it is triggered against squishy professions. The real damage is truly invincible. The key is that there are a bunch of gray fonts below. And it's still a set. It's a pity that this equipment can only be worn at level 25. I don't know what the effect of the suit will be. Only then did I remember that there were some other things on the ground. More than 10 gold coins. There is also the scorpion tail. The tail of the poisonous scorpion king of Gale Valley. Which can be sold or crafted. The Scorpion King's Poison Potion Asterisk 2 contains violent toxins that can be thrown or applied to weapons to cause real damage to the enemy. Two bottles of highly poisonous potion. I just don't know how much damage it can cause. The rest are some blood medicine, blue medicine, etc. But there is nothing valuable. Lu Yuan looked at the level 25 helmet and his level 22 and couldn't help but feel a desire to upgrade. The next second, Lu Yuan charged into the pile of scorpions as if he had been given blood and started an even more crazy upgrade. It lasted until about 11 o'clock in the evening when the friend message rang and it turned out to be Li Tong. Lu Yuan, are you still clearing the dungeon today? There are some things today. Can't everyone pass the dungeon? I won't go. Lu Yuan had been immersed in playing scorpion for more than three hours at this time and he answered a little tiredly. Oh, then you should be busy. Lu Yuan closed the conversation. At this time, Lu Yuan had reached level 23 and one-third of his experience, looking at the scorpion that had been beating him since the afternoon. He couldn't help but feel a little disgusted. He looked at the road ahead and decided to change the monster to beat. If it's difficult to fight later, just come back when the time comes. Having made up his mind, he did not hesitate and continued to wait for the strong wind to pass before walking forward along the valley. Another open area appeared about the same length as the entrance passage. If it weren't for the different monster spawns, Lu Yuan would have doubted whether he was spinning in circles. The petrified lizards spawned in this area were similar to the previous distribution. They were all separated by half from the middle. I don't know if the middle ones were blown by the wind. After leaving, these wild monsters are still afraid of being blown away. Basilisk level 25 HP 50,000. You don't need to think too much. Just look at the name, and you will know that it must have high defense and much more health than Scorpion. Lu Yuan found a lizard at random and planned to test the damage first. As expected by Lu Yuan, the lizard's attack methods were simple, namely biting, clawing, and sometimes lashing with its tail. There was no poison or anything like that. Although the defense is indeed quite high, the attack is more than one level lower than that of the Scorpion. Although one of them is relatively slow to hit, Lu Yuan decided to pull more at once for this kind of monster with low attack power. Overall, the efficiency should be about the same. Whenever Whirlwind fell into a vacuum period, Lu Yuan felt a little helpless. The duration lasted for 3 seconds, and the cooling period was 5 seconds. The vacuum period of Whirlwind lasted for 2 seconds. 
Lu Yuan could only use normal attacks. As the size of the monster increased, without the blessing of skills, it becomes difficult to swing weapons randomly. It seems that at level 25, you have to go back to the town first and learn Zengitsu Zhan. In this way, if you use the two skills together, you can almost continuously swarm monsters. Thankfully, basilisks also require a bit more experience than fighting scorpions. Although he was fighting monsters two levels higher, Lu Yuan's attack and defense seem to be just about the same. It seems that wearing high-end equipment is different. The value of the equipment is high, and the relative elimination time is longer. It does not need to be replaced every five levels. Brushing monsters alone is boring and boring. But I happen to meet a determined person like Lu Yuan. I have persisted in studying such a boring thing for so many years, let alone playing games. I looked at the level 25 rare helmet in my backpack and became even more motivated. At this time, the air in front was agitated and twisted, and Lu Yuan couldn't help but laugh happily. Chapter 23 Sawtooth Lizard King Lu Yuan looked at the changes not far away and knew that he was going to fight the boss again. When the boss was refreshed, Lu Yuan couldn't help being shocked when he saw it. This is not a lizard. It is clearly like a big crocodile. The body is more than three meters long and more than half a meter tall. The teeth are like saw teeth that make people scalp numb. The limbs are as thick as a man's thighs. Jagged Lizard King Level 25 Boss HP 350000 After taking a look at the attributes, I saw that the blood volume was 350,000, which was acceptable. But considering the size, it was probably going to be a hard fight. The skin looks like crocodile skin. And the defense is extraordinary. It seems that the defense of the back must be very high. Judging by common sense, the abdomen of this monster must be a tweak point. But it is almost too difficult to attack the abdomen. It seems that the only option is to hit the head. Lu Yuan used the same tactic. First clearing out the mobs. And then holding back the hatred and pulling the lizard king into a corner. A difficult tug of war began. This lizard king was indeed a boss. His defense was much higher than that of ordinary small lizards. But his attack power was only at the average boss level and was not too conspicuous. At first, everything was fine. Lu Yuan slashed at the boss several times. And the boss scratched Lu Yuan a few times with his claws. Or beat him with his big tail, which was more than one meter long. The damage of these ordinary attacks was very average. And Lu Yuan fell into a dull stance, using drugs to fight the boss. However, the sawtooth lizard king suddenly bent his body and limbs and thrust his four legs towards the ground. His three-meter-long body rose into the air and bit Lu Yuan with his big mouth open. The sudden change in rhythm made Lu Yuan caught off guard. Lu Yuan, who didn't come and dodge quickly, was actually bitten on one arm. After that, the monster rolled on the ground. Because Lu Yuan's arm was bitten, his body was pulled and rolled by the huge force. And his blood volume also dropped significantly. Lu Yuan was immediately in crisis. Seeing his blood volume dropping all the way, he might not be able to withstand it with just blood medicine. After rolling a few times, the boss obviously slowed down a bit, but he still didn't let go. Lu Yuan took advantage of this gap to hit the giant toothed lizard's abdomen with a slam plus lightning slash, and actually received two critical hits. Fortunately, his ape was long enough, so the painful boss opened his mouth, and Lu Yuan quickly pulled out his arm. This is also in the game. If this is to be realized, my arm will probably be broken long ago. Lu Yuan, who had suffered a loss, did not dare to be careless anymore and actually yelled at the boss. You little lizard. You still dare to use dirty tricks. Let's see if I don't skin you. This mouth really insists that Qi Shan will not relax. Ah you. Having learned a bloody lesson, I don't dare to stand still and deal damage this time. After all, I am still a boss and I have my own dignity. Lu Yuan started to fight suddenly by dodging left and right. Once the boss wanted to use force, Lu Yuan rolled away and dodged. There was even a time during which the boss just bowed and Lu Yuan hit the boss on the upper jaw with a heavy blow and knocked him down. There. Although my heavy sword is of a lower level, the stun and knockback effect is really strong. And the additional damage is not much worse than a level 20 blue weapon. It seems that the gap between equipment levels is quite large. The only drawback is that it has no edge and is not sharp. It should be considered a blunt instrument. The Sawtooth Lizard King's madness only increases some defense power and attack speed. He didn't pose any threat to Lu Yuan, but he was beaten to death by Lu Yuan after a while. A burst of purple light flashed, 
and Lu Yuan instantly became energetic. Could it be that? Gale Evisceration Armor. Rare Quality Level 25. Physical Defense plus 1,200. Magic Defense plus 1,200. Strength plus 45. Intelligence plus 45. Stamina plus 36. Spirit plus 36. Additional, increase own defense by 20%. The attributes are not complicated, but the increase in defense is a bit too much. It is indeed a rare level of equipment. Lu Yuan couldn't help but look forward to reaching level 25 soon. The revolution has not yet been successful. But comrades still need to work hard. There are more than a dozen gold coins, as well as the back skin of the Lizard King as the material, and two bottles of special potion, special defense potion. The defense power is doubled within 15 seconds after use. And the cooling time is one minute. I glanced at the time and saw that it was already late at night. So I simply didn't go anywhere and talked about getting to level 24. When Li Yuan reached level 24, he felt as if he had been hollowed out. And everything looked like a lizard. It was already past 5 o'clock. And he had almost gotten up to wash up and go for a run. After nearly 10 years of persistence, Lu Yuan always felt that his physical fitness was his greatest asset in the future. So even though everyone is competing for levels and playing games, Lu Yuan still insists on finishing what he should do. People have to return to life eventually. And it is impossible to live a lifetime in a virtual world. When Lu Yuan came to the class, something surprising happened. There were only a dozen or so people in the class of 40 or 50 people. It is estimated that most of the people are addicted to the game and cannot extricate themselves. The teacher has no choice but to call the name casually. It seems that he has no energy to even attend class. When we were about to talk about it, we just chatted with a dozen or so people in the class about interesting things in the game and exchanged experiences. Of course, not everyone can make money in games, so they must do work in real life. But it is obvious that the game world has attracted many people and has affected many things in reality. Even Li Yuan, who is usually not in a hurry to upgrade is a little impatient to upgrade when he has equipment, but has not put it on. He wants to get this suit together. It is generally more than 20 levels. And there is a guild at 30 levels. Woolen cloth? What happens when everyone discovers the dispute between the bright moon and the scorching sun? What kind of plot will happen? Can my forging reach the highest level in the end? And can I make an artifact? Lu Yuan was a little distracted thinking about these things. Let alone his classmates, who didn't like studying very much in the first place. It's strange to say that there are no more tedious tasks to follow now. But everyone's enthusiasm is even higher. There is a lot of free time. But there is always a lack of direction. At the end of the day's class, Lu Yuan returned to the dormitory and saw that Zhao Xingha was still playing. He was really working hard. Lu Yuan also simply tidied up and entered the game directly, looking at himself at level 24. Lu Yuan originally wanted to return to the city but he felt that he had to go back to learn skills after reaching level 25. So he might as well upgrade to another level and then return to the city. Let's go to the next area to see what kind of monster it is. This lizard's skin is too thick, and it's only one level higher than me. It's obvious that his experience is not as high as before. I guess he won't be able to level up without playing for 5 or 6 hours. After all, it already costs more than 3 million experience points to level up. So Lu Yuan stopped entangled with these lizards and ran towards the next location according to the old method. Desert Werewolf level 26 HP 30,000. Looking at the werewolf walking in the station, a pair of sharp claws flashed with cold light. The upper body was like a wolf, full of muscles, although the lower body also had wolf legs. It walked upright and looked very strong. The blood volume is not high, and the leather and armor are not thick. It is obviously a high attack monster type. Try it first to see if your defense is enough. If not, just go back and kill the lizards. Lu Yuan charged towards the nearest werewolf. Chapter 24 Zhao Xingha is in trouble. Lu Yuan rushed towards a lone werewolf. The dizzy state of the charge was directly triggered. And then a series of skills such as lightning slash and slam were used to greet him. Lu Yuan found that the werewolf's attack method mainly used two claws. Grabbing the left and right. Scratch. The relatively high damage is that if you are hit by two claws in a row, you will be caught by the werewolf. At this time, the werewolf will open its mouth and bite until it struggles away. Getting up close is simply a nightmare for squishy professions. However, as the level increases, the agility of those squishy professions also increases greatly. And they have many life-saving skills and slowing down skills. 
It is possible to be better at handling werewolves with high attack and low defense. They couldn't get close enough to be consumed to death. Lu Yuan obviously doesn't have that much control. Only the charge and the stun effect of the weapon. Who makes the position of a warrior to be high physical attack and continuous output. Lu Yuan roughly calculated based on the damage done by the desert werewolves. He should be able to kill three at a time. If there were too many, it would be difficult to deal with them if they were bitten. In this way, Lu Yuan began his journey of slaying wolves. Although there were fewer monsters, the werewolf's defense was much lower than that of the lizard monster. So he killed them quite quickly. Lu Yuan left and killed among the werewolves so that he could put on the new level 25 purple equipment as soon as possible. He also wanted to make himself stronger so that he might be able to help Li Tong. Although Lu Yuan is not very optimistic about Li Tong's founding of the Union. Since Lu Yuan agreed to help him, he should do his best. But after all, a person's ability is limited and he can only try to stay ahead of others. Looking at the werewolf boss that had been spawned in the distance, Lu Yuan did not go up to fight directly because Lu Yuan was about to upgrade. Lu Yuan thought it would be safer to put on the two previous purple equipment. The previous two bosses were mainly defensive. Lizards have the ability to kill people instantly. If the scorpion's tail hadn't been broken, I'm afraid even Lu Yuan wouldn't be able to survive. Would a werewolf who focuses on attacking have no special moves? Lu Yuan decided to play it safe. He was also afraid of a tug of war. He had been out for so long, and he didn't have much potion left. When you reach level 25, go back to the city once to replenish the potions and buy some supplies needed after the battle. The most important thing is to learn the level 25 skills so that you can avoid the group of monsters in the vacuum period. Lu Yuan took the trouble to kill the werewolves. There were only occasional wolf howls echoing throughout the canyon, and strong winds roared past every few minutes. If they were blown out of this distance, they would fall to death. Right? A friend sent a message, and Lu Yuan saw it was Zhao Xingha. Lu Yuan! Where are you? I was killed. What's going on? Where are you? I'll be there right away. Lu Yuan was a little angry when he saw his good brother being killed. When we were clearing the dungeon together, because we were on a wild team, there were three people from the Sang Union. Since the equipment was now good and monsters could be blocked, I formed two mages in order to quickly clear the level. The final boss used a purple spell. The staff was originally allocated by rolling dice, but I got it with high points. When they released the dungeon, they asked me to hand over the weapon to the girl in their union, or else they would kill me. Of course, I wouldn't give it to me because of my temper. And then, they bullied me in large numbers and killed me. Some of the materials on my clothes fell off. But luckily my weapons didn't fall off. I used the loudspeaker to scold their guild. But someone replied that half an hour later, the south gate of the holy city would use force. Solve it. Zhao Xing has sent a series of messages about what happened. Okay. Even if there are thousands of people, I will go. Lu Yuan did not forget to say. Lu Yuan opened the world dialogue box and saw that it was indeed very lively. Some people criticized Zhao Xingha for playing dungeons and grabbing equipment, while others said that Zhao Xingha did not care about women and was unwilling to give in to girls. Some people even said that Zhao Xingha was playing hooligan in the dungeon. So they killed him. There are different opinions, and there are also people watching the excitement below who all have their own opinions. After taking a look at the experience points, he should be able to level up in half an hour. Lu Yuan dived into the werewolves and started killing them again. More than 20 minutes later, a white light flashed and Lu Yuan finally upgraded. He ran to a safe location as soon as possible and chose to return to the city. When he arrived in the town, Lu Yuan first went to the drugstore to replenish the blood medicine and blue medicine, so as not to run out of medicine during the fight. Then he went to the warrior instructor and learned the Zong US slash and the Ju Ming slash. Waning Moon slash sweeps enemies 180 degrees in front of you, causing 150% damage. The cooldown time is 2 seconds. Instantaneous. Death slash causes physical damage to the target and causes an additional 30% damage when the target's health is below 30%. Cooling time 15 seconds. A group attack and a single harvesting skill. Lu Yuan was quite satisfied. After preparation, he contacted Zhao Xingha. Where are you? I have returned to the city. I'm at the south gate. And there are so many people here. Zhao Xingha immediately replied. Lu Yuan stopped replying and rushed straight to the south gate. When he arrived at the south gate, he found that Zhao Xingha and some people were standing at the south gate and had not left the city. Taking a closer look, 
there were dozens of players outside the city, shouting and yelling. Isn't this kid very arrogant? He's still calling for a fight in the world. Come out! There were even a bunch of asterisks. Obviously, it's a curse word. Zhao Xingha saw Lu Yuan coming, but he wasn't too excited. It was obvious that there were too many people on the other side, and there weren't enough on his side. He was already overwhelmed in terms of momentum. So how could he fight? The people standing next to Zhao Xingha were all friends he had met in the past few days. They obviously wanted to help. And their equipment was good. However, there were too many people on the other side. And it was a dilemma. Lu Yuan now put on two pieces of equipment at level 25. And his defense power has exceeded the 2000 mark. With the attribute strength and other bonuses of the equipment, it may be difficult for half of the players to beat him. It's okay. I have to fight for this breath today even if I die. Lu Yuan said firmly to Zhao Xingha. Zhao Xingha was very moved but also a little frustrated and said, Forget it. Death will give you experience. If you all offend their guild, then I will become a sinner. It's just a purple weapon. If it doesn't work, I will give it to them. Later, I will give it to them. If the explosion rate is high, I will buy one. Everyone around him also understood that Zhao Xingha couldn't beat him and didn't want to hurt everyone. Who hasn't been bullied when playing games? especially individual players. But it is very realistic and helpless. This kind of thing is too common in both the real world and the game world. I said you gangsters. Do you still dare to come out? If you don't dare to fight, just kneel down and apologize. Call daddy and forget about it for today. A player outside shouted. Lu Yuan wouldn't have noticed it if he hadn't called him out. Isn't this the family in troubled times that the Coyote King picked on him a few days ago? Which of you has the final say here? Lu Yuan walked out and asked, Who are you? Are you going to stand up for that kid? Tell me. I've called all the brothers here. A player named Zhang Jun Bao said in a coquettish voice. That's him. He's also in the team with the beautiful lady in troubled times next to him. And the giant in troubled times. Zhao Xingha saw Lu Yuan coming out and stood up. Although the real guild has not yet been created, everyone who entered the game together also has a contact group. It is indeed quite scary to see this bunch of players from the beginning of the troubled times gathered together. At this time, more and more people were watching the excitement. After all, this was the most noisy PK in the past few days since the server was launched. Explosive equipment is distributed fairly. Why are you killing people indiscriminately? Lu Yuan remained calm, but was not intimidated. Stop talking nonsense. He is teasing my wife in the dungeon. Either hand over the staff or never leave the city from now on. Zhang Junbao shouted in the chaotic world, and everyone behind him was also cheering. Oh, what a loud tone. Don't leave the city in the future? Do you have that much strength? A male player led a large group of people out of the city gate. Chapter 25 become famous in one battle. Zhang Yong? Why are you here? Zhao Xingha looked shocked. He did not ask for help from his classmates. After all, it was not easy for a group of students to upgrade, and it would be troublesome to offend these professional gamers. It was John Yong, the monitor of the same class. Who came? You made such a big fuss and didn't tell us? When did our class get bullied? I went to the class group to call all the classmates who were playing games and beat them up. Are you okay? I went to gather all the people I recruited before. So I came a little late. Li Tong also led more than 20 people out of the city. Zhao Xingha was moved for a moment. And Li Yuan also felt his blood burning. On the other side, I saw that there were more and more people here, and I was a little worried. After all, I was not the leader of the gang. I just said in the group that someone insulted the guild. So I called the people from these guilds. But in fact, this Zhang Junbao is not familiar with them either. If the leaders of the guild find out that they are causing trouble because they want to steal equipment, all three of them may be kicked out. But now that they are riding a tiger, and it is difficult to get off, they cannot lose the guild's face. Why? Everyone is here. How do you want to solve it? Unconsciously, Zhang Sanfeng's tone became a little softer in this troubled world. Lu Yuan didn't say anything and walked towards the crowd opposite step by step. Everyone present didn't know what he was going to do. They all fell silent for a moment and looked at Lu Yuan silently. Lu Yuan walked two or three steps in front of the crowd, stopped, and then raised his sword, slowly said, Are you going together? Or together? When the people of the Troubled Times Guild heard what he said, they immediately went crazy. Who are they looking down on? Does this mean one person is going to beat 40 or 50 of us? You, before Zhang Junbao could say anything, 
he saw a figure flash past and ignored him and rushed towards the crowd. It turns out that the reason why Liu Yuan came closer was because he was afraid that his skills would not be able to reach that far and he would not be able to hit so many people. Standing in front of the crowd was to accumulate energy. But he spoke slowly to anger them and buy himself time. After accumulating energy, Liu Yuan chose a place with more doctors and rushed over in an instant. Although there are many people on the opposite side, most of them are in their early 20s. It is obvious that there are no core characters and the equipment is uneven. Coupled with the initial underestimation of the enemy, he was not even prepared for a fight. There is no added status. And there is no formation. Standing together so closely suited Li Yuan's wishes. The unexpected blow achieved an unexpected effect. With a 300% damage bonus for killing thousands of troops. In addition, Li Yuan's damage was ahead of most people. And even the sword of the dungeon boss could be knocked away. How could this group of equipment not have it? A well-groomed player can resist. This sword actually killed more than a dozen crispy ones instantly. And even those with thicker blood lost most of their health. Only then did the mage think of shielding himself. And the doctor thought of adding blood. However, in a battlefield with chaotic personnel and no command, everything fell into chaos in an instant. Lu Yuan succeeded with his attack and did not retreat. He focused on charging with crispy skin. Whirlwind slash. And when he saw the remaining blood, he added a fatal slash. Killing everyone in a sudden. A few more people died before the people on the other side reacted. They wanted to disperse quickly and focus their fire to kill Lu Yuan instantly. The scattered mages began to read messages and prepare to attack. The archers also locked on Lu Yuan. And the soldiers and guardians began to get close to Lu Yuan to prevent him from running away. Don't use group attacks. So as not to accidentally hurt your own people. Someone from the Troubled Times Guild began to shout. Because the union has not been officially established yet. So the guild mode cannot be adjusted during the PK. Lu Yuan still refused to retreat and actually started to swarm the players from the Troubled Times Guild like they were spawning monsters. At this time, everyone on Lu Yuan's side also reacted. Melee professions charge first. And the single target skills of long range professions target players in Troubled Times. There was no one in the crowd who was commanding it. And everyone began to take action. However, all the attacks from the launcher side were also launched. There were more than 30 people left in the launcher side, and most of them were long range. If all these attacks hit, Lu Yuan would definitely die. Just when everyone thought Lu Yuan was about to die, Lu Yuan drank a bottle of potion and activated Song Feng Blood Armor. When all attacks fell, all friendly troops, enemy troops, and the spectators were all shocked. Some of these attacks did not break defense minus one damage, while others only dealt more than a dozen points of damage. Lu Yuan kept taking advantage of their days, bypassed the human shields, and rushed to the back row. At the critical moment, Lu Yuan ate a bottle of defense potion released by the Sawtooth Lizard Boss, which doubled his defense power. In addition, the skill of Song Feng Blood Armor increased his defense. It can be said that under this situation, it would not be too painful for a level 30 boss to hit Lu Yuan. The reason why Lu Yuan was so bold was because the increased defense power and four-dimensionality of the two rare pieces of level 25 equipment were far beyond the same level. Moreover, Lu Yuan found that his level had surpassed almost everyone present. In other words, none of the people present were wearing level 25 equipment. The difference in attributes and his own surprise allowed him to suppress more than 50 people from the Troubled Times Guild by himself. Chaosher saw that something was wrong here, and dozens of people from the opposite side were also attacking here. It was obvious that if they were scattered and defeated one by one, the whole army would be destroyed. So someone shouted, Let's gather together. There are so many of them now. Don't be attacked. Surrounded individually, the human shields gathered behind and retreated. The group of people in the troubled times are no less game veterans. When they heard someone shouting, even if they were being chased and beaten by Lu Yuan, they did not look back and left like a large army. Lu Yuan took the opportunity to kill two more little squishies. The opponent actually wanted to run and the people on his side had just reached the attack range. Lu Yuan charged forward to close the distance. But the opponent had already decided to go, and it was obvious that he had no intention of fighting, seeing that even his long-range attacks couldn't instantly kill the person on the opposite side. But as soon as the opponent's health was increased, it was restored, almost hurting him all the time. The enemies gathered, and no one on his side except Lu Yuan dared to get too close for fear of being targeted. Lu Yuan suddenly had an idea. Take out the Scorpion King's poison. Aim it and throw it at the opposite crowd. 
the poison spreads when it is shattered. Some fragile professions are immediately miserable when faced with this real damage. The wet nurse is too busy to take care of herself and has no time to add blood to others. Lu Yuan charged up a thousand troops and rushed into the enemy crowd again. The poisonous attack and Lu Yuan's group injuries caused the players of the troubled world family to fall down in large numbers. When Lu Yuan stopped, there was no one around him. Lu Yuan stood among a pile of corpses like a god of war. At this time, Lu Yuan's name was already blood red. Who is this person? So awesome? It can't be a cheat. Right. He beat more than 50 people by himself? Isn't that ridiculous? Said the person watching the excitement with a question mark on his face. Which great god is this? Isn't he happy? There's no such person on the ranking list. Various voices burst out from the crowd. At this time, Lu Yuan actually started to pick up the loot that fell on the ground. And the people who came to help him also stood there with shocked faces. Is that our classmate? Who is it? He is Lu Yuan. From our class. He's a top student. And he's tall. Handsome and sunny. Is he cheating? There are such awesome people in our school. Because most of the people here are from the same school as Lu Yuan. Some are classmates. And the people Li Tong recruited are from all departments and grades. Aren't you looking for some trophies? Lu Yuan asked with great joy. And then whispered, This is much more equipment than the equipment you can get from fighting monsters. Lu Yuan, who had picked up a full backpack, ran over and said to Zhao Xingha, I can't enter the city. The name is too red. Sell these for me and exchange them for gold coins. Then he traded all the loot. Zhao Xingha only left the medicine and the gold coins he picked up. I'm taking a step ahead. I can only wander around for a while. I'll come back when my name is cleared. Li Yuan said to a few people he knew well. Then a group of people who were talking a lot saw a huge and majestic figure slowly disappearing from sight. In this battle, Li Yuan became famous in school. In this battle, Bu Daohuan became famous in Taoyuan. Chapter 26 The Troubles of Celebrities Li Yuan looked at his red and purple name with a distressed look on his face. An hour can clear up some sin points. My online time is limited. I'm afraid I won't be able to return to town in three or four days. It seems that if there is no medicine, we have to ask Xiao Xingha to deliver it. It is estimated that people from the Troubled Times Guild will not trouble Xiao Xingha again for a while. Anyway, I have already offended them, so I am not afraid that they will cause trouble for me. It seems that this guild in Troubled Times is really not that good. I wonder if other guilds in the future will have this kind of atmosphere. This is Taoyuan. It seems peaceful. But it has only been a few days since the server was launched and people have already started fighting for it. As long as there are benefits, players will start to fight for them. What about when the guild is established? What about waiting until the system announces the camp? I'm afraid it won't be such a small-scale war at that time. Lu Yuan walked towards Gale Valley while thinking about what just happened. It seems that most people have now focused on the dungeons, hoping to obtain rare equipment and arm themselves through the dungeons. Players who have almost reached the level are playing dungeons. It is conceivable that no matter how low the explosion rate of rare level equipment is, Zhao Xinga's purple staff will not be the only one. It seems that a group of top players will soon appear in front of everyone wearing top-notch equipment. It seems that troubled times are coming soon. And if you don't have the strength to stand in these troubled times, it may not be possible. Thank you, Lu Yuan. I didn't expect that I encountered difficulties, and you didn't back down from so many enemies. You are really a good brother of mine. We must go have a good drink tomorrow to celebrate our victory. Lu Yuan, who was on his way, received Zhao Xingha's voice. After nearly two years of contact, this was the first time he heard Zhao Xingha say such words. In the past, they were always joking. Good friend, there's no need to say thank you. You also know that my drinking capacity is really bad. But I'll stick with you until the end. Lu Yuan's drinking capacity is indeed not very good. But he is young and passionate and loyal. And of course, he has to accompany him. So it doesn't matter if he is drunk. The friend list suddenly became agitated. Lu Yuan clicked on it and saw that people he didn't know were adding him as friends. Lu Yuan was confused about whether he was a pretty girl or a big hunk. He quickly turned on the function of refusing to add friends. It was quiet. Lu Yuan came to Gale Valley again. Now that his two rare equipments have been upgraded, these little scorpions and little lizards no longer pose a threat to Lu Yuan. It is worth mentioning that after a day of refreshing, these two bosses have refreshed again. Lu Yuan, who had enough experience, easily killed him again. But this time he was not so lucky. 
No parts of the suit were revealed. Only two pieces of blue equipment were revealed. Both from other professions. However, two bottles of potion were released again. Lu Yuan, who had tasted the sweetness, certainly knew how precious this potion was and quickly put it away. Especially the defense potion, which doubles the defense power. If he hadn't eaten a bottle before, he would have been instantly killed by the damage from those players. Doubling the defense is not as simple as 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. If it exceeds the defense of the same level, attacks of the same level cannot break the defense. Lu Yuan, why are you so powerful? And your level has already caught up with ours. I'm afraid you will feel uncomfortable tomorrow. I heard from the monitor that many classmates in our school are asking about you. And they want to come and observe your appearance tomorrow. Li Tong sent another message to Lu Yuan. And Lu Yuan was helpless. I didn't expect these students to be so boring. But Lu Yuan underestimated the influence of this Taiyuan. Less than a week after the server was launched. The number of players in Guangxia country has exceeded 100 million. And not everyone is that strong. And there are no longer a few players struggling at the bottom. There are no longer a few players who are crazy about Krypton money. But judging from the current equipment market, even if you have money, you can't get the best. What's more, almost one person beat 40 or 50 people. No matter what method was used or what happened, it can all be recorded in history. With masters around, of course, everyone should pay tribute. Why are they so boring? The courses are not tight, or there is no need to write a graduation thesis. It's not that they are bored. It's that you have become popular all over the internet. I guess no one who plays games doesn't know you. Except those who don't pay attention to any official information. What do you mean? I'm only a little older now. What big thing happened? Lu Yuan replied to Li Tong with a questioning look on his face. And Li Tong took the trouble to explain to Lu Yuan. Someone recorded your PK just now and posted it online. In less than 10 minutes, it had tens of millions of views. Some players even complained about you using cheats and other unfair means. It has been so many days since the server was launched, and it has never been announced. The official who gave any information actually replied that this game cannot have any cheating behavior. The player's data is all normal, and there are many unknown things in Taoyuan waiting for everyone to explore. Can you imagine that the official can be forced to speak? Has the impact of this battle been lost? When Li Yuan heard about it, he was afraid that it would be difficult for him to keep a low profile in the future, and he still had a lot of things to do. First of all, he had to update his equipment. And then, he had to continue to contact the forging. If his forging level could reach the highest level, he would probably, while sitting in the city, countless money flew towards me. Making money is Lu Yuan's primary goal. It's just a fluke. I caught them off guard. Otherwise, so many people would have beaten me. Lu Yuan is not arrogant. He knows that the game is just a bunch of data. Under normal circumstances, no matter how powerful he is, he can't beat it. But the human wave tactic. Zhao Xingha is inviting guests to celebrate. Will you go? Li Tong suddenly asked about dinner. So Zhao Xingha probably called him Li Tong. After all, these people are here to help. Yes, I will go. He is my best friend in this city. After Lu Yuan recovered, he began to kill the werewolves. This time, he no longer killed two or three at once, but doubled the number. After all, Lu Yuan's defense. Attack power and ability to group monsters were all improved. Flying over. I am more and more looking forward to the time to wear a complete suit. After clearing out the mobs, Lu Yuan set his target on the boss. Desert Werewolf King level 26 boss. HP 300,000. This werewolf boss looks similar to ordinary monsters. And is about twice the size of ordinary monsters. The limbs are obviously stronger, and the claws are longer. It is estimated that the attack distance has been increased. Looking at the drooling mouth, it is a little disgusting and a little ferocious at the same time. If it were in the real world, maybe Li Yuan wouldn't be able to deal with it. But in the game, he'd kill me with one strike first. And then he'd use a lightning strike and attack with various skills in turn. And then he'd do the old trick of killing the werewolf king once he had good aggro. Pull aside. It has to be said that the werewolf king's attack power is already very high. If Li Yuan didn't put on these two rare pieces of equipment, it would be a bit difficult to carry him. If he was hit by a combo, he would probably be killed instantly. Chapter 27 Trouble is Coming The Wolf King boss basically doesn't pose much of a threat to the current Lu Yuan. But its combo skills are really annoying. It increases its speed instantly. And its entire body flies into the air with its left and right claws scratching illogically quickly. 
just like Aori in the pickup game. Same. Even Li Yuan, whose defense and HP had been improved, did not dare to resist. Wolves are indeed social animals. When the Werewolf King's blood volume dropped below 30%, he instantly retreated and stopped standing upright. His front paws touched the ground and started roaring. When Li Yuan rushed up, the summons of the Werewolf King had been completed. And he saw the surrounding desert werewolves rushing towards Lu Yuan like crazy. This head-on resistance was obviously unreliable. Lu Yuan also ran back for a while, allowing the summoned monsters to pursue them in a straight line. Lu Yuan gathered his strength and prepared to use a thousand soldiers to kill these monsters first, and then touch up the knife. Lu Yuan's trick really worked. But there were indeed a lot of mobs. Lu Yuan had to eat a special defense potion to double his defense power. Only then could he resist although it only lasted for 15 seconds. It was still enough. One pass of the skill the few left blood werewolves that were put down did not pose much of a threat. Without the harassment from the mobs, Lu Yuan had figured out all the tricks of the werewolf king. There was no threat now. The seemingly mighty Ronin king was killed by Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan seemed to be somewhat accustomed to the flash of purple light again, and was not as excited as the previous two times. Gale eviscerated trousers. Rare quality level 25. Physical defense plus 880. Magic defense plus 880. Strength plus 36. Intelligence plus 36. Stamina plus 24. Spirit plus 24. Additional, Wolf King's Roar. There is a 10% chance of increasing attack power by 35% when attacking. Lasting 30 seconds. The effects cannot be superimposed. And the cooling time is 60 seconds. Special attack potion asterisk 2 doubles the attack after use. Lasting 15 seconds. Cooling time 1 minute. Claws of the Werewolf King can be crafted or sold to merchants. Lu Yuan had obtained several of these materials. But he didn't know exactly what to make. He kept them for now to see if he could use them when making equipment later. The dozen or so gold coins are still about the same as the first two. And the rest are nothing special. Some of the ordinary red and blue pills also exploded. Lu Yuan directly put on the Gale trousers and his defense instantly increased by several hundred. This also boosted Lu Yuan's confidence. According to Lu Yuan's calculations, the next batch of monsters should be around level 28. Lu Yuan, who had greatly increased his strength, was too lazy to continue farming werewolves and simply headed straight to the next monster area. If it is a gale suit and there are six pieces, three pieces have been exploded now. It seems that there are three more areas like this in the back? Where is the source of this strong wind? Lu Yuan couldn't help but want to find out. Lu Yuan decided to move forward directly and upgrade in the next area. The experience of killing monsters beyond level 1 was obviously not enough for Lu Yuan now. Having tasted the feeling of being strong, Lu Yuan's desire to become stronger was even stronger than making money. Who among men doesn't want to stand at the top and see the mountains and small mountains at a glance? When Lu Yuan arrived at the next area, Lu Yuan found that the monsters in this area were a little weird. They are no longer in animal form or human form, but small tornadoes. Sandstorm level 28 HP 40,000. Through Lu Yuan's observation, it turned out that the strong winds in Gale Valley were actually caused by these monsters. Because the valley is surrounded by tall walls, the winds generated by the rotation of these sandstorms are swirling in the valley. Every few minutes, the boss standing in the middle pushes the chaotic airflow out of the valley. And then the valley calms down for a few seconds the airflow started to flow again. Lu Yuan always felt that the hurricane was like a layer of protection. Something behind the guardian. While Lu Yuan was thinking, he received a message. Smelly brother. What are you doing? It turned out that the small milk bottle was online. Lu Yuan saw that the time was already past 10 p.m. It seems that this is the time when she finishes her work. But she doesn't go online every day. She probably only plays games to take a walk and relax. The level was actually the same as the last time I took her with me. Sister Jingbai. I'm killing monsters in the wild. I can't go back to the city after becoming famous. I can't help you level up today. Oh. It's okay. I just want to come up and play for a while after I'm done. Then I'll go find my friends to play with. They always dislike me. Lu Yuan remembered the first time he met Li Jingbai. She also said that her friend had gone to dinner. But she never mentioned it again. In fact... Lu Yuan wanted to take a break, share today's excitement with this close sister, and let her know about his bravery. But now that his name is Red, it is not convenient to go to crowded places and cause trouble. The monsters can't stop spawning, while everyone is clearing the level 20 dungeon. 
No one is interested here. So they can enjoy this large wilderness area alone. It seems that the path of the strong is destined to run counter to most people. And is destined to be lonely. Who doesn't want to enjoy a relaxed and happy time? But that way is destined to be buried in the crowd. I don't have a lot of money to earn money. So I can only rely on my own efforts and early advantages to snowball. Shout you, Enzi. Someone is looking for you to fight. There are also people who can't be your friends. But they have become friends with me. And they want to buy your equipment at a high price. There are also many people who are planning to build a guild and are looking for you. Wanting you to great benefits for joining. Zhao Xingha suddenly sent another message. Which made Liu Yuan a little confused. How could he contact him? He opened his message bar. Privately chatted a lot. And opened the world channel. Everyone was still talking about what he just said. Thing. There is also a message that swipes the screen. No way. I want to challenge you. Don't be silent like a coward. It turned out to be the first forbidden method in the level rankings. Because Lu Yuan doesn't have many friends in the game, and he doesn't speak on the world channel anymore. He usually doesn't pay much attention to the message list, and only reads the email sent by his friends. I didn't expect that I would cause so much trouble this time. Is this forbidden player also a member of the Trouble family? Why are you challenging me? There are also rich people who want to buy their own equipment at high prices. Although Lu Yuan wants to make money, he also knows that only by being strong can he obtain more benefits. And his equipment cannot be sold. Turn off these, and don't think about it at all. The most important thing now is to quickly collect the Gale Valley set. And then buy more equipment to sell for money. Lu Yuan used the charging skill to rush towards the nearest sandstorm. To Lu Yuan's surprise, when the stun of the charging skill was triggered, the sandstorm stopped spinning. From the outside, it looked like a tornado, but turned into a whirlwind with its lower limbs. A monster dragging its upper body and its entire forearm with tapered blades. This sandstorm's normal attack actually uses the blades of both arms to strike the enemy at short range. Occasionally, it will cross its arms and send out wind blades. This wind blade should deal magic damage. And it won't hurt if it hits someone. The defense is not high. The HP is not high. And the attack is not high. This may be the most mediocre monster Li Yuan has ever encountered. And it is balanced in all aspects. However, after fighting for a while, Lu Yuan discovered that Sandstorm, which seemed to be mediocre in all aspects, actually consumed him more. Although it did not pose much of a threat to him, it consumed more medicine than when he was fighting werewolves. Be faster. Data is really interesting stuff. The space is distorted. And it looks like the boss is about to be defeated again. Chapter 28 Gale Suit May 6th Chapter 28 Gale Suit 56 Sandstorm Driver Level 28 Boss HP 300000 Looking at the giant whirlwind more than 2 meters high, Lu Yuan was even afraid that he would be blown into the sky. However, obviously the game was set as long as the monster did not attack the player or did not use special skills. Although he could feel the wind flowing around him, not to be blown away. After Lu Yuan finished cleaning up the mobs, he used old tricks to attract the boss's hatred, preparing to lure the boss into a corner. But he didn't want to fail this time. This boss actually has long-range attack skills. He can throw out all kinds of wind blades at will. And can also send out small tornadoes in a straight line. When he is hit, he can not only cause damage, but also be controlled for one second. Lu there are really not many bosses with long-distance contact with the legal system. I didn't expect that this boss's skills would be so difficult. Suddenly the monster opened its arms back. And all the airflow in the valley seemed to converge towards its hands. Lu Yuan suddenly thought of something and ran quickly to both sides of the valley. At this moment, the strong wind roared past. The strong wind in the Gale Valley was actually caused by the boss every once in a while. After releasing the gust of wind, the monster also froze. Lu Yuan did not waste the opportunity and continued to fight against the boss. The sandstorm driver was also well balanced in all aspects. Except for the strong wind skills. The rest were also against Lu Yuan. Cannot cause fatal injuries. Whenever the boss wants to amplify his skills, Lu Yuan quickly dodges and uses drugs to harden the rest of his small skills. This boss obviously has no fatal shortcomings. The damage is almost the same no matter where it is hit. Lu Yuan's output is indiscriminate, which is fine. It's not too strenuous. The only troublesome thing is that the boss never moves. So mobs are always refreshed around it. Every time it is refreshed, Lu Yuan is in trouble. After fighting for more than 30 minutes, Lu Yuan finally eliminated the sandstorm driving boss. With the death of the boss, Lu Yuan finally upgraded. 
at level 26. It seems that this kind of skipping monster spawning, exclusive experience, not only loneliness, but also high benefits. But the prerequisite is that you have the strength to do it alone. I have to say that the explosion rate for killing the boss is really high. It seems to be prepared for Lu Yuan. And the four suit exploded. Gale evisceration boots. Rare quality level 25. Physical defense plus 400. Magic defense plus 400. Strength plus 24. Intelligence plus 24. Stamina plus 16. Spirit plus 16. Additional, movement speed increased by 30%. Passive. Additional, swift wind. After use, movement speed increases by 50% for 15 seconds. Active skill, cooldown time is 5 minutes. There are actually two additional attributes. Logically speaking, the additional attributes of rare quality will usually reach 3 or more. But maybe it is because the equipment level is low. For some reason, there are very few people with two additional items now. There are some gold coins on the ground, as well as ordinary potions. Two pieces of level 25 green quality equipment, which Liu Yuan doesn't like, and plans to sell them together when the time comes. And two bottles of potions. Special agility potion, after use. Your own agility is increased by 50%, and the effect lasts for one minute. Cooling time 5 minutes. Seeing that there was still a road ahead, Lu Yuan didn't want to continue fighting the sandstorm. Although the attributes were balanced, it caused problems for Lu Yuan. After putting on the four suit, Lu Yuan's attributes increased again and his confidence doubled. Walking along the road to the next strange area, there was no longer a huge wind unleashed by the sandstorm driver in front. And the Gale Valley became much calmer. The obvious monsters in this strange area were wandering around, not standing on either side. Desert Blighter level 30 HP 50,000. Looking at these skinny humanoid monsters, each holding a mining pickaxe, they seem to have been sucked dry by something. Looking at the humanoid monsters wandering around, Lu Yuan was much more shocked than the previous monsters. After all, he was facing a human being. And he had become such a terrifying human being. This group of blighters wandered around as if looking for something. Occasionally stopping to dig the ground with their mining picks. I guess I came here to hunt for treasures before I was alive. But I was stuck here and couldn't get out. Lu Yuan wanted to try pulling a monster to attack and defend first. Although Lu Yuan was very confident in his current defense. He still wanted to be cautious. Unexpectedly, Lu Yuan had just beaten a monster. And all the blighters within 10 meters around him ran towards Lu Yuan. As if they had encountered some treasure. And came to snatch it. Although the monsters in the previous monster area were also active monsters. They all had a certain hatred distance. If I was careful. I would never attack a group of them. This is good. It seems that human intelligence is higher even if they become monsters. Lu Yuan was not afraid of the newcomers. So he happily started to swarm monsters with ease. With four rare pieces of equipment added to his body. Lu Yuan's defense power could be said to be quite terrifying now. It's not something that ordinary monsters can threaten. The only thing that bothered Lu Yuan was that the withered one could actually suck blood. While it caused damage to him, he could also recover some blood. This made Lu Yuan a little surprised. Can a mining pickaxe suck blood? Or is the monster itself thirsty for blood since it has been sucked dry? However, because the monster's damage to itself is limited, the blood sucking effect is not obvious. Since you don't have to run back and forth to attract monsters, you will gain a lot more experience in killing monsters after level 4 than fighting in a sandstorm. And it will be more efficient. Lu Yuan didn't need to attack alone. He used Whirlwind Slash and Waning Moon Slash in combination to attack high level monsters. But he was more comfortable than before. This continued for more than two hours. Just when Lu Yuan was about to reach level 27, the boss was refreshed. The previous bosses were all kings of monsters of the same type. The appearance of this boss is completely different from that of the blighter. He is fat and oily and holds a whip in his hand. The boss has been drained of his body. But his appearance is pitiful. But this boss he is fat. But his face is ferocious. Gale Valley Contractor Level 30 Boss HP 500,000. When Li Yuan went up to attack, he suddenly understood something. You can't believe what you see with your eyes in the game. This boss looks fat, but is extremely flexible. A third of Li Yuan's attacks were missed. This is the first time in a long time that when fighting monsters, the player's hits are not enough. Li Yuan didn't think much about it at first. But later he discovered that this boss looked fat. But his movements were extremely flexible. And the whip could always hit Li Yuan just right. He is truly worthy of being a contractor. The seemingly strong contractor boss 
has a lower defense than ordinary mobs. After being continuously damaged, it actually summoned its younger brother. The nearby withered ones didn't even need Lu Yuan to enter the hatred range, and they all ran towards Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan did not resist the situation and quickly distanced himself. The summoned boys all pursued Lu Yuan in a straight line. He opened the Sanfeng blood armor, drank a bottle of special attack potion, and a bottle of special defense potion. Then he charged up a move and attacked the mobs with a thousand army kill. Since there were too many monsters, Lu Yuan did not dare to take the risk. Doubling the attack and defense had a miraculous effect. In an instant, a large area of monsters had residual health. After receiving it, Lu Yuan used Whirlwind Slash and Waning Moon Slash. Harvest. This foreman is a total tiger, summoning his younger brother at every turn. But his summons is not directly summoned from the void, but just summons the mobs in the valley. After all, the monsters have a refresh time, and after clearing a large wave of scattered mobs, come over it can't cause too much damage at all. In this way, the contractor was killed with a knife without any danger. Another flash of purple light flashed, and a flash of white light flashed by himself. After eating the boss experience, Lu Yuan upgraded. Chapter 29 The Secret Space of Gale Valley Lu Yuan walked to the monster's corpse and started to pick up the loot. The first thing was of course the purple rare equipment. Gale Eviscerate Belt Rare Quality Level 30 Physical Defense Plus 800 Magic Defense Plus 800 Strength Plus 36 Intelligence Plus 36 Spirit Plus 24 Stamina Plus 24 Additional HP Increased by 25% Additional, every time the combo reaches 10 times, the maximum life limit of the self is increased by 100, superimposed up to 5 layers. The belt is actually a level 30 piece of equipment, and I can't wear it at my own level yet. Now level 27 still needs to be upgraded by 3 levels. It is estimated that it will take 2 or 3 days to reach level 3, which is pretty good, seeing that the attributes of his Gale suit were only one short of being able to be activated. Lu Yuan was full of energy and distressed at the same time. After all, the difference was only in level. The Gale suit has a total of 6 pieces. The attribute of the 5 piece set is to Stimulate the power of the suit and draw the surrounding air towards itself with itself as the center. Forming a wind vortex. Causing gravity to the surrounding monsters and forcing them to move closer to themselves. During this time, the player can move. This effect is invalid for players. The cooling time is 10 minutes. The attribute of the 6P set is to Stimulate the hidden power of Gale eviscerating weapons and launch powerful wind blades around itself from the center, causing explosive damage to surrounding wild monsters. This skill is invalid for players. Cooling time is 10 minutes. The 5P set can attract monsters and the 6P set can kill enemies. It's a magic weapon for groups of monsters. I just don't know how big the range is and I don't know how powerful this attack is. If I can't kill him at once, I don't know if I can withstand the group of monsters attracted. Continuing to look at the loot, there are more than a dozen gold coins, a few potions, but no special potions, ten primary strengthening stones, and a teleportation scroll. Primary strengthening stone, used to strengthen equipment above level 30, so that the basic attributes of equipment above level 30 can be improved. Gale Valley Teleportation Scroll The evil winged birdman harms the villagers around Gale Valley, and is sealed to the dimensional space by the Taoyuan Divine Envoy. After use, the player team can be teleported to the hidden space of Gale Valley to challenge the evil winged birdman. Using level 25, it is recommended that players team up to go. Sure enough, the game is still inseparable from equipment enhancement. It seems that after level 30, it will be the beginning of a crazy money-making process. This teleportation scroll is interesting. I thought I had reached the end of Gale Valley, but I didn't expect that there is still a hidden space. A boss. This wild Gale Valley can even be called a dungeon. But it is not open as a dungeon. It seems that the system announces a dungeon every 10 levels. But players explore the world and discover places. Maybe each place can become a story on its own. It can be regarded as a wild dungeon. There is no limit on the number of people who can enter. You can spawn monsters while surrounding them. Let's go together to grab the boss. Competing for resources provoking disputes and wars. Players will naturally consume gold coins. On the surface, the game does not encourage war. So it is named after a paradise. A paradise where there is no fight against the world. But where there are people, there are interests. Once interests arise, there will be wars. If you want to reach the commanding heights, you have to fight for it. 
It is estimated that when the dungeon craze passes, everyone will discover this place. I don't know if you have discovered that one valley can actually concentrate so many areas, and the boss can also explode a suit. There are probably more people in Gale Valley than there are in the dungeon. I just don't know if the explosion rate of subsequent boss will be so high. After all, when Lu Yuan came to Gale Valley for the second time, neither boss was exploding rare purple equipment. Lu Yuan spent several hours in a row grinding monsters, which was a bit boring. After picking up the loot, he found a corner to rest for a while and read the game information. Through Zhao Xingha's introduction, Lu Yuan found out that he should read more about the game forums and the player's experiences. And the events in the game are also crucial. Lu Yuan first opened the level ranking list, but he had never looked at it carefully. However, for the forbidden method before, it was said that the person ranked first in the level wanted to challenge him to a duel. And Lu Yuan was curious as to how he had offended her. Ranking list. First place. Forbidden Law Professional Mage Level 29. Second place. Heroes of Troubled Times Professional Warrior Level 29. Third place. Mythical Yaoyang Professional Archer Level 29. Fourth place. LJ Li Wei Professional Physician Level 29. Fifth place. CK Hidden Professional Assassin Level 29. Sixth place. God of War Tyrant Professional Guardian Level 29. Seventh place. Level 29 Professional Warrior of Love in the Red Dust. Eighth place. Half Drunk and Half Worldly Professional Doctor Level 29. Ninth place. Sad Handsome Professional Guardian Level 29. Number 10. You are so beautiful when you smile. Professional Mage Level 29. Lu Yuan only glanced at it a few times before and remembered that most of the guild names started with the same name. Now at a glance. It is obvious that the first few names are also guild names. He is probably the boss of the guild or something like that. But he will not be confused. A certain guild occupies most of the seats. And it is obvious that the levels start to spread after level 25. The first forbidden law is the one that I have to challenge. But I can't tell which guild it belongs to. LJ Li Wei is probably Li Tong's brother. It's quite impressive for a doctor to be ranked fourth. The guild of troubled times ranks second. And it seems to be super strong. I wonder what kind of trouble will come in the future. Lu Yuan had never heard of the others. Lian Hongchen and Half Drunk Half Hongchen seem to be the same. There are so many mages on the level ranking list. It seems that when it comes to upgrading, mages group monsters are faster. Lu Yuan opened the official forum built into the game again. And the headline that caught his eye was Mysterious Master Ruins, the reputation of the guild in a troubled world with one enemy. The general content of the article says that the guild in troubled times wants dirty weapons and the like, killing ordinary players indiscriminately and mysterious masters appear to maintain justice. With one against a hundred, the guild in troubled times not only loses its character, but also loses its force. The article is a bit exaggerated, but it roughly restores the true story of the matter. A video of that battle is attached at the back. Lu Yuan clicked on it, took a quick look at it, and then turned it off. After all, he was the person involved, so he probably knew it. The second most popular search is challenge post from the top of the level list which roughly means that the forbidden method number one on the level list is challenging the mysterious master, with screenshots of the world shouting out. Many onlookers hope that Lu Yuan will accept the challenge. It's really not a big deal to watch the excitement. If Lu Yuan hadn't been because of Zhao Xingha's incident, he really wouldn't have gone through that troubled water. The third article is interesting. It is a post sent by the guild in troubled times. The general meaning of the content is that the guild in troubled times improperly managed its personnel which led to guild members showing up with dirty equipment, incompetence, murder, and looting. The guild in troubled times apologized to the players in the game and sincerely hoped that the parties involved would understand. The players who stirred up trouble in troubled times have been permanently banned. The guild of troubled times will not be held accountable for the losses caused by being expelled from the guild and piking outside the south gate. After the guild of troubled times is established at level 30, all players are welcome to join. We also welcome mysterious masters to join our guild of troubled times. In this troubled time, the guild is really decisive. In order to protect the reputation of the guild, all losses are not investigated at all. Dozens of people lose experience, which will obviously have some impact on the progress of the guild. And the killed guild members will inevitably not be able to swallow this breath. However, the guild of troubled times still apologize decisively. This guild leader is worthy of claiming to be a hero of troubled times. Players in the first tier are about to reach level 30. And obviously there will be many new ways to play the game after level 30. 
Maybe the competition between players will become more intense after level 30. Chapter 30 Determination to Become Stronger After brushing up the levels all night, Lu Yuan took another day of classes the next day. Originally, Lu Yuan planned to go back to the dormitory to upgrade online after class, so that he could put on his new equipment as soon as possible. And there was still a boss he had yet to fight. The forging level has not been practiced in the past two days. But since we agreed to have dinner with Zhao Xingha, we can't neglect our real feelings just because of the game. There were not many people eating together. So Zhang Yong brought a female classmate Zhao Lingling with him. Li Tong, Lu Yuan, Zhao Xingha, and other five people. Zhao Xingha found a relatively high-end restaurant. Originally, everyone said that they could have a casual meal near the school. But Zhao Xingha felt that it was not sincere. After ordering, everyone inevitably started talking about the game. And they were also very curious about how strong Lu Yuan had become. Lu Yuan, how did you manage to be at a lower level than us? And then when you came back, not only did you catch up with the level, but your equipment was even more powerful than before. Did you encounter some adventure? Li Tong couldn't help but ask. And everyone looked at Lu Yuan curiously. Although Zhao Xingha knew something about the situation. He wasn't very careful. After you reached level 20, you all went to the dungeon. Although the dungeon experience was good, it was also very limited. Then I went to the west and found a valley. Lu Yuan briefly said that there was nothing to hide and suggested that they also try their luck and maybe get a suit. By the way, many people are selling rare equipment in the dungeon now. And it's also a set. It's a three-piece bandit suit. It seems to increase the number of gold coins that monsters can explode. Although the skills attached to the suit are dispensable for rich people. But this the increased defense and attributes of rare equipment are much higher than those of blue equipment. It seems that rare equipment will not be so rare as you go to the back. After all, there are many people farming monsters. But those who can wear them all are either European emperors or rich people. The meal didn't last long. Squad leader Zhang Yong had his own little idea and took Xiao Lingling away. And Zhao Xing happened to have to go home. So it was the weekend tomorrow, and it would be okay to go back to the dormitory. Li Tong said he also wanted to go home for the weekend. Watching everyone disperse, Lu Yuan suddenly felt a little lonely. He glanced at the time and saw that it was not very late yet but the sky was a little dark. He put on his headphones and decided to take a walk and take a look at this bustling city. This will be where I will strive after graduation. And I will also become a member of this industry. Lu Yuan had an idea. He was already ahead of many people in another world. Maybe this was his chance. No matter which world. As long as you stand at the top, you will definitely get benefits. Lu Yuan returned to the dormitory and tidied up briefly before deciding to play the game. It is estimated that the people on the ranking list in the game have reached level 30. I wonder if their guilds have been established. Although my original intention is not to care about the rankings or how better I am than others in the game. I just want to make some pocket money. But now a desire to become stronger seems to have changed Li Yuan's original intention. Li Yuan wants to become stronger. The ordinary self in the real world wants to become stronger in another world and stand on the top of that world. Maybe we should be more serious. As soon as Li Yuan logged into the game, System prompts came one after another, and Lu Yuan couldn't help but look carefully. Congratulations to the player for reaching level 30. The game has officially opened the guild system. The gang building order will be produced in the level 30 copy. The gang building leader has been picked up and automatically bound. Recently, it was discovered that some players organized private auctions, causing chaos in equipment transactions. To ensure the safety of players' funds, the system has officially opened the auction house. Players can open the auction house option to buy or sell equipment and materials. The game has turned on the enhancement system. And equipment above level 30 can be enhanced to further enhance the attributes of the equipment. Strengthening stones can be obtained from mobs and bosses above level 30. Since players have reached level 30, the game will hold the first world number one arena competition in a week. Players can sign up in advance to participate. The top three will receive generous prizes. And participants will receive experience rewards. The system will open an apprenticeship system. And you can become an apprentice if your level is 10 levels apart. If you team up with a master and apprentice to clear monsters, you will get additional experience bonuses. Players can also learn from NPCs affected by intimacy, NPC personality, etc. to learn higher level abilities. Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh after reading it. Even if the game is automatically managed by artificial intelligence, it still focuses on the interests of the game company to prevent players from reselling gang-building orders. 
there is actually a pickup in binding. After all, many games have experienced sky-high price of gang building orders in the early stage when the explosion rate of gang building orders is low. Players are prohibited from privately auctioning equipment. The auction house is convenient and the system can legitimately charge handling fees. It also saves players the trouble of setting up stalls. For normal players, the auction house is a good thing. But for merchants, it is a blow. You could buy low and sell high to make a profit. But with the auction house, some valuable things in the game will be more transparent. Although you can also speculate on the market by hoarding goods. No matter how you do it, the game will undoubtedly benefit in the end. Company, the more players toss around, the more handling fees they will pay. As for equipment enhancement, it is obvious that the people in the first team have already been exposed to the enhancement stone. The system only waits for players to reach level 30 before announcing it. It may be for low-level players. Everything has been arranged, and players are just waiting for them to explore and become stronger before they are qualified to contact them. This is Lu Yuan's feeling. As for the Martial Arts Conference, it is the first officially launched event. I don't know what the rewards are and how generous they are. Stop thinking about these. The most important thing now is level. I don't know where those people on the level rankings have upgraded. Lu Yuan suddenly remembered something, opened his backpack, and took out the teleportation scroll of Gale Valley. Gale Valley teleportation scroll. The evil winged birdman harms the villagers around Gale Valley and is sealed to the dimensional space by the Taoyuan Divine Envoy. After use, the player team can be teleported to the hidden space of Gale Valley to challenge the evil winged birdman. Using level 25, it is recommended that players team up to go. The evil winged birdman harmed the villagers around Gale Valley. But I walked all over the valley and didn't see any villagers. Could these blighters be transformed from villagers? Lu Yuan immediately rejected his idea, seeing that these blighters were obviously from outside looking for treasure. And the boss contractor was obviously the one who led them. But they became like this for some unknown reason. Lu Yuan checked along the surrounding valley wall. And sure enough, in an inconspicuous corner, he found a cave entrance less than half a meter high that could only allow one person to pass through. Unlike the Skull Cave, it was pitch black inside. But Lu Yuan threw it there were only a few stones, but it was obvious that the hole was not shallow. So Lu Yuan decided to go in and check it out. At first, I could only crawl at the entrance of the cave. After climbing a few meters, I was able to stand up. However, it was still very dark. It seemed that I would need to prepare some lighting in the future. Not all caves have light. Lu Yuan couldn't help but feel a little emotional. After walking a short distance, he found light. Lu Yuan walked out of the cave and found that it was also surrounded by a cylindrical area. Sure enough, there were some small houses made of less. Lu Yuan took a closer look and saw some skinny villagers. The villagers also spotted Lu Yuan and shouted in fear. There is a stranger. Go and call the village chief. Chapter 31 Gale Village Seeing how nervous the villagers were, they must have been frightened by the wild beasts. Lu Yuan stopped moving forward and waited silently for the villagers to call the village chief. After all, he had no ill intentions and it would be troublesome if unnecessary misunderstandings occurred. After a while, an old man who was a supporter of more than 20 households of villagers came slowly. When he reached more than 10 steps in front of Lu Yuan, he stopped and said slowly, The brave man from outside came to our lifelong village for some reason. We the village is barren, and I don't have any treasures to offer you. So please don't hurt my villagers. Lu Yuan looked at this group of lean villagers and felt as if he was in Africa. He couldn't help but sympathize. Hello, village chief. I don't mean any harm. I just passed by Gale Valley and kill the beasts outside. I found the entrance of the cave and came in to take a look. Look, I'm not going to hurt you. In that case, I'm relieved. I wonder what happened to the hero. Lu Yuan saw that this village didn't seem to like outsiders visiting. This was an eviction order. The system would not arrange a useless village for no reason. I passed by here and didn't have anything else to do. I wonder if there is anything I can do to help you. Lu Yuan Lai came and asked simply. In that case, Brave man, please come with me and let's sit down and chat for a while. It has been a long time since outsiders came to our village. It's not that we are not enthusiastic. It's just that the village is barren and there is nothing to entertain. Lu Yuan followed the village chief to a table and chairs made of less and sat down. I don't know why you built the village here. Although you can see the sky from here. It is surrounded by canyons. So the sunshine hours are probably very short. Master Brave has observed carefully. Yes, 
There is only a period of time every day at noon when the sun can shine in. So our crops grow slowly, and we can barely make ends meet. We were not here before. And the village was relatively wealthy. But suddenly one day, there were dark clouds. And a lot of wild beasts came from nowhere. So we had to hide. The village chief said that the wild beasts' bodies were shaking a little. Lu Yuan thought that the game was probably going to be launched. So he added a lot of plots to cater to the game. Although these villagers were just data. They were real people living in this world. When the game started and players enter, they would definitely appear. Monsters are for players to upgrade. So it can be said that it is the players who ruin their peaceful lives. Our village produces some or because it is located in the valley here. Before the monsters arrived, our villagers collected ore and then used it to exchange for some daily necessities. It was enough to be self-sufficient. But it also recruited a group of construction teams. The strange thing is that it was those monsters that suddenly came. Although a birdman among them was scary. He did not kill us. Instead, he turned the construction team into monsters like humans. We retreated to this mine. Later, a god came nearby. And the big bird disappeared. But our outward passage was blocked by layers of monsters. Lu Yuan saw how skinny they all were. And when he thought about how there was no food in his backpack. Only some medicines. Lu Yuan had an idea. He didn't know if they could eat the eight treasure porridge. So he tentatively took out the eight treasure porridge and distributed it to the villagers. Unexpectedly, the villagers could actually eat it. Seeing them gobble it up one by one, Lu Yuan couldn't help but feel a little moved even though he knew that these NPCs were just data. Thank you, Lord Brave. We haven't had such delicious food for a long time. We really have nothing to repay. Let's give you some or from our village to express our gratitude. The system prompts. Congratulations on receiving the gratitude of the Gale Villagers. Rich Tin Mine Asterisk 50. Lu Yuan saw that it was a 4th level ore. It turned out that this village actually guarded a 4th level mine. Grandpa. Village Chief. Is this Rich Tin Mine you're produced in the village? Exactly. I could have exchanged some things before. But now. The Village Chief said and looked at the villagers who were devouring their food with tears in their eyes. I wonder if the Village Chief can take me to the mine to have a look. What's wrong? Brave man, please come with me. Follow the village chief to the hole behind the house. This time the hole is quite big. It was not completely dark when entering. Looking at the randomly refreshed ores in the cave, Lu Yuan knew that this should be considered a mining area. And just like the outside, it would be refreshed after a while after digging. Moreover, the mine was large enough. And there were no monster harassment is a good place for players to practice their life and profession. Village chief, I have a way to get you out of this predicament. Oh, what good idea does the brave man have? If we can make our village rich in food and clothing, I am willing to be shattered into pieces. The village chief said excitedly. I can allow many people like me to come here to mine. You can charge them entrance fees, which can be money, food, or medicine. You can decide on your own, and you don't have to dig the mine. Lu Yuan said. Can such a good thing really happen? Are they all as kind as Lord Brave? Will they harm my villagers? The village chief actually didn't believe it. After Lu Yuan's investigation just now, he found that this area is completely a safe zone. And these villagers are protected by the system and cannot be attacked. No wonder the village chief said that the birdman did not kill the villagers. And obviously even though the village is small, the village chief obviously has certain authority over the game settings. Don't worry. No one will hurt you. If there is an unreasonable person, you can use the villagers to drive him out. You can even issue a task and ask the brave to help you complete it. As long as you give some rewards to those who help you, that's it. When the village chief heard this, he realized that if this could really be the case, then the brave man would be our great benefactor in Gale Village. The village chief looked excited, and his eyes seemed to have rekindled hope. Dear brave man, I am sorry. If you can restore prosperity to Lifeong Village, you will become a distinguished guest of Lifeong Village forever. Our village will mail you village specialties every once in a while to repay this kindness. It will never change. Accepted the Help Gale Village out of trouble task. Lu Yuan was stunned. Why did it suddenly become a mission? This was the second mission he had received. It turns out that there are no tasks in the game. You just need to find out by yourself. If you just give the villagers some food and get only 50 ores, and you continue to help enthusiastically, you will actually trigger such a task. Although Lu Yuan doesn't believe it. What specialties could this village have? But this unchanging determination made Lu Yuan feel that these villagers were really honest. 
It may not be effective right away. It may take a while. Lu Yuan was afraid that the villagers would not be able to wait if they had hope. So he explained, I have been waiting for so many years. If you don't miss this little time, just try your best. Brave man. The village chief is open-minded and is not willing to give up even if there is a little hope. After all, he shoulders the responsibility of these few villagers. Lu Yuan stopped dawdling and used the photo mode to take pictures of the mine, the village and the entrance. As for the monsters outside, Lu Yuan simply made an introduction, integrated all the monster attributes and explosive equipment, and posted a post. Such strategy posts are so valuable in a game that completely requires players to explore, and it's hard not to get noticed. This will definitely attract a large number of players who are leveling up and acquiring equipment to spawn monsters and real-life players can enter the village without being harassed by monsters. It will probably work soon. Lu Yuan seemed to remember something again, and said to the village chief, There are no supply points nearby. If you can purchase the formula and raw materials of medicines from outsiders, let your villagers make the medicines, and then sell them to the warriors. You there will be more benefits. As a person in the real world, Lu Yuan can certainly see some things more clearly and understand things that NPCs don't understand. Although they are highly intelligent NPCs, they are still incomparable to real people. The village chief became even more happy when he heard this and repeatedly said yes. It seemed that he finally had hope. Chapter 32 Unintentional Intervention Once Li Yuan's post was posted, it caused a sensation and made Li Yuan even more famous. Such masters selflessly shared their experiences. Through the video of one person challenging a guild, who doesn't know how strong Li Yuan is? Such experts actually announced the place where they farmed monsters and used equipment, and also recommended such a mining treasure to professional players. It was free from monster harassment. How rare it was. This kind of behavior completely crushed the characters on the ranking list. Everyone wished that others would never know what they had discovered. Only this unknown master first helped the individual players, who were bullied by the guild, and then made selfless contributions. Reveal their secrets. For a time, Everyone on the internet was praising this mysterious master, who was deeply loved by individual players. There were endless posts of praise, but Lu Yuan was unintentionally inserting himself into the situation. After Lu Yuan posted the post, he decided to leave Gale Valley temporarily, because maybe after everyone saw the post, there happened to be more players of this level, and they would definitely come one after another. In this way, I will obviously not be as quiet as before when I level up here. Lu Yuan didn't think about where to go for a while. His name was still a little short of a clean slate, and it would probably take a few hours. Let's continue walking forward and take a look. Maybe there are some more suitable places. Xiao Yuanzi, please don't complain. Now you are a mysterious god who is loved by everyone. Not only is the forum famous, but if you look at the world channel, there are many people who are sending messages and licking you. Zhao Xinga sent a message. Sooner or later, everyone will know. Besides, I posted the post just to complete the task. Lu Yuan also did not shy away from his good friends. Mission? What mission? Is there any mission in the game that allows players to post messages? I haven't heard of anyone who has received a mission. Zhao Xingha quickly replied to a bunch of questions. I found that there are not no tasks in the game. And most people don't clearly tell you that there are tasks for you to take. Maybe when you can help an NPC unintentionally, some tasks will be triggered. And the rewards are uncertain. Lu Yuan told Zhao Xingha everything. Let me tell you. How can you play a game without missions? It turns out that you have to go deep into the trigger. I have been observing the widow in the holy city for a long time. Such a charming widow. I wonder if I can help her relieve her loneliness. Get rewarded. Screw you. You are thinking about crooked things every day. Can't you be more serious? Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. You are serious. Seeing that Li Tong is interested in you. You are just like a piece of wood. You are serious, Zhao Xingha replied. Lu Yuan didn't seem to want to continue talking nonsense with Zhao Xingha. So he changed the subject and said, Do you have anything to do? Let's get a few people to fight the boss with me. What boss? I have nothing to do. I just kill monsters. How many people do I need? Zhao Xingha asked. In addition to the two of us, if we form a group of four, it should be a very difficult boss. It's best not to have people with the same profession so that the equipment can be easily distributed. Lu Yuan thought for a while and said, Let me ask the Nani and the Guardian who we played dungeons with. They are very loyal. The PK even came to help me that day. And he is also a good character. 
you are asking Li Tong. Take her with you. Then Zionese's equipment is also pretty good. Zhao Xingho was also unambiguous and replied neatly. Okay, I'll ask. Then I'm looking for an assassin, because this boss may explode the last piece of equipment in my set. So it's best not to grab the equipment. Lu Yuan thought for a while, but still ignored the unexpected situation. It's better to go in. Okay, then the doctor and MT are fine. I want to ask you when and where to gather. They all want to get in touch with you. A celebrity. And take a photo. You are really fast. It took you so long to contact him. I'll ask Li Tong if he's free. Lu Yuan really admired Zhao Xingha. Just like that, Lu Yuan sent the message to Li Tong. After a while, Li Tong wrote back saying that it was no problem and that her best friend happened to be an assassin. Just in time to gather a team of six people, Lu Yuan gave the coordinates and everyone went to gather. Bring me some medicine. My name is still red. I can't enter the city. Lu Yuan did not forget to tell Zhao Xingha to bring him some supplies. The meeting point was a little closer to Lu Yuan. While waiting, he opened the auction house and put on the shelves all the unnecessary equipment that he had discovered recently. After all, the longer the delay, the lower the value of the equipment. So it would be better to exchange money earlier. After a short wait, everyone arrived one after another. Lu Yuan greeted everyone and organized everyone into a team. This is a hidden boss. It's a teleportation scroll that exploded when I was killing monsters in Gale Valley. I don't know exactly what's going on inside. I guess there will be certain risks. Our six professions happen to be different. If it explodes, weapons for each profession will be distributed according to needs. If there are public items such as armor, then throw dice to compare the points. What do you think? Lu Yuan avoided any disputes after entering the teleportation scroll. So he simply explained the situation first. Understood. Except for Li Tong's best friend. It was not the first time for everyone to form a team. So they all had no problems. And they also agreed with Lu Yuan's approach of putting the word first. Lu Yuan took a rough look at the levels. He only had more than half of his experience at level 27. And the rest were at levels 28 and 29. Guard your heart. Professional guardian. Level 29. Be careful not to spit up. Professional doctor. Level 28. Lan Xingha. Professional mage. Level 29. Hong Mei Aoshue. Professional archer. Level 29. Haggard knight. Professional assassin. Level 29. Bu Dao Huan. Professional warrior. Level 27. Lu Yuan could tell without clicking on everyone's character attribute bar just by looking at their appearance. Their equipment was already equipped with advanced equipment above level 20. Even Zhao Xingha and Li Tong were already wearing purple rare level weapons. Li Tong's best friend doesn't talk much. Seems a bit arrogant. And her equipment is also top-notch. He is probably the child of a wealthy family. Let's go when you're ready. After Lu Yuan said that, he took out the scroll and used it directly. After using the scroll, it disappeared directly. With a burst of space distortion, everyone entered the hidden space of Gale Valley. After entering the scroll, Lu Yuan found that the terrain was almost the same as that of Gale Valley. The output Lu Yuan didn't care at all. He first asked about the MT's defense and health, which Guardian's HP is 1,000 lower than mine, and its defense is actually more than 1,000 less than mine, because Lu Yuan's purple top adds 20% defense, and his basic attributes are relatively high. His comprehensive attributes are even more resistant to beatings than the main T. Not happy. Level, 27. HP, 7383. Magic value, 2750. Attack power, 2680 Physical defense, 5255. Magic defense, 5255. Strength, 441. Stamina, 258. Agility, 185. Intelligence, 217. Spirit, 176. Skills, Slam. Charge. Sonthung Blood Armor. Whirlwind Slash. Lightning Slash. Waning Moon Slash. Death Slash. Special Skills. Killing Thousands of Troops. Equipment Skills. Gale. Wolf King's Roar. Chapter 33 Evil Wing Birdman. Because Lu Yuan's current defensive equipment is very good. Except for the weapons. Which are a bit behind. The rest can be said to be beyond the reach of 95% of players. The high basic bonus of the armor. Coupled with the balanced four-dimensional sum of Wang Irma's necklace with a 20% bonus. Lu Yuan's health volume is already much higher than that of the Guardian, 
who is good at life defense. The heart that protects you and the team is the main T. And you feel blushing. And I wonder why this guy, who has higher attributes than his own, has to put up a decoration like his own. Obviously, as an MT, guard your heart has excellent equipment, but Lu Yuan is too perverted. Each profession has its own characteristics. You can't just look at the basic attributes. As a profession that resists monsters, the guardian's skills are mostly based on the main thing is to draw hatred and stun. And the defensive skill to increase one's own defense bonus is even more terrifying. Therefore, even if the warrior takes the defensive route, the guardian will be difficult to replace. Lu Yuan observed the surroundings. It was no different from Gale Valley. But the sky was like a black hole. So distorted that it was impossible to see the edge. There are no mobs around. Maybe only the boss is sealed in? Have you received the mission? After coming in, you automatically accepted the mission. Li Tong's best friend said haggardly at night. Everyone took a look and saw that there was indeed a mission. Help the Taoyuan Temple to annihilate the evil winged birdman. Help the Taoyuan Temple to annihilate the evil birdman. There is no time limit. Exiting the instance will automatically invalidate the task. The task reward is 1,500,000 experience points. 1.5 million experience points. It seems that as long as you don't exit this dungeon and kill the boss, you can get the free experience points. Lu Yuan did know some inside information through the villagers. He said that a god took away the birdman. And the scroll also showed that it was sealed by a god. It is probably that he did not eliminate the boss directly to give the player something to do. But it seems that the Taoyuan Temple, it is an organization that maintains this world. Bright Moon City, Burning Sun City, and Taoyuan Temple. Several places have appeared. But these places have not yet been exposed to everyone's eyes. It seems that the strength has not reached that level yet. Where is this boss? Why can't I see it everywhere? Xia Xingha ran around and didn't see the boss. So he said to everyone, Is it hidden? Birdman probably has to look for it in the sky or on the statue. Li Tong said, Hey, grandson comes out to challenge grandpa. The heart that protects you shouted loudly, causing an echo in the valley. Ha ha! Don't be ridiculous. The boss can still understand what you are saying? How childish! Zhao Xingha looked at the heart guarding you with disgust. Everyone was speechless, but didn't say anything. But at this moment, a big bird actually flew up above the valley. Its three meter long wings flapped, causing the airflow in the valley to scurry around and blowing quite a bit of wind. Who disturbed my dream? Is it a few humans? It's been a long time since I drank fresh blood. After an official pretentious conversation, he leaned over and rushed down without any verbosity. The whole body is about two meters tall, and the two large wings are spread out to more than three meters. Looking at the blade-like feathers, they are not as fragile as bird wings at all. The body shape is similar to a human, but the legs are like those of a bird. The legs and soles of the feet are sharp bird claws, and the muscles of the upper body are in perfect proportions. But the head has a beak, but has eyes as smart as humans. Evil Wing Birdman Gale Valley Hidden Boss HP 2000000 with a blood volume of 2 million. It is several times higher than the ordinary boss. This Evil Wing Birdman is very fast and rushes in front of everyone in an instant. It flaps its wings fiercely and shoots out several wind blades, attacking them like everyone. The wind blade came in a straight line and it was obviously a range attack because the attack came so fast. Everyone had no choice but to resist. Guardian. Let's carry it. And the rest of the people come behind us. The nanny will add a life buff first. And the assassin will be invisible and gorilla and look for good opportunities to take action. Lu Yuan gave some urgent instructions. Dash 550, dash 560, dash 555, dash 575, dash 520. It actually caused five injuries in a row. And the guard next to them also suffered several injuries in a row. On the other hand, several people behind the two were also blown away by the unblocked wind blade. This random blow caused nearly 3,000 damage. If even those in the back row would be easily killed instantly. At this time, the wet nurse also started to add blood. And she was able to replenish blood for three people at a time. It turns out to be the Nani's level 25 skill. Three flowers gather at the top. Restore the health of three teammates in the team. Giving priority to the teammate with lower health. Immediately afterwards, a continuous blood increase was also attached to Lu Yuan which restored the blood volume every second like taking medicine. But the effect was much worse than the blood increase. With the Nani behind him, Lu Yuan has no worries. As long as he is not killed instantly, he can recover much safer than his own group of monsters. 
Sure enough, the battlefield needs teammates. Lu Yuan did not hesitate to charge towards the boss. But the evil winged birdman clearly had the advantage of being able to fly and soared into the air. Lu Yuan's charge was in vain. The guardian used the taunting skill, but the boss ignored him at all, hovering in the air and planning to attack the back row. This troubled the three melee fighters in the team. After all, the monster was in the sky, and the three of them had nothing to do. At this time, it was time to look at the long-range ones. Zhao Xing's major thunder method fired various powerful single-target attacks at the boss. But the paralysis effect of the thunder method was not seen even once. Li Tong's bow and arrows also kept shooting at the evil-winged birdman. But they only caused some damage and could not shoot down the birdman. Fortunately, although this boss can fly, its attack range is not far. If you want to attack everyone, you can only lower the height. This also gives everyone some opportunities. Otherwise the melee attack will not be able to reach it at all. Once the boss falls to a certain height, the guardian will use taunt. The effect is still somewhat effective when the distance is close. All attacks should be directed towards the boss's left wing, Lu Yuan added. According to Lu Yuan's experience with boss, boss also has the opportunity to break wings, tails, etc. If this evil winged birdman had no wings, the result could be imagined. But not only are the wings of this evil winged birdman not a weak point, their defense is actually higher than other parts. It seems that this boss also knows what he relies on. So the main thing he cultivates is this pair of wings. As soon as everyone attacked, the boss flipped his wings in pain, covering his whole body, and then threw out a bunch of feathers with great force. So many that they fell from the sky like rain. Disperse quickly. Leave this area. Take medicine yourself. And save your life first. Seeing that this group of attacks must have done a lot of damage, Lu Yuan hurriedly shouted. Before Li Yuan finished speaking, everyone had already started to move around. And they were all obviously very conscious. When everyone escaped from that area, their bloodlines were scratched by feathers falling from the sky. The wet nurse restored everyone's health. And Lu Yuan and the guardian were again in front of everyone. Obviously, this evil winged birdman is the strongest boss everyone has encountered since entering the game. Chapter 30 for the evil winged birdman's special move. This was the first time they encountered a boss in the air. And everyone felt helpless for a moment. The main output depends on mages and archers. And Zhao Xinghe's thunder spell does not even have a paralysis effect except for doing some damage. Li Tong's bows and arrows are very threatening to the evil winged birdman. Maybe flying birds are more afraid of bows and arrows? I'm afraid only the boss knows the specific reason. Li Tong pulled a full moon bow, attached an explosive arrow, and accurately shot the boss. As soon as it came into contact with the boss arrow, it exploded instantly, killing the evil winged birdman. It shook a few times in the air, but unfortunately, it was not blown down. Lu Yuan suddenly had an idea and remembered the poisonous potion that was released when he defeated the Scorpion King. The real damage must have a miraculous effect. Let the Guardian block the wind blade sent by the boss in front. And quickly retreat and hand the potion to Li Tong. A total of four bottles of this potion were exploded before and two bottles were used. Although there are only two bottles of this highly poisonous potion left. Using done right it will definitely create opportunities. Hang this poisonous potion on the exploding arrow and try to shoot the boss's head. Don't use them together as the effects will be superimposed. After Lu Yuan quickly explained to Li Tong, he rushed forward again and shouted to the heart that protects you. I am in front of them. You and the assassin go behind the boss first and look for an opportunity to throw the assassin up to see if you can defeat the boss. Yi Hao! Continue. After saying that, he threw two bottles of special attack potions over. Lu Yuan's idea is that assassins with high agility should be able to reach the boss more easily. After all, the boss does not fly very high every time he releases an attack skill. Lu Yuan can reach it with his sword. But most boss can reach the boss with high agility. Hide away. And after releasing the skill, the birdman will circle up. Looking for opportunities to dive into the back row. This dive is mainly based on normal attacks. So it can't kill the back row instantly. In addition, the mage has the life-saving skill Ice Block, which can quickly freeze himself into ice blocks, making him unable to move. But he can be invincible for 5 seconds. The archer has a move called Wind Stepping, which can quickly trample nearby enemies and make them retreat. They can also fire arrows instantly to counterattack. Although wet nurses are also in the back row, their life growth is higher than that of mage archers. So it doesn't matter, as long as the front row attracts the direction of group damage skills 
and the back row spreads out. They can basically remain immortal. At this time, Li Tong was ready. When the boss was low in the sky and was about to use his skills, a bursting arrow was shot out. Because the boss was casting a spell, the bursting arrow exploded directly on the birdman's head. The sparks were mixed with the Scorpion King's poisonous potion. It exploded instantly. Due to the explosion of venom, the area around Boss's head was filled with poison, making it impossible for Boss to open his eyes or breathe. And his blood volume continued to decrease. It's now! Lu Yuan shouted. I saw the hands guarding your heart push upwards with great strength. And the huge strength coupled with the assassin Yi Hao Hao kicked upwards hard and rushed straight towards the boss, reaching the height of the evil winged birdman. Yi Haolong grabbed the boss's wings. She had already taken the potion. And she poured out all her anger since the fight began on the wings of the evil winged birdman. Although the assassin's back stabs and cutting the neck does the highest damage. But everyone knows that if the birdman does not land, no matter how high his attack is, the subsequent damage will not be as good as that of five people fighting together. Seeing Ye's haggard and furious look, Lu Yuan suddenly felt that this woman didn't seem to have a good temper. Li Tong and Zhao Xingho were not idle either. Even the nanny, whether she needed more blood or not, began to use her attack skills to follow the output. The three people on the ground, and the one in the air all focused on attacking the birdman's left shoulder. The assassin's close quarters ability was really strong. Coupled with the effect of the special attack potion, the critical hit damage floated out from the boss's head one by one. Finally, this evil the winged birdman couldn't resist the pain in his wings and plunged to the ground. At this time, the guard who has been waiting on the ground for a long time has no doubts about his heart. He directly hit the ground with a hammer. And the boss, who was dizzy by a series of attacks, went into dizziness. At this time, Lu Yuan, who had been accumulating power for a long time, killed a thousand soldiers with one strike. Lightning slash. Death slash. Whirlwind slash. Waning moon slash. Various skills began to greet him. While he was sick and killing him. All the skills continued to hit him. Boss left wing. The assassin who fell to the ground also continued to output. And Guardian Your Heart tried hard to use his control skills to make the boss stay for a while. Li Tong's archers continued to output using the fastest continuous arrows. And Zhao Xingha also kept using his strongest single target attack was Hong Lei. And the wet nurse continued to corrode the evil winged birdman with her own withering. The boss, who was in a weak state, seemed to be very intolerable. Everyone's critical hit rate seemed to have been increased. Especially the assassin Yi Hao. With his agile skills and very fast attack speed, he could lift the knife and land it without any ambiguity. In just over 10 seconds, 30% of the evil winged birdman's health was actually wiped out. In addition to the 13% that was lost before, the boss only had a little more than half of his health left. When everyone wanted to continue attacking, the boss suddenly roared, folded his wings to protect his whole body, and flew into the sky with his legs spinning, jumped into the air, suddenly spread his wings and shot out, launching a counterattack. Seeing this, Lu Yuan hurriedly used Sontham blood armor to increase his defense. And Yi Hao Xiang also immediately withdrew to prevent being killed instantly. The back row was a little further away, but was not affected. Continue the routine just now, and find the right opportunity to do it again. Li Tong, don't be anxious. Wait for the boss to lower, and use the last poisonous potion when releasing the skill. Li Tong looked appreciative of Lu Yuan's calm analysis, and issued instructions from beginning to end, and nodded firmly. This boss suffered a loss once. But he was no longer fooled and hovered in the air unwilling to fall. The evil-winged birdman flew too high. And even Zhao Xing's skills couldn't reach it. The only thing he could hit was the archer's long-range killing skill. The wind arrow. And this wind arrow happens to do more damage the farther away it is. But it just it has to be charged up. So it's rarely used in battles. Chasing is a great skill. So it's just right at this time. Li Tong's hit was extremely high and the boss screamed in agony when he shot it. In the end, the boss compromised, because in its settings, there was no way to escape. Enraged by the bow and arrow, the boss leaned down and rushed down again, starting its attack routine. It was also doomed to tragedy. Li Tong once again seized the opportunity to release the wind blade. A bursting arrow aggravated the poisonous potion. Yi Hao and Hao Yi jumped on the back of the boss with the help of guarding your heart and started another battle. Round of attacks. In the end, the boss fell to the ground, and everyone attacked him. This evil-winged birdman only has 24% of its health left. At this time, 
the muscles all over the boss's body bulged out, and he was about to go crazy. The Birdman, whose speed increased dramatically, jumped into the sky and started spinning rapidly. Lu Yuan knew something was wrong when he saw the boss's abnormal movements. Spread out. Run as far away as possible. And run in the opposite direction to me. Lu Yuan shouted. The boss seemed to have lost his mind. Lu Yuan shouted at the evil-winged birdman spinning in the sky, as if he was afraid that the birdman could not see him. His efforts were not in vain, and the boss locked onto him. The sky that was originally like a black hole seemed to get darker, and five words suddenly appeared above the boss, soaring to the sky fire wind slash. Lu Yuan's last thought was, This is too handsome. Take a bottle of special defense potion, Song Feng blood armor, and ordinary blood potion at the same time, and you can only leave the rest to fate. Fortunately, they all ran to the other side, so it shouldn't be able to affect them. I saw an arc-shaped slash more than 10 meters long, tearing the air like Lu Yuan was coming. The air was broken and distorted wherever the slash passed. It was obviously a group skill. No matter how many people stood together, if their defense was not enough, they would be killed instantly. Lu Yuan once again made the right decision. The attack came in an instant, causing Lu Yuan to roll backwards. Dash 7777, dash 100, minus 100, minus 100. What surprised Li Yuan was that the sure kill, which seemed scary, only inflicted 7,777 damage on himself. The remaining 300 damage was caused by Li Yuan being knocked down and rolled by the attack, which shows how powerful the impact was. Seeing that I only have a little blood skin left, if it were anyone else, I would have been killed instantly. The attack of this blow is enough to kill a player with average equipment of this level instantly. It can even hit the whole team if they can't dodge. The group was destroyed. At this time, after the boss launched this secret special move, he also fell into complete weakness. Everyone gathered around to vent their anger, and the boss was finally eliminated. Looking at the equipment that fell to the ground, no one went up to see what exploded. They all collapsed on the ground, looked at each other, and laughed heartily. Chapter 35 Returning with a Full Load After a series of fierce fights, everyone's tense nerves finally relaxed. No one paid attention to what exploded. Everyone collapsed on the ground and laughed heartily. Perhaps the happiest thing in the game is having someone share the joy of your success. A group of friends work together to complete a super difficult task and a super powerful boss. Even if you fail or fall, it's still not the feeling of being alone. And today Li Yuan seems to have found that feeling. No one cares about gains and losses. Everyone has only one goal, which is to kill the boss. How do you know the boss is going to increase his attack? Li Tong was a little confused. Because the boss has never used this kind of attack method before. But I don't know what skills it will use. I can only ask everyone to disperse. And I stay in the front. This way, as long as it is not a 360 degrees attack, everyone will still be able to use it. There is some chance. Let's see what explodes first. After Li Yuan replied, he still proposed to pick up the loot first. There were actually two purple rare weapons, one of which was the last sword of Li Yuan Li Feng's suit, and the other was actually a weapon of Li Feng's suit, a giant hammer. Li Yuan didn't look at the attributes. Everyone had already agreed on the distribution method. He directly assigned the hammer to guard your heart, and the gale eviscerating sword was also put in his backpack. It seems to be a common problem among birds that they always like to collect shiny things, and unexpectedly, there was a high-end blue necklace, ring, and bracelet. Although they broke out together, they are not the same set. The explosion rate of jewelry is still very low. Lu Yuan only wears a necklace from a level 20 dungeon. The ring and bracelet have not exploded before, let alone the three special equipment slots that have not been opened. The blessing of life necklace increases the healing effect. Needless to say, it helps nannies to be careful not to vomit milk. The ring increases the chance and effect of critical hits. Giving the assassin night hag, the bracelet increases casting speed and hit rate. Both for Li Tong and Zhao Xingha both of them could wear it. But in the end Zhao Xingha gave it to Li Tong. There are also some strengthening stones, potions, and gold coins in the rest. I haven't seen any special potions. With everyone's agreement, Lu Yuan directly gave all the strengthening stones to Zhao Xingha. And everyone shared the potions and gold coins equally. Lu Yuan took a look at his experience. After completing the mission, he was directly upgraded to level 28 by 3%. Looking at the two level 30 equipment in his backpack, he was also disappointed. He should upgrade quickly. Except for Lu Yuan. No one else has upgraded. 
The Nani is just shy of reaching level 29. Everyone was fine. So they suggested finding a place to spawn monsters and upgrade them together. Is this weapon in a suit? Is the clothes you are wearing a suit? Guarding your heart after getting the weapon. He was overjoyed and began to consult Liu Yuan. Well, it exploded in Gale Valley. I posted it before. I felt that the explosion rate for the first kill would be higher. Then I went back and killed the boss twice. Except for some high-end equipment. No sets appeared. Lu Yuan didn't hide it either. Then let's go to Gale Valley to upgrade. Guarding you seems to want to try your luck. The highest level monster there is level 30. And it's been a while since I posted the post. Some people should have gone there. I feel like it wouldn't be very efficient to go there now. Lu Yuan also had something to say. Analyze. I also think we should find a monster area with a higher level. Where there are fewer people, and the group of monsters is more efficient. Be careful not to vomit. But I also think efficiency is the priority. It doesn't matter. I just said it casually. You may not be able to get the suit if you go there. You can buy it later. I don't force my heart to protect you. Now that the decision was made, everyone moved further. Fighting scattered monsters while moving forward. There was no area suitable for forming a group of monsters until the feet were no longer dry and cracked less. And the area in front suddenly turned into pitch black. Scorched earth. The sparse trees around were also scorched by the fire. Leaving only one person tall. Walking into this area. The air was no longer hot. But instead gave off a sinister atmosphere. Not far ahead. A monster appeared. It turned out to be a lot of zombies. Their heads and clothes looked like they were transformed into barbarians. Their bodies were thin and pale although they walked staggeringly. It did not affect their speed. Looking at the festering zombies in some places, the male comrades among the crowd were a little disgusted, let alone the three lesbians. However, the zombies are in small groups, so it is easier to attract monsters than ordinary places. Moreover, level 35 is just the right place to maximize experience, so it is undoubtedly a good place for leveling. Lu Yuan looked at everyone and saw that although everyone was disgusted, they still nodded. After all, gains can always overcome psychological fear. If it were reality, who would want to provoke these disgusting and dangerous guys? Then let's use it to attack. Let's go to the center of the monster. The assassin warrior will pull the monsters in the distance. The mage archer will pull the monsters within the attack range. The guardian will wait for the monster to come and pull the hatred towards it. And then start to swarm the monsters. Be careful. Don't vomit milk. I say from experience. Everyone is not a novice. Once they have arranged their tactics, they start taking action. These little monsters don't pose a threat to Lu Yuan. After all, even the boss can't defeat Lu Yuan in seconds, let alone this little monster. The assassin Siesia was quite neat, but he didn't expect that a girl's skills were not ambiguous, and she moved much faster than Lu Yuan. After a while, the two of them attracted a large group of zombies. Infected Barbarian Level 35 HP 100000. I didn't expect that the monster's name was not Zombie. When I saw that the monster had been lured over, I hit the ground with a sledgehammer. The surrounding zombies were knocked down. Then I saw him opening his arms. And there was a sound wave. The same thing spread out. And the group of zombies all attacked him. It should be a group taunting skill. Lu Yuan is actually safer against monsters. But warriors never have this kind of taunting skill. So the hatred drawn is unstable. If the output of the back row is too high, the monsters will kill people with high attacks, which will affect the efficiency and also very dangerous. After attracting the monsters, Lu Yuan and Yi Xianxian were not idle either. They used their group attack skills to help fight the monsters. To Lu Yuan's surprise, the assassins also attacked in groups. He saw Nei Haggard spinning on the spot and firing various hidden weapons that did good damage. It seems that each profession is quite balanced. After all, if a certain profession cannot group damage, then it is estimated that few wild teams will be able to form a team to farm monsters. Especially for crispy ones like assassins, who can never form a team. Teammates can only pull monsters. Li Tong released a shower of arrows, and Zhao Xingha released a thundercloud. This zombie monster was very afraid of thunder attacks. In addition to adding blood to the guardian, the wet nurse also threw a poison circle under the monster's feet. In addition to causing some damage, it could also reduce the monster's defense. After fighting one group, another group will be recruited. After all, everyone is considered a well-equipped team, and the efficiency of killing monsters is very high. Chatting while killing monsters is not boring. This continued until the morning. 
since it was the weekend and there was nothing much to do. Everyone met to continue upgrading after breakfast and then all found a safe place to log off. Chapter 36 After Level 30 After a simple breakfast, Lu Yuan continued to log in, seeing that no one was online yet. He started to log in alone. After a while, the assassin Yu Xianxian logged in first. I didn't expect you to eat quite quickly. Lu Yuan sent out an invitation to form a team and was the first to break the silence. If not, Lu Yuan was stunned and speechless. This girl was really not ordinary and different. Seeing that he had nothing to say, Lu Yuan formed his team and continued to fight monsters. Your name is Lu Yuan. I am Li Tong's good friend Fong Ro. Seeing Lu Yuan's embarrassment, Yi Xianxian introduced himself. Before there were so many people, we didn't introduce each other. Now in the online world, if people you don't know don't take the initiative to introduce themselves, they don't like to ask each other about their true identities. Fong Ro's name is Tengru. But her personality really doesn't match the word Ro. Lu Yuan thought to himself. Hello. Li Tong and I are classmates. Lu Yuan also simply replied. I only want to talk to you because you are honest. I'm usually annoyed by a bunch of stinky men chasing you. You are very good at playing games. Fong Ro also explained somewhat. They are both young people. It's not so difficult to fight such a difficult boss together. A trace of comradeship. Besides, she doesn't have a cold personality. She just avoids trouble and doesn't let others get close to her. Lu Yuan took a closer look at Fong Ro. Her body wrapped in tight leather armor was really exquisite. And her face was also very delicate. She did look like a beauty. But in the game, especially the female characters, who would make herself look like this? Ugly. It's just good luck. I wear better equipment. Lu Yuan replied modestly. The two of them were speechless. After a while, everyone came online one after another. After everyone formed a team, they started fighting the infected villager again. After last night's monster spawning, everyone was almost at level 30. Only Li Yuan was lagging behind. Although there were more people and less experience, they were playing faster. After swiping monsters for a while, Zhao Xinghe, Li Tong, and the heart that protects you all reached level 31 after another. After a while, Fong Ro also reached level 30. Because the nanny had a lower level before, she and Li Yuan both it was level 29. And the nanny also reached level 30 at noon. Seeing that everyone was already level 30, Li Yuan didn't want to delay everyone's return to the city to do their own things. So he suggested that it would be, okay, just to grind alone. If you have something to do, you can go back to the city first. Unexpectedly, everyone agreed to wait until Li Yuan was level 30 and returned to the city to rest together. Li Yuan was somewhat moved. Forget about people he knew. At least there were three people in the team who were not close friends with him. Lu Yuan finally reached level 30 at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Lu Yuan breathed a sigh of relief and was finally able to put on all the equipment. Lu Yuan put on the last two pieces of equipment in his suit in one go. And the suit's skills instantly lit up. Lu Yuan looked at the gale eviscerating blade in his hand. It was really cool. The snow white blade was two fingers wide and the blade exuded a cold light. The perfect curve showed the sharpness of the blade. The hilt is dark blue. And there is a pair of wings separated from the hilt and the blade. After waving it twice, I feel that the attack has become much faster. After all, the heavy sword previously reduced the attack speed. And the difference between this plus one and minus can be huge. That's big. Gale eviscerating knife. Rare quality. Use level 30. Attack power. 16 20 1700. Strength plus 180. Additional. Buff by the wind attribute. The attack speed is accelerated. And there is a chance of breaking through the defense and ignoring the enemy's armor. Additional. Tear wounds caused by the wind attribute. The enemy's wounds are difficult to heal. Reducing the treatment effect on the target. There is a chance of causing tearing and causing the target to bleed. Additional. Damage increased by 30% when attacking enemies in bleeding state. It is worthy of being a level 30 purple rare weapon. It is really the best. Look at the sledgehammer behind the back that protects your heart. The hammer head is about half a meter wide. And there are two wings standing upright on the back of the hammer. It is estimated that this series of weapons have wind. The attributes are increased. And the attack speed will be higher than that of ordinary weapons. After taking a look at his neatly dressed panel. His attributes have not only increased a little. But his health has almost reached 10,000. And his attack has more than doubled in an instant. Not happy. Level 30. HP 9,956. Magic value 2750. 
Attack power, 4,605-4685. Physical defense, 60-55. Magic defense, 60-55. Strength, 633. Stamina, 291. Agility, 194. Intelligence, 253. Spirit, 200. Skills, slam. Charge. Sonfeng blood armor. Whirlwind slash. Lightning slash. Waning moon slash. Death slash. Special skills. Killing thousands of troops. Equipment skills. Gale. Wolf King's roar. After Lu Yuan took a look at his attributes, he remembered the skills that the set came with. The attribute of the five-piece set is to stimulate the power of the set. Center on itself and draw the surrounding air towards itself, forming a wind vortex, causing gravitational pull on surrounding monsters, forcing them to move closer to themselves. During this time, the player can move. This effect is invalid for players, cooling time 10 minutes. The attribute of the 6 P set is to stimulate the hidden power of Gale eviscerating weapons and launch powerful wind blades around itself from the center, causing explosive damage to surrounding wild monsters. This skill is invalid for players. Cooling time is 10 minutes. He directly said H. Low and activated the set of skills. He saw a hurricane starting to blow around him. And he was the center of the storm. He could probably attract enemies within a 50 meter radius. Seeing a large number of zombies running towards him. Lu Yuan instead of rushing to release the wind blade. He waited for the monster to get close. And then released the six piece attack wind blade. The wind blades were emitted at 360 degrees and a series of damage instantly erupted from the heads of the monsters. And then all the monsters fell down, looking at the trophies all over the floor. Everyone was a little confused. Is this a cheat? I'm afraid that the refresh speed of monsters won't be able to keep up with this method. Right? When everyone knew that the cooldown time was 10 minutes, they calmed down a bit. Although the 10 minute cooldown is considered a short time, it also limits the opportunity to gain unlimited experience. Moreover, most of this set is level 25 equipment. And only two pieces are level 30 equipment. Judging from the value retention rate of rare level equipment, it is no problem to use it up to level 40. But when the monster level reaches around level 40, this set can skill still kill instantly. If the instant kill is not possible, then the player may not be faced with a refreshed experience, but with experience deducted upon death. I'm afraid that even if we have all the crispy professions, we won't dare to use them. Zhao Xing has said with some complaints. If you encounter a high-level monster, one set of skills can't be used in seconds. What if you have two or three sets of skills in the same team? Those who resist monsters first attract the monster's hatred. And those with crispy professions can just attack directly. Li Tong said on the contrary. Fast reaction. Now that they have all reached level 30, everyone is a little tired after upgrading for a day. They plan to clear the dungeon together when they have time. So they all go back to the city. I can only protect your heart and rush directly to the direction of Gale Valley. Returning to the Holy City, Lu Yuan felt like he was in another world. After all, he hadn't returned to the city for several days. The punishment for PK killings was too severe. The question marks on the guard at the door were no joke. Lu Yuan decided to go to the warrior instructor first to see if there were any skills he could learn at level 30. And then he planned to go to the blacksmith shop to see his teacher and ask about strengthening. When Lu Yuan arrived at the warrior instructor, the warrior instructor spoke to Lu Yuan enthusiastically. Congratulations on your transformation from a trainee warrior to a real warrior. Thank you. Are there any other skills I can learn? Lu Yuan was concerned about what other skills he could learn. Braves after level 30 need to go out and practice on your own. You will have to learn the skills in the future by yourself. There is nothing we can teach you here. In the future, you can think about your own development direction and learn skills. The world of Tao Yuan the skills here are very diverse. But don't be greedy for too much. The warrior instructor was also patient. The future direction? Can you make it clearer? What direction? Lu Yuan continued to ask. The direction you want to practice. For warriors, skills include consuming blood in exchange for higher damage types. For those who major in weapons and focus on skills, you can even integrate magic into skills. There are many great warriors in this world. They have all used their own efforts to create legends. The same is true for other professions. If you are lucky enough to meet the capable people in the world, it is not impossible to inherit it. Go and work hard to become a powerful warrior. The warrior instructor didn't go into too much detail, but he told the players a general framework. Everything was possible, just like some mages majored in thunder. 
Some majored in fire. And some majored in ice. Warriors exchange blood for attacks. Most likely like berserkers in other games. They major in weapons and focus on skills. They are probably the sword master type. If warriors use magic, they are magic swordsmen. However, the system does not clearly allow players to change jobs, allowing players to practice on their own and choose their own path, even if they feel that they are not good enough. Changing their body and equipment to learn other types of skills is equivalent to changing their profession. With freedom, the degree is higher. And if you meet an expert and get inheritance, maybe it will be a hidden profession? Lu Yuan didn't know about this. Didn't he also worship the blacksmith of the holy city as his teacher? It should be the same truth. What you learn is better. Lu Yuan Yuan had no need to stay any longer. So he was ready to leave. Warriors, please remember that it is the holy city that gives you guidance as newcomers. The holy city is a neutral city and will not participate in wars. But it will also work hard for the balance of the world. Do not be an enemy of the holy city. The warrior instructor finished. Then he stopped paying attention to Lu Yuan. Is there a balance in the world? Lu Yuan seems to have figured out why the general in the skull cave said that the people in the holy city lied to him. I guess the holy city doesn't want to see the situation where the bright moon kingdom is dominated by one family. Right. Chapter 37 Part-time Job in the Blacksmith Shop After replenishing some potions, Lu Yuan decided to go to the blacksmith shop first. Remembering the last time I brought wine to the master, I came up with a lot of words. So I went to the hotel and bought a few more jars of good wine. By the way, the equipment and useless materials that were replaced by the backpack were put on the auction house. Looking at his first rare weapon, the Ape, Wu Fong was really reluctant to part with it. But it is indeed useless to keep it. It is better to sell it to a new person and get some money. Take out the gold coins that were previously sold on the shelves. Lu Yuan was very happy to see that there were several hundred gold coins in his backpack. Although the gold coins were gradually depreciating, this was still a considerable income. When I walked to the blacksmith's shop, I found that it was even busier than before. It seems that they are all players who have strengthened their equipment and are trying out new functions. Master, I'm here to see you. Lu Yuan shouted loudly as he entered the blacksmith's shop. Baby, you usually come to me when you have nothing to do. Why haven't you been here for so many days? Zhang Feng said leisurely even though the store was very busy. Obviously, the equipment of these ordinary players was completed by the assistants. How could Zhang Feng be allowed to go into battle? The person who could allow him to do it himself must be from a famous family in the holy city. Some things have happened in the past two days. Is there anything you can help me with? Master? Lu Yuan handed over the aged shot Aozi wine bought from the hotel while looking at the busy little blacksmiths. Can you help? That's fine. Do you know about strengthening equipment? Equipment after level 30 can be strengthened to increase basic attributes. In the past two days, with a large number of adventurers reaching level 30, this business has been a bit busy. Zhang Feng said he was too busy, but he couldn't see why he was in a hurry. I know about equipment enhancement, but in my skill bar, there are only basic production diagrams and no enhancement options. It seems that only public blacksmiths have this function. Lu Yuan heard that equipment can be enhanced. At that time, I had already seen my own forging column. I didn't know how to strengthen it, so I could only go to the system's blacksmith shop to strengthen the equipment. Of course you don't know how to do it. Most people can only learn the basics of blacksmithing. You are much better than others. Since you want to help the master, I will teach you how to strengthen the equipment. Once you learn it, just go to the store. How about helping here for a few days? Zhang Feng didn't care. After all, he was his apprentice. Of course it's the best if I can help the master. When Lu Yuan heard this, he knew that he was doing something good. It would be good to learn more. If you want to learn to strengthen equipment, you must understand the truth. The so-called strengthening stone is a special material. Unlike other metal wars, it can be integrated into any equipment material. Equipment can generally be strengthened by 15 stars. 1 5 stars are the simplest. The success rate is above 90%. It can be said that it is a sure success. Just use the primary strengthening stone is enough. 6 10 stars. The success rate drops a lot. And the success rate is around 40%. You need intermediate strengthening stones. The success rate of 11 15 stars is less than 10%. And even the success rate of 14 15 stars is less than 1%. And all you need are high level strengthening stones. Special grade strengthening stones will appropriately increase the strengthening success rate and every put at least one strengthening stone for each strengthening. 
and put it most five. Putting more stones will increase the success rate accordingly. Zhang Feng casually mentioned the theoretical knowledge of strengthening. After hearing this, Lu Yuan asked with some confusion, Master, I only see the primary strengthening stones now. Why are there intermediate, advanced and special levels? The so-called strengthening is to use special materials to strengthen existing equipment. The special materials are strengthening stones. Whenever the strengthening reaches a bottleneck, more refined materials are needed. So higher level strengthening stones are needed. Five primary strengthening stones can extract one intermediate strengthening stone. Five intermediate strengthening stones can extract one high level strengthening stone. Five high level strengthening stones can extract one special level strengthening stone. And the process of refining this strengthening stone is not 100% successful. So do you know how precious higher level strengthening stones are? Right? Of course. If your level is high enough, the success rate will be correspondingly higher. Zhang Feng continued to answer Li Yuan's questions. After understanding the level of the strengthening stone, the rest is the strengthening step. Prepare the corresponding materials and just use the forging hammer to integrate the strengthening stone into the equipment. Below 10 stars will not have any substantial impact on the equipment. Damage. But if the enhancement fails, there is a chance that the previously integrated materials will also be destroyed, resulting in dropped stars. If the enhancement after 10 stars fails, there is a certain chance that the equipment will be damaged. Strengthening damaged equipment is irreversible. Zhang Feng told Lu Yuan some basics of strengthening. The operation of strengthening is similar to that of forging. On the contrary, the operation is simpler. You only need to control the strength. So a good blacksmith can increase the success rate. Now that you understand these, the rest is to do it. You go to the end, go to that position, and help the adventurers strengthen. After Zhang Feng finished speaking, he waved his hand, and Lu Yuan directly received a system prompt. Congratulations on acquiring forging skill enhancement. Lu Yuan saw that his forging column had indeed been strengthened. Lu Yuan followed Zhang Feng's instructions and arrived at the designated location. His name above his head automatically changed to Enhancer. Have you become an NPC? Lu Yuan couldn't help but think. The player saw that there was another reinforcement engineer working here, and the people at the back swarmed towards the position far away from the landing. Lu Yuan was only responsible for strengthening equipment. Standing in the position of an NPC, his perspective was different. When he saw players putting equipment and strengthening stones into the system window, Lu Yuan also directly opened the strengthening skills in the forging. It is similar to forging equipment. There is only a pointer in the middle of the progress bar from 1 to 10. To strengthen the equipment from 1 to 5 stars, it will be considered successful as long as the pointer stops in the yellow range from 2 to 9. No wonder the master said that the success rate is very high before 5 stars. Hi. That's what it is. Lu Yuan hurriedly hit the hammer when the pointer was in the yellow range and hit it three times in a row. And the strengthening was successful. To Lu Yuan's surprise, his forging proficiency actually increased. Using other people's materials to practice your own proficiency will undoubtedly speed up the growth of your own forging level. Recently, you have been rushing to level up and have no time to practice life skills. This can greatly save Lu Yuan's time. It seems that the master is indifferent on the surface. But in his heart, I still think about my apprentice. After the success, the player continued to put strengthening stones into the window. Lu Yuan continued to use the forging hammer to hit the appropriate area. It really felt like the strengthening stones were integrated into the equipment. After three hammer blows, the equipment was successfully strengthened with a flash of light. It was always low. The strengthening of the level, apart from increasing some proficiency, does not feel any difficulty. The proficiency has been increasing steadily. Lu Yuan didn't feel bored anyway because he didn't use his own materials. Then suddenly a rich man came over. Why was he called a rich man? Because this guy was the first one to come to Lu Yuan to upgrade the strengthening stone. Of. Lu Yuan had seen the value of strengthening stones in the auction house. A basic strengthening stone costs 20 silver coins. This may be because the system does not sell it directly. And players generally have just reached level 30. So the demand is high. It was also the first time for Lu Yuan to upgrade strengthening stones. Just like refining ore. He would be successful if he hammered several strengthening stones into one piece. He only needed to keep the pointer in the yellow range. And it would be enough to upgrade from beginner to intermediate in the 4 to 7 range. Success. Lu Yuan hammered down rhythmically according to the speed of the pointer shaking. Ding 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 ding. It was not difficult to master the rhythm with 5 hammers in a row. Then another strengthening stone was put into the window. 
Lu Yuan did not stop and continued to help the rich man upgrade the strengthening stone. After upgrading more than 20 intermediate strengthening stones, Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh that it's great to have money. These are more than 100 primary strengthening stones. More than 50 gold coins are equivalent to 1,000 renminbi. This is too luxurious. And this rich man also has continued. Due to the long-term mental stress, Lu Yuan hit the target at the wrong time. And the strengthening stone shattered directly, which unexpectedly failed. This was Lu Yuan's first failure. And he looked at the expressionless players outside with some embarrassment. Why is it her? Chapter 38 The Secret That Lu Yuan Cannot Tell Due to Lu Yuan's mistake, the synthesis of strengthening stones failed, making Lu Yuan look apologetically like the players outside. It didn't matter. It turned out that the person standing in front of him was the forbidden method that ranked first in the level rankings. Although the synthesis failed once, in the eyes of the players, the dialogue box itself has a success rate, and failure is not accidental. So they did not pay too much attention to the forbidden method outside. Just as they were about to continue to put strengthening stones in the window, they saw the blacksmith actually looked at himself and took a closer look. Why you? Um, do you know me? Lu Yuan stood here without displaying the player's name. He had never met her before, so he didn't understand how she recognized him. I have seen the video of your fight, and I will never forget it, Jean Fa said calmly. Why did you become an NPC? I want to challenge you. Seeing that Lu Yuan didn't speak, Forbidden Law continued to ask. Lu Yuan was speechless. What was wrong with this woman? He had seen her shouting in the world, but he didn't expect that she would still remember it. Are you from the Guild of Troubled Times? Lu Yuan asked back. No, I just want to be the strongest. Use me to prove that you are strong? Looking at the calm woman in front of him, Lu Yuan really didn't know what she was thinking. It's not just you. Do you want to strengthen it? When are you going to challenge me? Let's go to the arena competition in a week. If we can all stand to the end, we will meet each other. If we are eliminated early, there is no need to prove it again. Lu Yuan did not refuse. Men also have tempers. Are they afraid of her? It makes sense. Help me strengthen this weapon. Still looking calm, Forbidden F.A. handed over a rare level staff. The wood of the staff is smooth and has no edges. There is a fist-sized red gem on the top of the staff, which is wrapped by the wooden staff. It is seamless, simple and elegant and it is extraordinary at first glance. Lu Yuan took the weapon and looked at it briefly before starting to strengthen it. It was no different from other weapons. Three consecutive hits at the right time in the yellow area would achieve one star. When it is successfully strengthened to five stars, the forbidden magic from outside will continue to be put into the window with intermediate strengthening stones. This is the first time Lu Yuan has strengthened the equipment above five stars. The yellow area is much smaller than before, and the speed of the pointer has become much faster. It is obviously more difficult. And you have to hit it four times in a row to succeed. The reason why it is difficult is that each time you strengthen it, you only have a few seconds to hit the hammer. If it exceeds the time, it will be considered a failure. Lu Yuan concentrated on the operation. And the speed of the pointer increased by a few points every time he added one star. When it was strengthened to eight to nine stars, it finally failed. Although the equipment was in good condition, its star rating dropped to seven. It was obvious that the intermediate strengthening stones for forbidden magic were not enough. So primary strengthening stones were handed in to start upgrading the strengthening stones. Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh. Any game is a world for the rich. No matter how easy it is to play, ordinary players would have to grind as many monsters as possible to collect so many strengthening stones. And once the reinforcement fails, there will be a lot of gains and losses. But the people outside don't seem to feel it at all. This is the power of money. A series of repeated weapons have finally been strengthened to 10 stars. And Lu Yuan seems to be more and more aware of strengthened equipment. That subtle rhythm is very important. Once you catch it, you can achieve it in one go. Once the rhythm is messed up, you are doomed to fail. Lu Yuan Yuan was initially looking forward to whether she would be strengthened to a higher star level. But she stopped. Obviously, the current market for strengthening stones is exaggerated. No matter how rich she is. She doesn't want to get a 10 star all over body now. Or maybe her body is too high. Like Lu Yuan. Some of the equipment cannot be enhanced if it is less than level 30. Thank you. See you in the ring. Jean Fa said goodbye with a rare smile and left. This woman looks pretty when she smiles. Lu Yuan thought to himself as he watched her leave. Since it took too long to get the forbidden method, everyone who was waiting later went to other locations. After all, 
most of them just did it a few times, and it only took a minute or two to finish. And there were a few who had so many strengthening stones. Lu Yuan took out his few primary strengthening stones and started to synthesize them himself, since they were his own. Lu Yuan experimentally tried to synthesize them using only four primary strengthening stones to see what the success rate was. Lu Yuan found that four primary strengthening stones were not that difficult. The yellow area was quite large. With his current proficiency, he could achieve almost 100% success by concentrating. It seems that there is no need to put in a full 5 yuan. But looking at the system blacksmith guy next to him, it seems that 5 yuan is not 100% successful. It is really like the master said. The success rate is about 90%. Maybe the player's forging is really different from the NPC operations in the system. Maybe they are more difficult. And they are also affected by the system success rate. Everything is set. And they can't escape this setting at all. But Lu Yuan is different. As long as Lu Yuan can be as precise as a machine, it will be 100% successful. But what Lu Yuan doesn't know is that if he is strengthened to a higher level, without extraordinary mental concentration, skilled operation and good rhythm, the player's success rate of building and strengthening will be almost close to zero, which is not as good as the system's low probability. Give it a try. Lu Yuan tried to synthesize three strengthening stones and found that the difficulty increased significantly. The pointer speed became very fast. If you are not careful, you will fail. However, if you concentrate, you can barely achieve the same success rate as the system NPC. When Li Yuan used two strengthening stones, the pointer became extremely unstable, and the speed accelerated a lot. The successful yellow area was almost a small area in the middle. If he wanted to hit the center three times in a row, this speed is almost impossible. It seems that two strengthening stones are no longer good on their own. And they can barely be combined into three. Just when Li Yuan wanted to continue trying, another player came here to strengthen his equipment and synthesize strengthening stones. Lu Yuan put down his materials and started to help the players build it. After a period of building, Lu Yuan discovered that when players put materials into the system window, the players could only see themselves beating the equipment, but could not see the detailed operations. Moreover, when Lu Yuan took down the materials after the start, the players would you can only see the system prompt whether the equipment is successful or not. Through this discovery, Lu Yuan suddenly had an idea. Can he use his success rate to deduct some strengthening stones? So Lu Yuan chose players who use five strengthening stones to synthesize intermediate strengthening stones, kept one piece for himself, and then synthesized it with four strengthening stones, which could almost achieve a success rate of close to 100%. If a player puts 5 yuan into the first few stars of the enhanced equipment, he will also deduct 1 yuan. After discovering the new world, Lu Yuan became more energetic at work. In order to prevent players from discovering it, he had to be more concentrated to make up for the success rate. Even if he used less materials, Lu Yuan still had a higher success rate than the NPCs in the system. After the player word of mouth spreads, and the people who come to Lu Yuan have even surpassed the system NPCs. Lu Yuan was also very happy about the situation. This was really a rare opportunity to make a fortune. Obviously the master placed me here to train me. The master who is indifferent on the surface is a little protective of his shortcomings on the inside. Lu Yuan thought. But he continued to use his hands. Becoming more and more comfortable. This scene naturally fell into Zhang Feng's eyes. Zhang Feng. Who was sitting in the back drinking tea. Couldn't help but think. This guy is not only very savvy. But he is also not rigid and knows how to adapt. The most important thing is to know how to use resources rationally. But Lu Yuan didn't know that. He only focused on the work in his hands and the strengthening stone in his hand. Chapter 39 Are You Not Human? It was already past 10 o'clock in the evening when Lu Yuan finished his part-time job at the blacksmith shop. He had worked there for several hours. If Zhang Feng hadn't kicked him away, Lu Yuan would have been reluctant to leave. After all, while improving his proficiency, he also had oil and water can be fished out. When talking about his master Zhang Feng, Lu Yuan found it interesting. When he asked him to leave, he smiled and said to Lu Yuan, You kid secretly hides the strengthening stone. I won't be able to use your help in the future. It was obvious that Zhang Feng had known about this for a long time. But he had made enough money for himself. But he couldn't always let himself find this loophole. Otherwise it would definitely not be a trivial matter if he was discovered. Looking at the hundreds of primary strengthening stones in the backpack, Lu Yuan was already smiling. After going offline, I simply ate some instant noodles and then continued online. I had nothing to do on the weekend. 
And of course, I couldn't be left behind after helping others strengthen their equipment. After going online, Lu Yuan found a corner and took out his forging hammer and began to strengthen the weapons. Since he only had two pieces of level 30 equipment, a gale evisceration blade and a gale evisceration belt, the first choice must be to strengthen the weapon first. Lu Yuan, who had already had an afternoon of experience, had no difficulty in strengthening the first five stars. He only failed twice when he was above eight stars and successfully reached ten stars. Then he also strengthened the belt to ten stars. After looking at the weapon's attributes, it increased its attack power by more than 300 points. The belt only increased the defense power by more than 200. And the rest of the attributes did not change much. I did not continue to choose to upgrade the equipment because the strengthening stones are too expensive now. And it is obvious that the difficulty of upgrading the intermediate strengthening stones to advanced ones has increased more than a little. Lu Yuan once tried to upgrade the intermediate strengthening stone. He used five intermediate strengthening stones to synthesize it. With his own success rate, he could only reach 30%. With his own observation system, the NPC's success rate would be even lower. It seems that the main improvement of the equipment comes from 1115 stars. Because monsters above level 30 have a chance of exploding the strengthening stones. And the price of the strengthening stones will definitely drop in a few days. Lu Yuan simply put the remaining 300 plus strengthening stones on the auction house. Thus earning an additional 63 gold coins. Looking at the 239 gold coins he had saved in the past few days, he simply sold 200 gold coins directly, leaving only 39 gold coins for turnover. After all, his main purpose was to make money. The ratio of gold coin sales has dropped to 145. After excluding the handling fee, Lu Yuan has recorded more than 8,000 yuan in RMB. Lu Yuan feels very happy with his income over the past few days. It is considered a substantial income. After doing this, Lu Yuan decided to continue looking for a place to fight monsters and kill bosses. After much deliberation, he decided to just go to the zombies during the day. The level was suitable, and Isu could kill them instantly. Otherwise, searching for them would waste time. Lu Yuan moved towards his destination while hitting the passing mobs. When he had a set skill, he activated it directly to swarm a wave of monsters. The feeling of killing a group of wild monsters instantly is really refreshing. When Lu Yuan came to the zombies, he saw that there were already players forming a team to spawn monsters. Lu Yuan couldn't just use the set of skills to avoid unnecessary disputes. So he simply walked deeper into the monsters. As expected, the number of people was sparse. So Lu Yuan looked for an opportunity to release the skill set once, and then started to pick up the loot. It was really easy to have such magical skills to spawn monsters. While fighting, he walked forward but didn't see any boss. This made Lu Yuan very confused. After all, no one had set foot in the center of the strange area, so the boss would not be defeated. But Lu Yuan didn't care too much. Continuing forward, he suddenly saw a small village, which surprised Lu Yuan. Aren't the villagers scared next to this zombie group? Even in the game, don't zombies attack ordinary villagers? Lu Yuan walked into the village and found a group of children playing and the adults chatting leisurely. There was no sense of panic. The village no longer had that eerie feeling. Instead, it was filled with the singing of birds and the fragrance of flowers, which was incompatible with the surrounding environment. Lu Yuan was curious and walked over to a male NPC and asked, Brother, aren't you afraid of being surrounded by zombies? We are guarded by the village chief. Those zombies dare not come in, the man said confidently. Is your village chief a peerless expert? Lu Yuan continued to ask. It might be beneficial for an outsider to pay him a visit. I don't know if I'm an expert or not. Anyway, since the village chief came and settled here, our village has never been bullied by outsiders. The man continued. Where is the village chief? Can I pay him a visit? Lu Yuanyan said the villagers admired the village chief so much that he did not dare to show disrespect. It's in the biggest house over there. The middle-aged man pointed up and replied. Lu Yuan said goodbye to the middle-aged man and walked to the village chief's house. He came to the door of the house and knocked on the door. He heard a steady voice inside saying, Please come in. Lu Yuan pushed the door open and entered the house. What he saw was a room full of oil paintings. And the paintings were all about the same woman. He looked up at the village chief. And to his surprise, it was not the old man he imagined, but a 30-year-old woman. Man. When the village chief saw a stranger visiting, he was not surprised and asked casually, What's the matter? Young man? Lu Yuan saw that the font on the head of the village chief was actually in red. 
In the game, red names mean that they can be attacked. Generally, NPCs and villages have names in green font. Right? Are you not a human being? Lu Yuan said something in a hurry that even he felt was inappropriate. The village chief was stunned when he heard this. And then looked at Lu Yuan carefully. Boy, if it had been before, you would have been dead. Are you scolding me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. I just saw that you are a little different from the villagers. I said the wrong thing in a hurry. Lu Yuan was also a little embarrassed. How could he say that he was not a human being? But you are right. I am indeed not a human being. And you are not the first person to find me here. The one who entered the house before attacked me and was killed by me. You are no match for me either. Looks very calm. I don't know why the master lives here in seclusion. Seeing that you are protecting these villagers. You shouldn't be a bad person. Lu Yuan had no intention of taking action. I'm not a bad person. Ha 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 The village chief suddenly laughed and said. Lu Yuan was also confused. He seemed to be a powerful person. Powerful people or monsters are generally nervous. This is Lu Yuan's experience through previous film and television dramas. What is bad? What is good? I only do what I want to do. A large number of outsiders have come. And it seems that the world will be in chaos again. The village chief seemed to be saying to Lu Yuan inexplicably. But also to himself talk to yourself. Do you have anything to do with the zombies outside? Lu Yuan asked cautiously. They disturbed my peaceful life with Ajuan. So I turned them into zombies. It's been a few years. And it seems it's time for me to leave. The village chief said in a way that seemed to be an answer, but also a memory. What will happen to the people in the village if you leave? I guess the zombies are afraid of you. So they don't dare to attack the village. Right. I am playful by nature. When passing by here, I met this kind and simple Ajuan and fell in love with her. Over the years, I have restrained my murderous nature and just wanted to live an ordinary life. During this period, these barbaric tribesmen came to harass me. So I turned them into its a zombie. And it just protects the village from outsiders. So it's been quiet for a few years. But after all, Ajuan is still the same as humans and monsters. I promised to save the lives of her fellow villagers. But she still has to leave after all. The village chief said a lot of words. And Lu Yuan probably understood it. That Ajuan was probably the person in the painting. And he was also the one who infected the zombies outside. But who is he that has such great power? The different paths of humans and demons prove that he may be a human being transformed into a demon beast. Before I had time to think about it, I heard the village chief say again, Young man, are you willing to do me a favor? It means I have an explanation for Ajuan. What's the deal? Help me send these villagers away and send them to a safe place to settle. I'm leaving and going back to where I belong. No problem. These simple villagers. I don't want them to be harmed either. When Li Yuan saw that it was a task, he agreed immediately. Although he didn't know why the village chief didn't just blast away the zombies. It might be that the system needed these monsters to bring experience points to the players. With this token, the zombies outside will not dare to approach the villagers you lead. After the village chief said, he threw a metal token to Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan took the token and saw the system introduction above. And finally knew who it was. Chapter 40 Guild Era Lu Yuan took the token and saw it read. One of the four most ferocious beasts of the demon clan. A token of the golden-haired animal. Jian. If Lu Yuan remembers correctly, he is also an ancient ferocious beast in mythology. Why can he come here to protect the villagers? It is said that Jay is the ultimate form of zombies. No wonder it can turn barbarians into zombies. There is also a legend that Jian can eat dragons and is the nemesis of dragons. I don't know whether it is true or not. Fortunately, I didn't treat it as a boss. Now I probably can't even catch a move. Young man, although you are willing to help me, I won't be merciful if we meet next time. I don't owe you anything. I'll give you this bracelet. The village chief added and threw another piece of equipment. Zombie bracelet. Rare quality level 30. Strength plus 60. Stamina plus 60. Agility plus 60. Intelligence plus 60. Spirit plus 60. Additional skills. Summon zombies. You can summon two zombies to help you fight. Zombies combat ability is affected by the player's attack power and defense power. The cooling time is 30 minutes. Lu Yuan saw that it turned out to be a rare level summoning equipment. And he didn't know what percentage of the impact it would have. It is not clearly marked. But after thinking about it carefully, I figured it out. This is because I am afraid that later players will bring this equipment to summon. 
if there is a clear percentage, if the later players have hundreds of thousands of blood and have higher attack and defense. I'm afraid that both zombies are comparable to some ordinary characters, which will affect the balance. Congratulations to the player Budaohuan for receiving the task. Settle the villagers. Lead the villagers out of the village surrounded by zombies and resettle them so that the villagers have food and clothing. Otherwise, they will bear the wrath of Qian. The penalty for failure is death. After Lu Yuan heard the system prompt, he took a quick look. No wonder he gave the reward first. It turned out that they were not afraid that I would run away. I guess this top-notch monster has its own way of finding people. The only difficulty in this task is to ensure that the villagers have enough food and clothing and where to settle down. Lu Yuan suddenly thought of a place in his mind. Are the villagers willing to leave with me? Lu Yuan was afraid that the villagers did not want to leave their homeland. I'll just talk to them. The village chief said and walked out first. The villagers didn't want to leave here at first. Although they were surrounded by a group of zombies, it was still their hometown. However, after hearing that they could have food and clothing and could move around, the villagers cheered. It seems that when people are reluctant to part with something, they just don't have a better substitute. Right. It's really in line with human nature, Lu Yuan thought. Lu Yuan's idea is to bring these people to Gale Village because the population there is sparse. And now there should be more and more players. It is estimated that the village also needs more people to thrive. So it should be a way to get the best of both worlds. The people in the village didn't have much to take. They weren't rich to begin with. And there were zombies all around. So there was no chance to buy anything. Traveling lightly is of course what Lu Yuan wants to see. Lu Yuan didn't want to waste time. So he led the 50 or 60 villagers and set off directly. As expected, the zombies didn't bother the villagers when passing through this monster area. But outside this area, other wild monsters were not so easy to talk to. Lu Yuan had no choice but to open a path in front, taking the main road as much as possible, and actually walked for more than two hours with stops and starts. The villagers' physical strength was limited, and they had to take a break after walking for a while. Lu Yuan had no choice but to take away all the benefits and couldn't say anything. When I arrived at the entrance of Gale Valley, I found that there were already players coming in and out. They were probably here to mine or brush monsters. After waiting for a few minutes, no strong wind came out. It was probably because the sandstorm driver boss inside had been eliminated. He led everyone and headed into the valley. Since there were many players, Lu Yuan was able to reach Lu Yuan without having to worry about monster attacks. Looking at the groups of players, Gu Inyai is no longer as deserted as when he first arrived. When Lu Yuan led everyone to the end of the valley, he suddenly heard someone calling him. Lu Yuan! Lu Yuan! Why are you here? It turns out that the person who protects your heart is here to purchase the suit. It's you! I took over a mission to settle the villagers behind and prepare to enter Gale Village. Lu Yuan saw that he was a guard who had formed several teams and was a little friendly. Oh! There's another mission. I'm so lucky. That Gale suit is so hard to explode. The boss refreshes one piece every day. And it's not 100% sure to drop. There are so many people trying to grab it. I'm going to give up. I really can't stand it anymore. Guarding your heart said with some frustration. Then go explore more. You might be able to get better equipment. The boss's first kill has the highest explosion rate. Lu Yuan consoled him. At this moment, I just listened to the system announcement. Congratulating the player, Myth Yao Yang, for creating the first guild, Myth, in the server. System announcements were made three times in a row, causing the entire world channel to explode. And the mythical guild also became famous. People from the Myth Guild began to call out on the world channel. The number one guild in Taoyuan, Myth, welcomes like-minded players to join. There are many benefits in the guild, and there are many girls. If you want to show your talents, come and sign up. Lu Yuan didn't have much impression after seeing it and it was estimated that a gang-only fight would begin next. After saying H. Lo, he led the villagers behind him towards Lifeong Village. The opening that was originally only half a meter has now completely expanded into an arched doorway. He came to the village without any obstruction, found the village chief, and simply informed him of his purpose. Village chief Lifeong almost jumped up with joy. He was really worried that his body could not bear it. Thank you so much. Lord Brave. Our village has been silent for too long and needs some fresh blood. Now, as Lord Brave said, many adventurers have begun to visit the village. Our lives have been turned upside down overnight. Don't worry. Well, I will definitely love them as my own villagers. After the village chief Lifeong said excitedly, 
he went to the original villagers to settle the newcomers first and discuss building residences for them. Lu Yuanyan's things have been done. So he doesn't want to stay any longer. So he should hurry up and upgrade his equipment. In the past two or three hours, his experience has hardly increased. Although he got a rare bracelet, which improved himself. But if the level is dropped too much, it will definitely lead to a lot less first kills on boss. Lu Yuan can move forward much faster alone than with a group of villagers. After thinking about it, it would be more efficient to farm the zombies. He currently has 30% more experience at level 30. And farming level 35 monsters and set skills is considered efficient. Well, the most important thing is that the monsters there are relatively densely spawned. And there are not many players setting foot in the monster center. After making the decision, he no longer hesitated and quickly headed to the infected barbarian area. When I went to the village for the first time, there was no one there anymore. The ancient ferocious beast had also left, and only the oil paintings that had not been taken away were left in the house. Lu Yuan didn't find anything valuable, so he walked deeper into the infected barbarians. Chapter 41 Lu Yuan's Younger Brother Continuing to walk deeper into the monster, life began to appear without warning. There were no longer burnt marks everywhere on the dark earth, and there were no more zombies. A forest appeared in front of Lu Yuan's eyes. Looking at this obvious a boundary seems a bit too abrupt. Lu Yuan thought carefully. Maybe the appearance of Jian had changed the surrounding area? The original savages turned into zombies, turning the forest into a dead and scorched earth. While he was thinking, a group of savages with spears in their hands and wearing strange masks ran out. They threw javelins from a long distance away from Lu and began to attack. Although the attack came quickly, Lu Yuan was not a fool. He quickly ran a few steps forward and charged forward, and the javelins fell into the air. Cannibal level 36 HP 100000. He also has a HP of 100,000. Can throw javelins from a distance. Has a dagger for melee combat. Is very fast and has fierce moves. As expected, the cannibals feel a bit like the assassin profession. With high attack but low defense. The mobs did not pose much of a threat to Lu Yuan. After a while, he cleaned up a few mobs. After picking up the loot, he found that the things the cannibals exploded were quite good. There were gold coins and strengthening stones. Did they get eaten? Left behind by someone who died. Continuing to move forward. The monsters are too scattered. Lu Yuan is reluctant to use the set skills. He plans to find a place with dense monsters to release the set skills first. The so-called early use and early cooling. Not far away. I found a tribe of cannibals dancing a strange dance together. There was a big pot in the middle with a person hanging on it. It's really scary. If it's good, it will kill the player. If it's caught and eaten, it won't eat the person out of the shadows. Is this a horror game? Whenever there was an injustice on the road, it was the players who saved his life. Lucky for Lu Yuan. He turned on the set of skills. The cannibals who were still spinning in circles were sucked away by the sudden strong wind. Lu Yuan waited for the mobs to come to him and activated the wind blade instantly kills all the mobs. Just as he was about to step forward and rescue the people above him, he discovered that there was still a monster that was still alive and actually rushed over to him. He was also dressed in tribal clothing but much taller, holding a giant axe in his hand. The cannibal leader is a level 36 boss with a blood volume of 500,000. It seems that the set skills are ineffective against boss. There is no point in trying to find the boss. You can't find it. Just fight it and it's over. Before the cannibal leader Li Yuan gets close, he charges up a thousand army killer attack. Now it won't take a while to get the chance to charge up. Minus 16,320. Li Yuan was a little surprised when he dealt more than 16,000 damage in one blow. His attack power was much higher than before. This was the first boss after changing his equipment. He must treat it well. The cannibal leader was not a good person. He swung his axe and struck it down diagonally. The axe was actually glowing red. Lu Yuan did not dare to be careless and hurriedly ducked in the direction of the axe and then rolled to avoid the blow. Lu Yuan took advantage of the monster being knocked out of the air and charged forward. The cannibal leader was stunned. And then he used a set of his own skills to throw them all. The special effects of the weapons also triggered bleeding. One set of output actually knocked out 10% of the boss's health. Unexpectedly, the cannibal mobs are sensitive. But this boss is a warrior. Coupled with this giant axe, the attack speed is really slow. Almost the same as my previous heavy sword without edge. Such a boss is good enough for some skills and equipment. It's not that difficult for players. 
but getting hit with this big axe is no joke. The cannibal leader raised the giant axe above his head with both hands. Even a fool knew that he was about to strike. Lu Yuan quickly retreated to distance himself. But unexpectedly, he was still stunned by the aftershocks of the axe. The boss walked over unreasonably and swung his axe downward diagonally again. The axe still had a red light. This time Lu Yuan could not dodge. The dizziness had just ended, but he had no time to dodge and could only activate that something blood armor to resist. Dash 25,000, dash 8246. It turned out that the boss lost his health in front of him. And he lost nearly 80% of his health. I couldn't figure out why the boss was losing blood. So I quickly took blood medicine and started to fight back. Although I had little health left. The boss was slow to move. So as long as I wasn't stunned, it wasn't a big problem. After a while of skills, the boss only had 68% of its health left. And Lu Yuan slowly recovered after taking blood medicine. This boss's attack was a bit single. He raised the giant axe above his head again. Lu Yuan knew that he had to be careful about the aftershocks of the skill this time. After retreating to a safe distance, he jumped up when the axe fell, because the aftershocks must have spread through the ground. This time, Lu Yuan saw the special effect of the blow clearly. The ground one meter in the straight line, where the axe hit the ground was split into pieces more than 10 centimeters wide. Pit. The dust stirred up by the ground vibration spreads outward in a circular shape. He must have been stunned by this just now. If the axe hit hard, the damage would probably be pretty good. Although it seems that the moves are slow. If you are not careful, the crispy profession may be taken away by two moves and eaten all over the world with one move. After figuring out the routine, Lu Yuan was no longer afraid of him. He avoided the stun boss and was almost no threat. When the boss's blood volume fell below 30%, he entered a frenzy and increased his attack speed and attack power. But it was still of no use. He had already beaten him. The smoothly Yuan knew his moves very well. When the boss had only 1% health, it struck again. Lu Yuan felt that he should be able to kill the boss before it struck down. So he did not dodge. However, because of this greedy knife, Lu Yuan felt the approach of death for the first time. The boss is still 100 HP short and will die if touched casually but the axe has already fallen minus 4,680. In addition to the previous blood loss, Lu Yuan's blood volume was less than 3,000. Lu Yuan, who was in a dazed state, looked at the axe with red light and closed his eyes. After that, he explained that he was only 100 blood short. It's really unbelievable. Gan Xian didn't even use the defensive skill Song Feng blood armor. Dash 5, Dash 460. Not dead? After only hitting himself 460 HP, Lu Yuan looked confused and stabbed him gently with a gale eviscerating saber in his hand. The cannibal leader lay down like this. The big axe fell from his hand. Along with a skill book, some strengthening stones, a dozen gold coins and some scattered potions. Earthquake shaking axe. Purple rare quality. Level 35 warrior. Guardian. Slow attack speed. Attack power. 1890 to 1990. Strength plus 480. Stamina plus 200. Additional skills. Break the ground. Raise the mountain axe and slash forward. Causing damage to 1 meter in front and causing stun to enemies within 3 meters centered on the weapon. Cooling time 1 minute. It has 300 more attack power than your own weapon. But its strength is also 300 more. And it also gives you 200 more stamina. Moreover, the skills are also group control. Except for the slow attack speed. The rest are good. There are no complicated attributes, and they are very useful. However, Lu Yuan felt that although both warriors and guardians could use it, this weapon was still more suitable for guardians. The warrior's agility, which was not outstanding, would be greatly reduced when using this heavy weapon. Burning blood slash burns 5% of one's current blood volume to cause huge damage to the enemy. The more blood one consumes, the higher the damage caused. The cooldown time is 15 seconds. Use level 35. All melee professions can be learned. After reading this skill book, Lu Yuan understood why the boss only hit him with more than 8,000 damage in the first blow, but only a few hundred points in the second blow. Boss! Boss! Save me quickly! The player who was tied to the pot shouted. Who's your boss? Boss! It's you! Little brother! I'm determined to follow you! Chapter 42 Sad Sportsman Lu Yuan rescued the player from the pot and took a look at the basic information. The sad, handsome, level 33 guardian is three levels higher than himself. 
when he opened the rankings, he saw that he was the ninth ranked guardian. I don't know if the people on this ranking list are farming monsters 24 hours a day. And there is almost no change. How could you, a player, be tied up here as food by the system NPC? Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Logically speaking, there was no chance of living. The sad handsome man said a little aggrievedly, Forget it. I came over from the barbarian zombies over there and saw a boss here because it was black sky in the game. So I didn't pay attention to my surroundings. And I just sneaked up on the boss when he wasn't paying attention. I was so scared when I thought that the boss knocked me out with a chop. And a group of boys rushed up and tied me up, hanging them on the pot. I almost got eaten, but I was still tied up when I was offline. Fortunately, I was still tied up when I was online. My Shinwu boss rushed over and killed all the monsters instantly with one move. Boss, I will follow you. Boss, what kind of skill do you have? It's so powerful. When Lu Yuan heard what he said, his head got big from shouting, and he said impatiently, I'm not your boss. Go and level up quickly. After all, he's a master on the ranking list. How can he be so nagging? Boss, boss, don't be angry. Why don't I stop talking? After saying this, the sad handsome man covered his mouth and followed Lu Yuan. Boss, would you like to add me as a friend first? After a minute, he still couldn't help but said something. Lu Yuan couldn't help but laugh. This man was really talkative and couldn't sit still. Although he was a bit nagging, Lu Yuan felt that this person was pretty good. So he sent him a friend request. Boss, what happened just now? I think boss's axe fell out. The sad handsome man couldn't help but continue to ask. Boss, are you the one who disrupted dozens of people in chaos by yourself? Before Lu Yuan could answer what he had exploded, the guy continued to ask. Boss, do you have a girlfriend? I just fell out of love. So I play games every day and torture monsters crazily. The sad handsome man continued with an aggrieved look. Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. The sad handsome man asked a bunch of questions. As if he didn't want to hear the answers at all. Boss. Stop. These are the properties of the axe. I am the one who fights the guild in troubled times. I don't have a girlfriend. Lu Yuan heard that he was going to continue. And then interrupted to post the properties of the axe and answered his question concisely. Boss, do you want to use this axe when you reach level 35? I think it would be most in line with my temperament if I use this axe. The sad sportsman stared at the axe and said with greed, You want? Think. No. Lu Yuan also became interested and joked with him. If it was someone Lu Yuan knew, even if the axe was valuable, he might be reluctant to part with him. But how could Lu Yuan be so generous to this person he met for the first time? The value of this axe is not a small amount. Uh, boss, you're kidding me. Even if you give it to me, I won't get it for free. How about 100,000? The sad handsome man explained when he saw that Lu Yuan thought he wanted to get it for free. Weapons of this level have not been sold in the auction house yet. And I don't know the market value. But isn't 100,000 too high? Lu Yuan checked the auction house. After all, now that the guild has been established, there are many people who will buy such top-notch weapons. If someone in the guild plays it, they will either keep it for themselves or sell it to the guild. Individual players do not have the kind of incredible strength. So the market situation is not clear. But 100,000 is definitely not low. After all, level 35 is just a transition. It's not high. Boss, I'm afraid I'll give you a low price and you won't sell it. Boss, I'll transfer the money to you directly. I'll avoid the handling fee. The sad handsome man said happily, You are so rich. Why would you still fall in love? Lu Yuan Yuan needs to transfer money in just two words for a piece of equipment like this. It can be seen that this sad handsome man must be very rich. 100,000 is not a lot in today's society. But it is not a small sum spent casually. Boss, don't talk about my sad past. I fell out of love because of money. All they love is my money. The sad handsome man felt so wronged that he almost cried. How old are you? Why are you acting like a child? Lu Yuan Yuan was so immature that he didn't know if he was a child stealing family money to play games. Brother, I am 21 this year. I have a car, a house, but no wife. As a nouveau riche, I live a happy life. Who would have thought that the gold-worshipping girl was always looking for money? When she met a second-generation official, she left me alone on the side of the road. I, I can't sleep every night. With regret in my heart, I remember that this hatred is irreconcilable. The sad handsome man actually rapped. 
You really are. Boss, I have admired you since I saw your heroic demeanor when you were fighting against a group of people. Now you have saved me again. Although you cannot commit yourself to me, please accept me as your younger brother. The sad handsome man said sincerely. Little brother, just play together when you have time. Lu Yuan is not an unkind person. Many friends are better than many enemies. Thank you. Boss, do you want to sell the weapons? After being praised like this, Lu Yuan was a little embarrassed to talk about money. The sad handsome man seemed to see Lu Yuan's embarrassment. And then said, Boss, you don't have to be embarrassed. My brother has settled the score. You have to give it to me for free. Don't want it either. Because the game supports currency exchange. You can also transfer it directly to your personal account. Of course, some handling fees will be charged. Which eliminates the trouble of gold coin transactions. It is also very safe and you don't have to worry about leaking personal information. My name is Lu Yuan. Nice to meet you. Lu Yuan introduced himself. It stands to reason that in the game, especially when there is money transaction, one should not reveal his true identity. After all, people's hearts are sinister, and it is not difficult for people who can spend a lot of money to buy equipment to find out a person's details. However, Lu Yuan feels that it is necessary to make friends. Be sincere. Zhang Yu. The sad handsome man rarely introduced him seriously, but within a few seconds he said with a playful smile, Boss, although I am rich, I don't have many friends. They all say that I am a nouveau riche. I'm not popular. They don't like to interact with me. It's better in the game. If you have money, you can buy good equipment and be called a master. But my level is indeed a bit behind. Otherwise, I would be kidnapped by a bunch of wild monsters and almost cooked. Come on. Boss, you need to teach me more in the future. How to fight a group of people one by one. And that little girl will rush over like stars in her eyes. Lu Yuan always felt that behind his smiling face, there was a faint sense of inferiority. He was troubled even if he didn't have money. And he was troubled even if he had money. As expected, people in different circles couldn't be reconciled. I want to continue to gain experience. Do you want to form a team? Lu Yuan sent over to invite him to form a team. Okay. I wish I could have asked for it. Zheng Yu said happily. Lu Yuan stopped inking and directly found a place with many monsters to put the set skills. And the wild monsters fell down again. Pick up things. Lu Yuan gave the order and Zheng Yu ran to pick up things. Boss, this equipment is really awesome. I want to buy one too. Although I have a set of level 30 rare equipment. I can't kill these monsters. Zheng Yu said while picking up the equipment. A rare piece of equipment? How good is your attack and defense? Lu Yuan wanted to see the growth gap between warriors and guardians. HP 24322. Defense 15,010. Attack 3,210. How about it? Boss? Zhang Yu was somewhat proud. Lu Yuan's health is twice as much as his own. His defense is more than 4,000. And his attack is only 2,000 higher than his own. However, Lu Yuan has four pieces of armor on him that are level 25. So the growth gap is not really that big. At this time, Li Tong sent a message. Lu Yuan, my guild has been established. Do you want to join? Zhao Xingha and the others have already entered. The system only prompted the first guild to be established. And there were no further prompts after that. When I opened the guild list, I saw that more than 20 guilds had been established. So many guilds had appeared in such a short time. Okay, you want me? Or should I apply? Lu Yuan asked. System prompt. Red Flower Club. Invite you to join the guild. Do you agree? Sister. Do you want to fight against the Qing Dynasty and restore the Ming Dynasty? Return the Red Flower Society. Lu Yuan replied speechlessly after confirming. Fang Ro came up with it. Saying that Tong in my name means red. And I am like a flower. So I called it Red Flower Club. Li Tong explained. Boss. Boss. Have you joined the guild? There is a guild on your name. Can you bring me in too? I want to be with you. Zheng Yu said hurriedly, fearing that he would be left behind. Lu Yuan asked Li Tong to bring Zheng Yu in. Anyway, there was not much more than this person. Tomorrow, Sunday, we have made an appointment to celebrate the establishment of the guild. Shall we come together? Li Tong immediately invited Lu Yuan to attend the celebration banquet. Well, okay, I'll call you then. Lu Yuan just made a fortune and wanted to relax. Brushing monsters every day was tiring. Chapter 43 The world is really small. After ending the call with Li Tong, 
Lu Yuan started fighting the cannibal monster again. And there was a younger brother beside him who kept nagging. Although it was a bit annoying. It also made this boring thing more interesting. This Sheng Yu is really talkative. I don't know if it's because he usually suppresses it. Or if he's just a talkative person. After grinding monsters until the morning, Lu Yuan finally reached level 31. And then decided to log off and go out to exercise and have breakfast. I'm going to get ready. It's time to eat. Lu Yuan said H. Lo. Boss. When will you come online? I'll wait for you. Zhang Yu seemed determined to rely on Lu Yuan. You're not falling out of love. Have you changed your sexual orientation? It's so disgusting. Lu Yuan said speechlessly for a while. Don't talk nonsense. It's just admiration. Zheng Yu also said with a smile. I can go online around 7 o'clock and play until noon and then have dinner together. Lu Yuan didn't hide anything. When Zheng Yu heard this, he immediately begged and said, Boss dinner party is the most interesting. Can you take me with you? I will definitely not talk nonsense and be a competent younger brother. Zheng Yu was chatting with Lu Yuan while they were killing monsters. He had already learned that Lu Yuan and he were in the same city. And they had been clamoring to arrange for Lu Yuan. When he heard that his boss was going to have a party, he actually took the initiative to be a pawn for Lu Yuan. Little brother. I really regret telling you where I went to school. Why do you know me so well? Lu Yuan shook his head. Boss, it's okay if it's inconvenient. I'll just take a look at you from a distance. Do you agree? Zheng Yu continued to ramble. Remember my phone number and call me then. Lu Yuan really didn't know how to refuse. So he just thought he had made a new friend. Lu Yuan went to the playground to run a few laps. And then had a simple breakfast. Seeing that it was still early, he decided to level up in the game to see if he could meet a boss or something. As soon as he went online, he thought Zhen Yu would be playing the game. But it turned out that he was not online all morning. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. He just said he was waiting for him. Maybe there was something urgent. So Lu Yuan didn't worry about it anymore. The morning passed quickly. Lu Yuan quit the game and cleaned himself up briefly. Since it was a celebration, Lu Yuan didn't wear a t-shirt. He found a white shirt and a pair of jeans and sneakers before going out. The phone rang from an unfamiliar number. Lu Yuan answered the call casually thinking it was some classmate. Hey, boss? Where are you? I'll pick you up at the gate of your school. When Lu Yuan heard this, he slapped his forehead. How did this guy find himself here? When he left the school gate, he saw a young man wearing a black suit and sunglasses standing in front of a BMW. He is about the same height as Lu Yuan. And his figure is not so obese as to be considered obese. Before Lu Yuan could get closer, he was caught by Zheng Yu's looking eyes. Boss, here it is. Why are you here at school? Are you a spy? Isn't it hot? Lu Yuan said a little unhappy when he saw him coming uninvited. Boss, don't I give you a surprise? I went to buy a set of clothes and had my hair cut before I came here. Why don't I wear sunglasses to look like a bodyguard? I will stand behind you in a moment. Zheng Yu said with a look on his face seriously. Did you drink soy sauce? No. How do you drink that stuff? I think you just drink soy sauce. It's salty. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Boss, get in the car. Zheng Yu said nonchalantly. The two drove to the hotel private room and saw Li Tong. Zhao Xingha and a girl they had not seen before already chatting. Why are you here? I've been waiting for you for a long time. Is he your friend? Zhao Xingha said H. Lo when he saw Lu Yuan coming in. When he saw this man in a suit and leather shoes and wearing big sunglasses following Lu Yuan. He couldn't help but ask. Hello everyone. I am the boss's younger brother. My name is Zheng Yu. Nice to meet you. Zheng Yu is not afraid of stage either. He has also joined our guild. So I must come with him. Lu Yuan spread his hands and said helplessly. Hurry up and sit down. Someone else is coming soon. The guild has been established. I hope we can work together to create a world. Li Tong couldn't help but feel excited. Li Tong wore a white tight-fitting t-shirt. Fitted jeans and white sneakers very casually today. Full of youthful atmosphere. Are you the one who doesn't like Dao Huan? You're quite handsome. Lu Yuan heard the sound and looked over. He felt familiar just now, but couldn't remember who it was. It was probably Li Tong's best friend. The assassin knight haggard Fong Ro. The simple t-shirt and hot pants have a smoky makeup. But the neckline is a bit loose. The cool short hair and the leaking left ear stud give people a wild and hot feeling. Hello, Fong Ro. Lu Yuan also greeted politely. Boss, there are so many beauties around you. 
You are indeed my idol. Zhang Yi whispered in Liu Yuan's ear. Before Liu Yuan could answer, he heard another girl coming from the door. Oh, I'm late. Sorry, there's a traffic jam on the road. Liu Yuan looked back and couldn't help but wonder why the people he met today looked so familiar. I saw Li Tong and Fang Ro standing up and walking towards the man and giving him a big hug. It was obvious that the three of them were familiar with each other. Sister Jing Bai, it's not easy to meet you once. I'm so busy all day long. Li Tong complained with a smile. Liu Yuan was surprised. It couldn't be such a coincidence. Right? Could it be that she hasn't been online for several days? Little Milk bodily Jing Bai? I had told her a lot of secrets. Thinking of this, I couldn't help but lower my head, not wanting the other party to see me. Hey, you two little girls. You even brought three handsome guys. Look at each of them. Li Jing Bai actually teased the three men sitting here. How old are you? Yes, you are only a few years older than us. Besides, look at yourself. Aren't you very tender? Fang Ro was not to be outdone and poked Li Jing by his slightly plump breasts. Zhang Yu looked dull, and even Zhao Xingha watched the three beauties joking with interest. Now that everyone is here, let's start eating. Li Tong was the host, so he started to organize things. While waiting for the food to be served, it was inevitable to talk about things in the game. After Li Tong created the guild and obtained some guild gameplay and information, he was the first to say, Each guild has an independent guild base. You can enter through a portal in the holy city. It seems to be an independent space. The guild contribution can upgrade various buildings of the guild. Various life occupations can also be carried out directly in the guild. It's quite convenient. Are there any guild activities? Since the guild has just been established, everyone except the guild president doesn't know the rules yet. You can dart, or you can intercept other guild tag cars. Players who successfully dart can gain experience and guild contributions. If the dart is intercepted, the guild construction fund will be lost. It is estimated that there will be more conflicts this time. Liu Yuan said with emotion after hearing this. Gangs can initiate a war with each other and let players pay attention to it in the form of a world announcement. If there is a challenge in the bases of both sides, a portal will appear. The party being attacked must defend the flag of their own guild. The health of the flag is affected by the gang level. Of course, you can also counterattack through the teleportation array. If the blood volume of any flag is zero in 30 minutes, the gang war will be declared failed. The reserve fund of the losing guild will be reduced. The flag of the other guild will be hung in front of the name of the player in your own guild. Unless the enemy guild is found, only by killing the people can the mark in front of the name be washed away. Otherwise the shame will always be there. The guild will produce a treasure map, and players will have a chance to dig out the boss and the boss will explode the strengthening stone. The right of ownership depends on who attacks first. Of course, if the player is killed, the boss will recalculate the hatred. It seems that the price of strengthening stones will drop soon, and a war will definitely begin between various gangs. Zhao Xing has said, it's not that the price is too low. It's very difficult to strengthen above 10 stars, and high-level strengthening stones are also very rare. Lu Yuan analyzed the difficulties, because he could make them himself. One more thing. Since Lu Yuan's video and Gale Valley's post are very popular among players, can I use your reputation to recruit some players? Li Tong looked at Lu Yuan and asked pleadingly, It doesn't matter to me. Just do whatever you want. Lu Yuan didn't care. Smelly brother. Is that you? Li Jingbai seemed to notice that Lu Yuan. Lu Yuan smiled awkwardly. And for a moment, he didn't know what to say. Chapter 44 The 28th Generation Successor of Qian Kuen Palm Looking at the embarrassed Liu Yuan, everyone was also curious. Logically speaking, these two people had nothing to do with each other. So how could they become younger brothers? Do you know Sister Jing Bai? Li Tong asked puzzledly. I met him in the game. I didn't notice it at first. It was only when you mentioned it just now that I realized that I have first-hand information about him. Li Jing Bai looked at Liu Yuan and said with a smile. Liu Yuan looked at Li Jing Bai's teasing and felt like he was back to chatting in the game. It stands to reason that Li Jingbai, who is only a few years apart, is upright and youthful, but always exudes a mature charm. Hello, Sister Jingbai. Bu Dao Huan Lu Yuan. Although Lu Yuan understood that she already knew who he was, he still reported his game name. Nice to meet you all. My name is Li Jingbai. It's called Little Bottle in the game. But I don't have much time to play. Li Jingbai briefly introduced herself, then winked at Lu Yuan and said, Don't worry. 
I will keep it a secret for you. It's okay not to mention it. Lu Yuan didn't think it was a secret at first. But he couldn't tell everyone in person. Right. But after what Li Jingbai said, everyone's curiosity was aroused. They all looked at Lu Yuan strangely, thinking that Lu Yuan had done something unethical in the game. After a while of greetings, everyone quickly became familiar with each other. Especially Zheng Yu, who seemed to have known everyone for many years. He was no stranger at all. And it didn't feel out of place that they were both young people. While everyone was drinking and chatting happily, the door of the box was pushed open, and a young man led several people who looked like bodyguards into the box. Little girl, it really is you. You dare to play tricks on me and take her away from me. The young man led by him said something confusing when he entered the room, and two bodyguards behind him walked out and faced the three people present. The lady walked in the direction. Just as Lu Yuan was about to get up, he heard Zhao Xingha get up and say, What are you going to do? Get out of the way. One of the bodyguards flicked his arm and pushed Zhao Xingha. There was no strength in Zhao Xingha's body. So Lu Yuan quickly stood up and caught Zhao Xingha. At this time, two bodyguards had already walked up to Fang Ro and dragged her away from the door. Li Tong and Li Jingbai had no strength and could not stop her. Although Lu Yuan didn't know what was going on. How could he stand by and watch? He helped Zhao Xingha steady and stood in front of the two bodyguards who were arresting him shouting, Stop! Who do you think you are? Stay away! One of the bodyguards, who was relatively close to Lu Yuan cursed and punched Lu Yuan in the face. The punch was very fast, and it looked like he was Lian Jiazi. Seeing this, Zhang Yu picked up the bottle and was about to step forward to help when he heard a groan before he could take a step forward. The bodyguard who punched flew backwards. It turned out that Lu Yuan Yin was punched by the opponent. He ducked to the left to avoid the fist. He stepped closer and hit the bodyguard's chin with his right hand from under the right arm. It seemed like a gentle palm. He actually pushed the person backwards and flew out. The other person saw that he was being beaten away. He let go of Fang Ro's hand and swept Lu Yuan's legs. Lu Yuan quickly took a step forward, with his right arm downwards and palm outwards, blocking the bodyguard's knees, blocking this attack. The right elbow, right palm and left palm worked together to knock the bodyguard down to the ground clutching his chest and unable to stand up. The leg sweep is to use the body and ways to drive the legs to exert force. And finally the calf explodes. But Lu Yuan happened to be stuck before he exerted force, and there was a gap in his chest to simply knock down the enemy. The other three people behind the young man saw this, and one of them did not move. The other two people also rushed forward. Lu Yuan was not afraid at all. Looking at the enemy's straight punch, Lu Yuan turned to the outside and hit the bodyguard's arm with a cleft on the outer forearm. The bodyguard's arm was in pain, and his fist was instantly knocked out of position. Lu Yuan's right hand kept exerting force from his waist to drive his arm, and hit the bodyguard's stomach with a slap. He punched the bodyguard with his left hand, and bent over in pain. The bodyguard had a strong fight. Before he could stop, he swung his arm, and hit the other bodyguard in the abdomen. With his other hand, he slapped the back of the bodyguard's neck, and knocked him to the ground. In the flash of lightning, Lu Yuan knocked down four people, leaving Zhao Xingha and others dumbfounded. Who would have thought that Lu Yuan would still have this chance? When the young man saw this, he cursed. A bunch of trash. Get out of here tomorrow. Master, calm down. The bodyguard, who had not moved, came out at this time. Lu Yuan looked closely, and it was obvious that this person was much more powerful than the four people just now. He was probably the head bodyguard. And every step was as solid as the roots under his feet. Suddenly, his speed changed and a straight punch came. Lu Yuan was about to step sideways and strike out. When he saw the opponent withdrawing his right hand and making an uppercut with his left hand, then attacked Lu Yuan's face. Lu Yuan did not underestimate the enemy from the beginning. He was naturally prepared. His right hand turned into a palm to meet the flying fist and pushed upward at the wrist. Just when his left hand was about to fight back, he did not expect that the opponent's right hand instantly grabbed Lu Yuan's wrist and thrust it towards him. In the direction, his left hand was retracted to hit Lu Yuan's right arm. If this punch had hit, his arm would definitely be broken. In desperation, Lu Yuan simply twisted towards the enemy. With his right hand, he took the enemy's hand and carried it downward to his waist. His left hand passed under the opponent's arm through the armpit. Then, he grabbed the opponent's shoulders, used his feet to twist his waist, and knocked the opponent down. The back of his head hit the ground hard. 
and the punch he had freed up with his right hand stopped in front of the bodyguard, who was lying on the ground. It only took more than 10 seconds for the two of them to break up the moves. Everyone could only see the two of them ducking and twisting, twisting and turning. But they didn't know the secret of the moves. Which one of them would either break an arm or a leg or make you unconscious? Or even hit a vital part? It's life-threatening. Seeing that Lu Yuan kept his hand, the head bodyguard stopped resisting. And both of them stood up. I'm not a good student. May I ask where you learn from me? Since Lu Yuan usually concentrates on studying and is very popular, no one will bully him at all. Therefore, although he has inherited it from his family, there is no place to use it. After all, in a harmonious society, martial arts are only used to strengthen the body. In this world, this was the first time he saw the middle man, Lu Yuan, and without hesitation, he immediately clasped his fists and said in return, One palm can determine the world. Success and fame are not repaid by others. Go back to the mountains and forests and never come out to the world. Only Chinkuan remains in the world. The 28th generation successor of Chinkuan Palm. Lu family. Lu Yuan. When everyone saw this rhetoric, it was as if they were watching a movie. Who would have thought that the seemingly frail Lu Yuan could defeat five big men in an instant? The head bodyguard glanced at the young man who took the lead and shook his head slightly. The young man could afford to pick it up and put it down. He looked at Fong Ro without any embarrassment and said, Forget it for today. I have never seen such a woman. Someone will protect you today. Don't let me see you alone in the future. After saying that, he turned around and walked out. The bodyguard looked at the four people still lying on the ground and cursed. Get up yet, you loser. After saying that, he bowed his hands to Lee Yuan and followed him out. The box also fell into silence. Chapter 45 Gang Activities Lu Yuan Why are you so powerful? I've never heard that you can do martial arts. Zhao Xingha asked with an incredulous look on his face. Lu Yuan looked at Zhao Xingha and replied, You didn't ask me. Either? In today's harmonious society. These are basically not needed. They are just for physical fitness. Boss, you are so awesome. I wanted to fight with them just now. But I guess I would have killed someone if I went up. Zhang Yu looked at Lu Yuan with admiration. Thank you. Fang Ro came over and said sincerely to Lu Yuan, at this time, Fong Ro was obviously frightened, and her body was still trembling slightly. It doesn't matter. You can't just watch them hurt you. Lu Yuan was embarrassed by Fong Ro's serious attitude. Shiro, how did you get into trouble with them? What happened? Li Jingbai asked. His name is Lin Han. His family is rich and powerful. I saw him when I went to disco with my friends. He always came to pester me. I met him again a few days ago. A lot of people obviously didn't want to let me go. I he just excused himself to go to the bathroom and sneaked out of the back door while their people were not paying attention. He probably felt that I had tricked him. So he held a grudge. This kind of person is used to being arrogant and always thinks he can get anything. Fong Ro explained. Sure enough. Good looking girls are easy to provoke such people. And Fong Ro still has that kind of wild beauty. Which can easily inspire men's desire to conquer. After hearing this. Li Yuan probably knew what was going on. Seeing everyone in shock. They felt that they shouldn't stay here any longer. So they decided to end the dinner party early. Everyone except Lu Yuan drove. And it happened that Zhao Xingha was also preparing to go back to the dormitory. So Lu Yuan left with Zhao Xingha. And the rest of the people dispersed. I didn't expect you to be so well hidden. When I saw you fighting someone and announcing your home. You seemed to be no longer the Lu Yuan I knew. You were usually harmless to humans and animals. But I didn't expect you to be so fierce. Zhao Xingha was still a little uncomfortable. I dare to believe that the person just now was Lu Yuan, who had been living with me for two years. Dad has told me that Kung Fu should strengthen the body. Don't show off anything. And don't use your power to bully others. In addition, the public security is very good now. So there is no place available. Lu Yuan said, listening to the poem you just said, your family must be pretty good. Right? I've never heard you say that before. Zhao Xingha continued to ask while driving. I heard from my father that my ancestor was very powerful. He was a great general who led troops to fight. Later, he realized that his merits were so great that he retired to the mountains and forests. Perhaps he chose to let go in order to have a good death. Historically, those with great merits have surpassed others. Some of them ended up well. Li Yuan couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Yes, he is truly a master in this world. The two quickly returned to the dormitory and looked at the time. 
It happened to be dinner time. However, they were not hungry just after eating. So they logged into the game directly. After all, the first official system competition would start in a few days. After the competition, you should work hard for the generous rewards. Lu Yuan, who logged into the game, appeared around the cannibal tribe again. Since the monsters here were pretty good and he had the blessing of the Gale suit, he decided to continue upgrading here. The guild channel posted a message. The escort will be escorted on time at 8 o'clock in the evening. Please gather at the guild base in advance. Don't miss out on a lot of experience. Lu Yuan saw it and decided to take part in it later. After all, the guild system had just been released and it was considered the core gameplay of the game. He needed to understand it first. And after listening to Li Tong's introduction today, I feel that the struggle between guilds will be very strong in the future. It seems that we have to make ourselves stronger quickly. After seeing the equipment of those rich people, I found that the equipment I had worked so hard to develop did not have much advantage. The only thing that makes Lu Yuan happy is that although the level of this Gale suit is not too high, it is really practical for killing monsters. But he doesn't know how many levels of wild monsters this suit can kill. I have been hunting wild monsters for a few more hours. Since I am single playing and clearing monsters at a higher level, the efficiency with the set of skills is still very high. I already have 50% of the experience at level 31. So I start returning to the city and prepare to join the guild escort. Returning to the holy city, I found the guild's teleportation entrance and entered an independent space directly. I saw that there were many people waiting at the guild base, including some new people. And some of them were people Li Tong had recruited from school before. Some of them were friends I had met before, and two people who had played the dungeon together. Guard your heart and be careful, were also prominently listed. At this time, Li Tong, the leader of the guild channel, spoke, Tonight at 8 o'clock, escorts will be escorted. Since a large number of guilds have been established, many guilds, whether friends or foes, are robbing escorts. While robbing resources, it also hinders others. Guild development, Escorting is one of the main activities of the guild, which can increase the guild's construction funds, as well as your own large amount of experience and guild contribution. So everyone must be energetic during the escorting process. If someone attacks the escort vehicle on the way, our counterattack will not increase the crime value. So please don't worry. Lu Yuan also saw that there are always people shouting and scolding some guilds on the world channel because the escort car was robbed. After all, it is a game. Even if there is no profit, there will be many militants disrupting the order. It is not easy to develop harmoniously. On the other hand, most of the people in his guild obviously have uneven equipment. In terms of quantity and quality, only a few can use it in a real fight. When recruiting people, Li Tong only restricted them to be loyal to the guild. But people are selfish. When students get the best equipment, some will keep it or contribute it. Most of them choose to exchange it for cash. With the current price of equipment, Li Tong is asked to distribute equipment to everyone. It is obviously unrealistic. And many large guilds cannot do it. Everyone forms a team. Try to have as much milk as possible. And start when you are ready. Li Tong continued to speak. No one in the guild is new to these activities anymore. And they all understand the rationale behind these activities when they come into contact with other games. They are all similar. The escort is to have several random locations to safely deliver the things that the holy city wants to transport to the strongholds on the world map. Some wild monsters will be refreshed on the way. However, when the entire guild is present, those wild monsters there is nothing to be afraid of. The most difficult things to deal with are hostile guilds or disruptive players. As the escort begins, everyone automatically receives a task to protect the safety of the escort vehicle. The escort car was not very fast. And the people from the guild also walked slowly around the escort car. And the first guild escort began. Lu Yuan. Zhao Xingha. Zhang Yu. Guard your heart and be careful don't spit milk form a team. The two guardians plus one Lu Yuan, who can resist and fight ensure the team stability. Because there are many people. It is difficult to command. Others. Lu Yuan and others have made an agreement that if someone approaches the escort car, the two guardians will hold back the hatred in Zhao Xingha and Lu Yuan will focus their fire on them in seconds. After all, group battles are different from one-on-one -on -one battles. Without a unified command, most people will be like headless flies. This is also one of Lu Yuan's biggest worries. Chapter 46 The Prelude to the Gang War The Hanwha Club where Lu Yuan belongs is quite lucky. The direction of escorting the escort is to the field station in the north of the Holy City. Not far from the Skeleton Cave. 
Lu Yuan is quite familiar with this area. Following the escort gang, everyone walked on the official road, and the wild monsters that spawned along the way were easily dealt with. Until they reached the sky passage with mountains on both sides, everyone felt that they might encounter difficult enemies here. Sure enough, as soon as we arrived at the entrance, we saw dozens of people bustling in the middle. No one would believe it if they were there to enjoy the scenery. Everyone, get ready. We may have encountered a gang that robbed the escort. Protect the escort car. Someone in the guild shouted. Although the player can know what happened, the escort car will not stop or take a detour unless it is attacked. I saw a group of people blocking the road in front of me all posting on the screen like a joke. I planted this tree and drove this road. If you want to cross this road, leave money to buy the road. Sure enough, the classic lines of robbers in movies and TV dramas are still too deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. There is no need for too much communication. A PK is definitely inevitable. Lu Yuan said in advance on the team channel. The two guardians should pay attention to melee combat. Use taunting skills to try not to let them attack the escort car. Pay special attention to the invisible assassin. Galaxy, you assist them in attacking. Lu Yuan originally wanted to guard near the escort car. But seeing that there weren't many in his gang who could charge into the battle, he would probably die if he entered the crowd. So he might as well charge in by himself. The team on his side was still moving forward and the enemy was already charging forward. Lu Yuan took a look and saw that they all had the name of Mad Ann Gang on their heads. After thinking about it, he figured out that he wanted to win over the first few guilds. It is impossible for a wealthy family to do something as disgraceful as escaping escorts. And these guilds formed by individuals or friends generally do it casually and enjoy provoking troubles. Lu Yuan walked a few steps quickly and came a few meters in front of the escort vehicle. He was not in a hurry when he saw the madman gang rushing towards him. He stood on the spot and gathered his strength. He was ready to kill thousands of troops with one move. This kind of straight terrain and brainless the enemy rushing forward can be said to be Lu Yuan's favorite. Everyone, adjust the PK mode to the gang. And don't accidentally injure them. The mage archers are ready to launch a group attack. And the assassins are invisible and ready to attack the back row. Try to concentrate the fire for seconds. Lu Yuan couldn't help but said on the gang channel. When the enemy came a few meters in front of him, Lu Yuan released the thousands of troops he had prepared and rushed out as fast as lightning. Since those rushing in front were human shields such as warriors and guardians, this knockdown did not cause any damage. It was an instant kill, but it damaged the enemy's health a lot. After all, although Lu Yuan's equipment was not as good as Shen Hao, he still stood above the vast majority of people. In addition, the weapons were enhanced to 10 stars. Lu Yuan used Thousand Army Kill to close the distance between him and the back row. He selected a doctor within the attack range and charged directly to the enemy without hesitation. He killed the doctor with a lightning strike and a fatal strike without hesitation. After changing into rare equipment, this was Lu Yuan's first PK. He didn't expect that his damage was already so high, and he could kill instantly with several skills. It was also between lightning and flint. The doctor who was originally quite far away from the front did not expect that the enemy was in front of him at once. And he had no time to release skills such as increasing blood. Lu Yuan kept on picking out those whose equipment looked messy and didn't fit in well at first glance. So that he could maximize his damage. Lu Yuan's defense increased greatly after he activated Song Feng Blood Armor. Allied forces also followed him. For a moment, the entire valley was filled with various skills. Including Rain of Arrows, Thunder and Lightning, fireballs, and toxins released by doctors. The only assassin was missing. Skills, because concealed burst is the core of an assassin. If you want to participate in PK again, the resurrection point of the dead is still not close. So the number of people is getting smaller and smaller. Lu Yuan listens to the wet nurse behind the blood bottle occasionally giving milk. And it can almost be said that he is in a deserted land. On the other side of the escort car, Lu Yuan was not worried because Zheng Yu, Guardian of your heart and Zhao Xingha were there. The equipment of his younger brother Zheng Yu can be said to be superior to his own. Although he is a bit stupid, who can impress him? At least people at the level of this madman gang can't do it. And judging from the health of the escort car just now, it is not as fragile as imagined. And it will not be broken after taking a few group attack skills. This kind of PK killing without being famous is also quite refreshing. I still remember the last time my name was famous. I didn't return to the city for two or three days. Everyone suffered injuries in the fight. Obviously, the casualties of the Kuangren gang were greater. There were only a dozen or so of number 10's men left. 
and it was obvious that they were charging, and could not defeat Liu Yuan's side. On the other side, the leader named Crazy Wolf, who was obviously the leader, gave the order to retreat. Liu Yuan ran back from the opposite side without pursuing him. His goal was clearly to protect the escort vehicle, and make the escort successful. As for how many people he killed, it didn't matter to Liu Yuan at all. But there were some gang members on his side, who had already chased him out. Seeing the victory, most of them couldn't help but want to kill a few more. Stop chasing him. It's important to escort him. Just fight him off. Li Tong said on the gang channel. But no one listened at all. Those who rushed out were still chasing. And those who were protecting the escort car didn't need to tell them. The escort car continued to move forward, passing by the corpses of the madman gang and picking up the items that had been exploded. It was also an additional gain, although it was nothing of the highest quality. When the people on our side chased them to the exit of the valley, the other side actually fired back. Since the escort car was moving slower, it was too late for them to think of support, and those who were chasing them were defeated by the other side. Li Yuan couldn't help but sigh at the situation. The majesty was still not enough. There was no sense of teamwork among these scattered people. Most of them just played whatever they wanted without any cooperation. Li Tong seemed to realize this, and turned to look at Lu Yuan, feeling a little powerless. By the time the escort vehicles arrived at the exit of the valley, the Madman Gang had already disappeared. It seems that although the dart robbers are relatively fierce on the surface, yet they are not strong enough, they will not be successful at all. But if this team does not have Lu Yuan, Zheng Yu, Zhao Xinghe and others, it is hard to say. An excellent combat power is not as simple as 1 plus 1. The explosive attack power cannot be made up by 2 or 3 players together. It requires more people to focus their fire. The gang's first escort event ended with a little hiccup. And it was obvious that the Red Flower Club and the Kuangring Gang would inevitably become hostile gangs. Such things would happen many times a day. And everyone was vaguely aware of it. The war between the gangs is about to begin. I watched my experience increase by nearly 20% as the escort was completed. After gaining so much experience in less than half an hour, it can be said that escorting is an activity that players must participate in. Maybe it's just who robbed whose leveling area. Maybe who robbed the other party's boss. Or even a taunt from a certain player. It may cause disputes. And after the guild is established, it may rise to the point where the guild only sees PK. Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh. Except for the first 10 levels, where he was really in Taoyuan and had nothing to do with the world. After leaving Novice Village, it seemed that players were encouraged to fight everywhere in the game. At this time, an email from a friend interrupted Liu Yuan's thoughts. When he opened it, he saw that it was from Li Tong. Liu Yuan, can I discuss something with you? Chapter 47 The Blind Wolf Warrior Guild Liu Yuan looked at the message sent by Li Tong and felt that he had discussed too many things with him recently. But after all, they are so familiar with each other. And Liu Yuan will not refuse if he can help. Well, if you have anything to say, just say okay dot. Liu Yuan replied. Well, I discussed it with Fong Ro. Because we will move into a newly rented house during the summer vacation. But you also saw this today. It's fine at school. But I still feel a little scared living outside. And I heard that Lin Han's family is very powerful. So, Liu Yuan looked at the pile of texts that were sent but didn't say the key points. He was a little helpless. Although he guessed a few things. He couldn't say them out. So what? Liu Yuan asked while activating the return to the city. It took a long time for Liu Yuan to receive a reply. So, can you move in with us? You don't have to pay for the room. And as long as you protect us a little when we go out. It's okay to pay you. Liu Yuan saw that he wanted to hire himself as a bodyguard. Although I felt it was a bit inconvenient to live with two women. I also thought about how I would play games if there was no internet in the dormitory during the summer vacation. Don't think too much. We too have no other intentions. We just feel familiar with you. It would be awkward to hire another bodyguard. Moreover, there is no internet in the dormitory after the holidays. It is more convenient to play games at our place. Li Tong saw Lu far from replying. He quickly explained. I understand. Can you please consider replying to me? Lu Yuan wanted to see what he was planning for his summer vacation first. Okay. I'll wait for your reply. But there will be an exam holiday in just over a week. So don't make me wait too long. Li Tong then replied. Liu Yuan closed the email with Li Tong. He was still a little confused in his heart. It would be ridiculous to say that sharing a room with a beautiful woman was unattractive. But there was a trace of worry and uneasiness in his heart. And he didn't know why. 
Boss, let's go dig for treasure maps. You can get five treasure maps every day with your guild contribution in the guild. Let's go and see if we can dig out the boss. Zheng Yu sent a message asking Lu Yuan if he was going to dig for treasures. Okay, I'll go to the guild base and have a look. Lu Yuan also wanted to try out what new gameplay the guild has. Lu Yuan entered the guild base, found the base grocery merchant, and exchanged the tribute he had just received from guarding the bodyguard for five daily treasure maps. Lu Yuan joined Zheng Yu's team and found that Zhao Xingha, Li Tong, Fang Rou, and Li Jingbai were also there. Although Li Jingbai was only level 24, it was obvious that once she was online, everyone would be there. I'm quite happy to take her with me. Although the treasure map can only be used after level 30 or above. It is just fun to join in with everyone. And it is said that there is not much pressure to defeat the boss of the treasure map. The main reason why we form a team is because we are afraid of being killed by other teams in the wild to grab the boss. So having a nanny who is over level 20 is enough. There are several situations that a treasure map can uncover. The first is the most common mining, which randomly gives some silver coins or junk equipment. The second type is the treasure cave. The team enters a space similar to a dungeon. There are some mobs in it. After killing the mobs, there are treasure chests to obtain some equipment. But they are all ordinary equipment. The third type is the ordinary boss. After digging, the world channel will automatically prompt you to refresh the boss at your coordinates. So those who want to grab the boss may come quickly. So it is very dangerous. This type of boss will explode with strengthening stones. Which will the number of explosions will be adjusted accordingly according to the number of people. So you don't have to worry about not being able to get strengthening stones when forming a team. The fourth type is the high level boss. The system will prompt a team to dig out a treasure map and dig out a golden boss with coordinates. This type of boss will definitely explode purple rare level equipment. And there is a chance that it will directly reveal high level boss. Reinforcement stone. The difficulty is correspondingly higher. But the chance of digging it out is very low. Lu Yuan said H, low to everyone. And everyone set off together. Five people can dig five times each. Which means there are 25 opportunities. So it will take a while. Everyone reported the treasure map in one direction. Which can greatly save time. While everyone was walking on the world map. They saw many teams wandering aimlessly. They were obviously looking for other people's bosses. And preparing to do something evil. Some solo players don't like to form teams. And there are also many who give up after digging out the boss. And failing to defeat it. Many people are just picking and choosing to get more loot. In some places, people have already started killing people and stealing goods in order to compete for the boss. Everywhere is filled with abuse from various players, as well as the pride of the victorious players. Lu Yuan's team has yet to encounter anyone who doesn't like it. They dug up a few treasure maps, all of which were quite ordinary. When they continued digging, they finally found an ordinary boss. This boss looked like it was made of stone. No wonder it can explode reinforced stones. The Strengthened Stone Man leads the level 30 boss with a blood volume of 500,000. The level of the boss is determined based on the average level of the team. Lu Yuan rushed forward first to test the monster's attack and defense. He found that the Stone Man's defense was very high. But its attack was not high. This was probably to prevent players from killing monsters quickly. So it was set up this way on purpose. This level of boss was undoubtedly given to Lu Yuan and others. However, after a while, Several players came over to observe Lu Yuan and others. It was obvious that they wanted to grab the boss. But they did not take action. Lu Yuan was wary. But due to the strong overall strength of his team, he was still a little careless and did not take the opponent seriously. Suddenly the space distorted and an assassin appeared. The only weakness in the team was behind Li Jingbai. Since Li Jingbai was a doctor and had a low level, he naturally became the enemy's first target. There was almost no suspense. The assassin only used one skill to cut his neck. A critical hit appeared on Li Jingbai's head. And then he fell down. The system prompts. Your team is attacked by the Wolf Warriors Guild and can carry out legitimate defense. Everyone was very angry when they saw that their team was unexpectedly attacked by the other party. Especially Li Tong and Fang Rou. Their eldest sister was killed. And they were immediately furious. No one paid attention to the boss. Lu Yuan charged directly and stunned the assassin on the spot. Before he could use his second skill, he saw a series of bows and arrows, thunderballs falling from the sky, and Fang Rou rushing over like the wind, delivering critical blows. The enemy assassin was instantly killed by the overflowing damage. Looking at the remaining members of the Wolf Warrior Guild in the distance, Lu Yuan and others looked fierce 
and killed them directly. The other party came just to grab the boss. It was normal to fight, and they did not escape. But Lu Yuan, except for Li Jing Bai who doesn't always play games, doesn't have the best equipment, so how can they be able to beat them? Although a lot of rare equipment has been released since the server was launched. It is not something that ordinary players can use. Most of them don't even wear blue equipment. Rare equipment is only common among top players and powerful players. But the price paid is also corresponding. The rarity of high-level strengthening stones means that not many people can strengthen their weapons and equipment to a high level. After all, in addition to these, the handling fees of the blacksmith shop are also a huge expense. Maybe when you jump to a higher level and fight boss, you feel like you are being forced by boss one by one and almost wipe out the team. But when you play PK, you feel your advantage. Beating these ordinary players is like chopping melons and vegetables. After cleaning up the sneak attack team of the Wolf Warrior Guild and simply killing the boss, each person only received about 8 primary strengthening stones. I can't help but sigh. It seems that these things are not suitable for high-end players to dig out. It wastes too much time and energy. No wonder, I haven't seen a master after traveling to so many places. Chapter 48 Li Tong's Anger Everyone saw that the income was very low, and they didn't want to waste time. Originally, they just planned to have fun together and see what the new activities were like. For those who spend tens of thousands of RMB to buy equipment, who can take a fancy to it? These strengthening stones. Lu Yuan and others returned to the resurrection point and saw that Li Jingbai was calmer than expected. Maybe for her. The game was really just a pastime and she was not so angry about being killed. Instead, he comforted everyone with a smile and said, It's okay. I'm holding you back. It seems I'm really not suitable for playing games. Li Tong finally persuaded Li Jingbai to come and play with him. Although he had been close to this cousin who only thought about work since he was a child and took care of him. As he grew older, his likes became very different. Obviously he is only three years older than me, but matured like a man in his thirties. Seeing that his sister, who had finally come to play games with him, wanted to quit, he felt a surge of anger. At this time, by coincidence, the killed members of the Wolf Warrior Guild were also nearby and taunting her. No matter how strong you are, can you protect your teammates? War Wolf Thorn Soul said gloatingly. Li Tong turned his attention to the people in the Wolf Warrior Guild and saw that the assassin who just killed Li Jingbai was still making sarcastic remarks, which made him even more angry. Without any nonsense, he clicked on the guild list and directly chose to declare war. The world announcement sounded. The Red Flower Club challenges the Wolf Warrior Guild. The Wolf Warrior Guild has five minutes to choose whether to accept the challenge. Lu Yuan listened to the world announcement three times in a row before he knew what was going on. Although he would have done the same thing. After all, Lu Yuan had heard Li Tong's idea and wanted to form a guild in the game to compete with her brother. Compete and prove yourself. Obviously, this impulsive approach is not in line with the early development trend of the guild and is a bit impulsive. Zhang Yu was very excited. Beat them and let them pretend. You dare to come out and kill people these two times. Let dad teach you how to behave. Zhao Xingha also smiled and said, Well done, Li Tong. Let them be arrogant. Li Jingbai said apologetically, You don't have to waste time on me. You can't play all the time. It's normal for you to be killed when your level drops. Lu Yuan is definitely not afraid of fighting, since Li Tong has already chosen. Of course, he is willing to vent his anger for Li Jingbai. If playing games is like going to work, then it will lose the fun. Lu Yuan has always acted casually, so he doesn't if you like to join any big guild. There are too many rules that restrict you. The team of people from the Wolf Warrior Guild opposite looked a little strange. They must be communicating with the guild people on the guild channel. In the early stages of the game, the guild was finally established. Who is willing to take the risk to fight a guild war without knowing the strength of the opponent? If it fails, it will not be recovered in a day or two. The Red Flower Club challenges the Wolf Warriors Guild. The Wolf Warriors Guild has four minutes to choose whether to accept the challenge. The World Channel announced again. At this time, there were a lot of people on the Guild Channel of Li Tong's Red Flower Club asking what was going on. They learned that the other party had snatched the boss and killed a girl from his guild. Everyone was furious and expressed their support for Li Tong. The Wolf Warrior Guild accepted the challenge from the Red Flower Club. Both parties have 30 minutes to prepare. The World Announcement sounded again. Lu Yuan did not expect that the first Union War in Tao Yuan would actually take place in his own guild. And it was initiated by Li Tong, who usually seemed to have the best temper. Everyone prepares medicine supplies 
and tries to find doctors to form a team. In the matters at hand as soon as possible and return to the guild base to prepare for war. Lu Yuan quickly stated the next arrangements on the guild channel. Lu Yuan didn't know the details of the Wolf Warrior Guild, nor how many strongmen they had, so he could only try his best to make his side more prepared. Zhang Yu, you are well equipped. You will lead a few guild members later to protect our guild's flag. We cannot let assassins from the other side sneak attack us. Lu Yuan said to Zhang Yu. Boss, I still want to go forward and kill the enemy. Why are you asking me to look after the house? Zhang Yu replied unhappily. If the family is gone, what's the point of killing? Boss, of course I will listen to what you say. Ha ha, don't be angry. Zhang Yu said quickly when he saw Li Yuan was a little serious. With Zhang Yu, a top-notch guardian, leading several outputs to protect the flag at home. He has no worries. Even if the enemy has a sneak attack, he can resist damage and hold aggro. On my side, I formed a team with Zhao Xingha, Li Tong, Fang Ro. Guard your heart, and be careful not to spit out milk, so they can be regarded as old partners. Half an hour passed quickly, and everyone was already ready and gearing up. After the system prompts a countdown, a portal appears next to the guild entrance. Get ready. Guardians go first. Then warriors, mages, archers, and doctors last. Seeing that no one was directing him, Lu Yuan could only give a rough outline. Obviously, if he entered randomly, he would be killed instantly. When Lu Yuan entered the enemy guild, he found that there were hundreds of people on the opposite side blocking the door, waiting for people to come out of the portal. A large list of skills fell down. If the squishy one came in, he would be instantly killed. The guardian activated his defensive skills and barely withstood a round of damage. And then his teammates rushed in. A melee started like this. And it was very chaotic with so many people. People who have been killed also have time to resurrect. The more times they die, the longer the time to resurrect. Lu Yuan rushed left and right. And the Nani and his team couldn't replenish blood in such a timely manner. So she died after killing a few people. During the Guild War, there is no penalty for all deaths and killings. Resurrection is fixed in your own guild base. Due to the time of resurrection and the distance from the flag and the portal, death cannot immediately participate in the battlefield. Both sides suffered casualties. In such a chaotic scene, it was impossible to tell which side had suffered more losses. Only by continuing to fight and waiting for which side to be resurrected for a long time could we see the strength of the battle. As expected, there were enemy assassins from behind who tried to sneak up and attack but they all ended in failure. Lu Yuan was not in a hurry to teleport at the door of the portal. Instead, he waited for his side to gather some people and rushed over together. This would ensure that the sacrifice of his guild members would not be in vain. With Lu Yuan's current equipment, if he was not gathered, fire can basically shuttle back and forth among the enemy's guild crowd. It is completely resistant and poses a sufficient threat to the opponent's fragile back row. The equipment of Zhao Xingha and others were not weak either. Together they launched group-wide attacks in crowded areas. The Wolf Warriors' guild was defeated steadily for a while. The further they retreated, the more casualties there were, and the longer the resurrection time was. After two or three rounds of with the impact, more and more people in the Wolf Warrior guild are waiting for resurrection. And the remaining people are simply not enough to support the attack of the Red Flower Society. The flag of the first level guild only had 100,000 HP. Although the defense was very high, it could not withstand the fire of a group of people. In this way, the first guild war in Taoyuan was won by the Hongwa Club. Congratulations to the Red Flower Club for defeating the Wolf Warrior Guild. Dot. The system announcement sounded on the World Channel again. Then another system announcement sounded. The LJ Era Guild has challenged the Wolf Warriors Guild. The Wolf Warriors Guild has five minutes to choose whether to accept the challenge. Chapter 49 Li Wei protects his shortcomings. Before Lu Yuan could celebrate his victory, Another guild unexpectedly challenged the Wolf Warriors Guild, which embarrassed the Wolf Warriors Guild. Although the guild's only challenge does not drop anything, the momentum of a guild is very important. It just lost once. If it loses again this time, not to mention the decrease in the guild construction fund, how many players in the guild will be disappointed and quit the guild? It's my brother! Li Tong said while looking at the announcement on the World Channel. Why did your brother choose such a guild name? LJ is the abbreviation for garbage? Zheng Yu asked inappropriately. Li Tong rolled her eyes at Zheng Yu and said, It's not the abbreviation of junk. It means connection. Connecting communication and connecting the times. It also means Li family. 
Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. I'm sorry. Sister-in-law. I was wrong. Zhang Yu apologized sincerely. What sister-in-law? Who is your sister-in-law? Li Tong was a little angry. Zhang Yu didn't know what to do and actually glanced at Li Yuan. It would have been better if he didn't look at it. However, when he looked at it, Lu Yuan had a question mark on his face and was embarrassed. Li Tong followed his gaze and looked at Lu Yuan, but also looked away again with some embarrassment. Headed elsewhere, Zheng Yu felt that he had said something wrong and quickly interrupted. Boss, what about you? Why is it called Bu Dao Huan? Facing Zheng Yu's awkward chat, Lu Yuan said helplessly, The crowd is crowded, and meeting each other is just an accident. It turns out that parting is the normal state. There is only sorrow of separation. Not joy, Zheng Yu asked casually, but he didn't expect that Lu Yuan actually said it in a coherent and logical way, which was a little poetic and a little sad at the same time. It's poetic. I say, it's worth growing up among books. Zhao Xingha came over and patted Lu Yuan on the shoulder. Cut, Fang Ro turned her head to the side, but she didn't want to cut it. At this time, the world announcement sounded again. The Wolf Warriors Guild has rejected the challenge of the LJ era. The LJ Era Guild has challenged the Wolf Warriors Guild. The Wolf Warriors Guild has five minutes to decide whether to accept the challenge. Obviously, this LJ Era does not intend to let go of the Wolf Warrior Guild. Li Jingbai smiled and said, This Li Wei is still the same as before. He is calm in everything he does, but he can't change his ability to protect his shortcomings. When Lu Yuan saw that nothing happened, he said H, low and prepared himself to practice leveling. After all, there would be a competition in a few days, and he didn't want to miss the reward. Boss, I'll go to bed with you, and we'll level up together. Zheng Yi ran over and said, Farewell, you are of a high level, and it is too inefficient to join me. I'd better find a place by myself. Come on, try to get a good ranking in a few days. Lu Yuan participated in group activities for an afternoon, and then the union battle made him a little tired, seeing that everyone was of a higher level than him and he also had a level 35 skill book Blood Slash that he had not learned. It was obvious. If I don't speed up the pace of my upgrades and strengthen my weapons to a new level, there will be little hope for the official arena competition in a few days. Moreover, Lu Yuan also found that those truly strong people did not seem to be too involved in activities such as digging for treasure maps and escorting escorts. Thinking about his previous situation in Skull Mountain Cave and Gale Valley, he felt that he really wanted to develop new the map benefits will be greater. Lu Yuan has walked far around the holy city, but he has not gone too far to the east. So this time Lu Yuan decided to walk east to see if he could make any new discoveries. As mentioned before, PK did not have a chance to use many of the medicines and other guild wars. So Lu Yuan chose to set off directly. I don't know when I can get a mount. It's so slow to rely on my legs every day. Lu Yuan couldn't help but think. You have to walk slowly. After leaving the city gate, there are still some low-level monsters such as foxes and rabbits. Until now, there are still many novice players leveling up. The constant infusion of new blood proves the development prospects of Taiyuan. At first glance, the east side is completely different from the west side, mainly dominated by forests. The monsters in the forest are not that obvious, and the monsters refreshed in each monster area are not densely populated. So there are not many people who form a team to level up here, and most of them are individual players. It seems that the game is very considerate of single-player players. After all, there are many people who play by themselves, and they don't like to communicate with others or form a team. They just treat it as entertainment. If the monster areas are so dense and unfriendly to single players, a small number of people will probably be discouraged, since these level 25 mobs were not far away and did not pose a threat at all. Lu Yuan cleaned up the mobs leisurely, feeling relaxed and comfortable, somewhat like traveling. Lu Yuan, the Wolf Warriors Guild apologized on the World Channel. It seems that Li Tong's brother finally subdued the Wolf Warriors Guild. Jia Xingha sent a message. After seeing this, Lu Yuan couldn't help but be a little curious about Li Tong's brother. He didn't even hear Li Tong mention his brother and asked her what was going on. So he just declared war with his sister. He was really protecting his shortcomings. He didn't know why Li Tong would do it if he had such a brother. Angry with family. Lu Yuan no longer paid attention to these things. The first thing now is to upgrade. And then look for opportunities to see if he can encounter the boss and update his equipment. The life owned suit is obviously the first choice for upgrading and spawning monsters. But after all, the level is a bit behind. 
He is now my forging skill level is already level 5. It has been rising almost non-stop during the day, when I helped in the blacksmith shop. However, it is still very difficult to make the best. I can only take my time and finish the arena competition first, and then study my own skills. Blacksmith skills. After walking a long distance, it was always in the woods. Lu Yuan even suspected that he had lost his way, if it hadn't been shown on the map that he had been moving forward. After walking for a while, the field of vision broadened, and a large circular open space appeared in front of Li Yuan's eyes. The surrounding forest seemed to have grown into a circle with a tacit understanding. There is a cylindrical tower in the center of the open space. The tower has no unnecessary decorations, and it does not feel as damp as in the forest. The exterior is made of bluestone, with a diameter of about 50 or 60 meters and a height of 60 or 70 meters. About. There were several players resting around. Lu Yuan decided to enter the tower to explore. When passing by the players resting outside the tower, those players kindly reminded, Are you going in by yourself? There are quite a lot of monsters inside, and they are all level 35 monsters. So be careful. Lu Yuan was also very grateful for this kind reminder. After a quick glance, these players were all about level 31 with him, and their equipment was obviously not complete sets of high-end equipment, although most players do not turn on equipment special effects. Equipment above the rare level can be roughly seen with. The better the equipment, the more refined, handsome and powerful it looks. Lu Yuan said thank you and stepped up the steps and entered the portal. As soon as the halo turned, Lu Yuan entered the tower. The map prompted him to find the FTY God's cult tower. Different from the appearance, the walls of the tower were mainly white and smooth with no traces of bluestone. The floor inside the tower was covered with marble. This was the first time. The first floor is 5 or 6 meters high. FTY guard dog level 35. HP 50,000. This guard dog seemed to have a large hatred range. As soon as Lu Yuan entered, he attracted several vicious dogs that were far away from the entrance. No wonder those few people were sitting outside the tower to rest. Lu Yuan simply didn't stop doing anything and released the set of skills, sucking all the vicious dogs on this level towards him. As a large amount of experience flashed on the screen, almost all the vicious dogs on the first floor were wiped out by Lu Yuan. Experience is still very objective. Seeing that there is no boss, Lu Yuan does not want to stay on the first floor. It will be troublesome for a group of people to come in and grab monsters from each other. So he goes to the stairs to the second floor. Chapter 50 Experience Refresh the Screen After passing the spiral staircase to the second floor, the monster also changed. FTY Believer Level 36 HP 60,000 The humanoid monster wearing a hooded white robe with no weapons in his hands, wandered aimlessly on the second floor, muttering lines from time to time. The Pope gives us strength, gives us hope, and guides us in the direction of the future. The monsters were all wandering around in groups of three or five, so they couldn't lure a single one over. Lu Yuan could only find a small group of monsters and rush forward to try out the attack and defense first. When he got closer, Lu Yuan saw the face hidden under the white robe and hat. The veins in the eyes were protruding, and the pupils had long since disappeared. It seemed that he was another person whose mind had been controlled. Dash 230, Dash 240, Dash 235, Dash 210, Dash 234. Each of the five monsters gave Lu Yuan a knife. I felt that the damage was still acceptable. After taking some blood medicine and recovering from the food eaten after leaving the battle, I was able to withstand it completely. I might as well upgrade to level 32 here first. Let's talk about it. The experience of finishing escort Lu Yuan has reached more than 70% of level 31. In addition, along the way, the experience has reached 73% of level 31. After level 5, you can quickly upgrade. Lu Yuan, who was not disturbed by anyone, was very focused and started his leveling journey. This believer monster has a dagger for melee combat. If it is far away, it will throw the dagger as a hidden weapon. After throwing the weapon, it will seize the opportunity to bite people and suck blood. The frequency is not particularly fast, and the attacks are easy to dodge. But because it is mature they were in groups, so it was unrealistic to hide them all. It's been a long time since I've leveled alone. Thinking back to the days when I was farming wolves and small skeletons by myself, even though it's only been more than a week, I still feel like I'm in another world. When I don't have the set skills, I just pull the monsters alone. My attack power is quite high. In addition, the believer's defense is not high, so it's pretty efficient. 
when the set skills cooled down. I rushed to the middle of the tower and released Lu Yuan found that level 36 monsters may be the limit of this scale suit, which is just enough to kill the monsters. This is obviously because the monster's defense is not high. After more than an hour of grinding like this, Lu Yuan finally reached level 32. After thinking about it, Lu Yuan decided to add all the points to strength, intending to increase the damage first. After reaching level 32, Lu Yuan decided to go up to another level to take a look, because there was still no boss on this level. Did any team from outside finish the fight? Lu Yuan went up to the third floor with doubts. As soon as he went up, Lu Yuan was shocked. Fire filled the sky, filling the entire first floor. After taking a few steps forward, I suddenly received a system prompt. You have received a malicious PK from the player's forbidden law, and you can choose to fight back. Lu Yuan was stunned when he saw the prompt. It turned out that he had lost some blood due to the fire on the ground. After walking a few steps forward and passing several burning tree spirits, I finally saw the originator of the fire. Did you start this fire? Lu Yuan approached and said to Banfa, who was leisurely using his skills. I'm in a group of monsters. What kind of fire has been set somewhere? Forbidden Law was a little surprised to see someone coming up. After taking a closer look, he turned out to be an acquaintance. So he asked, are you coming here to level up too? Don't waste your time. You can't steal monsters from me. Then let's team up and do it. Lu Yuan sent over a team application. Are you holding me back? Ban Fa said as he refused to form a team. Lu Yuan took a look at this layer. Fires were spreading almost everywhere. And the newly refreshed ground immediately ignited fires again. It turns out that the ground on this floor is covered with trees. Vines and green grass. So the ban skills will catch fire as soon as they are touched. So the monsters will be refreshed and their aggro will be taken away immediately. No wonder she said that forming a team with her would be a hindrance. Dryad level 37 HP 80,000. You don't need to look at it to know that you can defend against monsters with high HP but relatively low attack. This kind of continuous burning of monsters makes Lu Yuan extremely envious. It would be great if his set skills could be used unlimitedly. Don't you want to pick up anything? Lu Yuan looked at the items dropped by monsters on the ground with some pity. What are you doing picking up this garbage? It's a waste of time. Lu Yuan was speechless for a while. It seemed that even the best people except boss looked down on him. Okay then. I'll go somewhere else. Bye. Lu Yuan didn't want to form his own group when he saw them. So he went to the second floor to hunt down the believers. Wait. Let's make a team with you. Banfa said without any emotion. Lu Yuan agreed to the team application. Although he didn't understand why she teamed up with him. He couldn't waste experience in vain. When he activated the suit skill, he killed a wave of monsters in seconds. Logically speaking, Lu Yuan Su could no longer kill the tree spirits at this level. But the forbidden magic has been gathering monsters, and almost none of them have full health. So they were cleared in an instant. What kind of skill is that of yours? It's very strong, said Banfa, who rarely had time to stop. It's just SOSO. Just a set of skills. Lu Yuan didn't say anything. After all, it's better to have some value than no value. The two of them just sat on the ground and used the anti-combat recovery medicine while the monsters were not refreshed. Lu Yuan still ate low-level rice pudding and rice wine. It was obvious that the other party was eating much more high-end food than he was. And he had never seen it in the system store. After a while, this layer finally regained its original appearance. It felt similar to the forest outside. It was almost surrounded by green. Looking at the tree spirits pretending to be there, there were trees and vines all over the ground. Green grass. When Forbidden Law saw that the monster had spawned, he stood up and released a sea of fire, with an area of about 4 by 4 Then a fire tornado blew out in a straight line. And then, there was a large circle. And meteorites with fire began to fall from the sky. Lu Yuan was dumbfounded. This didn't look like a level 34 skill. He had never seen anyone with group monster skills so powerful. The fire soon spread to the entire floor and the monster slowly moved closer to the two of them. Since the monster's blood was very thick, when it came to the two of them, there was still a lot of blood left. I really didn't know what she was before. How can you resist so many monsters? What Li Yuan didn't know was that although he would attract many monsters towards him before, Forbidden Magic would use some single target skills to instantly kill those close to him. And then in the group, he would not just launch a group attack. Whether Li Yuan can resist or not is Li Yuan's business. Just use all his group skills. Lu Yuan thought about it and used the skills attached to his zombie bracelet for the first time. 
he summoned two zombies to help him share some damage. And he also used his group attack skills to help output. The damage of the forbidden method was very high. And he only needed after a few hits. The monsters are basically gone. So the pressure is not particularly great. Lu Yuan can still find time to pick up the loot that died in front of him. Every 10 minutes, Lu Yuan would release a set of skills to kill a wave instantly. Then the two of them sat down without saying anything and started taking anti-combat medicines while resting for a while to wait for the refresh. In the past, she had to run back and forth to attract monsters to spawn monsters. But this place is better. A fire-type skill monster came over by itself. It was simply an exclusive leveling area for forbidden magic. No wonder she didn't go to a higher level place to spawn monsters. Even a level brush at this level is efficient for her. It was also the first time that Lu Yuan felt that upgrading was so easy. And no one even looked at the loot. Lu Yuan happily picked up the trophies while watching the experience screen. Lu Yuan didn't say much. Who knows if the woman will stop talking to him in a while. Chapter 51 How the Rich Man Plays Lu Yuan had always doubted how much blue medicine this forbidden method could hold. It wasn't until a guardian came over to trade her that Lu Yuan realized that they only wanted to gain experience and someone else would provide supplies. It's no wonder that I have to pick up loot. It's time consuming. I think the materials and junk equipment occupy the backpack. After a few more hours of brushing, it was almost dawn. Lu Yuan had already reached level 33 with 30% 30 experience. And the forbidden method had already passed level 35. Although the two had less dialogue, their cooperation was quite tacit. Masters often there is no need for verbal communication. Awareness is the key. Are you still here to upgrade during the day? Lu Yuan asked because he was about to log off. Probably. I plan to reach level 40 before the arena competition. Ben F.A. seemed to be saying a very common thing. Level 40? Just clear monsters and nothing else? Find hidden tasks or something? Lu Yuan didn't doubt her strength. But killing monsters every day seemed a bit monotonous to Lu Yuan. Why are you looking for a mission? For equipment? Or for skills? I don't have any shortage. Ben F.A. said calmly without any show off. I'm going to go offline and have breakfast. Why don't you take a rest? You are awesome in the game. But you have to pay attention to your health in reality. Lu Yuan warned. Faced with a sudden concern from a stranger, Jean F. was slightly stunned and said, I know. The two said no more. After Lu Yuan's suit skills were cooled down and the wave of monsters were cleared, Lu Yuan said H, low and went offline directly. Bantha stayed where he was and chose to go offline. After washing, Lu Yuan breathed the fresh air in the early morning campus. Since it was still very early, apart from the cleaning uncle, there were only a small number of diligent students reading and reciting in the campus. Lu Yuan ran a few laps as usual and felt more refreshed. People still have to exercise. Lu Yuan sighed with emotion. After bringing a breakfast to Xiao Xingha, when he returned to the dormitory, he was still playing the game. Lu Yuan chose to continue playing the game without disturbing him. When Lu Yuan entered the game, he saw the sky full of fire again. You are worthy of being the first in the level list. You really worked hard, Lu Yuan said with some emotion, and then sent a team invitation. A grown man eats so slowly? Ben F.A. said with some contempt. I went to exercise for a while, so I'm a little slow. Lu Yuan replied, then used a bracelet skill to summon two zombies and rushed over to fight the monsters. Then he sent a message to Zhao Xingha. Let's go out to eat. Breakfast is on the table. Okay. Thank you. Are you going to class today? Zhao Xingha replied not long after. The exam is about to take place. The classes have ended long ago. Most of the time, I went there with self-study. I want to get down to the next level in the next two days. Hee <laughs> hee. It just so happens that I don't want to go either. If you don't go, I don't have to go. Zhao Xingha found a good reason for himself to skip class and went offline to eat. As batches of monsters fell, Lu Yuan's backpack was filled with equipment time and time again. However, because of the auction house, Lu Yuan put all these equipments on the shelves for sale. Lu Yuan had already picked up 26 gold coins from the explosion. Gold coins. You must know that each monster can only explode dozens of copper coins. And the gold coins are automatically distributed evenly among the teams. The reason why we don't change places is because the plant-type monster is suppressed by the forbidden fire-type magic. Its attack has an extra bonus. And the monsters in the tower are densely packed. Although the experience is less with each level, the efficiency will be higher. Higher. Can you ask your friend to bring me some medicine later? I don't have much medicine left. Lu Yuan said with some embarrassment. 
Lu Yuan was really reluctant to leave this place where he had so much experience and could get it for free. A place for loot. That's not my friend, Jean Fa said coldly. Lu Yuan was a little speechless. Why did he speak so coldly when meeting these women? I didn't know what the other party meant. So I simply stopped talking. If it didn't work out, I would just go back to the city. I was not a beggar. Not long after, I saw two players coming this time. One walked towards the forbidden method, and the other ran directly towards me. A transaction application was sent over. The transaction column was filled with red medicine and blue medicine. Lu Yuan looked at the forbidden side. The other party didn't say anything. Take it first, and then talk about it. Don't take it in vain. After the transaction was successful, Lu Yuan opened his backpack and found that it was almost full. He actually couldn't use so many medicines. He didn't waste much mana. The only blood medicine he used was some blood medicine because the monsters died quickly and it was not consumed very quickly. If you look carefully, there is a difference between the red and blue medicine and the one you use. Instant recovery blood bottle, intermediate level instantly restores 4000 blood volume after use and can be used in battle. Cooling time 30 seconds. Instant recovery magic potion, intermediate level instantly restores 4000 magic points after use and can be used in battle. Cooling time 30 seconds. I didn't see any medicines for combat use in the drugstore. They were probably made by pharmaceutical life players. It's really powerful. But it's a bit wasteful to use it yourself. Thank you. How much will it cost? I'll give it to you. Lu Yuan glanced at the forbidden man who looked cold but had some kindness in his heart. No need. You're helping me with my work, said Lu Yuan casually as he tilted his head and glanced at Lu Yuan. After hearing this, Lu Yuan couldn't help but think, Does this count as a part-time job? This is obviously a way to use experience and loot. Is it because you are afraid that I will be burdened if I take the medicine in vain? She is really a kind girl. But then Lu Yuan gave up the idea that she was a kind girl. I just don't want to meet you in the arena. Because the level relationship is too weak and it's boring. Bantha added when Lu Yuan didn't answer. Oh, he, he. Lu Yuan was a little embarrassed. Maybe others just want to act coquettishly with you. But I just want to challenge you. What a weirdo. Lu Yuan said nothing and continued to carry the monster in front. At this time, he finally found a space twisting in the middle of the hall. And the boss was finally refreshed. The boss has been refreshed. Please pay attention. Lu Yuan kindly reminded. The speed is not fast. Be careful not to be controlled by the tree vines under your feet. There will be spikes on the ground. If you control it, the damage will be very high. Just avoid it. Just don't get caught by the boss's tree vines. I have defeated this boss myself. Very simple. This was the first time that Lu Yuan heard her talk so much. And after such an introduction, he also understood the boss's attacks. FTY Divine Forest Guardian Level 37 HP 1,500,000. Sure enough, as the forbidden method said, as long as you are not restrained by the vines on the ground, the rest of the skills are easy to dodge. Normally, they would be whipped with branches to cause damage. Lu Yuan, who had the instant recovery potion, was too lazy to dodge. After playing for a while, the set skills were cooled down, and they were activated directly to clear out all the mobs, leaving only one boss. The two of them finally had their hands free to concentrate on dealing with the boss, because there were monsters blocking him in front of him. Lu Yuan had not been able to get too close to defeat the tree spirit boss. Although he had held back his hatred, Lu Yuan smiled slightly and charged directly towards the boss. Its fate was already determined. That is, it would be converted into Lu Yuan's wealth. Chapter 52 A Very Competitive Woman After taking a look at the equipment dropped by the boss, there were only two high-level blue equipment, some potions, and some gold coins. This made Lu Yuan, who had been looking forward to it for a long time, feel a little uncomfortable. It is no wonder that this boss has been killed by her several times. If rare equipment can still be exploded, the explosion rate is too high. What happened when you beat this boss for the first time? Lu Yuan couldn't help but ask. This is the one in my hand. Didn't you help me strengthen it? Replied by Forbidden Law. Lu Yuan saw the equipment in her hand, which was made of wood and had a fiery ruby gem on it. He remembered that the blacksmith shop had really strengthened it to 10 stars for him that day. Seeing as you are not short of money and strengthening stones, why don't you continue to strengthen 11 stars that day and try? Lu Yuan thought of the regret of that day. If she could strengthen it a few times, she could also take the opportunity to practice her skills. 
It's a waste of time to strengthen 11 stars at your level. Just leave in a hurry to upgrade. Lu Yuan glanced at the forbidden law and wondered how such a smart woman could say such words without emotional intelligence. After thinking for a few seconds, he came to the conclusion that they didn't take him seriously at all. Although it takes you longer than other windows, the success rate is still higher than other NPCs. Ban F.A. added. Is this a slap in the face and a sweet date? Lu Yuan thought to himself. But he was actually a little happy inside. Of course the success rate is high. The owner of the blacksmith shop is my master. I am a man who has the opportunity to become a god of craftsmanship. For some reason, Lu Yuan, who usually doesn't like to show off, actually said this. Blacksmith? Are you awesome? I am the chief magician of Shou Holy City and the true successor of Lin Yi, one of the top ten magicians in Taoyuan. He claims that Lin Yi went on an expedition and not a blade of grass grows. I still have a chance to become the woman who controls the Fire King. Yes. Ben F.A. replied unconvinced. Lu Yuan was a little surprised. Not that she was apprenticed to the combat profession, but that she said a lot when he said something casually. Was it just to be competitive? Do you want to beat yourself in chatting? Of course. Lu Yuan would not be foolish enough to compete with a woman. He smiled and said, You are still the best. You are awesome. Looking at your smile. You are obviously convinced, but you are not convinced at all. Why don't we have a fight now? Don't wait for the ring competition. Sure enough. In addition to her desire to win, this woman is also smart and casually saw the perfunctory look in her smile. Let's upgrade. There are so many masters on the rankings. There are many better than me. Why do you just want to beat me? Lu Yuan was convinced by this woman and always wanted to challenge her. Them? There are a few strong ones. Some of them don't even upgrade themselves. They form a team and let their subordinates clear the troops. And then they hang up online. How do you know what they do? Can you still access the internet in the game? Can't you just open the official forum? Lu Yuan was a little surprised when he heard these questions. Do you understand the intelligence? If you can't access the internet, it's because of your equipment. Even if you tell me, you don't understand. Bantha didn't want to explain so much. Paused and continued. You have a strong sense of combat. A clear idea of the enemy. And there is nothing redundant. In terms of action. Although the game has the advantage of equipment. Not everyone can defeat many with one. Thank you. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> Lu Yuan was a little proud of being praised suddenly. I. Xiao Lui. Would like to call you a strong person. But you are still inferior to me. Your name is Xiao Lui? Lu Yuan asked. Grabbing the key point. I mean you're not as strong as me. Have you watched too many cartoons? Why do you speak so mediocrely? Is it that important whether you are strong or not? Lu Yuan teased. Of course it's important. People's words are small. And only the strong have the right to speak. Natural selection. The law of the jungle. The strong eats the strong. Do you understand? I just did the math for you. You were born with fire. And the five elements are short of water. It's not too much. Just six pounds of water. Lu Yuan said to Xiao Lui seriously. Making a six with his hand. How do you know that I am a fire-born person? How do you know that my five elements are short of water? Xiao Lui looked confused. I did the math. In fact, my true identity is that I have a fortune teller as my teacher. And I will become a divine fortune teller in the future. Lu Yuan started talking nonsense when he saw that he was actually talking about the same thing. Only a ghost will believe you. There will be some kind of fortune telling trick in the game. Tell me how you know. Did my family arrange for you to come here? Xiao Lui showed a look of disgust. Ha ha. You guessed it. Look at your name. Luo Yi. With two and three points of water. So you are said to be short of water in the five elements. And six dots and he followed by a gene. So you are said to be short of six genes of water. Lu Yuan was a little confused. I admire myself. Boring. Xiao Lui replied with two words and stopped talking. Lu Yuan was also surprised that Xiao Lui, the seemingly aloof forbidden man, actually chatted with him for so long. And he talked more than he did yesterday. The more competitive she became, the more Lu Yuan wanted to tease her, and secretly made up his mind to dampen his spirit if they met her in the arena. Lu Yuan feels that it is not necessary to be aggressive, but a man must be competitive. If he is not competitive, it can only be said that he does not have the strength. The two chatted like this until the afternoon, and Lu Yuan finally reached level 34. Lu Yuan was really tired of fighting this kind of monster all the time. But on the other hand, Xiao Lui was working tirelessly, 
and as if he was bored with the group of monsters. Why don't we go to the next level and have a look? You are already level 36. Don't you have a lot less experience in fighting these level 37 monsters? Lu Yuan asked tentatively. The monsters on the next level have high attack. If there are too many, I'm afraid you won't be able to hold them. If you are level 35, we will go up. We will go directly to the top to fight the boss of this tower. Then I will move to another place to upgrade. Xiao Lui seems to have already thought about what he wants to do in the future. Lu Yuan still admires this kind of person, who plays games in an orderly manner. But Lu Yuan still likes to be more casual. Although Lu Yuan was a little tired of being in front of this tree spirit. He had free medicine. These trophies. And his goal of reaching level 35 first. So he still endured it. Until around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Lu Yuan. Who had only eaten breakfast all day. Couldn't stand it any longer. On the other hand. Xiao Lui didn't even show signs of being hungry. Which was really confusing. After saying H Lo. Lu Yuan decided to go offline and have a meal first. This was the first time that Lu Yuan had leveled up so hard in such a long time after starting the server. Not only did he miss classes, but he even skipped lunch. How long will it take to be online? I'm almost level 37, waiting for you to fight the boss. Xiao Lui didn't seem to want Lu Yuan to disrupt her progress. About an hour. Let's take a rest after dinner so that we can have enough energy at night. Lu Yuan talked about the time, and seeing that Xiao Lui didn't seem to want to reply to him, he waited for a set of skills to pull all the monsters over and kill them instantly. Then casually picked up some gold coins and went offline. Xiao Lui himself did not continue and chose to log off. Lu Yuan quit the game and saw that Zhao Xingha was still playing. So he called him out directly. What's wrong? Have you had lunch? Uh, I forgot. I'm so hungry. Under the setting sun, two hungry and staggering figures walked towards the cafeteria. Chapter 53 Hug me, but I don't feel anything. You're late. A faint voice came from next to Lu Yuan, who had just come online. Okay. How many upgrades are there? When you reach 35, we will go to the top floor to fight the boss. Before Lu Yuan could answer, Xiao Lui continued. The two said no more and started a new round of upgrades. Lu Yuan has gained a lot in the past two days. Not to mention the pure gold coins. He has sold hundreds of light enhanced stones. There are also some high-end equipment for sale in the auction house. But he has not seen any skill books or the like. The most important thing is the instant recovery potion that Li Yuan is given every time. Li Yuan uses it very sparingly. So excluding the consumption of upgrades. He could always have some left. He has saved a lot of supplies after so many times. If I had known I had learned how to make medicine. This medicine would be as good as bringing a doctor with me. Li Yuan couldn't help but think. After more than four hours of continuous brushing. It was already 10 o'clock in the evening. Lu Yuan finally reached level 35. The two of them cleaned up the remaining mobs, took a short rest to replenish their status, and then walked towards the upper level. Lu Yuan finally learned the blood burning slash that the cannibal tribe broke out and gained another powerful skill. When we got to the fourth level, it was as Xiao Lui said, the monsters all have high attack power and have a particularly annoying skill. Sacrifice. The so-called sacrifice has the same effect as self-destruction. The fallen FTY believers use it as soon as their health is left. The weapon in your hand commits suicide and then explodes, causing area damage to the surrounding area. Corrupted FTY believer. Level 38. HP 70,000. The self-destruction of one monster is not scary. But several of them together are scary. However, there is a few seconds of reaction time when the monster self-destructs. If you are not entangled by other monsters, you have the reaction time to avoid it. The boss on this floor is three priests wearing black robes. At first, they don't have any special skills. And their damage is not outstanding. Since Xiao Lui has never defeated this boss, it is up to the two of them to figure it out while fighting. Level 38 boss of the great priest of FTY God religion has a HP of 1 million. 1 million blood volume is not high. But there are three of them that add up to 3 million blood volume. And there are process attacks and long range attacks which is very troublesome. When the two of them beat one of the priests to the point of losing more blood, the other two bosses will chant a spell to restore the one with less health to the same level as the priest with the highest health. The frequency is about once every two minutes. It seems that this boss needs to be fought together using group attack skills. Lu Yuan reminded. How about I go pull the monsters? Xiao Lui asked. No, you can't bear it. I'll go. Lu Yuan replied. 
Now that I know. What are you waiting for? Xiao Lui said in disgust. Lu Yuan was choked with nothing to say. He first used two powerful skills to hold back the hatred of the melee priest. And then charged towards the long-range one. After holding back the hatred, he took the two priests with him. Move a few steps towards the third monster so that you are within the range of the group attack. Due to the instant recovery potion and the periodic recovery of blood and mana when taken out of combat, it is not difficult to withstand these three bosses. When the two finally reduced the boss's health to 50%, the three bosses recited a spell at the same time. The great divine religion gives us hope. The great pope gives us direction. And the great demon emperor gives us strength. After the spell ended, the three priests opened their arms and raised them to the sky. The surrounding area dimmed instantly, and three huge black energy balls fell from the sky and slowly fell to the ground. The range was so large that it almost covered the entire fourth floor, which made Lu Yuan there is no way to avoid Xiao Lui. Go to the sacrifices at your feet and choose one for each of them. Lu Yuan saw that the three sacrifices seemed to be protected by a layer of light and wanted to stand next to them and give them a try. When Lu Yuan was halfway through what he was saying, Xiao Lui was already running towards one of the sacrifices. She didn't know if she had already seen through it or got a hint from Lu Yuan. Both of them ran into the light barrier of the sacrifice. And the energy ball also fell down, causing a violent explosion. Obviously, if they had not entered the light barrier, they would have returned to the city to meet each other. The explosion lasted for several seconds before it ended. The two continued to use group attack skills to defeat the three bosses. The three priests did not use the killing move until their health dropped to 10%. They all took out a dagger and thrust it into their own chests. And three groups of black light condensed from the chest of the sacrificer. Lu Yuan is no stranger to this. Isn't this the self-destruction unique to this level of monsters? Seeing that Xiao Lui was relatively close and had no intention of running away, Lu Yuan was a little anxious. Run! Why don't you move? Lu Yuan had already run away. But when he saw that Xiao Lui hadn't moved yet, he didn't reply. Lu Yuan sighed and ran towards Xiao Lui. In an instant, he drank the potion to replenish his blood and activated Sanfeng blood armor to increase his defense. After the explosion, the three priests had disappeared, leaving only the trophies and two figures on the ground. Lu Yuan was hugging Xiao Lui to protect her in his arms, and Lu Yuan only had a bloody skin left. It was really a fluke. What are you doing? Still not letting go? Xiao Lui said coquettishly. If you don't run away, I'm afraid you'll be blown up to protect you. What are you doing? Lu Yuan blamed him. I won't die if I don't run away. I want you to take care of it and let me go. Xiao Lui was so angry that she was hugged. I don't know the heart of a good person. I hugged her in the game and I didn't feel anything. Why should I be ashamed? Lu Yuan let her go to pick up the loot. You, Xiao Lui didn't continue. After all, it was to save herself. But this hug still made her feel strange. A rare level dagger and a skilled book were exploded. I guess you don't like the rest of the common equipment. Medicines and gold coins. What do you want? Lu Yuan picked up the equipment exploded by the boss and faced Charlotte. He said, Ritual suicide dagger. Rare level 35 assassin. Attack power, 1960 2090. Intelligence plus 240. Agility plus 50. Additional, death. There is a very small probability that the attacking enemy will die directly. Passive, ineffective against monsters above elite level. Additional, blinding. With a 5% chance of causing the attacked enemy to lose vision for 5 seconds. With a cooldown of 1 minute passive. It's a pity that it is not a warrior's equipment. This lethality is too abnormal. If the fatality is triggered during PK, the opponent will not even have a chance to resist. A few seconds of blindness are enough for the assassin to deal a lot of damage. But it's a pity that he can't use it. Sacrifice. Detonate yourself and cause 500% damage to enemies within 5 meters. The damage depends on the user's attack power. It can still be used when controlled. Can be learned at level 35. How do you want to distribute these two things? Lu Yuan asked Xiao Lui first. After all, after taking so many benefits from others, Lu Yuan would not say anything even if they wanted them all. I want that skill book. You can keep the rest. Xiao Lui glanced at it casually and said, You want to learn sacrifice? After self-destruction, your intestines and stomach will explode all over the floor. Lu Yuan joked. You are really disgusting. There is no such thing in the game. The mobs are about to regenerate and will be refreshed. Let's go directly to the next level. Xiao Lui said no more. 
Lu Yuan put away the dagger, handed the skill book to Xia Lui, and started to collect blood at the entrance of the stairs. Because this high-level rare weapon was very valuable, the auction house had some losses, and the handling fee was too high. So Lu Yuan Yuan decided to put it in his backpack and deal with it later. After the two recovered, they walked to the fifth floor. Chapter 54 King Yiksha's Love Ring The two of them filled up their status and continued upward. The monsters on the fifth level looked much more ferocious. Corrupted Yiksha level 39 HP 90,000. I saw that Yiksha's whole body was black, with red hair, and his whole body was stooped. He looked like an animal but also a little like a human. He had a green face and a ferocious look with fangs, and his jumping power was very strong. Since no one has come up, the boss is still there. But what makes Lu Yuan strange is how Xiao Lui knew there was a big boss on the sixth floor. It must have been checked by an informant. After all, everyone was given medicines. Lu Yuan knew that his suit skills could no longer kill this monster. So he did not dare to pull them all over. Fearing that he would not be able to withstand the damage of so many monsters, Lu Yuan led the Yashas in front of him in batches. And several of them easily resisted the damage at once. Yasha's main attack methods are claws and bites. His special attack is to jump up and turn into a ball and spin quickly. After attacking someone, it will have a knockback effect and interrupt spell casting. If he is knocked back by several at the same time, it's still quite annoying. When a small part of the fallen Yiksha was left, Lu Yuan directly activated the set of skills and sucked the monsters over. The two of them cleaned up the little monsters in a short time. Lu Yuan felt that his damage was already quite high, but Xia Lui's fire damage was even more explosive. Not only was it high damage, but it also had continuous burning damage. Fallen Yiksha King Level 39 Boss HP 1,800,000 This Yiksha King boss is obviously much bigger. His claws are sharper. And a row of blade-like bone spurs sprout out of his back spine. Occasionally he raises his head and roars. And you can even see the air twisting with vibrations. Lu Yuan didn't waste any time. He just followed the old rules and started to attack with thousands of troops. He dealt with the damage first and then used various skills to attack the Yiksha King. Xia Lui seemed to be always ready with the same skills. Fall. The most important thing is that you will never release it in advance to draw the boss's hatred onto yourself. For a damage output profession, output is certainly important. And being able to control your own output is the symbol of a master. Sure enough, as Lu Yuan had just observed, the Yasha King at close range would release a sonic attack, causing Lu Yuan in front of it to fall into dizziness. However, Lu Yuan's Gale Helmet had the additional attack effect of reducing confusion, dizziness, etc. After all, he was able to wake up quickly, but he couldn't stop King Yichu's follow-up attack. It was also a rotating impact like a wheel, but the protruding bone spurs on King Yasha's spine increased the damage. Lu Yuan could only activate that something blood armor, and then use the charge skill to see if he could stun King Yichu. However, King Yichu in this state was obviously not controllable. At least, there was no hard control in Lu Yuan's skills. Looking at the mage Xiao Lui behind him, Lu Yuan still gritted his teeth and did not move away. You don't have to resist. I can avoid it. Xiao Lui saw that Lu Yuan was afraid that the monster would break through the defense line and attack him. Lu Yuan was relieved when he heard this. Although Lu Yuan could withstand it. Who would want to forcefully take the boss skills? When there was a similar attack again, Lu Yuan moved away from his position to deal damage without any worries which made him feel much more relaxed. He also benefited from the instant recovery of blood bottles and blue bottles. It wasn't until King Yasha's spinning attack hit Xiao Lui in front of him that Li Yuan knew what she meant when she said she wouldn't die if she didn't dodge. Xiao Lui saw King Yiksha spinning towards her very fast. Unable to avoid it, she directly released a skill. A big fiery red gourd fell from the sky and covered her in it. King Yiksha was unable to break through the gourd's defense. But Xiao Lui couldn't break through the gourd's defense. Lui also stopped attacking. It is similar to other mage ice cube skills. But her body can still move in the gourd. And she can eat blood bottles. Which is obviously better. Lu Yuan charged forward to regain his aggro. And Xiao Lui's fire gourd was also finished. I don't know what skill she used. But her movement speed seemed to speed up. In a few steps. She distanced herself and started to output again. This Yiksha King boss doesn't have any special killing moves. After going berserk, he recruits a group of minions. Although Lu Yuan's set of skills cannot be lost in seconds, he can also cripple the mobs and then pull the monsters into the sea of fire released by Xiao Lui. After spinning around in circles, 
all the little monsters were wiped out in a while. King Yasha also had no trump card and fell down with an unwilling roar. In fact, it cannot be said that this boss is not strong. It can only be said that the two people's ability to clear the mobs is a bit abnormal. Otherwise, it would be difficult to withstand the wave of summons without a full formation. Looking at the loot, I found a rare level ring, as well as a blue high and top, some potions and gold coins. King Yuxha's love ring, rare quality level 35, strength plus 100, intelligence plus 100, stamina plus 100, spirit plus 100, agility plus 100. Additional, in the name of love, reduce the monster's hatred towards itself. Additional, additional attack damage bonus to monsters of the opposite sex as the character itself. Not valid for players and boss. Additional, when attacked, there is a 10% chance of triggering the Yikshok King's roar stored in the ring, which will stun enemies within 1 meter for 3 seconds. Cooling time 1 minute. P.S. The best male Yikshaw of the Yikshaw tribe gave him a love ring before he was eaten. He volunteered to be eaten to help his beloved become the Yikshaw King. It turns out that this boss is still a dominatrix who eats his spouse to evolve. No wonder it has bonus damage to the opposite sex. It also has 5-dimensional equipment, which shows that this ring is suitable for any profession. Without any hesitation, Lu Yuan directly handed the ring to Xiao Lui. Xiao Lui was also stunned when she saw it, because she was afraid of trouble. The team allocation has always been in the free allocation mode. Whoever picks it up counts, so there is no need for it. The trouble of allocating and rolling dice. From previous observations, Lu Yuan was very keen on trophies. Unexpectedly, he picked up rare equipment and jewelry that was relatively difficult to explode, and handed it to him without hesitation. You can keep it and wear it. It will reduce the hatred value, so that you don't have to control the hatred when you form a team to deal damage. Lu Yuan did not want to always take advantage, because he had been taking other people's medicine for free. Xiao Lui, who received the ring for the first time, felt a little strange when she took the equipment. After taking a look, it was still a love ring, and she couldn't help but be a little stunned. Let's go to the next floor. Lu Yuan broke the brief silence and suggested, Wait a minute. We're going out to supply a wave of medicines. Xiao Lui, who had regained consciousness, said briefly, I still have a lot of medicines left. Have you used up yours? Lu Yuan remembered that the last time he replenished supplies was not long ago. So he shouldn't be out of medicine. The boss is quite powerful. Bring enough medicine before going up. Have you been up there? No. Then how do you know? Someone is exploring the way. As Lu Yuan expected, if a rich person has an account, there will be many people around him to serve him. Why don't you form a full formation? Wouldn't that be much easier? Lu Yuan didn't understand her. Because I don't need it. I originally planned to kill the boss above alone. Xiao Lui seemed to be saying a very common thing. Single brush? Can you withstand the boss's damage? Even your gourd skill has no cooldown. Right. Lu Yuan was a little in disbelief. Why do you have to be able to bear it? Isn't it okay to just avoid it? Xiao Lui still said in such an understatement. Lu Yuan thought of the first real enemy he encountered. The evil winged birdman. His team could be considered elite. But the fight was still very difficult. And the official did not give any information about the boss. Players were all find out on your own. Or rely on people who have tried it on forums to share their experiences. However, the explosion rate of a boss that has been beaten will be greatly reduced. So it is really difficult to know the boss's tricks in advance and avoid them in advance. Seeing that Lu Yuan didn't reply and was thinking about it all the time. Xiao Lui explained. Just let people fight it again without killing them. A boss can't all have killing moves. Every monster, including players, will have a starting move before they release their skills. After releasing the skill, there will be a moment of stiffness. Although it is very limited by the character's attributes. As long as the equipment is good enough and the attribute points are suitable for you. You can even surpass your own abilities in reality in the game. You seem to have not realized this yet the essence of the game. Really? Although I have had this idea. I always feel like I am restricted by something. Lu Yuan was a little confused by what Xiao Lui said. Maybe it's because of your equipment. Xiao Lui seemed to explain to Lu Yuan patiently this time. Chapter 55 This Pope is a bit handsome. Equipment reason? Lu Yuan knew that what he bought was the most common helmet and the more advanced holographic ecological simulation cabin. But he never thought that there was a gap between the two? Is the feeling of entering the game different? At this time, the medical supplies had also been delivered. The two of them stuffed a backpack full of medicines 
and headed directly to the top floor without saying much. When we arrived on the sixth floor, there were no mobs spawning. There were two raised steps at the farthest end of the stairs. There was a large chair on which sat a middle-aged man, wearing a white satin robe embroidered with golden clouds. This young man looks like the boss here. FTY Theocratic Pope Level 40 Special Boss, with HP 4 million. Don't start attacking monsters yet. I'll tell you how many forms this boss has in total, so as not to suffer losses later. Xiao Lui reminded in a calm tone. Well, you say, the first 30% of the boss's health will be fought in its current form. The main attack method is to release some magic bullets. These magic bullets have a certain tracking effect. So running directly after taking off your hands has no effect. You can only attack immediately when you hit yourself. Just avoid it and let the magic bullet hit the ground directly. During this period, if the attack received is too high in a short period of time, it will rise into the air and release a straight line of light cannon. The range is still relatively large. So just run to both sides in advance. After hearing Xiao Lui talk about so many details in one breath, Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh. This game is not created by your family. Right. This guide is too detailed. Xiao Lui rolled his eyes at Lu Yuan and continued. When the blood volume is 70% 40%, the boss will summon three mini BSSS, each of which corresponds to 10% of its health volume. When the blood volume is below 40%, the Pope will summon transform into melee combat and also release a stage of magic bullets. That's all the information for the time being. Well, let's start the fight. After listening to this, Lu Yuan finally understood why he had to fill up the potion. Looking at this boss with 4 million HP, he can cast spells, engage in melee combat, and also summon. This is too balanced. A few. And Xiao Lui only said to dodge the attacks of skills, but did not say which skills were fatal. Let's summarize them while fighting. After the two of them ate the food to recover from the battle, Lu Yuan rushed over immediately. He had to build up the hatred first. Qian Jun kill starts and kills in front of the boss with the newly learned Burning Blood Slash. Because Burning Blood Slash does more damage the higher your HP. So use early CD and instantly replenish the blood lost with the skill. Full. And then released a Lightning Slash. A set of movements that were smooth and smooth. After Lu Yuan finished a set of skills, the boss reacted and threw his hands outward. An invisible force pushed Lu Yuan directly several meters away, but it did not cause any damage. Immediately afterwards, the boss used no weapon and threw out a string of five black magic bullets with his hands. The magic bullets flew towards Lu Yuan in an arc. As expected, they had a certain tracking effect as mentioned before. Lu Yuan wanted to dodge but almost couldn't dodge every time. He always felt that his consciousness was enough, but his body couldn't keep up. If he had predicted in advance and evaded too early, the tracking effect of the magic ball would be enough to turn the corner. Dash 1000, dash 1000, minus 1000, minus 1000, minus 1000. Just such a random attack knocked out nearly half of Lu Yuan's health. Since he had just finished using the potion, Lu Yuan did not dare to attack at close range and was in a dilemma for a while. Lu Yuan could only lead the boss in circles, waiting for the potion to cool down. But Xiao Lui didn't intend to stop. A wall of fire blocked the boss. And then a large fire tornado rushed towards the boss in a straight line, trapping it in it. After two seconds of casting, a fire phoenix was deleted. The wings went straight to the boss and hit it with a big critical hit on its head. When Li Yuan saw this series of gorgeous skills, it was obvious that he couldn't hold back his hatred, and he couldn't let the boss attack the mage. He could only charge forward and use his skills to fight. However, the damage caused by the boss being hit by a string of flames was too high. Even if Xiao Lui brought Yasha's promise ring to reduce the hatred value, Lu Yuan could not bring the hatred back in a few clicks. I saw the Pope flying towards Xiao Lui with a series of magic bullets. Seeing the arrival of the magic bullets, Xiao Lui waited patiently until the magic bullets were about to get close. He could always dodge them just right and keep dodging. After dropping four magic balls, he did not choose to dodge the fifth shot but instead directly released his attack skills and hit the boss. Minus 1800. The moment the damage came on, Xiao Lui took a sip of medicine to replenish it and continued to attack. Such efficiency and calculation of damage made Lu Yuan sigh with emotion. It was really strong. After a series of attacks during this period, Lu Yuan finally regained his hatred. The two of them either hit or resisted. And soon they hit the boss with a lot of health. At this time, the boss flicked his hands 
and pushed Lu Yuan a few meters further. He recited a spell on the spot, and his body floated more than one meter above the ground. Stopping, he opened his arms to both sides and waved violently in front of him. And a beam of light was formed, with a diameter of one meter. Since Lu Yuan had long heard that the boss would release a beam of light when it received a high amount of damage, he was already prepared when it was suspended in the air. He rolled to both sides to avoid the attack. Obviously, this blow would be much worse if it was hit head-on. It's a sustained injury, and death is certain. After the first stage of the fight, the boss flew away and stood lightly on the back of the chair. He raised his hands above his head and recited a spell. In the name of the demon emperor, I summon you to fight for me. The fallen beast is released. Out of your madness. I saw a black vortex hole appearing in the sky a few meters in front of the boss. The guard dog boss on the first floor. The fallen FDY believer boss on the fourth floor. And the fallen Yiksha king boss on the fifth floor. The three bosses were glowing red from falling down one after another in the vortex. The health volume of these small bosses has also been weakened. Only 400,000 is exactly 10% of the boss's health volume. There are no longer three fallen believer bosses. But only one from the legal system. The guard dog rushed towards the two people at the fastest speed. Followed by the Yasha King. Who also spun and attacked the two people. While the fallen believer chanted spells on the spot. After a fight. Lu Yuan discovered that the attack power of these bosses had increased as if they had been given a boost. But their defense power had dropped a lot. Although three bosses appeared together. This stage was the easiest for the two of them. After destroying them one by one. It turned out that the Pope seemed to have been hit hard. He fell from the chair and lost 30% of his health. How dare you make an enemy of my demon clan? You don't know your own strength and are seeking death. The Pope boss straightened up and stepped towards Lu Yuan step by step. With a flick of his right hand, a sword wrapped with black death energy appeared in his hand. Then it started from his right hand and spread to the whole body. And he actually wore a black and red armor. There was a green gem on both knees, elbows, chest and helmet, glowing with green light. This is so handsome. Chapter 56 Mystery, Shura Slash. This is so handsome. Lu Yuan couldn't help but exclaimed. I saw the Pope boss approaching Lu Yuan step by step. The Pope, who only had 40% of his health left, looked as if he had just started fighting. Although Lu Yuan lamented the handsomeness of this armor, he could not stop himself from killing it. Relaunching the attack, the Pope's defense and armor was obviously higher than before and he was equipped with weapons and had more ways to attack. He would fight in close combat and then release magic bullets. Lu Yuan relied on the instant recovery potion to control himself. Dodge barely held on. Moreover, the Pope was completely different from the mage he had just been. In close combat, his moves were fierce and fierce, and he slashed cleanly with his sword. When he did not release magic bullets, the weapon with a circle of black mist actually shone with a glistening black light. It's obviously magic, and the extra damage when hit is very high. Once Lu Yuan dodged and regained his health, the boss even swung his sword left and right and sent out several energy blades to attack Xiao Lui in the distance. Although they were dodged, her spell casting was interrupted. Although Lu Yuan had the potion, he was still beaten badly. He could barely resist the Pope who was in a melee state. When he couldn't, he ran away. Fortunately, Xiao Lui was also a powerful person and could always avoid damage or resist. Damage. There is still a lot of pressure to clear the boss without a doctor. When the boss was hit to 5% health, the Pope once again released the bounce skill. Lu Yuan was once again bound several meters away. The Pope's whole body was glowing red as if it was on fire. And he continued to wave. Drawing five knives, he launched five energy blades to attack Xiao Lui. Xiao Lui dodged three knives in a row because the blades were too dense. There was no place to dodge the remaining two knives. The life-saving skill Gourd Cover was released, blocking the remaining two knives. Just when they were both breathing a sigh of relief, a sudden change occurred. The Pope suddenly turned the tip of the weapon in his right hand slightly and placed it on the left side. His right leg made a lunge. His eyes were fixed on Xiao Lui, and his whole body was darkened. Mysterious Azura Slash, Lu Yuan, who had defeated the evil winged birdman, knew that the special boss might have a special move, but he was careless just now. At this time, Xiao Lui was obviously locked and unable to move. He looked at the five big characters that appeared above the boss's head. It will definitely take seconds. Lu Yuan sighed and charged towards the boss. 
That is to say, with the bonus of skill speed, he arrived in front of the boss when it arrived in front of Xiao Lui. It was obviously unrealistic to interrupt the boss's skills, but the attack effect was directly eliminated, triggered himself to block it. The somewhat dark surroundings were strangely illuminated by a ray of golden light. A perfect arc drawn from the lower left to the upper right seemed to be frozen there. This was the last thought of Li Yuan, who was already full of blood. This guy is really handsome. Then he fell to the ground. His vision turned gray, and the word death appeared in front of his eyes, with an option. Resurrection point to resurrection. Below, Xiao Lui obviously resumed his actions. Seeing Lu Yuan fall, he quickly said, don't resurrect yet. Wait, and then launched an attack on the boss. From Lu Yuan's perspective, he watched the boss fall into weakness after releasing his special move. This was the first time he had officially died since entering the game. After all, if you die in a guild battle, you will return directly to the base. Looking at the countdown below his death, there is less than five minutes left. It seems that he will automatically return to the city when the time is over. The boss was killed in less than 20 seconds. The weak boss's defense was very low. After Xiao Lui defeated the boss, he didn't care about the loot that exploded on the ground. He ran over and squatted about one meter in front of Lu Yuan to look at Lu Yuan. As the time remaining in the countdown became less and less, Lu Yuan's vision became increasingly blurry. Oh no! This is too torturous! When there were finally 30 seconds left, a holy white light enveloped him. Do you accept that player Roma Chufong used the resurrection skill on you? The system prompt sounded. He clicked accept and Lu Yuan finally stood up again. The doctor did not hesitate and used two single target healing skills to restore Lu Yuan's health to full. He also gave each of them a blessing of life buff and left directly. Well, I almost died. Lu Yuan broke the silence. To be precise, you are dead. Xiao Lui also stood up and replied. The sword pierces the chest and my vision gradually blurs. Why can I still see your face? Stop copying lyrics here and go pick up the loot. You know all this? After Lu Yuan finished speaking, he went to pick up the trophies. Lu Yuan liked this kind of thing the most. When Lu Yuan walked to the boss's body and was about to see if he could take off the boss's armor, as soon as he touched the Pope, the Pope actually moved and struggled to sit up. Lu Yuan was so frightened that he jumped. Far looking from a distance, the Pope's eyes have returned to clearness. It turns out that this is a systematic plot. I am the most talented magic swordsman in the Burning Sun Kingdom. And I have repeatedly made outstanding achievements in the many years of confrontation with the Bright Moon Kingdom. Who would have thought that the Bright Moon Kingdom was so treacherous that they actually lured who listened to put the letters of collaboration with the enemy in my account? And interspersed them with each other in my account? The traitor in our country actually reported it to the leader of the Burning Sun Kingdom. The king was deceived by the traitor and directly beheaded all my family members. I hate it. I hate that I can't even protect my own relatives. But who knows that the demons control my mind. I no longer loyal to anyone. I killed everyone who betrayed me. Even Taoyuan Temple had nothing to do with me. So they had to imprison me in this tower. Unfortunately, I couldn't kill the fatuous king. The boss laughed crazily when he said this. After being sealed, I gradually recovered some sense. But I don't regret it. I heard that the Scorching Sun Kingdom was defeated by a young general. I was very happy. Ha ha ha. The Pope smiled and actually started crying again. I used to be passionate and loyal. So why? Why? Thank you Lord Demon God for giving me the strength and courage to resist this world. After Lu Yuan heard the plot of this system, he was a little sad. War is like this. Intrigues. Maybe the victorious general of the Skull Cave also rose to power after the Pope was imprisoned here? Lu Yuan knew about many forces including the Demon God. Taoyuan Temple. Bright Moon Kingdom, Burning Sun Kingdom, and the demonic beast Golden Hair John who claimed to bring chaos to the world. But he didn't have the strength to participate in them yet. After listening to the system's plot, Lu Yuan hurried to pick up the loot. The Pope's body had been refreshed, and the armor did not fall. But the weapon exploded. Shadow Soul Chaser Knife. Rare Level 40 Warrior. Attack Power. 2560-2680. Strength plus 360. Stamina plus 90. Additional, Corrosion. Dark Attribute Attack. Reducing the defense of the damaged enemy. Passive. Additional, Shadow. Damage bonus to non-dark monsters by 15%. Passive. Additional, Soul Chasing. Every two normal attacks. The third normal attack will cause three times the damage. Passive. 
The three passive skills are very strong. The attributes are also very high. And the most important thing is that he is handsome. It's a pity that it can only be worn at level 40. I don't know when I will reach level 40. Mystery, Shura Slash. A special secret skill that uses the power of Shura to lock the enemy so that it cannot move. And quickly moves to the target to launch a fatal slash. The target's health must be lower than itself. Including conversion of blood volume. If it is blocked midway, he attacks the first person he meets. After being released, it will fall into a weak state for 10 seconds. Attack and defense agility will be greatly reduced. And the cooling time will be 12 hours. No level restrictions. Any melee profession can be learned. This is an instant kill skill. Although it has many limitations, it is absolutely invincible in a duel. The conversion of blood volume should refer to the magic of the mage equaling the health value. But if you can't lose someone within seconds, these 10 seconds will probably be very difficult. Pope's Authority. Rare Quality Level 40. Ring. Strength plus 400. Intelligence plus 400. Stamina plus 400. Agility plus 400. Spirit plus 400. P.S. The ring worn by the Pope of FDY to show his authority. There are no additional skills. But the added attributes are a bit too comprehensive. The rest are gold coins. Medicines and the like but everything produced by this Pope can be said to be of the highest quality. Faced with so many top-notch products, Lu Yuan did not make his own decision and asked, What do you want? You choose first. You can take them all. It's not suitable for me. Xiao Lui seemed to have never seen so many top-quality products. Lu Yuan did not refuse. Put away his equipment and asked, Where are you going next? Continue leveling in another place. How about you? Xiao Lui thought for a while and replied, I plan to get some level 35 equipment first. Otherwise, I won't be able to make it to the finals in the arena competition. Lu Yuan also thought about it and said, You are self-aware. Then I'll see you in the ring. Xiao Lui waved his hand. Well, I'll go back to the city first. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Lu Yuan directly started returning to the city without any further ado. After Lu Yuan disappeared, Xiao Lui murmured to herself, You give me a ring. And I give you a ring in return. It's even. It was as if the secret skill book and the top quality weapon had never appeared. Chapter 57 Strengthening is Risky Lu Yuan returned to the town and took a look at his backpack. He had gained a lot in the past two days. Gold coins were not the most valuable. Lu Yuan had spent more than 1,800 pieces on just strengthening stones. For two people who had defeated tens of thousands of monsters, this explosion rate was not actually high. But the loot was picked up by Lu Yuan alone so it seemed a lot. Some high-quality equipment was put up for sale in the auction house as soon as it was revealed to Lu Yuan. Now he only has a rare-level dagger in his hand that has not been sold. There is also the remaining potion for instant recovery in half a backpack. It can be said that it is difficult to buy even if you have money. Advanced life professional players are still hard to come by. Maybe the person who makes medicine specializes in medicine. Lu Yuan suddenly felt that it was really convenient for a lot of people to serve one person and anything could be bought with money. Unknown information would be checked by someone, and even the boss would try the skills first. But the first kill should be kept. This kind of gap cannot be narrowed by me. Thinking about it, I haven't met a real master so far. Maybe there will be many people from Tao Yuan's world's number one martial arts club. Can I really win? Lu Yuan couldn't help but feel a little confused. All his efforts might be solved by just one sentence? The more I thought about it, the more I became uneasy. After a while, Lu Yuan suddenly woke up. What had happened to him? What were you thinking about? I am already very strong. If it is that kind of thing that is easily available, would I really be happy? There are still four days left. Let me see how many powerful people there are in this Taoyuan. Let me see how strong I am now. Lu Yuan regained his confidence and looked at the time. It was already past three o'clock in the morning. Lu Yuan simply returned to the guild base and prepared to find a quiet place to practice his forging skills. When I came to the guild base, I didn't expect that there were still some people walking around inside, probably doing some daily guild tasks for the sake of contribution. Lu Yuan had a rough look at the NPC in the guild base before. The guild contribution can be used to exchange for some equipment, but the attributes are worse than those revealed by the boss. So experts are not interested in them. But for daily life players or civilian players that set, insisting on changing to a set of guild equipment is also a good choice. Lu Yuan found a deserted place and prepared to start his own forging. 
The reason why he gave up upgrading and practice forging was because he wanted to try to strengthen his weapons to a higher star level. So that the improvement would be more obvious. 10 stars as players with some strength can almost always achieve it. But it is too common. Because there is a certain chance that the equipment will be damaged if it is strengthened to 10 stars or above. It would be a pity to have the rare equipment broken. So I simply bought a few high-end weapons on the auction house. Since the strengthening stones were sufficient and there were no strengthening fees, Lu Yuan had no investment except for a few weapons. The first five stars were successful without any suspense. Six to ten stars. Only eight stars or above were considered really difficult. However, Lu Yuan failed to concentrate twice and still reached ten stars. This success rate can be said to be much better than strengthening NPCs in the system. Why don't you open a blacksmith shop yourself in the future? The business will probably be very prosperous. Lu Yuan thought with some pride. The next step is the highlight. From 10 stars to 11 stars, Lu Yuan has not strengthened yet. Just synthesizing the advanced strengthening stone has already consumed a lot of energy and inventory in Lu Yuan's backpack. The synthesis of advanced strengthening stones is not even simpler than strengthening equipment. Or even more difficult. I really don't know what a special strengthening stone looks like. And what level it needs to be successful. Holding five high-level strengthening stones synthesized from more than 300 primary strengthening stones. Lu Yuan couldn't help but sigh. This kind of strengthening is really not something ordinary people can afford. Although the price of strengthening stones has dropped. This high-level strengthening stone is really they are rare enough. And considering the damage to the equipment. The number is terrifying. Looking at these precious five high-level strengthening stones. He closed his eyes for a while. Concentrated his energy open the strengthening option in the forging, and put the blue high-level sword bought from the auction house into the window. As the strengthening stones were placed one by one in Lu Yuan's perspective, the yellow area representing success became slightly wider, and the pointer speed also slowed down accordingly. After placing five strengthening stones, the frequency of the pointer swinging back and forth is still more than twice as fast as that of nine ten stars. It seems that this is a hurdle. In about seven seconds, Lu Yuan must point the pointer to the yellow area. When you are pregnant, beat the weapon. Beating it five times in a row will be considered a successful enhancement. Even if it fails once, the enhancement will be lost immediately. Hesitation is not a solution. There has to be a first time. After confirming that the strengthening was started, Lu Yuan found the right time and directly hit the yellow area with the first hammer. But just as the second hammer was about to land, Lu Yuan stopped because the frequency was wrong. Lu Yuan adjusted again and hit the second hammer, which also hit the yellow area. When the third hammer was about to fall, he found that the frequency was wrong again. So he had to adjust again. A total of three hammers hit the yellow area. But the strengthening the time is over. System prompt. Enhancing failed. The weapon is not damaged. Lu Yuan looked at the five strengthening stones that he had worked so hard to get. And his heart was bleeding. Why didn't he hammer down faster? What surprised Lu Yuan was that there seemed to be a pause every time after hammering the weapon pointer. And it was this pause that disrupted the frequency of the pointer swing that Lu Yuan had found. Lu Yuan continued to upgrade the strengthening stones and spent more than 300 pieces before synthesizing five high-level strengthening stones. He originally thought that the more than 1,800 strengthening stones were a lot. But in the blink of an eye, he consumed almost half of them. His weapons were even connected. Eleven did not go up. But Li Yuan didn't dare to test the waters directly with rare level weapons. After all, if a weapon is damaged, it cannot be compensated by thousands of strengthening stones. Li Yuan once again put the 10 star weapon into the window and watched the pointer swing back and forth. Li Yuan decided that this time he would hit all five hammers within the time no matter what, regardless of whether they hit the yellow area or not. Li Yuan concentrated to confirm that the pointer had begun to strengthen. From the last experience, Lu Yuan knew that the pointer would pause. Lu Yuan deliberately slowed down and tried to accept it. One, two, three times. The first three times all hit. But when the second the hammer went down a little faster when hitting it four times. Fortunately, Lu Yuan stopped the hammer and paused for one second to find the right frequency. The fourth hammer also hit the yellow area. With the fifth hammer, Lu Yuan knew that he had no time. So he deliberately turned the pointer counting the moment of pause. The hammer down was a little slower. The system prompts. Enhancement failed. The equipment was damaged due to operational errors. Lu Yuan felt distressed for a while. But in the end, he failed. Even the equipment was damaged this time. He really lost his wife and lost his troops. 
it seems that before I become proficient, my success rate may not be as high as that of system NPCs. But Lu Yuan is not someone who gives up easily. He understands that everything is difficult at the beginning. And Lu Yuan is confident to seize that rhythm point. After looking at the gold coins in his backpack, Lu Yuan made up his mind and opened the auction house. Chapter 58 Feeling So Happy Lu Yuan kept only a small part of the several hundred gold coins in his backpack. So he bought all the strengthening stones and two weapons as backup. Thanks to the guild treasure map, the output of strengthening stones has increased sharply. And the price of strengthening stones has dropped. Otherwise, regardless of whether they are expensive or not. With this consumption method, I am afraid that the output will not be enough to consume. And you may not be able to buy it even if you have money. It is naturally impossible for game companies to do that. They wish players fail to strengthen every day. Strengthening stones will naturally produce enough for you. Although Lu Yuan always believed in the propaganda that everything in the game would be handed over to the intelligent system to ensure fairness and fairness. The game company didn't care whether Lu Yuan believed it or not. Lu Yuan was no longer unfamiliar with synthesizing strengthening stones. After a while, he synthesized 20 high-level strengthening stones. After so many times of synthesizing strengthening stones, he seemed to be becoming more and more proficient. I strengthened a few weapons to 10 stars without much effort, and then started practicing to strengthen them to 11. After Lu Yuan's observation, the most difficult part of strengthening 11 is the pause between each hammer, which can easily disrupt your own rhythm. The more you use your eyes to see, the easier it is to be misled. Without using your eyes, facing such speed fast pointers are simply not realistic. After much deliberation, I still have to use the stupidest and most effective method, which is to practice hard, regardless of whether the weapon is broken or not, and follow your own pace. Don't be afraid of wasting materials once you make up your mind. If you want to master the rhythm, you have to be bold. If you can't follow the vision, then follow the feeling. Picking up the weapon, Lu Yuan took a deep breath without straining his nerves and began to strengthen. The first hammer hit directly in the center, ignoring the disturbing brief pause. He followed the feeling and directly hammered down. Ding, 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 ding. Four hammers fell in a row. System prompt. Congratulations to the player Butao Huan. The Blood Lotus Ringing Phoenix Sword has been successfully strengthened to 11 stars. Seeing that the equipment was successfully strengthened, Lu Yuan was not too excited. Instead, he closed his eyes and felt the feeling just now. The rhythm of the strengthening was indeed tense, and it was not enough. After taking a look at the attributes after adding 11, it turned out that the attack power increased by more than 260 compared to 10 stars. Sure enough, the improvement after 10 stars was much greater. Lu Yuan did not continue to strengthen 12, but continued to take out a 10-star weapon to continue to strengthen 11, while the subtle rhythm of success had not disappeared. As the saying goes, strike while the iron is hot. Sure enough, when Lu Yuan was building the second weapon, he still just watched the pointer swinging left and right, but did not put it in the main position. After the first hammer, he hammered continuously according to his own feeling. System prompt. Congratulations to player Buda Huan. The Conqueror's Sword has been successfully strengthened to 11 stars. Lu Yuan had a flash of inspiration. It turned out that he didn't have to stare at the pointer to hammer down, but used the pointer as a supplement. The main thing was to look at the equipment and hit the equipment with even force. Naturally, the intervals between each hammer would be the same. Although Lu Yuan didn't know if it was right or not, this was how he felt about his two successes. Lu Yuan Yuan no longer had any blue equipment. So he took out the rare purple dagger that he had exploded from the sacrifice and directly enhanced it from 0 stars to 10 stars. With a 10 star sensory enhancement just now, he did not fail even once. Without stopping in the middle, I directly started to strengthen 11 stars. According to the previous method, this time I no longer focused on the swinging pointer. Instead, I followed the rhythm of the pointer and counted silently in my mind. After directly choosing to start strengthening, the first hammer, when the pointer reaches the middle, it falls, and then it continues hammering according to the rhythm accumulated in the heart. The system prompts. Congratulations to player Budao Huan. The priest's suicide dagger has been successfully enhanced to 11 stars. Lu Yuan felt more and more powerful as he strengthened. So he simply took off his gale eviscerating saber and prepared to strengthen it to 11 stars. He still followed the method just now and remained calm. He was not nervous at all, because he was strengthening his main weapon. He started hammering directly. It was smoother and smoother than the previous times. 
Congratulations to player Budawan for successfully strengthening the Gale Eviscerating Blade to 11 stars. After looking at the strengthening stones in my backpack, I simply synthesized all the strengthening stones into high-level strengthening stones and continued to experience what it would be like to strengthen to 12. I took out the first successful high-level equipment, Blood Lotus Ringing Phoenix Sword, and continued to strengthen 12 stars. I saw that the pointer was swinging a lot faster from 1 to 10, and the yellow area representing success was reduced by 1. Small pieces. Obviously the difficulty has been strengthened. Silently, I found the frequency of the pointer, stared at the equipment and began to strengthen it, and directly struck the hammer. The first strike was successful, but the second strike was half a beat too late. The Blood Lotus Ringing Phoenix Sword failed to strengthen to 12 stars, and the equipment is damaged. Seeing the long sword turned into scrap metal, Lu Yuan felt a little pity. It seemed that the frequency suddenly became faster, and Lu Yuan had not adapted yet. He needed to strike more accurately and at a faster speed. To sum up, experience Lu Yuan directly took out the next weapon. The Sword of the Conqueror began to strengthen, and the hammer was directly followed by the swing of the pointer. This time it did not fail until the fifth hammer blow. The moment the hammer was struck, Lu Yuan knew that the hammer was too early, but it was already can't take it back. The Conqueror's sword failed to strengthen to 12 stars, and the equipment was damaged. Although Lu Yuan regretted it, he didn't care. It was an essential process on the way to practice. Instead, Lu Yuan became more and more motivated, and then took out a rare level dagger. Lu Yuan thought about it, and decided to continue practicing with it. Although he knew that this weapon, especially if it was enhanced to 11 stars, might sell for 100,000 or more RMB. But Lu Yuan felt that he would have to strengthen his weapon sooner or later. He couldn't be afraid to take action just because he was of high quality. He gritted his teeth and put the sacrificial suicide dagger directly into the enhancement column. He took a deep breath and forgot about the failure experience just now. He settled down and only had this dagger in his eyes. The pointer was still swinging left and right in his peripheral vision. He stared at the dagger in front of him intently. The pointer that was swinging in the light seemed to be floating from the side to the middle of the weapon. It was a strange feeling. Lu Yuan did not dare to delay and directly hammered down, finishing in one go. It seems that every hammer hits the middle of the yellow area where the pointer swings. At this time, the World Channel actually issued an announcement. Congratulations to player Budao Wan. The suicide dagger of the sacrifice has been successfully upgraded to 12 stars. Lu Yuan didn't care about the announcement, but was immersed in the feeling just now. It felt like it wasn't my own hands that were moving. It was the swinging pointer that was guiding me. It was the equipment that was calling me. It felt really amazing. It was done in one go. And it reinforced the feeling of success. So happy. Lu Yuan, who felt this situation, did not stop. Put his gale eviscerating saber on the reinforcement column. And continued to strike while the iron was hot. Lu Yuan was still staring at his gale eviscerating blade just like before. Looking at the snow white blade. He couldn't help but marvel at the exquisite craftsmanship of the equipment maker. He no longer regarded these as a bunch of data, but a work of art. The feeling just now was even more. It became more intense. And the swinging pointer seemed to slow down. Following this wonderful feeling, I didn't need to use any force at all. And I hammered down five times naturally. The World Channel announcement sounded again at the right time. Congratulations to player Bu Dao Wan for successfully strengthening the Gale Eviscerating Saber to 12 stars. Lu Yuan was immersed in that feeling and reminiscing. Lu Yuan opened his eyes and made up his mind, intending to try to put 13 stars on the suicide dagger of the priest. But when Lu Yuan was about to start strengthening, the system prompted, Your energy consumption is too high and you cannot continue to strengthen. Energy? What is it? I have never encountered this kind of situation before. Lu Yuan thought with some confusion. There was no way for the system to prevent me from strengthening myself. So I had to stop temporarily. After equipping myself with the Gale Eviscerating Saber, I found that the weapon actually emitted a pearly light, which was different from the light of the weapon's own grade. It looked like strength in the light emitted by weapons after level 12. Boss? You actually enhanced two 12-star weapons? Are you too awesome? The system has such a low success rate that no one dares to reach 11 stars. But you actually made two 12-star weapons in such a short time. Omit a few hundred words. Lu Yuan looked at the message from Zheng Yu inside. Fortunately, he was not with him. Otherwise, he would have talked about it until dawn. Chapter 59, Looking for the Patriarch Boss? Are you there? Why don't you say anything? Zheng Yu continued to ask tirelessly 
when there was no response. I saw it. I'll help you strengthen it tomorrow. The system won't let me strengthen it today. Since you don't have enough materials, you can practice using other people's weapons. And you can also help your friends. It's the best of both worlds. But you might feel a little embarrassed if you fail. Boss, can you help me strengthen it? Can you strengthen it? Seeing Zhang Yu as if he has a hundred thousand questions every day, he always has all kinds of questions to ask himself. But he doesn't blame him. After all, the player's forging skill can only make equipment. But there is no option to strengthen it. This can be regarded as a gift from the master. Went through the back door. Actually, my main business is blacksmithing. Lu Yuan couldn't help but tease Zhang Yu. Then you may be the most powerful blacksmith in the fight. Boss? Are you level 35? So fast? Zhang Yu was surprised to find that Li Yuan's level had risen by nearly four levels in a day and night. I'll contact you tomorrow. Lu Yuan quickly ended the conversation. He didn't know how many questions he would have to answer if the conversation continued. I looked at the time, and it was past four o'clock. And it was almost time to wake up. But it was still a bit early to log off the line. So I decided to hang out for a while and go see my master. In line with the principle that there is no bad wine for blacksmiths. Lu Yuan went to a restaurant and bought several jars of burning knives. The reason why he bought this wine was because it has a high alcohol content and a strong taste that tastes like fire. Lu Yuan felt that it was particularly suitable for blacksmiths. Drink. Lu Yuan came to the blacksmith shop and saw that the shop was still so busy. He entered the shop and found Zhang Feng. He said respectfully, Master, I'm here to see you again. Although Lu Yuan knew that these were fictitious figures, he did get a lot of benefits from him. And although Zhang Feng was cold on the surface, he never failed to do good things. It was appropriate and polite to be respectful. Good boy. Yes, you can touch the threshold of enhanced equipment in such a short period of time. My younger brother is quite discerning. Zhang Feng opened his mouth to praise when he saw Lu Yuan lie. This was the first time that Li Yuan received such direct praise from Zhang Feng. And he felt a little pleased. And then said, Master, how do you know that I have improved in strengthening? Don't worry about it. By the way, I have something to do for you. But there is no reward. Are you willing? Zhang Feng suddenly remembered what it was and said to Lu Yuan, What kind of reward or not? Master, just tell me if you have something to do. When Lu Yuan heard that there was a mission coming, although there was no reward, his work should not be in vain. Right? Seeing that Lu Yuan didn't hesitate at all, Zhang Feng nodded with some satisfaction and said, According to rumors, there is an old man who haunts the south. When passing through a village, he was entertained by a villager. As a thank you, he helped the villager build a hoe. This hoe is not ordinary. It plows the land without any effort at all. And some knowledgeable people saw it and found that this hoe can be used as a weapon. Master, do you want me to take that hoe back? Lu Yuan asked upon hearing this. What's the use of that hoe? Why can't I make a hoe? So you're looking for that old man? Lu Yuan continued. It's quite smart. According to the description of the local villagers, the old man looks a bit like our ancestor. Although I know it's impossible, I still have to investigate. I'm busy with official duties. So you go and find out. Lu Yuan nodded after listening and said, Master, do you have a portrait of the ancestor? No. Have you met the patriarch? No. My master has passed away a long time ago. Where can I go to see my ancestor? How old is the patriarch? If I had lived to this day, I would have been over a thousand years old. Zhang Feng recalled, looking up at the sky outside the window at a 45 degrees angle. Lu Yuan was speechless. Even in the game, he couldn't live for more than a thousand years. Right? Apparently this mission is basically bullshit. Zhang Feng recalled for a while and continued. There is no clear news of the death of the ancestor. He just left a letter one day saying that it was. Okay. And he never came back. After that, each generation of inheritance will tell the disciples that as long as there is news about the ancestor, we must investigate clearly. Okay. Master, I understand. I brought you a jar of wine. If nothing else, I'll leave first. Lu Yuan said H, low and prepared to leave. The system prompts. I have accepted Zhang Feng's request to investigate the traces of the ancestor. The task reward is none. By the way, Master, what does energy mean? Lu Yuan almost forgot the purpose of coming here. Everyone's energy is limited, and a lot of it will be consumed in high-intensity production. Under normal circumstances, 
there will be no lack of energy. Spending energy proves that you have reached a state of selflessness during the production process and will not be disturbed by the outside world. The production is completed, you will feel tired after you relax. Zhang Feng looked at Liu Yuan and continued. If you do it casually and don't devote yourself to it, you won't have a lack of energy. So a lack of energy actually proves that you have made progress. Liu Yuan left the blacksmith shop thoughtfully. It seemed that he was a little bit familiar. The proficiency level given by the system was only the threshold for making a certain level of equipment. But the real success rate and probability of getting rare equipment still had to be determined. Rely on your own real investment and experience. As for this so-called energy, the system did not give Liu Yuan an accurate data. He searched the character attribute column and found nothing. Liu Yuan no longer considered that the time was almost up and decided to take a rest first. He had no class yesterday and couldn't go today. He felt a little sorry. When Liu Yuan finished everything and came to the classroom, there were indeed fewer people coming to class than the previous few days. The game has been open for more than a week. From the beginning, a small number of people were absent from class. And now only a small number of people come to class. After a while, the head teacher came directly to the podium, looked at the dozen or so people in the classroom, and said, Since the end of the semester is approaching, the school does not want to deal with most students' absenteeism too harshly. From today on, you can review by yourself. Next week too, let's start the exam and end the meeting. The school is also a little helpless. Not only are students absent from school a lot, but even teachers are taking sick leave. The reason is naturally related to this Taiwan. As the summer vacation is approaching, the school does not want to make a big move. However, all walks of life have also begun to collectively appeal to the court. Since the game, Taoyuan, was launched, it has seriously affected real life, requiring Taoyuan to control players' gaming time. In this way, Lu Yuan had nothing to do in the past few days, and he could prepare for the arena competition in the game with peace of mind. Just as Lu Yuan was about to stand up and leave, he heard someone calling him from behind. When he turned around, he saw that Li Tong was accompanied by Fang Ro. But this Fang Ro was not a classmate in his class so he didn't know why she appeared here. How are you thinking about it? Li Tong asked straight to the point. Lu Yuan didn't react for a moment. He was stunned for a moment and remembered that she should be talking about sharing a house. And then said, I don't have anything to do. And I don't plan to go home during the holidays. But won't it be inconvenient? We are not afraid of you. What are you afraid of? Fang Ro raised her chin towards Lu Yuan and said. Lu Yuan looked at Fang Ro's somewhat arrogant demeanor and couldn't help but laugh. She is still as cute as a kitten when she's trembling with fear. Yu Fan Ro was so angry that she raised her hand and pointed at Lu Yuan with her index finger. She gritted her teeth and could only say one word, but swallowed the rest. Well, anyway, I want to find a place with a stable network. I will share part of the rent. And you don't have to hire me. If anyone comes to harass you, I will try my best to keep you safe. Lu Yuan is not the hero who saves the beauty. I am very willing to do it. But it is not Lu Yuan's character to ignore his good friends when they're in danger. Then you go back and pack your things. We'll move there in a moment. Li Tong didn't object after hearing this and replied directly. So urgent? I originally planned to finish the exam. But I don't have to go to school these days. I can just come back and take the exam next week. And the goods I ordered today will be delivered at noon. Li Tong learned that he didn't have to go to school these days. So he just told him Fang Ro discussed it. It's a bit sudden. Zhao Xingha must have said that I value sex over friends. Lu Yuan murmured. Just him? If we invited him to share the house, he would have packed his backpack and stood here by now. After Fang Ro finished speaking, she glanced at Lu Yuan and turned her head to the side as if she was angry. I have nothing to pack but a change of clothes. Where will we meet later? Lu Yuan stopped writing. Since he had decided, he might as well just be happy. Li Tong said a little embarrassedly. If you don't have anything to pack, can you go over and help us to pack it? Chapter 60 A New Gaming Experience When Lu Yuan returned to the dormitory to pack his things, he told Zhao Xingha about the school's arrangements. Zhao Xingha immediately packed his things and planned to go home for a few days and come back after the exam. He also told Zhao Xingha about the holographic ecological simulation he had booked in advance. The warehouse should have been delivered today. And he expressed that he was not surprised that Lu Yuan wanted to share the house. Lu Yuan originally thought about how to respond when Zhao Xingha made fun of him, but it turned out to be useless. Lu Yuan was standing downstairs in the girls' dormitory, enjoying the looks of the girls coming in and out. 
even though these girls were usually quite honest. When they arrived at the girls' dormitory, they seemed to have a backer, and they all acted like men. Comment on Lu Yuan. Fang Ro walked down first, but she didn't hold anything in her hand. She stood at the door of the dormitory and said to Lu Yuan, Come up with me. I can't carry it anymore. How can I go up to this girl's dormitory? The aunt at the door won't let me go. Fang Ro waved her hand to signal Lu Yuan to come over. The two of them walked to the guard room at the door. Fang Ro casually said H, Lo. Auntie, my friend will get something for me. He will be down in five minutes. The dormitory and glanced at the two of them. Go. Don't stay too long. Lu Yuan, who was following Fang Ro, was a little surprised. The dormitory ant was so easy to talk to. This is not very realistic. You don't often go to the dormitory to pick up boys. Do you? Lu Yuan didn't know why he asked such a question. Although he regretted it after saying it, he couldn't take it back. Fang Ro turned around and glared at him. But she didn't say anything. And she quickened her pace angrily. Ah. Uh. A scream interrupted Lu Yuan's thoughts. Lu Yuan, who hadn't paid much attention at first, looked up and saw that it was a girl wearing a suspender belt. Just as she was about to come out of the dormitory, she ran back and closed the door heavily. Lu Yuan was embarrassed for a while. He had been practicing martial arts since he was a child. And his reaction speed was naturally higher than that of ordinary people. Although the figure just passed by in a flash. Lu Yuan still saw something. You guys? Don't you even wear underwear in the dormitory? Lu Yuan may have never seen this battle before. But for some reason, he suddenly said such a sentence. After saying it, Lu Yuan regretted it even more. Abnormal, Fang Ro said without even looking back. Finally arriving at Li Tong's dormitory, Lu Yuan was shocked when he saw four large trolley suitcases, school bags, and various shopping bags filled to the brim. Thinking about it, Lu Yuan only packed a school bag, a few changes of clothes, and a gaming helmet. Compared with these people, his life was really rough. When Lu Yuan put the last pile of things into Li Tong's car, even with his physical fitness, Lu Yuan was sweating profusely. It wasn't that it was heavy, but that Lu Yuan was trotting all the way, fearing an embarrassing incident like just now. It happened again, and I was really tired after going back and forth a few times. The house is not far from the school. After the three of them settled their things, it was almost noon. Lu Yuan had visited the house before. It had four bedrooms and two bathrooms. The living room was very spacious and connected to a large open-air balcony. The environment of the community outside was very good. The kitchen was not too big. It was separated by a bar. There was a dining table outside which was considered a dining room. The layout is simple and not crowded at all. After all, it is more than 200 square meters. Just as Lu Yuan sat down to rest for a while, he heard someone ringing the doorbell of the unit door. After answering, he found out that it was a delivery person. After a while, three people came up carrying a pile of cardboard boxes which looked like household appliances. Li Tong directed them to put one set in each room, and then saw the workers starting to unpack and install it. This is? Game warehouse? Lu Yuan asked. Well, because the game has just started. The first batch of game warehouses can be said to be priceless and unavailable at all. They are only delivered now after pre-ordering. Li Tong explained. Why did you buy so much? Have you planned to share a house before? Lu Yuan asked. Are you there then? I thought if friends come over to the four houses, we can play together. Li Tong explained. Ignore this pervert. I'm a little worried now whether we have lured a wolf into the house. Fang Ro said to Li Tong. Lu Yuan was speechless. He didn't want to go to the girls' dormitory just now. And now he said he was a pervert. Lu Yuan, can you live in that room? Is that okay? Li Tong pointed to a room near the kitchen. No problem. I'm free to do it. After Lu Yuan answered, he walked to his room and took a look. The room was not big, with a single bed, a simple wardrobe, and good lighting. There was a window, and workers on the wall near the door were installing it. Game warehouse. Looking at this holographic ecological simulation chamber, Lu Yuan thought that the equipment Xiao Lui said was not good. It was probably the difference between the helmet and this game chamber. Lu Yuan picked up the instruction manual and read it. The holographic ecological simulation chamber can completely simulate the action state of the real world. It not only relies on thoughts to initiate commands, because it can scan the whole body, but also rely on the body's instinct to operate game characters. After starting the game with the holographic ecological simulation warehouse, 
the character no longer only sees the simulated game scene, but also feels his own touch, the pain of being hit, and even the pleasure of contact with the opposite sex. You can truly feel wind, heat, cold and other things that you can feel in life. Of course, you can adjust the reality of the feeling, and the pain can be turned off. The game cabin adopts the highest safety factor. It automatically turns on the backup power when there is a power outage. The vent above the hatch automatically closes the hatch in the event of a fire. Automatically releases oxygen and releases an alarm. It is enough to wait for rescue to come and reduce human body consumption. It can even be used for a long time. It can slow down the rate of human aging. The rest were convenience and safety operations. So Lu Yuan did not look down. After a while, the master completed the installation. After Li Tong signed for it, the workers all left. I ordered takeout. Let's pack up first. The food will be delivered shortly. Li Tong turned around and said to the two of them. They each returned to the bedroom. Lu Yuan finished cleaning up in less than five minutes. He sat on the small bed with the sheets and quilts changed and looked at the game warehouse thoughtfully. After waiting for about 20 minutes, lunch finally arrived. Lu Yuan hurriedly took a bite, said H, Lo and went back to his room, ready to experience the difference of this game warehouse. The operation is very simple. There is a switch button and a call button outside. After lying down in the game compartment, choose to enter the game. A green light scanned Lu Yuan from head to toe, and then scanned and confirmed the face and pupils. Finally, Lu Yuan once again entered the game. Lu Yuan felt completely different when he returned to the game. The voices of the people around him seemed to be clearer, and the scenery around him looked the same as in reality. The tree I saw before was a tree, but the tree I saw now even the texture of the leaves was clearly visible. The body is more flexible. In the past, I always felt aware of the boss, but my body couldn't keep up. I always thought it was the attributes that restricted the character's actions. Now it seems that there is another aspect that is really a problem with the equipment. Just like a top-end computer. The processing speed is about the same as that of an average computer. It seems that most people lost at the starting line in the beginning. Although they are also limited by their attributes now. They are so handy. Lu Yuan couldn't wait to rush out of the city and try his hand at finding a monster. Since he had the task of finding the ancestor, he simply ran towards the south gate. When I went out and saw a little fox, I raised my knife and swung it lightly, and the fox died. This level was too low to test anything, but it clearly felt that the movements were much smoother. Lu Yuan felt the breeze blowing across his face, and it was so refreshing. Lu Yuan seemed to have thought of something. He took out a few primary strengthening stones and prepared to synthesize them to try out the feeling. Sure enough, when he started to synthesize, he felt that the strengthening stones were so clearly visible that even the pointer that swung left and right seemed to slow down. I was still not confident about Saturday's arena match. But now my confidence suddenly doubled. With my own consciousness. It shouldn't be a problem to get into the top three. Right? Now that he was in the game, Lu Yuan simply walked south and started the task of finding the ancestor given by his master Zhang Feng.